When he looked back, he saw the red figure holding him from behind, and the familiar voice was brought into the ear with a smile. I am back. Xian Yuan Moses' lips and micro hooks, the micro side was lying on the front, reaching for a hand, and she fell into her arms and kissed him. After a kiss, he let go of her and said, How have you been so long? Still smooth. Feng Zhu's face was filled with laughter and squatted on his chest. Well, the people of the Wanfo Zong men didn't bother me. They sent me into a holy place in their Buddhist temple. I saw it there. Ancient Jinlian, and there are unexpected surprises. She said that the two children who picked up her before they kissed their little pink face and laughed and said, Mother's baby, come, kiss the mother again. The two children smelled the familiar atmosphere of her, and the little face showed a happy look. Like two little milk dogs, she groaned in her arms, her mouth was snarling, and she seemed to be looking for something. Xian Yuan Moser saw this and sat up. When he reached out, he put his son from the chest of Feng Zhu and put it on the bed. He said, Let's play. Feng Zhu stunned him with a sigh of relief, What are you doing? My son can't hold it yet. He said, and he took the enthusiasm that was trying to turn over and climbed into his arms. The little guy was very happy. He stretched out his chubby hands and hugged Feng Zhu's face and smiled awkwardly. Xian Yuan Mo's looked at his wife and children, and his eyes overflowed with softness and tenderness. After a while, he asked, What surprises did you just say? Listening to this, Feng Zhu held the two children, sat on the bed and looked at him, saying, I saw the dust in the holy place of Buddhism. When Yan, Xian Yuan Moser was slightly surprised, said, Is there a strange dust in the holy place of Buddhism? No, it is true, he still exists. Feng Zhu said, with a positive color on his face, said, However, he is indeed dead, but there is only one soul left in this world. His power is condensed in the gold that was left at the beginning. On the lotus seed, and the power of one of his souls, somehow went to the holy place of Buddhism, attached to the golden lotus, this time I also went to the Buddhist holy land to find the ancient Jinlian when I knew that he still exists. Listening to Feng Zhu's words, Xian Yuan Mo slightly condensed his eyebrows and said, Is it your illusion? He clearly disappeared between the heavens and the earth. How could he still have a soul left in this world? He said, holding her hand in both hands, Shen Sheng said, Are you still blaming guilt for his death? So will you give birth to such an illusion? That is the person he saw with his own eyes disappearing into the heavens and the earth. Even if he didn't leave anything in his body, how could he say that it is still in this world? Feng Juyi smiled and said, I didn't believe that he still existed at first. I thought it was the illusion that I came into after the holy place, but later confirmed that he really existed, and it really existed. Her voice rang aloud and said, Just, he is now very weak, because the celestial body that has been attached to the ancient golden lotus for so long, this time, the ancient Jinlian moved into the space from the Buddha's holy land, he also together into my space. So, he is in your space now. Xian Yuan Mo's asked. Feng nine points to the bottom, well, he attached to the top of Jinlian, the ancient Jinlian is now in my space, he is naturally inside, but because of the instability of the soul, he cannot appear for a long time. Listening to this, Xian Yuan Moser showed a smile, if this is the case, it is very good. As for, he still exists, and he has such a chance, then she will not pay for him again. I feel guilty and blame. Wait until tomorrow, I will see if I can let him come out to let you see. I told him that our son and daughter recognized him as a righteous father. He is very happy. Feng Ji smiled and looked at two children rolling around on the bed. Okay. Xian Yuan Mo said, as if he had thought of something, and asked, So, you can't absorb the power of Jinlian? Well, I think that this Jinlian will inherit its power from the dust. His soul is attached to the ancient golden lotus. This is his chance, and it is good for him to get this power, at least not us. If the enemy is to deal with the demon in the future, 
if he has already achieved perfection, it will naturally help us. Xuan Yuan Mo's nodded and said, This is also good, he paid so much for you, it is also time for us to help him do something, and now this Jinlian can help him to cultivate the fairy body, it is better. There is one more thing. Feng Ju said, looking at him, the Wanfo goalkeeper Jinlian gave me and asked me to do things for them. She simply told him what the white-browed monk had made her, and said, So I came back this time, and the monk who called the ring came back with me, saying that I was going with me, besides that, the white-browed monk also allowed me to shelter them for a hundred years. If there is a great disaster in a hundred years, let me help them. Listening to this, Xuan Yuan Moser asked, What are you going to do? Do you want to go by yourself, or are we going together? Feng Ju could not help but look at the two children on the side, and there was disappointment in his eyes, I went to Wanfaman for half a month. If I go to help them find the relic, I don't know how much time it will take. I thought I couldn't see the two children, but I was worried, but if I brought it, I was worried that I would be in danger and put them in danger. At this time, she is also entangled in all sorts of things. Xuan Yuan Mo slightly meditated for a while, said, if this is the case, then go with two children. There are so many people there is no problem, let alone, if you go on this trip, it is estimated that there is no one year. Half load will not come back. In this case, it's better to be a peer. If you don't get it, both children will not recognize you. Really? Is it really dangerous on the road? She reached out and poked the little sister who climbed onto her lap. Xuan Yuan Mo smiled and said, Take it. We will protect them if we are in danger. What's more, if we are such people, what danger is it difficult to get us? Wen Yan, Feng Ji thought about it and said, That is also, that line, then let's go together. However, I will leave for two days and then I will wake up. Let me try to cure. Okay, your legs. It is good. Xuan Yuan Mo's should, see her ready to roll up his trousers and try it. Now she reached out and grabbed her hand and said, You just came back, rest first. My legs are not in a hurry. It doesn't matter, I am not tired, and I also want to know if my current Qinglian power can cure your legs. She said, got up and got out of bed, rolled up his trousers, first pressed him a bit, and then stimulated the circulation of his acupuncture points with silver needles. After a while, her palms were condensed with a cyan color. The breath covered his knees, trying to restore his legs with the power of Qinglian. Xuan Yuan Moser quietly looked at her, her eyes were soft and affectionate. He looked at her concentrated and serious face, and did not know what he thought. He said, Aju, how long does it take to get a strange body? Feng Juta did not lift, while helping him to treat, while saying, I don't know, I have to look at his own situation. Now that Jinlian is in my space, I have not used it, nor melted it. That ancient Jinlian is now in my space, at most it can only be borrowed. As for when the dust can repair the fairy, I really don't know. Her voice was a meal, and said, however, in terms of the talent and opportunity of the dust, it may not take a few years. She looked up at him and knocked on his knee and asked, Is there any feeling? Xuan Yuan Mo's looked at his knees and his eyes flashed slightly. He said, There is a bit of numbness. Wen Yan, Feng Juyan Yan Yuxiao, it seems to be a bit useful. She used the power of Qinglian to help him treat for a while until the forehead permeated the thin sweat, then he took back his hand and said, I will try again tomorrow. Well, let the cold cream give you water, go take a shower. He whispered, putting the trousers down. Good. Feng Ju should, got up and went outside to call out, seeing Lang Hua outside the hospital, then went over and asked, Are you a master of the ring? I have settled down the master. Lang Hua said, Laughing again, I heard them say Du Fan and the Grey Wolf to order a banquet, and I plan to have a good night. Feng nodded nine times and said, Well, I will set up the banquet in the front yard. 
Right, remember to order a few masters. They know that the master of the rings is also there, so they will order a few vegetarian dishes. Suddenly, Lengua asked, Master, are we going together or are we going together? If we leave together, I have to do the things of this house first. Go and deal with it. Let's go. Just said to me and Mose. He said that they should go together. Everyone has a photo on the way, and this time I don't know how long it will go. Fengju said, thinking of the disaster of the white-browed monk, the heart is still some worried. If she is going together, she is really worried that she will be tired of two children. If she sends the two children away, she is not willing, and she is not at ease. She is not worried about how to bring her to her side. After all, the boat is naturally straight to the bridge, and everything goes with the flow. That's good, I will go to the house first tomorrow. Lang Hua said, after a ritual, first retreat. The master, the water for the bath is ready. Cold Frost said. Good. Feng Ju said, and then turned and walked back. After taking a shower, she changed her clothes, dried her hair, and thought of the gadgets she bought when she came back on the road. So she went to the inner room with a smile. Why didn't these two little guys sleep? Are they still rolling in bed, not tired? She smiled and sat down at the bed, reaching for the two children's heads and looking at the two identical a small face, could not help but laugh. Mose, look at our son and daughter. How is this small look so cute? When you grow up, you said, will it be the same? Xian Yuan Mose's lips and micro hooks, with two pets looking at the white and tender children, said, in the future, this appearance will only look more and more, but these two people are growing. The same, but this temper is estimated to be a different day. Well, this is true, my son's character is like you, my daughter is like me. She said with a smile, taking out the wind chimes and windmill from the space, little baby, what do you think is this? The wind chimes swayed gently, making a crisp and pleasant sound. The colorful windmills turned, and the two children giggled and chubby little hands wanted to come. I want it. You won't play, and the mother will hold it for you to play. She smiled and teased two children. The colorful windmill in her hand turned in her hand, the windmill turned, and the seven color bands flew up. It was beautiful. Go, let's go ahead and prepare for dinner. She hung the wind chime at the window and inserted the windmill in the bed of the children's sleeping cot. Then she picked up two children. It's quite heavy. It seems that they have grown a lot in the past two months. Feng Juxiao Ying Ying held the two children in his arms and held one in one hand. He held it in his arms and realized that the two little guys were multiple, and they wore a lot of clothes, and the whole body was round. No, I can't hold two. She quickly put it down, for fear that the child would be uncomfortable in her arms. Cold frost, come in and hold the child. Xian Yu and Moser called out, let the cold frost outside come in to help hold one. The cold frost waiting outside the room came in. I took a child who had been handed over by Feng Ju and said, the master, the lord, the banquet in front has already been set, and it can pass. Well, you will bring the children to the past, we will come soon. Feng Ju said, let her hold the little girl to the front. Yes. The cold frost should be heard. After a ritual, this is the first time to hold the child back. Xian Yuan Moser came down from the bed, sat in a wheelchair, watched her holding her child, and said, Go. The little admiration in the arms stayed in the arms of Feng Ju, no trouble, just watching her quietly, the small and cute appearance. Let Feng Ji could not help but bow down and kiss, son, mother take you to the front of the lively and lively. Looking at her and her son, Xian Yu and Moser could not help but say, this boy can't always be a pro, and he will be shy in the future. Feng Jimei glared at him with a smile and said, yes, yes, can't kiss the son, kiss the daughter, right. Cough, you can kiss me too. He cried softly and the deep black scorpion looked into her eyes. 
Listening to this, Feng Juyi smiled and said, I can still remember that when you were accidentally kissed by me, I fainted directly. Listening to her mentioning this, Xian Yuan Mo's met on the face and said, Don't mention the past, let's go. Don't let them wait for a long time. Then he pushed the wheelchair and went outside. Watching him go out, Feng Ju's lips smiled and he held the child next to him. In front, everyone gathered. They didn't put together a few tables, but they had a rectangular dwarf table with wine on top. Hey? Langua? Why haven't you seen anyone yet? The grey wolf looked around and didn't see Langua here, he asked. He went to the master of the ring. Du Fan said, put the wine on the table at the table, and smiled, the master has been away for more than half a month, and we have been here for more than half a month. This is good, when the master came back, he felt a lot of fun. Cold frost is coming, is it a small admiration or a small child? Luo Yu got up and wanted to see the child. Who knows that the grey wolf next to it is faster, stand up and press him on his shoulder to put him pressed to sit down. You are sitting. Little master, I am here to hug. Grey wolf grinned and patted him on the shoulder, and walked quickly toward the cold frost, while asking, Cold frost, you hold is it a little girl? Yet. The cold frost should be heard. He saw him coming forward, and when he reached out, he took the child and took it. Xiao Er was more active and active, and they were eager to get used to each other. They were clenched by the grey wolf and did not cry. Instead, they giggled and slobbered him. Ha 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 ha, little nephew, are you very happy to see Uncle Grey Wolf? The grey wolf was very happy to ask, and did not mind that she had just changed her clothes and was sloped by her. Luo Yu glanced at him and said, Which is your uncle? He said, and he stood up and walked toward him. He said, I have done it. You will take it for a while, let me hold it. Hold, let me hug. The grey wolf hovered with his child and said, What hug? I just took it. I haven't hurry yet. He said as he stepped back, until he seemed to hit him. Be careful, don't fall on the little master. The voice of Lengua came, and he also helped him. He worried that if he didn't hold it, he would fall to the little master. I knew that he looked into his arms. Xiao Er's eyes were bent into crescents and he smiled very happy. The monk on the side looked at the child in the wolf's arms and said, Amitabha. Master of the monk, I met again. Said the grey wolf, holding the child and turned around. I have a relationship with the donors, and I will see you again. One monk said, standing still. Master, please, please. Lenghua made a gesture of asking, and asked him to sit here. A few people went to the front, and they saw Feng Zhu and Xian Yuan Mo's. They came from far away. When they saw them, the grey wolf grinned and said, The master and the wife are coming. The monk's gaze passed over Feng Zhu, and Xian Yuan Mo's, who was sitting next to her in a wheelchair, was accidentally seated in a wheelchair. Master, it's good to be here, no need to be restrained. Feng Juxiao said, holding the child to the front and introducing, This is my husband, Xian Yuan Mo's, this is our pair of children. Amitabha. The monk whispered with his hands together and said, The donor and the daughter are both full and good. Feng Ju Ying Ying smiled, and saw a monk who came to Xian Yuan Moser to see a ceremony, One Ring has seen the donor. Masters don't have to be polite, please take a seat. Xian Yuan Mo said, ask him to sit. Thank you for the donor. The monk said, after the two of them turned their heads, it was only by the position that Lenghua led to the side. Feng Zhu saw that they were arranged very well and secretly nodded. If a few tables are stitched together, the monk will not be able to eat at the same table with them. After all, in addition to the wine and the leeks on the table, it is even more convenient for them to sit on the table with the snack table. It is suitable. She looked at Xian Yuan Mo's around her and saw him in the body. The whole person floated up and sat down on the soft seat on the floor. So she also took the child to sit next to him. 
Seeing the grey wolf still holding a small scorpion, Feng Ji smiled and said, Grey wolf, holding a small scorpion can not eat enough, put her first to the bamboo chair next to it. Come on, let me come. Qin Xian took the little girl, put her in the baby bamboo chair on the side, and went up to Feng Ju, the master, the little master gave me. Yet. Yeah. Feng Ju should have a voice, and handed the child in her arms to her, and said, it is good to push them all to me. Yes. Qin Xian should, after placing the two children in the baby bamboo chair, they moved them to Feng Ju. The master, this is for the two little masters to eat. Bai Ching Cheng brought the warm goat milk to the front. Okay, sit down and eat. Don't let the food cool. Feng Ju said, indicating that they all sat down, and she first fed two children to eat warm goat milk. Xian Yuan Mo's licked the sake and asked, Is the master of the rings planning to walk with us? Amitabha, yes. The monk should. Xian Yuan Mo's played with the wine glass in his hand, saying, the Buddha is paying attention to all four, the causal cycle, since things are lost, how can you think of let us find them for you? The monk looked up and looked at Xian Yuan Mo's, saying, because of its own fruit, Buddhism sent a poor way forward, and let Feng Shizu walk with him, since she accepted the ancient Jinlian of my Buddhism, and agreed to the Holy Buddha. All the millions of people are the only ones who have been the vassal of the vassal, and they have a relationship with my Buddha. Xian Yuan Mo's looked at him and said, You are a slut, if you walk with us, are you afraid of swearing gossip? There are millions of people in the world, the path of being poor and self-sacrificing, from the words of others. He joined hands with courage and coveted. Wen Yan, Xian Yuan Mo's hooked a smile, Well, this cup, Ben Jun respects you. He said, toasting a far-reaching gesture, and will drink the glass of wine in the head. The monk took the tea in front of him and said, the baron is made up of tea and wine. Then he also gave a gift. Everyone looked at them and smiled at each other. Feng Ju fed two children to finish the goat's milk and smiled, Master, taste the taste of these vegetarian dishes. One master, this is the Chinese food we specially prepared for you. The grey wolf grinned and said, holding a piece of meat and eating, said, if you are not a monk who does not eat, I would like to invite you to taste. Taste the taste of these meats. Amitabha, the donor is full of enthusiasm, thank you for being poor, and the poor can use vegetarian food. Then he picked up the chopsticks and the bowl and ate it quietly. Everyone chatted, drinking, talking about happy things, time went too fast, waiting for the banquet to disperse, everyone scattered. Feng Ju also took the two children and Xian Yu and Mo's back to the yard together. They lived here for another two days. Feng Ju also helped Xian Yu and Mo's to treat his legs with the power of Qing Lian. However, the power of Qing Lian did not return to the peak time of the past, and the two days were much more used. Qing Lian the force seems to have weakened a bit. In the main courtyard, Feng Ju accompanied Xian Yu and Mo's to sit and watch the two children in the courtyard. He said, I estimate that your legs have to stand up and have some time. The strength of Qing Lian is weaker than before. Less, it will take a few days to continue treatment. It's all right, it's always good, just come on. Xian Yuan Moser said, and asked, is it ready to go tomorrow? Well, don't worry. They are all properly packed, and they are all ready. Feng Ji smiled and said, I just got out of the piano and Fan Lin went out and bought some dry food back, ready to eat on the road. Wen Yan, Xian Yuan Mo said, there is not much to eat on the road, the game is everywhere, but it is true to prepare for the monk. Feng Juyi smiled and said, well, I have some things, it is convenient on the road. When the sound fell, she seemed to feel something general, said, it seems that the dust came out from the ancient Jinlian. I let him out let's go. When she said that she was moving, she saw a golden light passing through. The next moment, a strange dust in white appeared in front of the two people. His figure was faint, and it seemed to be transparent in the sun, but it was really exist. 
looking at the nail and dust in front of him, Xian Yuan Mo slowly said, Dust, I haven't seen it for a long time, I heard Aji talk about it, I know you have this chance. The dust smiled softly, I didn't think of it. His eyes fell on the two children, with a soft smile, this is your two children. Well, look at the two of them. Feng Ju took the child up from the crib, this is also your son and daughter. Looking at the two children who were carving the jade, the dust couldn't help but reach out and hold their little hands and praised, it looks so good, like your husband and wife. Feng Ju listened to a smile of pride, that is, we must be better than us in the future. Oh, you two are already rare enchanting, better than you, how much against the sky? He chuckled, looked at the two children, said, however, these two children are indeed it's not easy to be a dragon or a phoenix in the future. He turned to look at Xian Yuan Mo's, his eyes fell on his legs, and said, I heard Aji talk about it, your legs can't stand up after that war, Su is ruined by Black Eclipse the rod has been too long, and now the ancient Jinlian is here. Although she can't help you with the power of Jinlian, I can try it. Wen Yan, Feng Ju Mei's heart slightly twisted, you are now unstable, if you use the power of Jinlian to help him treat, wouldn't it cost you a good body that is not easy to condense? I know that you are not easy to condense the fairy body. The strength of Qinglian is gradually recovering. Ah, she can treat me for it. Slowly recovering is nothing. Xian Yuan Mo said, with one hand on his lap. Road, it's been a long time in a wheelchair, not in a hurry. No problem, I am preparing to come out to see you this time, then I will practice myself, until I will condense out of the fairy body. I will see you today, I don't know when I will meet you in the future. He said warmly and laughed. Looking at Xiang Fengju, and, there is plenty of spiritual power in your space. It is a place that does not lose to the holy place of Buddhism. It is more effective to practice in it. Listening to this, Xian Yuan Moser and Feng Zhu looked at each other. Xian Yuan Moser asked, In your opinion, how long can you cultivate into a fairy? Are there any other things that can help you? The dust was mild and smiled. I thought it would take at least ten years. However, if you concentrate on retreating in space, you may be able to repair your body in a few years. As he said, he slowly shook his head, it's only for me to do it myself. I can't help others. That's the trouble with the legs of Mo's. Feng Ju said, looking at Xian Yuan Mo's, saying, let the moth rule. If you combine the power of Jinlian, your legs may recover faster. Xian Yuan Mo's looked at the dust and said, that will trouble you. Moss gently smiled, we are so familiar, you don't need to say this. He stepped forward and stopped in front of Xian Yuan Moser, his hands condensed, a golden light flew out from his fingertips and fell into him. The legs are at the knees. Xian Yuan Mos only felt a warm breath from the knees down to the feet, the feeling is stronger than the strength of the green lotus of Feng Ju, he can clearly feel the strength of the legs walking, then the power of the stalk made the original unconscious legs feel a heat and a sense of insult. He looked up at the dust and saw him look focused. However, the figure that was originally blurred was gradually transparent with the consumption of Jinlian. Feng Ju looked at the dusty body and gradually became transparent and worried. Fortunately, he recovered his hand in the near future and showed a smile to the two people, I can only help here. Xian Yuan Moses' feet moved slightly. He looked at him and said, There is already feeling, I think, I can stand up soon. He said with a solemn voice, Thank you. That's good. Moss gently smiled and looked at the two children, saying, It's just the first time I saw my son and righteous woman, but there is nothing to give them. Feng Juying Ying smiled and said, It doesn't matter, it will be good if you repair the fairy body and then replenish them. It is good. He responded and said, Let's see you later, I will give them a gift. He looked at them both and said, you take extra care and see you later. Yet. Yeah. The two responded, and saw his figure turned into a golden light back to the space of Fengju, attached to the golden lotus. 
How is your leg? Feng Ju put the two children back in the crib and came to Xian Yuan Moser's side to ask. It's moving. He moved a little and said, It's just a little under control. Wen Yan, Feng Ju revealed a happy smile, If you can move, if you can move, then there will be more activities in the past few days, and it will be a matter of these days. Seeing her happy look, Xian Yuan Mo's also showed a smile, although he did not want to let the stranger treat him, because he did not want to owe him too much, but, seeing her so happy, he relieved. The total owed is owed, since it has already owed him so much, if there is a chance in the future, let's take it back. The next morning, when they were ready, they took the carriage and went outside the city. A few days later, when Feng Zhu and his entourage walked between the mountain roads and faintly heard the sound of calling for help, almost everyone's eyes were looking at the monk who walked aside while hearing the cry for help. Amitabha. The monk's hands together seemed to be a bit stunned. He lowered his eyebrows and said, Save a man's life and win a seven-level float. As he spoke, he swept away and was already in the direction of crying for help. Looking at this scene, everyone looked helplessly and smiled at the same time. Du Fan shook his head and smiled, we set off from the city. After a few days, the master has saved several people. It really has a compassionate heart. This monk is too too nosy, and everything has to be plugged in. Isn't he a monk? Why do you like to take care of people? The grey wolf kicked a stone, playing with a dog's tail grass, some I was puzzled to see the monk who went to nosy. He is a monk, since he is compassionate, he can't be a nosy, but he is different from us. Chi Kong said, although he feels helpless, he can understand it. After all, the master of the ring is Buddhism. Chinese people, when faced with such things as asking for help, he would not stand by and watch, but Rao is also he has to say that he is really a bit too much. Luo Yu next to the carriage looked at Feng Zhu, who looked at the curtain and looked out with a smile. He said, The master, do you say that we are fast-moving good old people? This is a lot of things like this. It's only a few days, and then I'm going to do this. I really don't know how many things happen behind it. Feng Zhu looked at the outside with a curtain and smiled. What is the relationship? If he likes to save, then let him save. This way he only saved his own, and did not let us help. At most, it was only let the journey slow down. She smiled and said, He is not in a hurry, we don't have to worry. It seems right to listen to this. Everyone was secretly squatting, and they were waiting here. Sure enough, after a long time, I saw that the monk had come back, but it was different from the past, and he followed a woman behind him. Hey, look, the monk is back with a woman. The grey wolf squinted and said, the look of joke. I have never brought back people who have been rescued. How come this time brought a woman back? Du Fan also raised an eyebrow and looked surprised. Chi Kong glanced at him and said, it is estimated that it is not safe. This wilderness, the woman still looks hurt. The monk of the Fengju dynasty and the woman looked at it. Seeing the former walked slowly, and the eyebrows were squatting. The latter was pale, with blood and scars on his body, and he walked and turned, and it seemed to hurt his foot. Chin Xian, you go to help the woman to bandage the wound. We are here to rest. Fengju gestured, let the piano heart to help, and he also got off the bus, ready to take the child to walk around a bit. Yes. Chin Xian should have a voice, this is to go to a master of the ring and the woman. Master, my master asked me to come over and help the girl deal with the wound. Chin Xian said, looking at the woman behind. Amitabha, there is a laborer. The monk said with his hands together and retreated to the side. The pale-faced woman looked at the people in front of her eyes. She couldn't help but look at the carriage but she couldn't see the people in the carriage. She only saw the handsome men and beautiful women around the carriage. Girl, sit down here. Chin said, indicating that she was sitting down and taking medicine from the space. There is a girl. 
the woman took a ritual, and then she came to sit down and looked at the people who were resting around the carriage. Rao has seen many outstanding people, but she rarely sees such temperament as these people. Are they a family son? Still a family child? Or Zongmen rookie? Why is it that the style is extraordinary? Looking back, the woman's eyes looked at the heart of the piano, and she saw her focus on helping her clean up the wound, but she never even asked a word, and her heart was not at all. Who are these people? How can I be with a monk? The ankle is sprained, and the other wounds are not serious. If you take a proper rest, you can recover in two days. Chin Xin put things in order, and said, after looking at the woman, it was back to the carriage. At this time, the carriage was there, and the monk was talking with Feng Zhu. Oh? So the master is going to take her on the road together. Feng Zhu raised his eyebrows and looked at the master of the ring. No, it's just to go to someone's home to put down her. The monk said with a sigh. Feng Zhuyi smiled and said, Master, she is not an ordinary person, but a monk who has been repaired as a body. Even if she is injured, I think she can still go by herself. Said, her voice was a meal, said, however, if she wants to follow us, of course, I do not object. Amitabha, when it comes to the village or the city, the inferiority will let her leave. The monk said, Chao Feng nine lines a ceremony, then this went to the woman. Feng Ju took two children around and walked around. When he was preparing to return to the carriage and continue on his way, he heard the clutter of footsteps coming to this side. She looked in that direction, a little surprised. There are few people in this place before and after, how can there be cluttered footsteps? Moreover, that direction seems to be the direction in which the monk just took the woman back. Amitabha. The monk sighed and looked at the twenty people who came in the direction. Some regretted the words, the poor put them on a path, but they did not expect them to come. Master, do you kill? Luo Yu smiled at the monk, a look at the look of the play. Poverty does not kill. The monk said, and said, but if it is a wicked person, the poor will be removed. It seems that you are not dead-headed. The grey wolf said, some accidents. Perhaps it was these days of peers, and he saw that he was often nosy, and the words of the grey wolf were casual. Monk. Give people to us. Hey, look, here a few little maiden skin looks better than the previous one. A man-headed, said, looking straight at the heart and white city they. Watching those people's eyes turn on them, the two just glanced at the cold and then returned to the carriage. Big brother, these people are not ordinary people. Will it be a family? You see that all of them are so good, don't get rid of anyone who shouldn't be provoked. The man said that he looked at them with some taboos. Giggle. In the carriage, two children giggled. The two children who didn't know what to do were playing in the carriage and playing with Feng Zhu. They laughed very happy. You listen, and the laughter of the children. It seems that only the rich people will come out to march. The head of the man said, his eyes still staring at the heart of the heart and the white city, only two beautiful people in his eyes. Come on, grab them for me. Said the man, adding another sentence, be careful, don't hurt the two beautiful people. Du Fan and others took a leisurely look at those people, it is really impossible to put these scattered thieves in the eyes, that point of strength for them. It is really too much to see. Master, you said, what should these people do? Du Fan asked, the fan in his hand gently fanned the wind, his eyes looked at the monk on the side with a smile. Amitabha, let the poor be dealt with. He said, taking off a bunch of beads on his neck and reaching for those people to throw them. When the beads were thrown, he put his hands together and meditated. Look, the Buddhist monk is still a weapon. The grey wolf looked at the string of big beads, and saw that the beads were trapped in the dozens of scattered thieves. A Buddha light was released from the beads, and they were shocked by the birth. They can't escape a half point. What? Those people, one by one, rolled their heads to the ground, faintly, 
and only heard a complicated and incomprehensible Buddhist language that came out of the mouth of the monk, accompanied by the light of Buddha's light, shrouded in those people. Hey! Luo Yu looked at the people with amazement and looked back at the master of the ring. Feng Ju, who just got on the carriage, glanced at him and saw those people holding their headaches. With the initial pain, the expression gradually calmed down. However, they still looked a little bit wrong. Look carefully, they the spiritual power of the body dissipated as much as possible, and the eyes were dull, as if they were hit hard. She raised her eyebrows and fell to the monk. I didn't expect him to abolish their cultivation as soon as he took the shot. Moreover, the situation of these people seems to have attacked their gods with Buddha light, and the gods have been hit hard, like idiots. She regained her gaze and put the curtain down and said it to Xian Yuan Moser, it seems that the master of the ring is not a person who does not understand the changes. What is the difference between killing those people and ruining them like idiots? What is the difference between killing them? No, it should be said that it is more terrible than death. It is still alive by him. If they let the grey wolves do their hands, they are even extravagant. Xian Yuan Mo said, and the son who climbed to his leg was raised and held in his arms. Listening to his words, Feng Ji smiled and looked at the outside again, seeing that the monk had recovered the bunch of beads, read a Buddhist language, and then stood still. Seeing this, she said to the outside of the cold, if you solve it, let's go. See if you can find a village or a town to rest before dark. Yes. Lenghua responded, and said something to everyone, then drove in the carriage and continued to move forward. However, this way, what they did not expect was not only did not see the villages and towns, but the sky gradually darkened and seemed to be raining. Master, it seems that it is going to rain, there seems to be no place to shelter from the rain. Lang Hua said, looked up and looked at the sky. Xian Yuan Mo's picked up the curtain and looked at the sky. The brow was twisted. This rain should be great, and it will be accompanied by thunder. Speed up the point. Look at the place where there is no shelter. Yes. Lenghua responded and saw the monk walking behind. The donor, there will be a ramp in front, and there will be a temple in the road to the right. We can go there to shelter from the rain. After hearing this, Langhua glanced at the monk and said, Is the master gone? The baron walked through the road here and was familiar with this area. He said with his hands together. Cold listen to the master, and go to the right side of the road. The sound of Feng Ju came from the carriage. Yes. Lenghua responded, speeding up the speed and driving the car, followed by Du Fan and others on the toes of the left and right, standing with the hand, the figure fluttering in the wind, the speed is also quickly raised. The women who followed were injured, and the strength was not as good as them. At this time, when they saw their speed, her speed fell and they were left behind. Some people were anxious. Door, it doesn't matter if you slow down. You have injuries on your body. Even if you don't hurt, you can't keep up with their speed. The monk walked by the woman's side and said, for the speed of the front pedestrians, there is no hurry. It was thrown away, but the pace was not slow and steady, and it was very stable. The woman listened to this and looked at the monk. He hesitated and asked, Master, who are they? When I heard the woman's question, the monk looked over at her and did not speak. Seen by his gaze, the woman said, It is the distance I am. The monk removed his gaze and looked to the front. He said, They didn't ask who you are. Don't ask the donors who you are. If the donor's injury is better, you don't have to wait until there is a village or town. Can leave by yourself. Listening to the monk's words, the woman's heart glimpsed, and did not know what to think of, did not dare to go to see him, but a low voice, followed by him. The wind, whistling, blowing from the surroundings, with the coldness of the silk, the clouds in the sky, before they came to the temple, it had already rained, and the wind and rain caught it, and the temperature suddenly fell. Du Fan and others used the spiritual strength to protect the body, but it would not let the rain wet a half. 
Just watching the wind and the wind blow, the curtain of the carriage was slightly opened, and the sound of the child's crying was faintly inside. I was a little worried. Isn't there a temple in front? Why haven't you seen it yet? Luo Yu said, raising his gas and rushing forward, intending to explore the road first. In the carriage, Xian Yu and Moser and Feng Zhu and two people wrapped the two children in a blanket and held them in their arms, lest they catch cold. The speed of the carriage was fast, and it was not very stable. Sitting inside was also slightly shaking, but after a while, Luo Yu's voice came from the front. On this side, this temple is here. Leng Hua drove forward in the carriage, and everyone followed, and when he came to the temple in a short time, he still stunned. This is a temple? This is the temple that the monk said. The grey wolf looked up and saw no leaks. Yet, yeah, no water leaks, it will not be able to shelter from the rain. Going out, it can only be like this. Although it is broken, but it can also shelter from the wind and rain, he has nothing to pick. Feng Zhu first took two children and took the carriage to the temple, and Xian Yu and Mo's came down. Although his legs have recovered somewhat, he still needs to recover slowly when he stands up. Therefore, most of them are in wheelchairs. A group of people entered the temple, and the carriage was pulled to the place where the roof could cover the rain. When it entered, the cold wind whistled, and they would lay a clean cushion on the place where the wind could not blow. Let Xian Yuan Mo's and Feng Ju sit down and rest. There are a few broken door stalls there. Let's put it up and block the wind and rain. Don't let the wind and rain blow in. Qi Kong said, sweeping the door and using it to keep out the wind. There are branches in the corner. Du Fan said, he took the tree over and took Feng Ju to the front of them and went to the fire to let them warm. A master of the ring has not yet arrived, give him a door to come in. Feng Ju confessed, holding two children to wear them a lot of clothes, and then wrapped them in a blanket and hugged them in their arms. Xian Yu and Mo's took a cloak from the space and put it on Feng Ju. He said, come on this and keep it cool. Feng Juying smiled and said, I can't do it myself. After all, there is a spiritual breath in the body that can drive the cold. She smiled and looked at other people, saying, sit down and rest. Tonight can only it will be a night here. These branches are afraid that they will not burn enough until tomorrow. Du Fan said, and looked at the rainy days outside. At this time, no dry branches were available. Listening to this, the cold and gentle smile, said, the branches are not, but there is a lot of firewood in my space. Du Fan stunned and asked, Chai? When did you pile up firewood in the space? It didn't take long for us to live in the house, but everything is complete. When I clean up the things in the house, I will probably bring everything I can use. Lenghua Wenzhong said, he is a poor man after all. Many times a lot of things will not be wasted, especially his space ring has several, can hold a lot of things, so they have to leave most things when he will be put away, in case it will be used later. Ha ha ha, cold, you are assured of doing things. Luo Yu patted his shoulder and said, there is another one here, so I can warm some. Then, when cold water reached out, he took out the firewood in the space and piled it aside. I will come to pick up some rice porridge for the little masters to eat. Chin Xian said, and prepared the porridge. When I spoke, I saw the footsteps coming from outside. When I was young, I saw the monk and the woman came in. They looked and saw that the monk was not covered with half a drop of water, and the clothes and hair ends of the woman were wet. Master, come over here and roast the fire. Feng Ju smiled and asked him to sit by the fire. Thank you for the Lord. The monk said, and this went on. The woman hesitated, just wanting to keep up, let the cold frost stop. You go there. Cold frost said, pointing to the corner. Taking photos of the other's indifference and imposing manner, the woman did not dare to say anything more, but with a sigh of relief, she went to the corner. Master, eat some dry food. Lenghua took out the dry food 
and took out the barbecue from the space and grilled it on the fire. Thank you for the donor. One monk said, after taking the dry food, he tore a small piece to eat. The grey wolf saw that he had eaten himself, and he ignored the woman in the corner. He grinned and deliberately asked, The monk, you are also a monk, how to have your own food to eat, not to give you some the woman saved. Feng Ji looked at him with disapproval and felt that the grey wolf had passed. Seeing the eyes of Feng Ju, the grey wolf touched his nose and smiled awkwardly. He said, MRS, I am curious. He is actually not malicious. He just wants to know why this monk can take care of himself after taking it. Eat, without asking the woman to eat or not. After the monk swallowed a piece of dry food, this was the way, the poor are still unable to pass on their own, and how can they get there? Listening to this essay, the grey wolf was a little confused, looking at Dufin on the side, whispered, What does he mean by this? What can't be done? What is it? What do you mean? Du Fan smiled, and the fan in his hand opened with a voice, saying, he means that his ration is given by others, so he can't even cross himself, and naturally there is no way to help others. Lang Hua smiled and took some dry food to the corner and handed it to the woman, girl, eat it. Thank you for the sun. She quickly stood up and thanked her. She took the dry food and waited for Lang Hua to turn away. She took the dry food and sat down. She ate a small mouth and looked at these strange people. The meat is filled in the temple, and the wind and rain are on the outside, and the cold wind is screaming. Although it is worn out, it also blocks the wind and rain and makes the temperature warm. Everyone sat around the fire and chatted with fire, and warmed up some small wines to warm up. However, as the sky outside became darker, there seemed to be a wave of horseshoes coming to this side. Almost when I heard the hooves coming from outside, Du Fan and others sitting on the side of the fire stood up, I am going to see who it is. Du Fan said, walking forward, who knows he had not yet walked to the door that was blocked, and the door was opened with a strong force. Boom! A loud crash and the cracking of the wooden board, even in the rainy night, was extremely loud, so I was scared of the two children who had already slept in the arms of Feng Chu and Qian Yuan Moser. Wow! Oh wow! The two children were scared by the scream of the cold, and the little body shook, and the wow cried. Seeing that the two children were scared, the breath of Xian Yuan Mo's suddenly fell cold, and the powerful breath of the man caught with the murderous air, letting the monk sitting next to them could not help but covet he whispered, Amitabha. Feng Zhu brow slightly twisted, clear and cold looking at the temple door, while calming two children, Hey! Don't cry, the mother is here. She whispered softly and patted the child's back with one hand. Perhaps I heard the soft voice of Feng Zhu, and the smell that she was familiar with. The little Mu Yan in her arms flattened her mouth, sobbing in a low voice, but she didn't cry anymore, just holding a pair of watery the clear eyes looked at her innocently. It's okay, both and Niang are there, there are and Niang to accompany you, nothing. Feng Ji whispered softly, seeing his son stopped, but the woman still twitched and wowed. Come, give me a hug. Feng Ju said, holding the son who was not crying in his arms to Xian Yuan Moser, and she took the crying daughter. Xian Yuan Mo's worried that his breath would scare the child, so when Feng Ju's voice came, he converges on his suffocation and looks at his son with his eyes open, and he calmly voices, Don't let them in. The low voice has a strong breath, even if it is just a sentence, it can also make people feel the pressure of a person. The grey wolf and others were already stunned when they saw the outsiders open the door and scared the two children. Now, when they listen to the master, they stand up now. It's really a guy who is tidy. Said the grey wolf, preparing to start the door opener. Who knows that Du Fan, who had stepped forward had already stepped into the wooden door and the fan in his hand had already hit a stream of air. Hey! Hey! The breath on the fan slammed out, and at the speed of the ear, the person who was stepping in was struck and flew out. He only heard a snoring sound, and the figure flew backwards until it reached. 
falling in the wind outside. Puff. The man who fell to the ground took a sip of blood from his chest and tried to stand up. Who knows that he stood up and fell again. This scene was something that the people outside didn't think of. For a time, they looked at the man who fell to the ground with a blank expression, until after a while, the one who was riding in the middle of the car was guarded in the middle. The sound came from the carriage, and the monk in front of him moved. Useless people, kill. The sound from the carriage was low and cloudy, and the voice fell. The monk on the ground was white. Before he asked for mercy, he saw the monk in front of him move, and a cold light slammed through, and a sword would touch each other. The head was cut down. This scene was seen by Du Fan and the Grey Wolf who stood at the temple gate. Looking at the corpse of the man who was scattered in the rain, the blood ran down the mud along the rain, and when those people were all expressionless, they instinctively gave their vigilance and carefully looked those who are outside. I saw that the team outside was about thirty people up and down, and there were ten people in front. These people were riding horses, wearing special armor and protecting the luxurious carriage in the middle. I can't see who is inside the car, but what I can know is that the strength of the monks riding these horses is a rare power, and the most important thing is the suffocation of them. That's right, it's suffocating, the kind of suffocation that people who have died a lot of blood will be contaminated. These people have it. If these people are different from their suffocation, they can only say that their anger is introverted, and the suffocation of these people is external. The rain fell down their bodies. They didn't use the spiritual power to protect the body. Instead, they let the rain fall on their bodies and they got wet. They crossed the horse they were riding. When they first saw it, they thought it was just an ordinary horse. But look carefully, but it is not difficult to see that it is a one-horned beast. In the rain, these people suddenly come, who is it? What kind of person would be the person who would open the person under his killer? Before seeing the other party, with these monks riding on the beasts, they can conclude that no matter what the other person is, it is not a good person anyway, and it can still be classified as a dangerous person. Let the temple break, you can consider leaving a whole body for you. In the luxurious carriage, there was a mad and hazy words. When Lengua and others heard this, they laughed and said, Leave a whole body. Great tone. I would like to try, is there really that skill? The grey wolf said, the next moment, the figure swept out to the monk in front of him. He shot very fast, and it was a killer, but what he didn't expect was that he thought he could strike a shot to kill the other side, but only scratched his shoulder. Watching the monk quickly retreat, the grey wolf stared at him and looked at the sword in his hand. He said, the armor on the body is quite thick. This sword actually didn't let you see the blood. He held the sword in his hand, and the spirit of the body rushed. The sword was smothered with his figure. This shot, he avoided the place where the other armor was wearing, but the other was weak. Local. The two played against each other, whether it was Du Fan and others, or those monks who were sitting in the rain, no one did help, just as if they were not related to themselves. Call out. What? A fierce airstream struck out, and an arm was cut off and flew out. When the blood spilled, the sword slammed again, and the screams rang, and the battle between the two men came to an end. After so many moves, the man was killed. The grey wolf was somewhat dissatisfied with the sword, and the cold eye glared at a corpse on the ground. Those cyclists looked at this scene and their eyes narrowed. It seemed that they did not expect such a person in the temple to be so strong. The man sitting in the luxury carriage was silent for a while, and a cold word came out of the mouth. Kill. After the guardian was killed by the grey wolf, the other party did not retreat and stared at them. Du Fan and others were already alert. Therefore, when they heard the cold and murderous voice falling, they quickly dispersed. Keep the temples in the temple, and let the outside fights spread to the masters. Dozens of swords and shadows attacked from the outside, and the powerful murderousness allowed the people inside the temple to clearly feel the murderousness. Listening to the sound of the battle outside, 
the woman sitting in the corner looked out cautiously. When she saw the outside riding guard, her eyes could not help but shrink, and the whole person shrank away from the corner. It was already pale, and it was paler after seeing those people. Do you know who they are? Feng Ju's voice slowly spread out and looked at the woman at the corner. Hearing this voice, the woman glanced at Feng Ju and trembled, they, they are the squatters under the hands of Shura, and they are killing countless people. They are very strong. It is said that they have been said to have seen them. It's already dead. Feng Ju picked up his eyebrows and looked at the monk who closed his eyes and closed his eyes and asked him, have the master heard of it? Amitabha, the name of King Shura, no one knows in this area, but the poor has never met. He whispered, and looked up and looked outside. The windproof door has been smashed, sitting in his position, you can see the situation outside the battle, and the luxurious black carriage in the wind and rain. However, in addition to these, he also saw the powerful coldness surrounding the carriage, as well as countless grievances and atmosphere. He sighed, whispered a Buddha, and hanged his voice and silently recited the sutra. In the eyes of the public, she couldn't send two children into the space. Therefore, she handed the child to Xian Yuan Mose and said, You look after the children, I will go and see. Okay. Xian Yuan Mose should have a voice, put the two children around, and protect them with their own breath, lest they be affected by the murderous outside and the powerful pressure. Feng Ju went to the temple door and watched, the eight phoenix captains around her, as well as Du Fan and the Grey Wolf and others, joined the battle, and the cold and white city and the cold frost heart were kept in the break. In front of the temple, in the dark, there is a shadow. Looking at the sword, the shadow of the sword flashed in the wind and rain, and the murderous smother broke through the rain, and the smell of blood, accompanied by the breath of death, permeated the air and was diluted by the rain. The luxurious black carriage is still there, and it doesn't go back. The surrounding sword can't hurt him. Sitting there is the king of Shura. She is not able to compete with Qi Kong and others, but she is also well trained. Maybe she understands that one on one is not Qi Kang's opponents. They are fighting to kill, attack together, go back together, advance and retreat. The cooperation is seamless, and it is impossible for them to be able to talk to them. Looking at it, she suddenly felt a pair of eyes staring at her in the dark the feeling that made her slightly frown. In the black carriage, through the front baffle, the man sitting in the carriage squinted and stared at the red figure standing at the front door of the temple door, sharp and implied with a powerful pressure. Her excellent temperament, beautiful beauty, exquisite figure, breathtaking atmosphere, very dazzling. He stared at her and didn't know what he was thinking. Feng Ju's gaze was removed from the warring person, and the cold eyes looked at the carriage, as if he was looking at the people through the carriage. The gaze did not move away. Although she did not see it, she knew that the other person was staring at her. That kind of gaze is aggressive and unscrupulous. She moved her hand and a silver pin was pinched at her fingertips. She looked at the man who was fighting, and looked at one of the people who formed the attack formation. The spiritual force in the hand moved and the cold light instantly hit. A faint stream of airflow was covered by the wind and rain, and I saw a cold light passing over it. When I saw that the silver needle was about to enter one of the bodies, I heard only a bang. Watching the ray of light hit the silver needle in the rainy night, and shot her silver needle to the ground. Feng Ju picked up his eyebrows and watched the silver pin being shot down on the ground. Some accidentally evoked the lips. In the next moment, she moved again, and several silver needles attacked again. No accident, the man in the carriage once again shot, and when the airflow hit it, her palm turned over. A slap in the air slammed into the thunder and hit the carriage. The powerful breather caught the wind blade, and the wind and the wind between the wind and the wind were blown to the side and rolled straight to the carriage. The unicorn horse in front of the carriage was panicked and raised his head and screamed. The carriage was shaken by the panic of the horse. The two riders riding the carriage quickly tightened the rope. At this time, 
a gust of air in the carriage came out and pressed the singer back to the ground. At the same time, it also stabilized the wobbler. Seeing that the carriage was pressed back, there was a ray of light in the eyes of Feng Zhu. The light flashed in her hand, and a sword slammed out and slammed into the two beasts that pulled the carriage. Horse! The other side saw Feng Zhu's shot, and he also blocked the attack. He even solved the attack of Feng Zhu. The two stood alone under the eaves, and one sat in the carriage, and they handed over one after another. Call out! Boom! The fierce airflow sounded through the rain at night, and the two airflows slammed together, making a loud bang, a powerful airflow swaying like a water pattern, and a mixture of two breaths hitting the two people who were fighting. Okay. Puff. The airflow was shot down on Qi Kong and others and those riding the guards. The two men who were in the hands were instantly smashed. The strength of Qi Kong and others was strong, and they quickly stabilized their postures, and the strength of the other party was not as good as Qi Kong and others. In the case of a patch, some of them bleed out blood, some snorted, and some fell to the ground. Looking at this scene, Feng Juyi lost his hand behind him and raised it with one hand, indicating that Qi Kong and others had retreated to the side. The other person's person also retired at that moment, and came to the black horse car to watch, waiting for the instructions in the carriage. The sullen eyes of the Shura King sitting inside swept away, the cold eyes passed over Qi Kong and others, and finally fell on Feng Zhu. His figure moved, and he plucked like a ghost, and reached out to Feng Zhuyi. Looking at the smear of the body, Feng Zhu's lips sneered. The other party is on the level, and her strength has not fully recovered yet. It can be said that the real action will be a short distance. When they just played, the two seem to be indivisible. If they fight again, they may lose. It's her. However, she did not want to fight directly with the other party. Therefore, when she saw that the figure was actually attacking her directly, her lips moved and a cold voice came out from the mouth. Fire Phoenix! As her voice fell, a slamming flame slammed out, and the speed was so fast that the riders around could not see what it was. Only when the black shadow that swept out saw the flame, his eyes narrowed and seemed to be trying to avoid it. But who knows, the flames of the wings spread, and they screamed and swooped down towards him. Call. Call out. Boom. The man struggled to resist with his own strength. The strong breath of his body was in the collision with the phoenix's airflow. The two forces were competing, the airflow rushed to the sides, and the man was slammed back by the phoenix's airflow until he when the body couldn't bear the powerful ancient pressure and the airflow, it was finally blown out. Puff! A blood spurted out of the population, and the robes on the chest were burned out of the holes by the flames of the fire phoenix. The scent of burning burned in the air. The man snorted and seemed to suffer tremendous pain. The figure turned in midair and quickly stabilized when it was about to land. However, after standing, it swayed again, as if it were going to fall down at any time. The fire phoenix did not give him the time to gasp, the strong and powerful wings, with the flames once again attacked, and its ancient pressure was released, those riding guards were pale and bent, even the spirit beasts also screamed, and the four hooves did not dare to move. Go! The King Shura snorted and threw a hand between the hands. The next moment, the squadrons, who were shocked and unable to move, instantly turned into a ray of light and flew into the scroll thrown by the Shura King, along with the King of Shura. The robes of the robes, he himself was quickly passed away and disappeared into the air. The attack of the Phoenix Phoenix hit an empty space. It patted its wings and retracted. The light flashed and turned into a small bird on the shoulder of Feng Zhu. Master, let them escape. Feng Zhu looked at the rainy night and said, The man is good in strength and has a life-saving baby in his body. He wants to kill him. It is not easy. She said, slightly looking at the fire and Phoenix smiled, Your strength is improved. Outside, Feng Zhu and Huo Feng were talking, Qi Kong and others had gone to the side and in the corner of the inside, the woman who shrank into a group was shocked to look outside, 
watching the fire phoenix, watching Feng Zhu, for a long time, it's slow to come. Feng Zhu looked at Qi Kong and others and saw that there was no injury on them. This is the way, go in. Then he turned and walked inside. Du Fan smiled and looked at the black beast and the black carriage that were still squatting in the rainy night. He said, those people escaped, these one-horned beasts are thrown away, let alone it seems that it is a bit wasteful. Ha 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 ha, rushed into the city to sell it. You can make a lot of money. Luo Yu said, the moment will go to the rain. I will help. The grey wolf said, and he followed the stalking horse that was lying on the ground. Seeing that Feng Zhu came in, Xian Yuan Mo's extended his hand. Feng Zhu saw this smile and reached out and took his hand to sit next to him. The monk on the side saw it and whispered, Amitabha. Then he hangs down the heart of the meditation. How? Xian Yuan Moser asked. Although it is a word that has no head and tail, Feng Zhu knows what he means, saying, the strength is very strong, and the exercises are very strange. I estimate that even if they are in harmony with him, it is hard to compete. She sounded a meal and said, just, let him escape this time, it is estimated that we have another enemy. Her intention is to let the fire phoenix come out to give him a fatal blow, to the end, who knows the last still let him escape. It's fine, be careful in the future, he said slowly. This night, the rain has been going down, and somewhere far away, the king of Shura is wandering in the rainy night. The cyclists were propped up by the body cloak for the Shura king sitting under the tree to cover the rain, but the rain was too big, the rain dripped through the cloak, still dripping on his head and face. On the mask. I couldn't see his face, but he could see his red-haired hair different from ordinary people, and a pair of cold eyes, where his chest was burnt, at this time, in the rain. On the top, the charred smell has dissipated, and only a piece of charred flesh is shocking. Master, put some medicine on the wound. A squadron said with courage, but who knows, his words came out, and he was blown out by a stream of air and fell heavily on the mountain road. The king of Shura was sullenly glanced, watching the squadron who was caught flying and squatting on the ground. The gloomy voice passed through the suffocating voice, this injury is the shame of this lord. Ben will keep it, remind me of the moment. Be yourself. Listening to these words, those riders did not dare to say anything about medicine, but one person hesitated, said, Master, what are those people in the end? How strong is the strength? And the firebird, that is the ancient gods and beasts. When the king Shura heard this, his gloomy eyes crossed a cold light and said, with the ancient sacred beasts, the man should be the ghost doctor and the phoenix. Ghost doctor Feng Zhu? The riders are facing each other. They have never heard of this person. However, listening to the owner's words, it seems that this ghost doctor Feng Zhu is very powerful and famous. King Shura did not say anything more to them, just staring at the direction of the broken temple in front. Ghost Dr. Feng Zhu, he did not expect that the woman who was regarded as a legend in various regions will appear here. I thought that there was no monarch in this area, and I thought that she appeared here. For a time, the smell of his body became colder. This area has long been regarded by him as a bag of things. If anyone dares to hit its idea, he will not let him go. And the ghost Dr. Feng Zhu, the woman, not only has a strong strength and shocked the heavenly face of the heavenly person, but also a legendary figure in various places, if it is, he. When the thoughts in my heart crossed in my mind, a dazzling lightning flashed across the sky, and then, a loud bang, a thunder slammed from the sky, and shot down at an unpredictable speed. The big tree where the king of Shura was sitting. Boom! The thunder came too fast and no one responded quickly. So, all the people under the tree, a face of a slap in the face of a thunder. Hey! The big tree was smashed in half, and the flames burned. The people finally stopped at this moment and quickly avoided them. However, at this time they had been stunned by the thunder and they were embarrassed. They stood by the mountain roads one by one, 
watching the flames burning in the rain, and not even being smashed by the rain, all of them were paralyzed. With their cultivation as their strength, they were thundered by the thunder on this rainy day. They watched carefully toward their masters, and when they saw the breath on him, they only felt that one heart was smashed by one hand and could not breathe. In particular, they saw his red hair on the hair. The firecrackers, the smell of the scorching smell of the silk, let them fear in their hearts. Going forward, the master smashed the fire, they didn't have that daring, but they watched the small fire burning his hair. They were also extremely fearful. Fortunately, but for a long time, they saw him raise his hand and make the little hair. The flames were pinched out, which made them secretly relieved. This rain has been going down, there is no place to cover the rain before and after, the riders can only bear the feeling of guilty and come forward to stop the rain for their masters. At this time, the suffocating sigh of Shura, the kind of violent breath makes him the people around me don't dare to breathe. I can only hope that this rain will stop as soon as possible. However, the rain continued until the next morning, and it gradually stopped. In the ruined temple, Fengju and his entourage watched the rain stop and walked out. After the rain, the sky was exceptionally blue, and the air was very fresh. Fengju looked at the beasts who were tied together and could not help but smile. The master, is it necessary to continue? Du Fan asked, already sitting in the black carriage, ready to sell the carriage with them. After all, these can be regarded as their spoils. Well, let's go. Riding the beast horse, sitting in the carriage, speeding up the foot. Feng Ji smiled and let them all pick each other, and when they turned around, they said to the monk, Master, you are in the carriage. The monk looked at the black carriage and whispered, Amitabha, the poor walks. After the words were finished, they were interrupted by Feng Ju. Masters, monks should be eclectic. Listening to this, the monk is not good to say anything, just after watching Feng Juyi's eyes, this is the way, Amitabha, the poor is obeying the donor arrangement. Then he went to the carriage. The resentment and arrogance around the carriage drove away from the departure of King Shura. However, in the eyes of the monk, the carriage was still stained with blood. Xian Yu and Mo's got on the carriage, Bai Ching Cheng and King Sun both took the children up. They also picked a spirit beast and rode. When everyone was ready, the woman who was in the corner walked from behind. I came out and looked at them. I seemed to want to follow but I didn't dare to follow them. Your injury is almost gone, leave it on your own. Lang Hua glanced at her, paused, and brought out a spirited horse, this mount gives you a ride. The woman looked at the mount, but she turned back with a white face, no, I don't need this, I will go by myself. If you don't know how it came, it's okay to know that those mounts are the guardians of Shura. Where can she ride? God knows if it will cause trouble because of this mount, and the person of the Shura king is eyeing. Seeing this, Langwa just smiled gently and took the spirit beast back to the line, and the group went on. The woman watched them leave, hesitated, and then went in the other direction. After a day, the group of people entered the city. As soon as they entered the city, they felt that some of the monks in the city looked at their eyes and looked a little wrong. The look of the eyes looked and looked different, as if they had something they didn't know. How do people in this city stare at us one by one? Although we are very good, but don't stare at it like this. The grey wolf touched the chin pulled the spirit beast and walked, and suddenly opened his mouth. I smiled smugly, I will see that we have brought so many beasts, or do we know that this beast is the king of Shura? Or is the news that the Shura king lost and fled? Du Fan reached for his shoulder and said, You think too much. The voice rang, his eyes glanced around and said, But I have to be careful, I think their eyes are not good. It used to be the same thing. Now there are two little masters. Be careful and do something. You two and I took these spirits and horses to the auction building for auction. Du Fan said, looking at the Grey Wolf and El Yu Yun. Well, let's talk to the master and let them go to the inn to rest first. Let's go back and just go. 
Liu Yun said, bringing Qi Kang's rope tied in their hands. I will go and talk. Du Fan stepped forward and came to Feng Ju to tell them about them before they took the carriage. At this time, the monk on the dark horse car took the curtain and walked down. He said to Du Fan, the donor, it is enough to go to the baron here. He said, he came to the Feng Ju carriage and said, the poor want to go to the city to visit the old friend, they will not live with the donors. I don't know how long the donor intends to stay here. When the poor come to find you meet. Yes. Listening to this, Feng Ju in the carriage picked up the curtain and threw a jade card to him. He smiled and said, Master, I will inform you later. Okay. The monk said, and he took a hand to her with a folded hand, and then he left. Go. Go and pull the carriage, don't keep it. Feng Ju said, let go of the curtain and let Lenghua continue to look for the inn to stay. After watching them leave, Du Fan said to the Grey Wolf two people, walk away. Auction these things, we go around the city and buy something to go back. Then I will buy some bars. Look at what is good to drink a little spirit, there is not much wine in my space, buy some. The Grey Wolf said, pulling the rope to drive the spirits and horses forward go and say, where is this auction? We have to ask someone to ask. I just asked, there is still some distance from this, you come with me. Liu Yun said, and took them forward. The three of them drove thirty of the beasts, and the latter drove in the carriage and walked on the street. It was almost impossible to say that the people around them automatically gave them away, and they looked at each other with a strange look. They. Watching the three of them go to the auction house, several of the roadside people looked at each other in the tea drinking and asked, Is these people? Through such a large group of beasts and horses so dazzling, they must be right. Another person said, his eyes were also staring at the front, the dark eyes of the eyes seems to be playing an idea. When Du Fan brought the spirited horses to the auction house, the middle-aged man who received the reception looked cold and sweaty and watched the spirit beasts swallow. How? Don't you? Du Fan looked at him with a brow. This one. He looked at the beasts and finally bite his teeth, several wait, I will let us take care of the big things. Then he turned and walked inside. When he got inside, the middle-aged man found a man who was a little older than him. He said, the big manager, a few people came outside. They pulled some spirit beasts in a black carriage and said they wanted to sell them. We, you see this. When I heard this, the big manager who was talking to the two old people paused and asked, is it outside? It looks like it's right, so I don't dare to accept it. The matter said, pressing down the voice. The two old men who were drinking tea heard this and looked at each other. One of them smiled and said, I am curious. Is there anything that your auction house can't accept? Yes. Let's listen. Another old man said. It's said that the big manager said, there are a few things to sell outside, but the things they sell are a bit tricky, and they can be said to be a hot potato. What kind of hot potato? How to listen to what you said is so tricky. There are rumors. The old man asked. You don't know. This time it was a big deal. He looked at them and said, these heavens are all passed down. King Shuram met some very powerful people in a temple, not only injured. Not to mention, but also fleeing, and even the mounts are not allowed to go, so the outside people pull the spirit beast into the city. The people in the city are guessing whether it is the person who uploaded the road. Listening to this, the two looked at each other with a strange look. One of them asked, who is so powerful? Are those outside? It seems that it is wrong, but... His words were not finished, and the middle-aged man next to him pulled him. It seemed to remind him that the people outside were still waiting. I will go and see, I will come back later. He was about to leave. The two old men also stood up and smiled. We also went out to see. So, several people went out together. Du Fan was waiting for impatientness. 
he saw a few people coming in and saw the few people staring at each other's eyes and looking at them. The grey wolf went forward and asked, How? Can't you accept it? We can find the next one. He he he. The big manager smiled and said, These things are estimated to be in addition to us, no one dares to take it. He smiled and said to the side, Let the people below take the spirit beasts and estimate the price. I will talk to these sons and give them money. Yes. That should be the case, this will let the hand down the hand to bring the spirit beast horse and carriage to the side to check the valuation. Several people, please have a cup of tea inside. The big manager said, making a gesture of asking. When Du Fan saw this, they turned to the grey wolf and they stepped inside. It didn't take long for him to sit inside, and the grey wolf asked. What do you mean by that? What is it that no one dares to take it here? Do you know where our things come from? The big manager smiled and said, Nature knows. Seeing this, Du Fan smiled. It seems that the backstage of this auction house is also very hard. How many people know, how did you pass you on the road recently? The big manager said, his eyes fell on them. Du Fan smiled. It doesn't matter how it is transmitted, because we don't care. Listening to this self-confidence, the eyes of the big manager flashed, you are very confident. In this case, I will not say much. The two old people on the side heard this and couldn't help but glance at the big manager. They looked at each other and one of them couldn't help but ask, you really played against the Shura King? It is said that they lost their helmets and fled, is it true? If it is not true, these things will not be here. Grey Wolf grinned and took a piece of cake on the table and ate a piece, saying, You dare to take over these things, it seems to be courageous. Nice. A few people just listened and just said nothing. The power of this continent is not only the power of Shura Wang, but they dare to take it. Naturally, there is also a certain back office force. If there are other things in the future, you can get us here. The big manager said to a few people, just to say something else, I saw a white-haired old man coming in and coming in. When I saw the old man, the big manager had a smudged look in his eyes and quickly stood up and gave a gift, Lin Old. I have seen Lin Lao. The two old men on the side also quickly stood up for a ceremony, which was more restrained by the appearance of the old man than before. Okay. The old man should have a voice, but did not go to see them, but his eyes fell on Du Fan's people, the look of the eyes with the look and look, there is an obvious superior position. To the face of the face, Du Fan also looked at him, his heart was a bit strange, because the atmosphere of this old man is very unfathomable, giving them a very dangerous feeling. You step back. He waved and let the three people on the side retreat. Listening to this, the big manager and the two men looked at each other, and this responded with a cry, yes. Then he respectfully retired. Seeing this, Du Fan picked up his eyebrows and said to the big manager who had gone outside, let the checkout be faster, we don't have much time to wait here. Several people are under the ghost doctors. The old man asked, looking at them, not waiting for them to speak, they said, several people are here, want to come? Ghost doctors are here. When Yan, the grey wolf touched the chin, L. Yu Yun looked as usual, Du Fan smashed his robes and stood up, two people said to the grey wolf, go. Go collecting. Perhaps it was seen that it was ignored, and the old man's face sank. He blinked his eyes and watched them leave, and did not keep up. However, when they went out to collect the account and left the auction house, the old man who was holding hands also stepped out and gathered a breath of breath and followed them. Du Fan three people took the money to sell things into the wine shop, after buying some income space inside, the three turned into an alley. The old followers saw that they turned into the alley and followed them. However, after entering, they felt a feeling of being surrounded, and the back was a chill, and he immediately became turning around. I saw the grey wolf grinning and smiling with a bad smile. Hey, I still think about who eats the bare-hearted leopard and dare to follow us. I didn't expect it to be you. 
he squatted his fists and screamed, making a squeaking sound, step by step. L. Yu Yun was on the wall of the alley, watching the old man surrounded by the middle of the body, the spirit of the surging, seems to have been ready to do so at any time. The fan in Du Fan's hand slammed open, and there was a fan of the wind. The smiling smile on the face looked at the old man and said, What do you want to do? The old man looked at Du Fan and thought that although he was laughing, it made people feel guilty, and the breath of one seems to have been released if there was no such thing as it was, which was different from the previous one in the auction house. Is this the real strength and the momentum that they have? The pace could not help but step back and watch them with vigilance. Since it is followed, it is better to tell us how you know the ghost doctor. Du Fan lightly fanned his hand and stepped forward step by step. The things they have come to hear seem to have spread quietly. These people guessed their identity as soon as they saw them. This is really strange to him. This continent is not ignorant of other areas outside? Where did you hear about their news? The old man looked at the situation wrong, the palm of his hand turned, a transmission shaft was in his hand, but he had not waited for him to open. The man with the fan in front and smiling and friendly had already come to him, and a fierce attack came. Let him not consider other things can only be self-defense. The Grey Wolf and Lu Yun kept watching in the same place. When they saw the two men fighting, the atmosphere in the alley was filled with openness. They looked at each other and the grey wolf walked toward the alley. L. Yu Yun still stared at the wall of the alley. Because of their fighting, the improvement of combat power, the fluctuation of energy and gas, the spread of the strong atmosphere, so that some nearby monks are aware of coming to this side, intend to see what. The grey wolf leaned against the chest at both sides of the chest and saw two monks coming to this side. He reached out with a hand, there is a private matter inside, you don't join in the fun. The two monks were stopped by him, and his eyes glanced at him, and he did not speak loudly for a while. Not far behind, some monks looked at the grey wolf, and while they were squatting with the people around them, after a while, the ten monks walked over and laughed when they were not close. This alley is not yours. Why not let us get close? The voice fell, and the two monks who were stopped were said, This person is a foreigner, a city that has just entered the morning. The implication is that this person is a foreigner. There is no background force here. Even if he is shot, there is nothing to worry about. However, in the morning, I saw you holding a lot of good things to the auction house. I want to come to you on the subject. The monks said, staring at the grey wolf in a careless manner. Listening to this, the grey wolf touched the chin, I have a lot of treasures, but what about this? When the two monks heard it, they saw a greed in their eyes. They seemed to turn and leave. However, at the moment of turning, there were several hidden weapons in their hands. Hey! Hey! This is forcing me to do it. In this case, the uncle will be all you. Grey wolf smiled, the next moment, the figure flashed, and instantly plucked out. The two saw the black figure passing in front of them, and then they felt that the bones and muscles of the body were twisted and broken, and they screamed, and they swung in front of them. The dozens of monks looked pale in the face. I saw that the two monks were twisted into a circle and tied together. The two men's bodies were all arched back, only the abdomen was attached to the ground, their hands and feet were twisted and tied. No ropes were used, but they were born. Tie them together and tie them together. Listening to the screams of the two men, their foreheads could not help but sweat, and the pace could not help but back. Want to go? The grey wolf clapped his hands and twisted his shoulders. He walked over to the dozens of people, Don't you want to see my baby? Come on. He reached out and made a hook at them. Actions. Miss Under. Misunderstanding, misunderstanding. The monks said quickly, and the voice could not stop shaking. He he he, you misunderstood me without misunderstanding. Grey Wolf grinned, I can easily move my hands and feet, how can I let you run? He stopped and looked at him with his hands around his chest, 
Do you want to come over yourself? Or am I going? When a dozen people listened to this, they immediately turned and ran, but who knows, they tried to them from behind, and all slammed into the corner. What? Hiss. One by one, they screamed, but they didn't stand up and saw the black figure rushing forward, tied them up and twisted them together and threw them aside. For a time, I only heard the screams screaming so that the hearts of the people who heard them could not help but feel a chill from the bottom of their feet. In particular, this is not in the alley, but in the alley, and many people on the street outside have seen this scene, but no one dares to go forward. The grey wolf searched the things on them, and then they snorted and lifted their feet and slammed them, go. If you have the next time, take your life directly. The hands and feet of those people were twisted and tied together, and he was rolled to the corner of the road. After struggling for a long time, he could not make a profit. He could only stop crying for help. When the grey wolf packed up these people, in the alley, the old man had been hanged up and pulled by El Yuyun on the wall of the alley. The fan in Du Fan's hand gently patted the chest and fanned the wind, looking at the old man with blood in his mouth and pale face, laughing, Now, you still can't say. The old man gasped and his hands fell weakly. He was obviously broken. He was white-faced, and there was no panic in his eyes. Some of them were just suffocating, do you dare to do this to me? Isn't it afraid of the revenge behind us? Du Fan smiled and smiled at his face, since you all know that our master is a ghost doctor, you should have heard of her name. Do you think we will fear the power behind you? Even if the name of the ghost doctor is louder, you should also know that this is not the area where you are located. Oh. You know, the strong dragon is hard to suppress the snake. Even if your strength is stronger, even if your master is a ghost doctor, you dare to be against us, and ultimately it is difficult to live away from this continent. Listening to the old man's words, the grey wolf is a heavy punch on his abdomen, old things, you are really too slow to die. A boxing fell, a slamming sound, the old man's mouth overflowed with blood again. Du Fan looked at the old man because of the hanging, the blood in addition to overflowing from the mouth, the nose also shed blood, but the old man did not have half fear, it seems to have been dead. Seeing this, his gaze flashed. The strength of this old man can be regarded as a hegemony. In the auction house, it seems to be a figure of elders. For people like him, maybe death is not terrible. I want to ask something from a population who is not afraid of death. That is a bit difficult. It doesn't mean that there is no way to ask. After all, in addition to their means of torture, there is also a kind of medicinal medicine that can be used to tell the truth. However, the remedy for this kind of will. In fact, the effect is not very large. After thinking about it, he waved his hand and said, forget it, let him go. L. Yu Yun didn't say anything, but the grey wolf blinked, let's put it. Just let him go. Well, let go. Du Fan's fan gently fanned the wind and looked at the old man who was tortured enough. He said, I also gave him a lesson, let it go. If it is killing, it is estimated that they do not want to be safe here. Although they only cross the road, he does not want these small troubles to disturb the master. The grey wolf wanted to say something more, but seeing that El Yuyun had put people down, this did not open again. Let's go. Said the trio, walking towards the alley. However, what they didn't expect was that the old man actually sneered, and the sound of the yin test came out from the mouth that was overflowing with blood. Are you afraid? Unfortunately, it is too late. Listening to this, Du Fan picked his eyebrow and looked back at him. The grey wolf looked back at the old man with a black face and said, The old man, it seems that you really don't want to live. They all spared his life, and he dared to provoke them again and again. I really don't know him. What is An's mind? Do you want to catch it back? L. Yu Yun looked at Du Fan. He feels that this old man is also a scourge here. Who knows what he will do when he turns his head? Du Fan shook his head and said, 
go. Don't worry about him. He walked outside the alley, and the Grey Wolf and El Yu Yun saw it, and they didn't say anything more, just left with him. On the street outside, the Grey Wolf couldn't help but ask, Du Fan, why should you let him go? Isn't it a hundred killing him? Du Fan smiled and said, After all, he has not made any actual threats. If we kill him, then it will become unreasonable. Today, he follows us. We have to pack him a lesson. If he still wants to commit another crime, then he will kill him. Listening to his fluttering sentences to kill, but it is to let the grey wolf face open smile, he likes this clean and neat practice, the road has been given, just look at the old man's own choice, but, look at him the meaning of the words just now, obviously will find the door to die. Well, it seems that he has to sharpen the knife after going back. Not long after the three of them walked, the monk who was heading out of the alley looked carefully inside and looked inside. One of them recognized the identity of the elder of the auction house, and then he could not help but take a breath of air and quickly called on him. The man quickly sent the old man back. The elders of the auction house were violently ruined. As soon as the news spread, the faces of the entire auction house were white. After Du Fan came to the inn, the other two went to rest first, and Du Fan came to Feng Zhu's room and reported the matter. Well, you have done a good job. Feng nodded nine times and said, the first thing to do is to make a mistake. Du Fan smiled and said, just like this, I guess we will not be too peaceful on the road, and I am afraid that the two little masters will be shocked. Their courage will not be so small. Feng Ji smiled and said, you also go to rest. They should not do it here, and they should not be too nervous. Yes. Du Fan responded, and this was done after a ritual. Sitting in the inner room, Xian Yuan Mo's licked his knees. He stood up and walked a few steps. He lifted his leg and kicked it. He felt that there was still some lack of strength. He walked a few steps and felt a little sour. He came to the table. Sit down and rest. Is it still powerless? Feng Zhu asked. Some acid, there is a lack of strength. Xian Yuan Moser said, while holding the acupuncture points on the knee. Feng Ji thought for a moment and said, if this is the case, then you can only find the tiger bones to get the medicine. Her heart is dark, only this tiger bone is not easy to find, if it is not stiff with this auction house, you can find it through the auction house. At this moment, you can only find another way. She stood up and said, these days have been on the road, there is no medicinal bath to give you a bubble, soak up a syrup bath tonight. I am now ready to go. Then, go outside called Fan Lin and Qin Xian, let them prepare. Xian Yuan Mo's in the room saw her and arranged the two together. When she came back, she asked, do you want to make them a pair? Feng Juyi smiled and said, they are very good at both, and I also watched that the two of them were interested in pulling them, and they couldn't be considered as a pair. It can only be said that they are pushing the boat. She is a close relative, with Mo's accompanied, and a pair of lovely children, but the people around her are still single, as their master, if there is a suitable, naturally hope they can find their own happiness. The thing to prepare for the evening medicinal bath was not so fast. Feng Ju first helped Xian Yuan Mo's to tie the silver needle again, and then said, the two children let them hug and play, I went to see, you go to bed first. Yes, I will come back later. Yet. Yeah. Xian Yuan Mo's should have a voice, feel the heat of the legs and numb then go to bed for a while. Everyone else was playing with two children in the cold room. When they saw Feng Ju come in, they gave him a ceremony and called out, the master. Don't cry. Feng Juxiao asked, looking at the two children they were holding. No, the two little masters are very embarrassed. Wen Yan, Feng Ju nodded and looked at Qi Kong, said, Qi Kong, you come here, I have something to tell you. She said as she came to the table and sat down. Everyone in the room looked at each other and their eyes fell on Qi Kong. When Qi Kong saw this, 
he stepped forward and came to the table and asked, what is the master's responsibility to give to his subordinates? I need tiger bones, but this thing is hard to find, so I want you to go out and find out, there is such a thing in this city. Feng Ju said while pouring a cup of tea and drinking. Listening to this, Qi Kong said, yes, let's go and ask now. For the precious things like tiger bones, it can be said that you can find out with a little inquiries. After all, the family in this city is just like that. It is not difficult for someone who wants to know the news. Therefore, in the evening, Chi Kong returned to the inn. Master, this tiger bone is only there at the auction house. I heard that it was just started some time ago. However, there are several people who want to buy the tiger bone from the auction house. However, the auction house seems to have no intention of putting it. Brought to the auction. Listening to Chi Kang's words, Feng Ju slightly nodded, tiger bones are the adult's double-footed northwestern tiger's rear tendons to be air-dried, because the adult double-footed northwest tiger is hard to find, so it's tiger bones very precious, they are not willing to come out and auction it is normal. Feng Ju said with a slow voice, holding the chin in one hand and playing with the teacup in one hand, thinking about it. Seeing this, Chi Kong said, since he does not dare to sell, it is better to go to the auction house in the evening. In addition to the strength of the bones and bones, the tiger bones can be enhanced by the refining of the alchemy. The veins, perhaps because of this, the auction house is not willing to take out the auction. If the tiger bones are combined with other spiritual medicines to make Dan re-auction, the price will increase a lot. No, I just have to go there at night. Feng Ju said, waving his hand to let him back. When the sky was getting dark, she asked Fan Lin to prepare the medicinal bath for Xian Yuan Mo's, and told them to take care of the two children, and then they went to the auction house in the night. At this time in the auction house, a piece of dignified color, the air is filled with repression, so that the people underneath do not dare to breathe. The elders of their auction house were actually seriously injured and carried back. It was like a thunderstorm for them, and they were so pale. When the big manager was waiting in front of the elder's bed, he did not dare to have a trace of omissions. Outside the door, he still waited for the upper management of more than a dozen auctions. They looked at the closed room and their hearts were heavy. The elders are wounded like this. If they blame it, would they have to suffer? After the elders were sent back, the big manager had already sent the news to the first time. At the moment, there is still no one to deal with it. They are waiting here and waiting to be flustered. I don't know what to do. I'm coming. A manager hurriedly rushed in and shouted. After he stepped on the yard, he came to other people to stand. Others heard his words and quickly stood up and looked at the courtyard. I saw two old men in grey robes walking in from the outside, and behind them, followed by eight introverted monks, as soon as they walked in, the atmosphere of the whole yard seemed to be a powerful pressure the breath shrouded, letting them involuntarily bow their heads and dare not look straight. After hearing the words outside, the insiders quickly came out to meet each other. When they saw the two old men, he stooped forward and respectfully bowed to the two men. Then he gestured and asked the two to enter. The eight monks who followed did not follow up. They just stood in the courtyard and watched the door closed, blocking the sight in the room, and they recovered their gaze. The two old men who entered the room, when they saw the person lying on the bed, their face sank instantly. One of the old men went to check him for a look. His face was gloomy and ugly. The old man next to him saw him and asked, How is it hurt? The hands and muscles are twisted off, it is not easy to recover, and the body is subjected to extremely serious internal injuries. Even if there is a top-grade medicinal medicine, it has to be nursed for one month before going out of bed. The old man who knows the doctor said, watching the bed lying the person who is asking, asks, who is hurting you like this? Feng Ju, the ghost doctor Feng Ju. The old man on the bed bit his teeth and said the name in a word. When I heard this, the faces of the two people changed, ghost Dr. Feng Ju. You said that Feng Ju? 
Is it Feng Ju injured? It's not that she hurts me, but it's the person under her hand. The old man gasped and said, maybe it was a floating of thoughts. He had a cold sweat on his forehead again, and he coughed twice with shortness of breath. The old man who knows the doctor sees it, turns the palm of his hand, takes out a medicinal herb and gives it to his mouth. He said, you are not hurt, don't be angry, let's nurse it first. We will report it to the Lord. Now they are in this city, don't let them escape. The old man said, and he lowered his eyes and closed his eyes and said, this hatred must be reported. The two went out and signaled that the big management had followed. After coming out, the two old men looked at the big manager and said, what the is this? You tell us in detail. The big manager did not dare to conceal, and quickly told Du Fan and others to pull the beast and the carriage to the auction house and tell them, and finally how the elders were carried back to the truth. You mean, they have already handed over the king of Shura, and the people of Shura are still defeated in the hands of Feng Ju? One of the old men asked, and there was horror in his eyes. The big manager nodded and said, Yes, I heard that it was awkward to lose, and there is news on the road. The king of Shura has ordered the killing. They estimate that this road will not be too calm. The other person was silent for a while and said, According to the news we got, this ghost Dr. Feng Ju went to this mainland for the ancient Jinlian, and I heard that the ancient Jinlian had already been succeeded by her, then she should leave this continent. Yes, how come you will come here? This is not clear, let us inquire, and did not hear the news. He said, he quickly said, however, the elders were brought back after being injured, I sent people to inquire and learn that they live in the city. An inn has been sent to stare. They are negotiating in the hospital, but I don't know that Feng Ju has quietly sneaked into the auction house, broke the defense settings of their auction houses, and came to the underground warehouse where they piled up auction items. Looking at the things placed in the storeroom, she raised her eyebrows with some surprises. She didn't think that there were so many treasures in the auction house that was not so eye-catching. She rummaged through it and didn't take anything else because her goal was only the tiger bones. However, I couldn't find the tiger bones when I found out about a column of incense. She stopped and swept through the places that had not been rummaged. Finally, her eyes fell on a long black box on the second shelf in the corner. Going forward and taking off and opening it, I couldn't help but show a smile. It seems that this trip will not be empty-handed. When he was about to leave, he heard the voice coming from outside. So, if one of his hands is not good, will he hang down in the future? This is the voice of an old man. Well, he was injured in the veins, and the veins on his arms were broken. It was not cured by ordinary medicine. However, according to the big manager, the auction house had not taken the tiger bones some time ago. If the bones are used to refine the medicinal herbs, it should be possible to restore his hands to the original. Another person whispered. In the storeroom, listening to the sound getting closer and closer, Feng Ju's eyes flashed slightly, and when the door of the storehouse was pushed open, she fled into the space. The warehouse door was pushed open, and the two old men came in and were still talking. This ghost Dr. Feng Ju is so powerful, if the Lord is on her face, will it also suffer like the Shura King? I listened to the Lord last time. The Feng Ju has regressed since the war. It has been more than a year now. The strength of the Shura King is not weak. I estimate that he is too big. Only then will the story of Feng Ju, if the Lord and Shura King join hands to deal with her, the results are different. That said, but I always have some unreliable. After all, the name of Feng Ju is too loud. There are so many people who have lost in her hands, and now Jinlian is in her hands, wanting to get those from her hands. It is really some. You are a worrying person. We have been with the Lord for so long. You should know that the strength of the Lord may not be worse than that of Feng Ju. What's more, we have already reported things back just waiting for the Lord to order, right now. I have to wait. The two said, and when they came to the inside of the frame, 
they saw the long box that should be placed on this frame. At this time, they were not here, and they could not help but look at each other. The big thing was that the tiger bones were placed in a black long box on this shelf. The old man who knew the medicine asked, looking at the old man around him. The old man next to him said with a beard, Well, I just said this place. We have been here in this warehouse. So when he wants to bring us over, I also signal that he does not have to follow it. After all, it is such a big place. Can you still find it? But at this moment, where is the thing? Is it the place where he remembered the mistake? The old man who knew the doctor looked around and looked around and found nothing to seal the tiger's bones. The old man next to him glanced at it, and this calm voice called, the big deal. When he heard the call from the outside manager, he quickly turned his head and bowed his head to the front of the two people. He was bowing his hand and listening to the voice of the inquiry. What about the tiger bone? Isn't it here? Why didn't you see it? The old man asked. Listening to this, the big manager took a look and looked up, the tiger bones are placed here. When the words came out, the eyes had already seen nothing on the empty space, and could not help but stay, how can I not see? Ming Ming is here, I also came in and counted it once yesterday, and things are clearly placed here. But this thing is obviously not here right now. The old man frowned and said, is it somewhere else? He didn't think that someone would come in and steal it, because the other things in it are still there, more precious than the tiger bones. I didn't lose anything, but I lost my tiger bones alone, so the first thing I thought was that I might have gone somewhere else. This, this is impossible. The valuables of our auction house are all here. The big manager said with a cold sweat, and looked around anxiously, but did not find it. Is that someone sneaked in? The old man said, his eyes suddenly became fierce. This is even more impossible. In addition to being guarded inside and outside, this warehouse is full of organs. It is impossible for anyone to open the institution. The big manager said, the more white the face. This thing is not lost, it is not stolen, it can only be regarded as he did not get it. If it is still the same thing, but now you need to use the tiger bone to treat the elder, but it is gone. The drug was quoted, and when he was sinned, this sin was not something he could afford. Looking at the warehouse in this eye, the old man frowned slightly and said, hurry up. If you can't find other places to see if there is any, send it as soon as possible, so as not to delay the timing of treatment. Yes. The big manager quickly responded, watching them go out and then they looked back and finally left. After they left, Feng Zhu in the space appeared quietly. Thinking of their words, her eyes flashed. I did not expect that people from this continent have already heard about their news, and they are still ready to do something for her. I want to grab the ancient Jinlian. Or is it to borrow her top name to be famous in all walks of life? The strength plummeted. Ah! Can she be trampled on her strength? If there is such a person who does not know how to live and die, she does not mind the activities of the hands and feet, let them know her means. In the cold twilight, I took a cold touch, but I didn't intend to take the treasure room of this room, but now. The good-looking lips twitched slightly, revealing a smile of evil spirits. Since they all stared at her, she wouldn't take it without taking it and she would have collected all the inventory of this room. The mind was moved, the sleeves were glimpsed, and the treasures in it were all taken into her space. She quietly left the storeroom, but did not immediately leave the auction house, but gathered a breath of breath in the night, came to a dark place, watching the two former old people sitting in the front hall not far away, a prostitute with a tea is coming here. Her lips are slightly hooked, and her figure sneaks forward, taking care of no one, taking over the tea in the hand of the prostitute. At the same time, she grabbed her mouth with one hand and dragged her to the dark. Not long after, Feng Chu, who had put on the virgin clothes, came out with tea. She gathered her hair with her hand and touched her face. The corner of her mouth rose, 
and she walked forward with a small step. In the hall, one of the old people said, The news that I just received, the Lord will arrive in the middle of the night tonight, let us prepare first, and wait for him to start, so that they can not escape the town. Fengju, who was wearing a prostitute's clothes, lowered his head and put one of the teas on one of them. Then he picked up the tray and came to the other person's side, and put another cup of tea on the table. When the tray was about to be retracted, the old man who took a sip of tea and looked at it with tea, then looked at the prostitute, Is this tea your bubble? Yes. Feng Juta did not lift, but only slightly curved knees. What's wrong? Another old man asked, looking at the old man with a teacup, Can't this tea drink? The sound fell, and the sharp eyes stared at the prostitute in the hall. No, I just think that the taste of this tea is very special, very light, and with the fragrance of bamboo leaves. The old man said, looking at the niece, asked, What tea is this tea? This is bizzling tea. It is made from fresh tea and bamboo leaves before the rain, so there will be fragrance of bamboo leaves. Fengju whispered, with a hint of sputum in his voice, but in his heart it was light. Laughing. She just took the niece and stunned it and dragged it to the corner. By the way, she took two pieces of tender bamboo leaves and put them into the tea to cover up the colorless and odorless medicine. I didn't expect the old man to say that the tea tasted special. Also, the tea that she added, and she personally came forward to serve tea for two people, can it be bad? Go and take this tea for me. The old man groaned and motioned her to retreat. Yes. Feng Ju should, after the slight bend of the knee, this will retreat. When turning out of the outside, the lips are slightly hooked, and my heart is dark, I am afraid, after you drank once, you don't want to drink another time. It is. She went to the backyard and when she arrived at the no man's place, she threw the tea tray aside and reached out to the robes on her body, revealing a red dress that she wore inside, and looked back at the front. There was a smile on his face. The next moment, the toes were light and volleyed. Just after she left, she was in a column of incense, and the big manager hurried into the front hall, the two elders, I listened to the guards and said that the niece had come to serve the tea, but the two were drinking. His eager voice was worried, his eyes were anxiously looking at the two people in the hall, and the tea cups that had been left on their hands, looking at the cup and looking at the two old men, he only feeling sinking. When the two heard his words, they couldn't help but look at each other. One of them said, I just had a prostitute who came to worship tea. What happened? The big manager opened his mouth and did not say a word. But the prostitute has a problem? Say. Another old man sipped his voice and frowned. The guards found that there was a prostitute who was stunned by a cloak in the corner of the rockery. The big manager said, and the faces of the two men suddenly changed. This tea. One of the old men looked at the old man who knew the doctor, but the throat was like something, only two words were spoken, and the latter words could not be asked. When the niece came in, they only offered two cups of tea for them. If there is a problem... I am afraid that this problem will come out of this tea. The tea that I just drank didn't have any smell of medicine. The only thing that was there was the fragrance of the bamboo leaves. The old man who knew the doctor said, but, even though he spoke, his face became paler and paler. It is because of that that I know that something is getting worse. He was almost the first time, and when he reached out, he took his own handcuffs. This probed the whole person and sat down in his chair, as if the strength of his body had been pulled away. How? The old man hurriedly asked, and stood up fiercely. But when he suddenly stood up, he only felt the eyes swaying, his hands and feet weak, and the whole person fell down again. In this way, the body of the old man who had not noticed any symptoms had changed at this moment. There was a light smoke on his head and the repair of the body was slowly dissipating. Looking at his own cultivation is slowly dissipating, Rao is the old man to calm down, this time is also exposed shock and fear, his face pale, lips tremble, want to talk, 
but because of incredible cannot speak. Hiss. The big manager saw this scene, and the whole person took a cold breath and sat down on the ground. This, is this a complete repair? The other old man also had a light smoke on his head. He had no struggle, but he whispered like a deadly voice, it turned out to be, so it was. However, at the time of the semi-column, the two old men were repaired and distracted. As they were dissipated, their appearance also changed greatly. The whole person was so old that he would die like a foot in the coffin. People are average. Check. Give me a check. One of the old men opened his mouth, and the hoarse voice was full of gas before it was full. Instead, there was a kind of weakness and powerlessness. As soon as the mouth opened, the teeth loosened and fell from the mouth. The big manager went out and went out, and just stood up outside, his legs were soft, and he fell to the ground. He seems to have seen his own end, it will definitely be more terrible than they are now. Not good, not a big deal. A middle-aged manager ran in a hurry and rushed in. When he came in, he saw the big manager and fell to the ground. He quickly stepped forward and helped him up. He hurriedly said, the big management is not good. Not good. What happened? The big manager stood up by his strength and asked with anger. Isn't there enough on this day? The two elders were all repaired, but they didn't even know who did it. At the moment, what else can be more serious than this? Big management, the tiger bones are gone, I thought about going to the warehouse to find some, but who knows this goes in, but sees that everything in the warehouse is gone. The manager said anxiously, a look the color of fear. The things inside are worthless, not to mention losing everything, that is, if they lose one, they have to eat and walk, but who knows, the baby inside the warehouse is now empty. What, what? The big manager who just stood up felt only black in front of him, and could not bear the impact of this company and fainted. The things in the warehouse were all evacuated. One did not stay. The management said, and quickly asked the big manager to ask, what is the big thing, now? The big manager stayed for a long time, and grasped the management around him with one hand. He murmured, help me to go back to the meeting, wait until the Lord comes up and say, wait until the Lord comes up and say. He is not sure what to do. Send someone to find? Where to find? There is no purpose to find a city full of chaos cannot find anything, now his brain is a mess, but also panic and fear, can only slowly calm down and say. Compared with the chaos here, Feng Zhu quietly avoided the people who stayed outside the inn and returned to the inn's room. As soon as he entered, Xian Yu and Mose sat at the table and looked at the book, while the two children already lying in a small bed and falling asleep. Is it back? Xian Yu and Moser asked, taking out a cup and pouring her a glass of water, can you harvest? Feng Juyi smiled and walked up and put a light voice, yes, the tiger bones are in hand, and they have collected a lot of things. She worried that she woke up two children, so she opened the chair and sat down. At the same time, try not to make a sound. As she said, she took a sip of tea and said, the auction house is going to shoot us, and what of them will come, it is estimated that there will be the Shura King we met last time. So I am thinking, do you want to avoid the limelight? Do you worry about two children? Xian Yu and Moser asked. Well, after all, they are still so small. I am not afraid to fight against those people. I just worry about both children. She sounded a loud voice, gently shaking the teacup in her hand, and said, and the monk is back. Tell me that I will have a disaster this time, so I am worried that I will take care of two children. His words are not credible. Xian Yuan Mo said, drinking tea and drinking, did not think that the monk's words were credible. Feng Juyi smiled and said, he really is a person who has a bit of skill. Although he can't believe it, he can't believe it. She looked at the sky outside and said, there is still some time left in the middle of the night, I will first to make the tiger bones into a remedy for you, but it is not expected to be too flat tonight, 
let them be wary. You enter the space to refine it. Even if someone strikes, it won't bother you. Xian Yuan Mo's said, his eyes moved to two familiar children, saying, As for two children, let them stay here, I will look after them. Wen Yan said that Feng Chu had a slight pause and said, Well, I will try to be as fast as possible. She said, She went out first, confessed to the cold and cold frost, let them confess, and then turned around. The room, flashed into the space. At midnight, the sky came to the mighty people. They passed through the sky and went directly to the auction house. When the group entered the main house of the auction house, the monks waiting in the courtyard were watching. After the one who was headed, I immediately respectfully performed a ceremony. See you on the Lord. The people in the courtyard shouted in unison, bending their heads and bowing their hands and bowing their hands. The head of the person wears a mask. He looks at the people in front of him. The eyebrows under the mask are slightly twisted, and he calmly asks, How come you? Listening to this, everyone looked at each other and did not know how to say it. They just lowered their heads. Seeing this, the big manager took a step forward and shook his voice, On the Lord, the two elders and the two elders have been repaired as a waste. In the air, because of this, it became repressed and sent Han. The main body of the black robes and masks exuded a gloomy and powerful atmosphere, and he reached out to raise the big things in front of him. What did you say? The voice is gloomy and terrible. The big manager who was raised was not afraid to struggle, but he had to tremble and confess the original story to him. Yes, that's it, it's useless, it's a blame, please blame the Lord. He didn't dare to ask for mercy, just plead guilty. Boom! A loud bang rang, and the big man was slammed on the ground by him. He only heard that there was a broken bone, but no one dared to help him, and no one dared to plead for him. The big tube was screaming. He bit his teeth and climbed up. He didn't leave, but he was kneeling on the side of the corner. So, you don't know who counted them? The main voice asked. It's useless. The big manager said with a low head. When the words fall, I feel that the murder is filled with open air. The big pipe is soft, and I slammed into the ground and hurriedly said, On the Lord, although the subordinates can't find out who is doing it, but this city has this ability. I'm afraid that there's only one ghost doctor who is here today. He squatted down on the ground, his forehead against the ground, feeling that the murderousness that shrouded him had retreated a bit and this slowly sighed, saying, it's just that the subordinates are low-powered. To fight the grass, I can only wait for the Lord to come. Feng Ju. The main hand gently turned the big finger of the big finger, and Sen Han's gaze was sharp, all said that the ghost doctor's body, the body of the female body, jumped to be the master of heaven and earth, and was superior to the strong. Above, I have to see if she is as powerful as the rumors. Lord, that Fengju, the city where the people entered, went down and heard that they had two children nearby, and one person was inconvenient to sit in a wheelchair. The big manager who was kneeling on the ground would quickly find out. The news reported that he knew. The Lord's eyes flashed, and the color of Sen Han's eyes passed over the eyes, and the voice was sullen and screamed, Call the people. Surround them. I will meet them personally. Yes. The big manager was busy, and then he climbed up and arranged quickly. In. This is the moment when the night is deep and quiet, the most fragrant sleep, however, Du Fan and others at this time are already dispelling the people in the inn. Let's go. Let's go. The grey wolf groaned, carrying a man and throwing him out of the inn, go to somewhere else, this inn is not to be left tonight. You, you are deceiving too much. A man was rushed out, and he hurriedly and eagerly arranged the messy robe on his body, and roared at the grey wolf, You are a bandit. This big night drives us out, which let us go. Going to rest? It's really messy. Ah, don't yell at me, let me go, let me go. A man was pulled out and pulled out his neck, scaring his face white. 
When Wei Wei's hand was loose, he put him down and glared at him with a sigh of relief, don't you have to say this early. You have to let me ask you to come out, you have to know, we are here. Save you and make a name as if we are bullying you. A middle-aged man came out with a pair of young children. They were also residents of the inn. They were waking up in the middle of the night and rushing to leave the inn. Although they are not big family members, they are also from small families. The middle-aged man was also somewhat unhappy and incomprehensible to the violent behavior of driving the people but not hurting them. However, after hearing the words of Wei Feng, he was slightly moved. This son, what do you mean by this? Do we live in this inn, will it be dangerous? The middle-aged man asked, still polite. When Wei Wei saw it, he glanced at him and said, it doesn't mean that you will be in danger. However, it is estimated that the inn will be surrounded by the inn. Those people are coming to us, but if they move it will inevitably spread to you, so I will drive you away. Listening to this, the middle-aged man's face changed slightly, and he quickly handed a gift, thank you for telling me that we will leave first. He said, he quickly went out with a pair of children, and after they walked out of the inn for more than 10 meters, they saw a team of people coming quickly and surrounded the inn. The middle-aged man who left with a pair of children hurriedly looked at the scene and couldn't help but tighten. He quickly guarded a pair of children and retreated to the distance. A pair of eyes looked worried at the inn. In the beginning of this year, how can people who care for others like them? It was annoyed when I was awakened by the middle of the night, but the other party said the reason, and this had to be convinced. Looking at this situation again, the enemies of the young people in the inn should be these people? Look at the monks who will surround the inn, one by one to be introverted, and at first glance it is a master, so that he could not help worrying those young people. Hey, they are so few people, will they be killed by these people? The girl hugged her father's arm tightly, half of her body hiding behind her father, and looked at the scene in front of her fear. The murderous air is diffused in the air, and even if they are retreating to the corner, they can clearly feel the breathtaking atmosphere of the cold. The middle-aged man sighed and said, it shouldn't be. They look, very strong. Although I don't know the strength of those people in the inn, however, I haven't panicked the men before, and obviously know that they will have enemies coming. Maybe they have a good idea? In the middle of the night, except for those who were driven out of the inn, there were no other people on the street. Those who were still complaining and refused to leave, after seeing the monks who surrounded the inn, their faces changed. Also refused to allow others to quickly retreat. Because those people's goal is Feng Zhu and others in the inn, for those people, they just glanced at them coldly, seeing them retreat themselves, but they did not bother them. A group of monks from the sword in the sky, a closer look, but eight monks carried a soft sedan from the air, the group came to the open space of the inn, the curtain was picked up, revealing the man in the mask sitting inside. See you on the Lord. The crowd immediately bowed down to a ceremony. The middle-aged man with a pair of children retreating to the distance looked at the badge on the arm of the eight people carrying the soft sedan, and the imprint on the sedan chair, his face suddenly became pale, his body trembled, and quickly hold a pair of children's mouths and take them away quickly. The man sitting in the soft car looked at the inn with the lamp in front, turned the finger on the big finger, and glanced around and asked, the man of Shura has not come yet. If you go back to the Lord, they haven't arrived yet. A monk said respectfully. Oh, coward, it seems that I have suffered a loss, but I am afraid of them. The man in the sedan sneered, his eyes smacked with a scorn and disdain. He stared at the inn in front of him, a word filled with cold and murderous words from the mouth, clearly introduced into the ears of the people, echoing between the air. Attack. Yes. The monks were led by the monks, and they screamed. They got up and pulled out the swords on their waists. The spirits of the body surged. The next moment, everyone around them attacked the inn with the lights. The murderous air that pervades the sky is filled in the air. In the night, the long sword with the cold and the spirit of the air clips with a strong air current to the inn, 
and a smeared figure lifts into the inn. However, the sword that slammed into the inn was like a defensive hood when it fell, and the creatures were bounced back. The monks who plundered before were also smashed into the inn. Fly out! Hey! What? The sound of the feet on the monks screamed, the strength of the foot was heavy, the sternum was broken, the five internal organs were damaged, some people could not help but scream, the body was out of balance. Flying out, Heavy fell on the ground outside the inn, falling in front of the soft car. Puff! The blood spouted from the mouths of the monks who fell to the ground, splashing the ground. The monks raised their hands and wiped the blood from the corners of their mouths, trying to stand up, but found that they could not use their strength and fell back. They were shocked and anxious. They were shocked to fall in front of the soft car. They were afraid that the Lord would blame them for not doing enough to punish them. The more anxious, the more blood in the mouth overflowed. In the soft sedan, looking at the monks in front of him, the man in the mask looked gloomy. After glanced at the monks on the ground, he raised his hand and the people on both sides of the sedan chair went forward to bring the monks to the front. Going by. At this time, the inn's door slammed open, and Du Fan, who was holding a fan and fanned the wind, walked out with a smile. He was surrounded by Qi Kong and the Grey Wolf, while others were defending. In other places inside the inn, in case those people attacked the inn from other places. Don't sleep this big night, what are you doing? Du Fan smiled and asked, his face was a kind of smile, but his eyes were cold. The masked men in the sedan looked at them, their eyes flashed and sneered, I am relieved to see you here. These people are here, it also proves that the ghost Dr. Feng Zhu is here too. Qi Kong came out and looked at the man in the sedan, but found that with his cultivation, he could not see through the strength of the other party. So he lowered his voice and said to Du Fan and the Grey Wolf, This people are very strong and should be careful. Listening to Qi Kang's words, the Grey Wolf looked at the man in the car in a strange way. He couldn't see him because he was wearing a mask on the opposite side. However, the breath was really strong, so he said, Can you be stronger than the master and the wife? When he wants to come, the master and his wife are already the strongest in the world. Just such a strong person in a region, no matter how strong he is, he can't stand shoulder to shoulder with them. Caution is the boat. Chi Kong said, with a hand movement, a long sword slammed in his hand and pointed to the ground. The long sword was covered with a sharp cold light, reflecting a cold man's in the night. Going to meet them. The man in the soft car did not start, but gestured to the monk on the side of the car. Yes. The three monks stood up in unison, and the figure swept out in an instant. They did not hold weapons in their hands. However, a strong airflow rushed out of the palm of their hand and rushed toward the front of Du Fan. Call out! The three airflows from the palms of the three monks passed through the air and rushed toward them like a tiger. The momentum was so fierce that Du Fan felt a strong sense of war and murder at that moment. Separate! Qi Kong sang a low drink, and the three quickly separated when they plucked out. The spiritual power of the body also rushed out when the figure was moving. The man sitting in the soft car looked at the six people and his hands were on the lap. There was a bit of a knock on it. It seemed that there was still some rhythm. Looking at the three monks who were fighting against Du Fan, he also there is no anxious color, still sitting as usual. Until the six people in the air were in the middle of the half column, one of the monks was shot down by Qi Kong, the man in the sedan swept out like lightning, and no one saw his how to shoot just one in the blink of an eye, the figure has come to the front of Qi Kong. Qi Kong only felt that a powerful air stream caught the murderous air of Sen Han. He didn't even have time to react. He was hit by the other side on his chest. He only heard a loud bang, and the whole person fell with him. Qi Kong. Du Fan and the Grey Wolf saw this, and they couldn't help but be surprised. Their faces changed instantly. They were the gods of the flash, and both of them had the wind blades in the hands of the two monks hitting, and the blood at the arms oozing out. Court death. 
Du Fan's face was cold, and the fan in his hand turned at the palm of his hand. The fan slammed a sharp blade and instantly cut the throat of the opposite monk. What? A short scream rang, the monk's body twitched, and the whole man fell down quite straight. He slammed on the ground, and the blood in his mouth overflowed. The blood in his throat also oozing through the ground. After a while, I swallowed. After the grey wolf was attacked, the body's instinctive reaction also made a counterattack, but the other party avoided it very quickly, but it allowed him to avoid a fatal blow, but also an arm was cut off by him. Oh! The monk took a sigh of cold air, his arm was cut, and the blood splashed open. His figure also plunged down and fell to the ground. Chi Kong, how are you? Du Fan was killing the monk, and the figure was transferred to Kikang, who fell to the ground, and helped him lose his center of gravity. He looked at his face white, his mouth overflowing with blood, and he couldn't speak for a while. When I couldn't help my heart sink. Fan Lin. Fan Lin, who was on the other side of the inn, repelled the monk who planned to sneak into the inn, and heard the anxious shouting from Du Fan. He immediately sipped, come on. As soon as the sound came out, the figure quickly went forward. When he came to the front, he saw in front of Du Fan and Chi Kong that a man with a mask was condensing a strong airflow to prepare for the two. Hit. Be careful. He sipped, didn't back off, but rushed forward quickly, because he saw Chi Kang's face pale, his body could not stand and swayed, and if he suffered this blow again, he was afraid. Do not come. When Du Fan saw Fan Lin running over, he couldn't help but change his face and screamed. He is a little far from them, perhaps not feeling the devastating strong atmosphere, but they are clearly here, the breath is the breath of the king of the gods. The man wearing a mask in front of him is a god-level powerhouse. This kind of strength, let alone they are, even if they add up, they can't resist this blow. The overwhelming scent of the gods was released at this moment, and the atmosphere of extinction made them sweat out of the cold, and the stiff body stood there and could not avoid it. You must know that even if it is only the strength of a different grade, but the power of the king of God, it is not the general strong can resist. The breath of death shrouded them at this moment, which made them have not experienced such a scene for a long time, only feel the whole body is cold, this is the breath of the king strong. This is the terrible of the king of God. Even if it is only a difference in grades, God king can easily kill them. Yes, is it not that this region is not dominated by the strong, is there no rule of heaven and earth? How come there will be a strong king of the king level here? Before that, they never heard of it. However, just as they watched the mighty of the king gazing over them, watching the attacking air and the atmosphere of extinction hit them, they saw a black figure plucking behind them. In the blink of an eye, they were in front of them. When they had not reacted, they had already been thrown away by the door to the inn. Boom! Two powerful air currents suddenly slammed together, bursting out a horrific pressure, between the air, the energy flow surging, like a calm lake was suddenly thrown into a large stone to sway a circle of water. At the moment when the air was flowing, the wind and sand on the ground rolled up, and everything around it was rolled up. The monks who were standing next to the sedan had to lean down and press down the sedan to block the powerful airflow, and when the airflow gradually when they dissipated, they looked up and found that in front of their lord stood a handsome man in a black robe. The ink-like hair rises high, the cold face is beautiful and reveals the charm of a resolute mature man. The slightly twisted brow looks at the front, with a hint of dissatisfaction, and the deep gaze looks like a deep pool. Bottom, mysterious, under the tall nose, a thin lips slightly squatting. He lost one hand behind him, one hand in front of the belly, a low-key and luxurious black robes, showing his slender body, even if there is no opening, the kind of imperialism of the world is also exhausted. As the exhibition came out, people had to bow their heads in front of him and dare not look straight. It is the master. The grey wolf looked at the sudden appearance of the master, and his face opened with a big smile. The original worry disappeared after seeing the master appear. 
it is the Lord who saved us. Du Fan whispered his breath, and he was relieved when he was shocked. Under such circumstances, he thought that they would die. Unexpectedly, they would have been the Lord to save them. Moreover, this time I have been aware that the Master is treating the legs for the Lord, and knows that the Lord's legs have been able to stand up, but this is the first time that he did not sit in a wheelchair, but stood in them like this. In front of them, they stopped the danger and murder. Cough. Chi Kong coughed, and the blood spilled again in the mouth. Fan Lin, who was on the side, saw this and slammed the gods forward to help him, fast. Come in. He said as he held him inside. Go, and don't care about the battle outside. Grey Wolf, you go inside, I am here to guard. Du Fan said, let the Grey Wolf into it to guard, he glanced at him, indicating the two little masters in the upstairs room. The Grey Wolf wanted to say something, but when he saw his eyes sweeping toward the second floor room, his heart moved. When he even responded, well, I am going to guard, you are careful. Walk quickly inside. The people around him retired, leaving only the Xian Yuan Mo's and the man wearing the mask. Looking at the front of a black robe, the body exudes a strong atmosphere of Xian Yuan Mo's, the masked man's eyes flashed, cold eyes staring at him, you are the Qing Long monarch Xian Yuan Mo's. Although this is a question, the tone is extremely positive, conspicuous, and able to have such an imposing manner. In addition to the Xian Yuan Mo's, there are no other people. Xian Yuan Mo's gave him a cold look and did not answer his words. Instead, the figure flashed, and the black figure flew out like a lightning bolt, hitting the masked man at a speed that was too late for the mask. The powerful pressure came face to face, the man wearing the mask glimpsed, did not dare to have a smattering effect, he palmed the strength of the 10% to meet the Xian Yuan Mo's attack, but did not want to, when the two airflow positive in the collision, a loud bang from the bang sounded, and a powerful airflow slammed into his face. Hey! Just listening to a squeaking sound, the masked man was shot and the whole face was cracked because he couldn't stand the powerful force. He slammed into the ground and exposed. His original face. Puff. The blood in the body picked up, the throat was salty, and a blood spurted out. The figure was retreating, and it was hard to stabilize. Seeing the front of the palm, the speed was so fast that he could not avoid it. Hard to suffer the one. Boom. What? A slammed sound, accompanied by a scream, this time, the whole person lost the balance and flew straight out, hitting a wall of the shop not far away, because the power is big, it will be that the wall of the shop collapsed a large piece, the wall collapsed, and the stone buried him in it. The dust was diffused and opened. For a time, the figure could not be seen. Lord! The exclamation sounded, and the monks ran forward in horror. Xian Yuan Mo's, who had a hard time and turned around, did not intend to let him go, but step by step, the powerful pressure that he released on his body filled the air, letting those rush on. The former monks had a glimpse of their hearts and could not help but retreat. His pace is not slow, step by step, every step, but like stepping on the hearts of those monks, let them only feel fear and panic. They want to go forward, but they dare not go forward. At present, if they are afraid, they will only be killed. However, the monks carrying the sedan chair, although they have fear in their hearts, still mention this moment. Sword up and head toward Xian Yuan Mozawa. However, with their strength in the eyes of Xian Yuan Moser, it is just like a child's sword. It is not worth mentioning. He even looked at them without looking at them. He reached out and gave a powerful force. Attacked, a blow they let them vomit blood to the ground. Puff. Okay. What? The monks who lifted the sedan even couldn't stop him from hitting one by one. They were hit by that blow, and they fell pale on the ground and couldn't climb up. They could only watch the horror of the black robe. The man walked step by step toward their lord, watching his palms condense the airflow of the monks. However, at this moment, there was a loud bang in the inn, 
and then the grey wolf's exclamation was heard. Little master! Almost at the exclamation of the grey wolf, Xian Yuan Mo's turned and plunged toward the inn. The speed was as fast as the wind. However, even if he was fast, it was faster. Two children plucked the king of Shura in the air. Wow! The two children were woken up in their sleep, and they were directly hanged in the air with their clothes. The night wind was so cool that they blew the two little guys with red faces. They didn't know how to be afraid. They only knew that they didn't wake up enough, so they woke up. Instinctively, I woke up and cried. The child's crying spread in the night, very clear, but scared the Du Fan and others under the soft hands, a heart is raised high. Let the little master. Let the little master, let you not die. Quickly let the little master. Du Fan and others screamed, even if he knew that he could not let go, he still shouted loudly. This is the first time that the little masters have fallen into such a dangerous situation in front of them. They are almost confused, lest the king of Shura hurt the two little masters. Xian Yuan Mo's looked at a pair of children who were carried in the air, watching the quilts covered by the two children fall, only a thin piece of small clothes wrapped around the body, watching them wow wow as a whole, his whole person suddenly fell into a hail, and the whole body was cold and bitter. Under the sleeves, his hand was tightly twisted into a fist, looking at the pair of children carrying him, arrogantly looking at the Shura king below, the murderousness in the eyes was tumbling. Let them, this king will spare you not to die. The low voice is cold and cold, and the powerful pressure is accompanied by the breath. His words fall, and another word says, If you hurt them a hair, let you escape to the ends of the earth, Ben Jun let your life be better than death. The words, like the thunder, generally shook into the hearts of everyone, causing a loud bang in their minds. Over and over again, the words of the murderous words were echoed. The Shura king, carrying two children in Madair, was shocked when he heard the words of Xian Yuan Mo's, but he just sneered, the mask on his face covered his look, only listening. His gloomy voice came out of his mouth. There are ghosts and phoenix phoenixes and a pair of children of the Qing Long monarchy to be buried, I think, it is also a steady earning. During the speech, he also raised the child and swayed in front of him. Damn! The grey wolf licked his chest and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. He bit his teeth and watched the two little masters being taken away by the King Shura. The heart was anxious and self-blaming. He did not expect that the Shura king would come out in a cold, but did not expect that the little master who had been heavily protected still fell into his hands. If the two little masters had three long and two short, he would die a hundred times. Thousands of times is also difficult to resist the crime of his dereliction of duty. Oh wow, oh wow! The two children cried, and the crying touched everyone's heart, but nothing could be done at the moment. They could only watch and fall into a passive situation. In the space, Feng Ju's medicinal remedy is going to the final finishing step. She feels that something is going on outside, but she can't separate her mind. She can only concentrate on refining the medicinal herbs in the furnace. When she refining the medicinal herbs in the furnace, the palm of the hand patted the Dan furnace, and three medicinal herbs flew into her hands. After seeing the medicinal herbs in the hands, they packed them in bottles and refused to accept them. Others first glance at the outside with the knowledge of God. When God saw it, it made her face change, and her sleeves glimpsed. The whole person appeared in the room. However, the cabin of this inn was destroyed by a big horn. Listening to the crying of the child, she walked out quickly, the child was no longer in the small bed, and next to the small bed, the cold frost and the white city and the three hearts of the piano fell to the ground and fainted, except for the heart and the white city. Beyond the frontal attack to the coma, the cold frost was stabbed from the back, and there was a wound in front of the body that was seeping through the blood. Cold frost. When she saw that the three people were in a bad situation, she quickly got the cold cream up and gave her a remedy. At this time, Lengua repulsed the two monks who came here and quickly lifted up the heart of the piano and the white city, 
and refused to take care of his sister's injury. He could only say, the master, the two little masters. I saw it. Feng Ju said, his eyes were cold and looked at the figure in the air. He was carrying her pair of babies in the same way. In the night wind, the faces of the two little guys were frozen and red, and the crying gradually began. It became hoarse, and she saw her heart clenched together. Take care of them. Feng Ju said, the three were handed over to Lenghua, and they stood up and walked to the gap, raising their anger. The red dress is scornful, the ink is flying in the wind, and the face of a city is cold and frosty, but it reveals a deadly attraction. She looked at the king of Shura, and the cold voice came out of her mouth. There are only two children on the left and right. What can you do if you catch them? Is it better to change the two children? When this was said, Du Fan and others could not help but scream, the master cannot. Master, even if you want to change, we should change it. I will change. I will change. The grey wolf shouted and directed at the king of Shura, you put them, I will take you hostage. Ah! The Shura king sneered, his cold eyes passed over their faces, and finally, when he fell on Xian Yuan Moser and Feng Zhu's body, he showed a strange smile. If you don't want them to die, you too, you can have a good hand, I want to see, how fierce will the scenes of the two of you hand in hand. He stared at them with a gloomy look, as if he had thought of the scene of the defeat in the hands of Feng Zhu. The breath of the body became more and more gloomy, remember. Go all out. Don't keep your hands. If you keep your hands then, I don't mind sending you a child to go underground to see the king. Listening to his words, Du Fan and other people's faces became ugly one by one, angry eyes glared at the king of Shura, and wished to rush to bite a piece of meat. He wants to force the master and the lord to kill each other. Damn it! Obviously know that this is his trick, but no one can stop it, no one can stop it. In the end, what should they do? How can I save the two little masters? Xian Yuan Moser and Feng Zhu listened to the words of the Shura Wang, could not help but look at each other, let them play against each other? If the intention is to use the toes, they can also think of it. However, the two children are in his hands. They seem to have no choice at all. The two looked at each other, one person was at the top of the inn, and one stood in front of the inn. The four eyes were opposite. At that moment, Xian Yuan Mo's understood the meaning of Feng Zhu. His eyes flashed slightly, his palms moved slightly, and his spiritual power surged. The next moment, the figure swept and fiercely rushed toward Feng. Feng Zhu did not dodge, but watched him lift his breath, there was no panic in his eyes, only a piece of tranquility and calmness. When he arrived at the top of the inn, her hand moved and a blue-green sword with a cyan glow appeared. In her palm. Master. Lady. Under the scene, Du Fan and the Grey Wolf and others were in a tight heart. The fists were tightly screwed up fearing that they would be injured. They were even more worried that the Shura king would kill two small masters. After all, the king of Shura the means are so hot, they have already learned, and even a person under his hand said that killing can kill people, they will not put the lives of two children in their eyes. Xian Yuan Moser and Feng Zhu did not keep hands, and the two of them have not discussed each other for a long time. By taking this opportunity for a while, they can also know their profound strength and responsiveness. What's more, the two also have an idea in their hearts. Boom! Boom! Call out! The fierce airflow swept through the air, and the powerful airflow was overwhelming. The two did not keep their hands. Instead, the more fierce the war, the fierce battle, the violent airflow, and the robes on both of them where the airflow is cut open, and there is a trace of blood oozing out. However, no one cares, and no one cares. Looking at the fierce confrontation between the two, Shura's eyes leaped into the color of excitement and madness. With his cultivation, it can be seen that the two of them did not keep their hands, and both of them seemed to be swearing at each other. The general state of mind is generally in the battle, 
recruiting and smashing the murderous machine, seeing his heart boiling, excited and inexplicable. Seeing Feng Zhu's sword in his hand, he reflected a few swords and sighs at the Xian Yuan Mo's attack. He couldn't help but scream, oh! Ha 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 ha! The mad laughter was cold, and he laughed, but did not notice that the two men's fights were closer to him, and at the moment he laughed, Xian Yuan Mo's avoided the attack of Feng Zhu. The figure flashed quickly and swept forward, and the palm of the hand turned over. A stream of air seemed to hit with a deadly force, and hit the king of Shura with the cover of the ear. The Shura king was laughing, and when he saw the attack hit him, his sneer sneered out, looking for death. When the sound fell, he did not avoid the flash, but he moved his hand and moved the two children who were carrying it to the front to block the attack from Xian Yuan Mo's. It seemed that he wanted the two children to die. Xian Yuan Mo's hands. However, just as he moved his hand and put the two children in front of him to block the attack, a cold chill was slamming from the side. At that moment, he was almost instinctively low. With a cry, look in the direction, I saw a green mangling like lightning. Call out! The fierce sword slammed down and slammed down, and with the speed that couldn't stop it, the sword that was raised in front of the Shura Wang was cut down, and the sword fell, the arm go down with the two children. What? The King Shura screamed, and the screaming voice broke through the sky and passed into the ears of the people. The arm was cut off and the blood spurted out like a spring. However, although one arm was cut, he reacted in an instant, and another one hand wants to catch the two children who fall down with his arm. He is very clear that these two children are his life-saving symbols. As long as they are in his hands, he would like to have Xian Yuan Mo's and Feng Zhu, and they dare not have a rebellious. However, his hand only stretched out and tried to catch it. He felt a cold and murderous slash, and he had to retract his arm. The whole person quickly retreated. However, just as he avoided the retreat, the attack of Xian Yuan Mo's came back again, watching the sultry temperament that he had hit this time, and his heart was remorseful. It is his care. It was he who didn't expect them to be so cunning. The previous Xian Yuan Mo's blow was simply a sham. He was sure that he would take two children to the front, but he didn't want to. He just took the calculations of both of them, not only lost one. The arm, even the life-saving charm caught in the hand is also lost, it is really abominable. The pressure of destroying the earth and destroying the land was accompanied by the airflow of the monks, and the Shura king, who was quickly retreating, was shrouded in it, and only the screams of screaming screamed in the airflow reaching the sky and stunning the entire town. People are shocked. What? Feng Zhu and Xian Yuan Mo's worked together seamlessly. When Xian Yuan Mo's attacked the Shura King, Feng Zhu's whole person swooped down and reached out and held them into his arms before the two children fell to the ground. Feeling that two children fell into her arms, she sighed with a sigh of relief, and the heart was put down. Because she had to refine the medicinal herbs in the space, and Xian Yuan Mo's guarded the two children, she thought that it would be fine. I did not expect that this idea would have put the two children in such a dangerous situation. If they really have three long and two short, she really doesn't know how to be good. Holding two children from the air, her hands still shivered slightly, the fear and palpitation could not be said. Master. Lady. Du Fan and the Grey Wolf had a shadow. They quickly swept forward. Several people were hurt and their faces were pale. But they also refused to take care of their injuries and saw two children returning to Fengju. In my arms, I want to see for the first time whether the two little masters are all well. What? The screaming screams of the screams came into the ears, and Fengju looked up and saw that there was a strong airflow in the pressure, and the robes of the Shura's body were stretched out and the whole person was like being in the whirlwind blade. The pieces of flesh were cut and shredded in the powerful rotating air. The flesh and blood flew all over the sky, the scene made the following people look at the heart of the cold, only feeling the chilly scent of death from the solace of the feet, reaching the heart, let them want to escape, but they were scared to move, can only see watching that scene happened in their sight. 
At this time, the man who was buried in the rock pile pushed open the rock and stood up. When he looked up at the scene, he felt a glimpse of his heart. He almost wanted to leave for the first time. However, just as his mind was moving, a murderous bang came to him. He wanted to turn around and avoid the murder from the sky. However, his body was shaken by a powerful pressure. The whole person stood there and could not move. Even Yu and Ying could not escape. I can only watch the blow coming toward him. Looking at the attack from far and near, his eyes narrowed, only to hear a bang in the ear, the attacking slammed through the Yu and Ying in his body, at that moment, he clearly felt the body was the feeling of tearing, a breath of death instantly enveloped him, Yu and Ying shattered, and repaired as a waste, the body made a loud noise at that moment. Boom! The whole person, even the chance of screaming, did not explode into pieces scattered in the corner, leaving only the smell in the air to open. Do not leave one. The voice of Xian Yuan Moser came from the sky, and the cold eyes passed over the monks who were preparing to escape. Almost in his voice, Du Fan and others immediately shot to the monks. Although they were all injured, it was more than enough to deal with these monks, but the time of the semi-column was heard everywhere, and a corpse fell on the ground, and blood spilled on the outside of the inn. The entire venue looks like a Shura field, making people shudder. Oh wow! The child was still crying, and Feng Zhu reached out to touch the foreheads of the two children, and there was a worry in his eyes. How is the child? Xian Yuan Moser came to her side, helped pick up one of the children, and watched the faces of a pair of children with a cold face. He was pity and blame. The forehead is a little hot, it should be cold and hot, go back first. Feng Zhu said holding the child in his arms and rushing to the inside of the inn. The two entered the inn and went to a room that had not been destroyed. After putting the two children on the bed, they quickly packed them with clothes. However, because of the coldness of the night and the possibility of being scared, the two children have been I cried, crying, and the sound was hoarse. Oh, don't cry, mother is here. Feng Ju snorted at them and patted them gently on their chests. Because the two children were still young, she couldn't just give them medicine. Watching the two children cry like that, she was also red. I. When Xian Yuan Mo saw her, she comforted herself, don't worry, it's not a big deal for a child to catch cold, it will be good. Having said that, his heart is also anxiously worried. After all, the two children have not had any illness since birth but now they are made up because of his negligence. How can he feel better in his heart? I blame me, if I put the child in the space, maybe this will not happen, she said blame. When Yan, Xian Yuan Mozawa looked at her in a positive color, saw her lowered her head, her eyes were red, and she blamed herself. So he sat down at the bed and put her hands on her shoulders to turn her whole person. Come over to face him. Aju, you are not wrong, this is not your fault. It is strange to blame me for not protecting our children, but one thing, I hope that you face it, your space is not a protection basket. We can't do anything, we put the child in the space, it is not a refuge. His voice was low and solemn, and the handsome and resolute face was a serious look. He looked at her and continued, you know very well that if you are a little dangerous, you will send your child into your space. It has been a long time. You can't keep the secret of this anti-sky space, and everything is going on. For a long time, you and I will have a habit. When there is danger, we will send the children into the space. Maybe we want to protect them, but who knows, isn't this hurting them? Listening to this, Feng Juyi looked at him. For a time, he couldn't speak because she knew that he was telling the truth. Children are in danger. We are most worried about being parents. However, on the road to their growth in the future, there will be many dangers and difficulties waiting for them. We cannot and cannot protect them forever. All we can do is protect them at an early age when they can't protect themselves, and teach them how to protect themselves. He whispered a sigh of relief and said, even if this is a danger, 
we have learned from it. Because we have encountered it, we can try to avoid the same thing happening next time. Feng Zhu looked at him deeply. For a long time, he nodded and said, Well, I know, you are right. I am too dependent on space. If anything, I want to send two children. Xuan Yu and Moser held her hand and put a light voice to appease her, You don't blame yourself, pack your mood, and the child needs you to treat them. As soon as he talked about this, Feng Zhu reacted and looked at the two children crying and crying and sleeping. She quickly reached out and explored their temperature, then quickly stood up, You are here to take care of I am going to adjust some liquids. The general medicine can't be used by two children, then she will allocate some medicines that they can take without hurting them. Xuan Yu and Mose looked at her spirits, and the original brow was loose, and the look on her face gradually relaxed. He looked at the two children who were asleep on the bed, and saw their faces rushing, seemingly uncomfortable, even if they were asleep, their small faces were slightly wrinkled, and the corners of their eyes were still with tears. He helped the two children to raise the small quilt covered by the body, and then stood up and went outside, hit some cold water and two small towels, soaked and ringed and carefully applied to their foreheads. Perhaps it was the feeling of coldness, the two little guys moved slightly, the small mouth was flat, the nose sucked and slept. Feng Zhu went to help two children to dispense liquid medicine, while Du Fan and others packed up the outside space. Lenghua would bring the injured cold cream and the heart of the heart to the room to help them wrap their wounds and fed them with medicinal herbs. After the outside things were properly packed, the grey wolf and the shadows looked at each other and stood at the door of the room. They wanted to go in, but they did not dare to go in. They said that they were weak. Shadow one, or else, do you go in and see. The grey wolf slammed into the shadow of the side, indicating that he was advanced to see. After a shadow, the film went in and went in. As soon as I saw it, the grey wolf quickly followed. The two came to the room, and the master of the bed was sitting on the towel and helping the two little masters to cool down. The grey wolf quickly stepped forward and lowered the voice, Master, I am going to change the water. Said, stepped forward and replaced the basin with a new one. The master, is under the protection of the subordinates, please the master to punish. Shadow one knee down and ask for sin. After the grey wolf put the water on the edge of the bed, he saw him down. He quickly followed him and said, Please ask the master to punish. Xuan Yu and Moser glanced at them and said, Go and treat the wounds. Don't make two children here. Hearing the words, the grey wolf looked up at his master and saw that he did not seem to punish them. He couldn't help but look at it again. He saw that he had stood up and he touched his nose. I quickly stood up and quietly stepped back. When the two went out, Du Fan and several people greeted him, How? How about the two little masters? It's cold, the master is using a cold towel to help them cool down, and the lady goes to the medicine. The grey wolf said, looking back at the room. The master and the wife were also injured when they had just played against each other. Although it was only a skin injury, it seemed that the wound also had a lot of blood, and it seemed to have solidified, but it was not cleaned and bandaged. Thinking of this, the grey wolf said, the main son's injury has not been bandaged, I still go in. While talking and preparing to go back, then, this turned and let Du Fan pull. What? The grey wolf looked at him. You don't go. Du Fan said. Shaking his head and shook his head, the Lord and the Lord have injuries on the body, but it is the wound that the airflow cuts when they both hands, but the skin injury does not get in the way. Now the Lord is taking care of the two little masters, the master. Also go to the medicine, you don't go in and mix it. After a while, the master will come back and naturally help the master. Listening to this, the grey wolf thought about it and said, well, that's not going to be. He said, he looked at Lenghua again, how about the cold frost? How are they hurt? When Lenghua saw him asking, he said warmly, my sister and several of them are not hurt. 
I have already helped them to go back to the room to rest. They also fed them with medicinal herbs. Fan Lin just went to see it and said it was internal injuries. It's no problem for you to nurse for some time. That's good. The Grey Wolf nodded. They had a lot of remedies for treating internal injuries. Even if they had serious internal injuries, they would gradually recover if they took the medicinal herbs for a few days. Du Fan looked at the inn and said, the pub was destroyed like this. I went to the shopkeeper to talk about it and gave him some money. Then he turned and left. I will help the master and the lord to prepare some hot water. Lenghua said, and he turned and left. He felt that the two might want to wash the smell of the body. The grey wolf and the shadow one or two simply handled their wounds and kept them outside the door until the door of the next room opened and Feng Ju took the medicine and walked out from it. Welcomed. Madam, is it a medicine that can be taken by two young masters? The grey wolf asked quickly. Yet. Yeah. Feng Ju should have a voice, looked at the two people and said, You will rest. There is no need to guard here. Then he advanced the room. How? Is there any temperature drop? Feng Ji asked softly, his eyes falling on the two children. It's better than before, but the face is still hot, and after a while, they seem to be shocked, and the body will tremble. Xian Yuan Mo said, looking at the two children with some distress. I added Ning Shen medicine to this medicine, and I will give them a meal. Feng Ju said, he took one of the children up perhaps because he was uncomfortable, and she woke up. The child, seeing the child's small mouth and flat, wowed and cried. His son, mother is here, just take the medicine. She whispered softly, screaming at the grey wolf outside, let him take a small bowl and spoon. Mrs. Small Bowl and Spoon. The grey wolf quickly took things, and then stood by and looked at it, thinking about helping more reducing his inner self-blame. How much should I pour? Xian Yuan Mo's asked, placing the bowl on the small table, unscrewing the lid, and preparing to pour out the liquid. You want to drink two spoons? Feng Ju said, holding his child and touching his forehead. I saw my daughter crying as she heard the cry of her brother. The two children were crying with tears and they were very worried. The grey wolf couldn't help but step forward and said, I am going to hold the little master. He stepped forward and hugged the little nephew on the bed, carefully squatting beside him. Xian Yuan Mo's first poured a spoonful to the child's mouth, but the child refused to drink, struggling to cry, see this, Feng Ju can only hold him, Xian Yuan Mo's said, irrigation. When Yan, Xian Yuan Mo's paused, watching her hold the child. This carefully feed the medicine into the small mouth opened by the child because of the pinch. The little guy swallowed and cried again. He looked distressed, but he could only feed a spoon quickly. After another spoon was fed, he quickly said, OK, let go. Listening to this, Feng Ju gave him a look, gently patted the child's back with one hand, and whispered softly, his son, nothing. Perhaps because of the soft voice of Feng Ju, the child gradually stopped crying, but looked at Feng Ju with a pair of eyes with eyelashes stuck together. Seeing the child's long eyelashes slightly stick together, Feng Ji could not help but sigh and hold his little hand, it's okay, the mother is here. She put down the child in her arms, put him on the quilt and hugged her daughter in the arms of the grey wolf, and gave her two spoons of liquid medicine. The grey wolf saw the two children gradually quiet and did not cry and then retired. The two of them sat on the bed and looked at the sleeping children in bed, and they couldn't help but look at each other and show a smile. It seems to be much better than the previous crying. Do the children have a fever tonight? Xian Yu and Moser asked. Because they are still small, I don't give them a lot of medicine. I won't retreat very quickly, but it will be much better tomorrow morning. Feng Ju said, looking at the dry wounds on his body. The wound on your body has to be dealt with. At this time, the grey wolf came into the head from the outside and said, The master, my wife, has prepared the bathing water. When Yan, Xian Yuan Mo said, 
you go to wash first. The injury on your body is dealt with first. Seeing this, Feng Zhu did not deny it. After she went to bathe, Xian Yu and Mo's also went to wash the smell of the body. When she came out, Feng Zhu had already prepared the medicine. When he came over, he said, Sit here, I help you clean up the wound. Xian Yu and Mo's sat down and watched her there to help him deal with the wound. He said, Let's finish the matter here, let's go back. Listening to this, Feng Zhu looked at him and nodded. Well, we will go back when we finish the matter. She also wants to bring two children back to meet her and her grandfather, and now the ancient Jinlian has taken it. When she arrived, although she could not integrate it, she had unexpected surprises here. The dust is still there between the world, which is the best news for them, the best surprise. In a house, opposite the monk, a sacred man with a sacred bone. The two did not sleep in the middle of the night, but sat in the courtyard with a chess game and two cups of hot tea. You know that there is such trouble, so I avoided the old road here. The Taoist caressed his beard and smiled at the monk in front of him. The monk took a piece of chess and fell down. How can the place where the emperor and the phoenix appear, how can they be calm? The two sons and daughters who were born by Emperor and Feng Xing are also here? On that day, the monarchs came to congratulate them. The old road is also very curious. I really want to see these two children who are congratulated by the four parties. The monk took a sip of the tea and said slowly, If you have known the poor for many years, you don't have to take words to test the infertility. The secret can't be revealed. You want to know, the poor can't say. Hearing the words, the Taoist eyes flashed slightly, and the smile on his face deepened, it seems that there is really nothing to say. Seeing him grinning, he did not want to reveal a half sentence, he did not ask more. Just saying, when are you going to go back? The monk looked at him and said, the poor have just come to you. He he he, well, you want to live and live. The Taoist smiled and picked up a piece of chest to fall. Compared to the and killing outside, the house was very quiet and quiet. The two played chess and chatted occasionally. Until the next morning, the monk stood up and said, the poor is leaving. Upon hearing this, the Taoist stunned, would you like to go? He looked at him eccentrically and said, isn't that you just came? Why do you want to leave? Go and see. The monk said, hands clasped together for a ceremony, turned and walked out, and then stepped back, looked back at the Taoist and said, don't follow. When the Taoist listened, he suddenly stunned, and then he laughed, well, then I will send you out. Then he stood up and sent. Because of the battle last night, many of the city's power families and monks were staring at the inn, but no one dared to offend and inquire. I only knew that last night, the notorious Shura King and the auction house were behind the scenes. The master of the family was actually killed overnight. One was that the master of the auction house had such a strong strength, and the second was shocked by the fact that someone could slay the Shura King with the master of the auction house. This strength really shocked everyone in the city. They didn't dare to approach, but they were also looking at the inn that had been broken by last night's battle not far from the inn. Within ten meters around the inn, no one dared to approach half a step until the party's people saw a monk slowly walking towards the inn. The monk is not destined? How did you go to the inn? A monk standing far away looked at the monk with his eyes open. Would the monk not come over? Someone asked strangely. This monk seems to follow these people into the city last time. A monk whispered. Yes. I seem to remember that it should be with them. What is this monk? It seems to be the monk of Wan Fo Zong. The whispers of the people did not let the monk have a half-reaction. He walked slowly, step by step to the front of the inn and entered the inn. Master is back. Du Fan smiled and looked at him, we still want to send a message to the master, because my master said that I am ready to leave. The monk folded his hands together and said, can the donors be fine? Oh, there must be no masters. Du Fan said with a smile, 
his eyes stayed on the monk's body. The monk seemed to know what would happen. When he entered the city, he said that he would go to the imitation of his friend, but the matter was solved. He is back. Amitabha. The monk whispered. The master is here. On the second floor, Feng Ju came out and smiled. So early, should the master still have breakfast? The monk looked up at Feng Ju and saw her suffocating sigh of a few points. She then gazed and whispered, Amitabha, seeing the donor is well, the rest is relieved. When Yan, Feng Ji picked up his eyebrows and chuckled, the master said that I have disasters on this trip. I don't know if it means last night. The monk folded his hands together and shook his head gently, saying, No. Feng Juyi smiled and walked down the stairs. Also, I was only suffering from some skin injuries last night. I can let the master say that I have disasters and let me be careful. Naturally, this is not the level. She slowly came to him, with a smile on her face, saying, I really want to know, in the end, what kind of things will happen, let me have a disaster. The secret cannot be leaked. The monk said slowly. Feng Ji smiled and said, Master, sit here. I will let them prepare breakfast for you. She said, looking at the coldness of the side. Lenghua gently smiled and made a gesture to the monk, Master, please hear. He asked the monk to sit down and let Xiao Er send the breakfast. After Feng Ju and Du Fan confessed a few words, they returned to the room upstairs. In the outside, Xian Yu and Moses' knees are adjusting. After taking the medicinal herbs that Feng Ju helped him refine, he will be tempted by the luck of the drug. Until the morning luck, he only feels the whole body is flowing. Walking, especially at the legs, I feel the power in the veins. Knowing that Feng Ju came in, he sighed out and took away the breath of one body, which opened his eyes and looked at Feng Ju. How? Feng Ju asked, came to him. He stood up and landed on his feet, and he felt his feet return to the previous feelings. Even more than before, he felt the strength of his feet recover. His lips were slightly raised. He said, Your medicine is very useful. When Yan, Feng Juyi smiled, and the heart that was mentioned finally put it down, that's good, then, your legs will not feel weak again in the future. She said, she sounded a voice, said, yes, the monk is coming, eating downstairs, I told them to start for a while, here is the town we are going to, there are still a few days away, where to find a house, let you rest and nurse the body there. Xian Yuan Mo's knows that she wants to go alone to do the things that Wan Fo Zone confessed, so she said, Well, it's too much, the movements here are too big, and it's not good to stay here for a long time. Let them get ready, go over there and adjust your body. Said, he looked into the inner room and asked, How is the child? Is it better? Don't worry. I just watched it, the fire has already retreated and the medicine of last night has the effect of Ning Shen. They slept very well. Now they haven't woken up yet, let them sleep for a while, then give them later. Eat something. Speaking of two children, Feng Ju's face is soft and soft. Looking at the worry of the two children when they are sick, when they see the two children recovering, the feeling of relief is really a deep understanding. It is not easy to be a mother. The two came to the inner room to see the children. I saw that the two children in the big bed were familiar with each other. The soft and cute little face had already recovered the normal pink color. The small mouth spits bubbles and sleeps very well. Xiao Mu, who is wearing a navy blue dress, sleeps the most. He sleeps without tampering. He sleeps and keeps that position. The little nephew who sleeps in pink clothes is very active. I saw her turning sideways, and the small hand of the meat toot greeted her brother on the side, scared Feng Ju quickly and reached out. Xian Yu and Mo's looked at the daughter who was not even sleeping, and also pinched a cold sweat for her son. The little hand of the little girl took a picture when he turned over. If it was not blocked, it is estimated that the hand went down to the little guy. There was a more slap in the face, 
and I woke up with a wow. When Feng Zhu carefully lifted her daughter away, he shook his head and shook his head. His face showed a touch of helplessness. He said, the little nephew is estimated to be the master of the ancient spirits. Hey, this brother must have been eaten by her. Wen Yan, Feng Ji could not help but smile, my daughter is very strange, is it like a whole piece of ice like you? Besides, my son can be seen like you, so fortunately there is a small after the child, tease him, and the two can compliment each other. Yes, yes, you are right. Xian Yuan Moses favorite smile, and will not refute her words. You go to clean up, do you want to go downstairs to eat or let people come in? After eating something, you are ready to leave. Feng Zhu said, looking at the two sleeping children on the bed, intending to let them wake up to eat. Thing. I let people come in. You can also eat. Xian Yuan Mose said, this went out and confessed to the grey wolf waiting outside. Not long after, the rich breakfast came in. The grey wolf probed the probe and looked at the inner room and asked, The master, are the two little masters better? The kitchen has porridge water, do you want to come over to the two little masters? Eat. Well, it has already been retired. Xian Yuan Moser said, looked inside and said, Go over. Okay. The grey wolf should, and quickly retired, went to the kitchen to send the porridge that was picked up early. Feng Ju wakes up two little guys. When I wake up, the two little guys seem to have not slept enough. The eyes only open a slit and look at Feng Ju. They smell familiar and reassuring. The two little guys are like two. Only a kitten liked into her arms, licking in her arms, causing Feng Ju to laugh out loud. On the side of Xian Yuan Mo's looked at the two children with a spirit of strength, but also a touch of faint smile, he reached out and rubbed his daughter's hair, and saw the little guy peeping out of her mother's arms, meet the little hand holding his hand held his hand and stuffed it into his mouth. It seems to be hungry. He took his hand back, didn't let the little guy into his mouth, got up and brought the porridge on the table and carefully fed it to her. Take a scarf, so as not to get dirty. Feng Ju said, tie the small scarf at the head of the bed to the neck of Xiao Yan and Xiao Mu. The two children were held in her arms, and Xian Yuan Mo's was feeding them. After they had enough to eat, this allowed Feng Ju to put the two children on the bed and let her eat something. Du Fan and others downstairs prepared, and a few people in the room came out. Some of them suffered internal injuries. Even if they took the medicine for treating internal injuries, the face was slightly pale at this time. After all, that the strength of King Shura is not weak, and the other side has no mercy. If they don't have the medicine to treat the internal injuries, it is estimated that they can't get out of bed today. I have prepared a few carriages, and then you will take the one behind the masters. The last one will let the master and Qi Kong sit. Du Fan looked at the cold frost and the heart and the white city, the three of them said with, Originally, I couldn't use so many carriages, but I was injured one by one. He prepared two more cars so that the big guys could rest on the road. They have they used breakfast? Cold Frost asked. Send it up, this should be eaten almost. Du Fan said, looking upstairs, I saw the door open, the two took the child out. Master. A few people in the Cold Frost gave a ritual and called. How is your injury? Is it better? Feng Ju asked, his eyes falling on the three of them. It has been much better to take the drug. Well, that's good, rest on the road, if the trip is fast, then you can reach the destination in two days. Feng Ju holding the child in his arms and Xian Yuan Mo's together from the upstairs, to the following, see the monk already sitting on the side of the Bible, I smiled and called, Master we should depart. The monk opened his eyes and looked at them. Then he stood up, whispered a Buddha in his hands, and then walked over to them, his eyes swept over the faces of the two lovely children in their arms, and then recovered. Concentrate. Feng Ju did not pay attention, just let a few people get on the car first, then go to the carriage with Xian Yuan Mo's, 
listen to Du Fan and others in the Luo Luo, until they are in the carriage, three carriages this is going outside the city. Two days later, in the evening, Du Fan and Liu Yun were waiting for the arrival of their masters at the gate. Because they had to do everything in the city, they both came first and took the sword and found a good house in the city. When they arrive, they can stay and calculate the time. It should be here. How long are we going to live here? The master is going to do things, we don't have to go with them. Because the carriage has not arrived, Liu Yun will talk to Du Fan around him. Du Fan looked out of the city, the fan in his hand gently fanned, said, this depends on the arrangement of the master. If things are handled early, they can naturally leave early. However, I estimate that I will stay here. For a long time. Wen Yan, Liu Yun glanced at him, and said strangely, Why? Do you think that the master has helped the Buddha to do this for a long time? This is only one of them. After all, if it is really difficult, they can handle it themselves, and why should the master help them? Not to mention, the strength of the monk is not low. Du Fan said slowly, the fan in his hand was closed, holding his hand behind his back, his eyes flashing slightly, saying, as for the second, this area is now a landless region, and the masters are here, since they came here. And why not accept it? With the strength of the master and the lord, it is not difficult to get here. However, the strength of the master has not recovered to its peak. After all, it is estimated that it will stay for a while. Liu Yun's words just fell, and the carriage that was not far from the city came slowly. Looking at the carriage, a smile appeared on his face, look, the masters are here. Du Fan looked out of the city and smiled on his face, it was earlier than expected. It is estimated that they did not rest on the road. Fortunately, we have already arranged the houses, they just need to come and rest. During the conversation, the two went up and took them to the city. I just didn't expect that they hadn't left the city yet. I didn't see the three carriages that had just entered the city were stopped by the guards in the city. Looking at this scene, the two looked at each other and walked forward. Get off the carriage and walk into the city. City guard screamed, and the sharp edge of his hand was facing the carriage. Lengua drove the carriage and saw the city guard screaming and letting them all get off the carriage. His gentle face smiled slightly, his eyes passed over the city guards, and finally fell on a city guard and asked, this is the gauge in the city not allowing the carriage to enter the city. The gentle voice, but inexplicably let the city guard's heart grow a little hair, he looked up and saw the gentleman's face with a gentle smile, watching it as a gentle person, and no bit of lethality, so he coughed and said, yes, people who come to the city have to get off the carriage and walk into the city. However, just as his words just fell, two carriages came in the back, and the carriage was followed by the accompanying guards. The carriage went into the city without a half pause, and went straight to the city gate and went to the city. Looking at this scene, Lengua smiled and said, So how did they get in? The city guard's brow wrinkled and said, How can it be the same? How is it different? Lenghua asked. You are from other places. They are the family of the city. There are signs of the family on the carriage. But those who are nobles in the city can naturally take the carriage into the city, and the carriage will enter the city. It's just the distance set by the outsiders. The city's chieftain said that the people who saw the three carriages did not come down, but they were still at the gate of the city, and they immediately fell face with dissatisfaction. Hurry down the carriage. Or else turn around and leave. The arrogant words are stern, obviously they are treated as ordinary people in the field. Also, the atmosphere of Lengua's group of people is introverted. If they are not true masters, they really can't see their true strength. In addition, their three carriages are low-key and naturally, they are naturally looked down by these city guards. If they are replaced by others, they dare to arbitrarily swear. What's wrong with this? How to stop on the road? Didn't you see the way in and out? An unpleasant voice came from the back of Lengua's carriage. 
I saw that a luxury carriage was preparing to enter the city outside the city gate, except that the carriages of Lengua and others blocked most of the gates, while others on the other side were carrying heavy loads and in and out. First, the luxury carriage wants to enter the city is half blocked. After all, this one is no less than the previous lower profile carriages. This carriage is not only luxurious, but also half the size of the average carriage. Can't get in. In the left and right behind and behind the carriage, followed by a team of 30 people, who looked like they had just returned from other places, and there was a trace of exhaustion on their faces. Blocking is not allowed, and the faces are ugly. When the city guard saw the sign on the carriage and changed his face, he immediately sipped, you must hurry down the carriage. Pull the carriage away and don't block it here. Rao is a cold-blooded temper, and there is some anger at this time. Just as he is preparing to get angry, Du Fan's voice is coming from the front. What's the matter? Is it because this is not allowed to take a carriage into the city? Is this too different? Du Fan stepped forward, and the fan in his hand gently fanned the wind on his chest. Perhaps he heard his casual and laughing voice. The woman who was lying on the soft couch in the luxurious carriage suddenly sat up, reached out and picked the curtain and looked forward. I wanted to see what it was. People? Only, the front carriage blocked the line of sight, could not see what the person looked like, but accidentally saw the carriage next to it, Wei Feng and Luo Yu sitting. The two people are different from the temperament of the ordinary noble son, and they can not help but attract the woman's gaze. Her eyes are staring at the two people, and they look like a pair of flowers. Miss, miss. The servant waiting for the whisper whispered, while quietly pulling the woman's horn, and some worried about the black-faced lord, only feeling that the atmosphere in the carriage suddenly became depressed, let her some are restless. What? Let's go. The woman's angry hand, the strength, directly smashed the niece and slammed into the other side of the carriage. Hiss. The prostitute hit the forehead, and she took a breath of cold air. She felt that something warm and slipped from her forehead. She twitched and touched it, but she saw that it was bleeding. The prostitute did not dare to speak, but just shrank aside and hugged the wound with a slap. Give me back. The middle-aged man sitting in the carriage was sulking in his voice, perhaps with anger in his voice, which made the woman have to look back and look at her father reluctantly sit back. Hey, what are you doing with me? I just look at it and don't take people back. The woman grinned, her eyes still a little reluctant to look at her through a slit window, falling in that wind and loyal you both. When the woman stared at them in the morning, the two men noticed that they had long been used to the gaze of women, but they did not expect that the woman was staring at them and looking back and forth. The appearance of a pair of hate can really make the two people speechless. The two looked at each other and were taken care of by the words in front. Tell you. Get out of the carriage, or you will turn around, don't, ah. The city guard's words have not been finished, and they were directly fanned by Du Fan's fan. I saw that the fan in Du Fan's hand had a fan of the wind, and walked slowly to the carriage, watching the city guard who was flying by him. He said, I'm just saying this, when the truth says no. I like to do it directly, you should not mind. The city guard only felt that the whole person flew out and hit the wall, and then bounced back to the ground. The bones in his body seemed to be interrupted. The whole face was distorted, and the half sound failed. Speak up. Until, after a while, he spit out a spurt, glaring at Du Fan sipping at the surrounding city guards, what are you still doing? Up. The city guards were still hesitant. After listening to his words, they immediately rushed forward and the sharp edges in their hands attacked them. In the luxurious carriage, the woman jumped up in excitement, it's playing up. She almost screamed out of the carriage after hearing the sound of the fight outside. It was so fast that she sat together. The middle-aged man in the carriage could not catch it. Damn. Yefi Fei. You give me back. Take her back to me. The middle-aged man screamed in anger, but only saw that figure flew out like a butterfly, 
and rushed toward the front. The fan in Du Fan's hand swelled, and the violent air rushed out. They flew out the city guards who flew forward, lifted their legs and kicked them. A city guard was kicked out, just right in the city guard who just wanted to stand up. On the body, let him scream and fall down. Feeling that there was a wind coming behind him, Du Fan turned around and pulled the city guard on the front side to attack. He tried to borrow someone from the other hand and tried to retreat, but he didn't want to turn around. A woman with a red birthmark on her face is dressed like a butterfly. The woman fell off the balance of the guard behind him, but he did not think that someone attacked him from behind, but the attack that he took the man's attack had already hit, and the sharp blade hit the woman. In order to avoid hurting the innocent people, he immediately moved at a pace, swept sideways, reached over the woman's waist, and turned around, taking her away from the attack of the sharp edge. What? The woman seemed to be shocked. A pair of clear eyes squinted at Du Fan. In that eyes, there was no such thing as a sly look at Luo Yu and Wei Feng in the window, but it was only a moment. She reached out to Du Fan's neck and put her head on his chest like a idiot. Thank you for saving the son, the little woman has no intention of reporting, and she is willing to accept it. The sound of the delicate drops can drip out the water. He heard Du Fan's body goosebumps. He was still staring at the woman's eyes, but he didn't want the woman to bury his face in his chest. A shy look, it really scared him. Miss, the owner asked you to go back. Several guards chased them up, and with a bit of disgust in their eyes, they watched the woman rush into the man's arms. Don't. The woman said loudly, her hands still glaring at Du Fan's neck. This made the coldness sitting on the carriage, and Liu Yun on the side, they looked amazed. Du Fan will almost let the woman's body close, no, no, it is his own to go to the waist of the girl, but this girl is too ugly. Although the figure is good, but the red birthmark on the face almost occupies the majority of the face, even if the five senses are still exquisite, but also the birth of the birthmark to destroy the beauty, plus the gaudy dress, it is people have seen the unavoidable retreat. The fan handle in Du Fan's hand went to the woman's acupuncture point, and she saw her screaming, her hand numb, and the next moment, the whole person was smashed out by a force, and the figure fell backwards and then fell. Several guards saw this, but they took a step back and let the woman fall to the ground. Du Fan smiled on the face, the fan in his hand opened, and swept gently on the body, as if to pick up something that was caught by the woman, and said warmly, Girl you have to know that this son is handsome and handsome, and there are so many women who are willing to give up. If anyone comes to an innocent report, it is estimated that the backyard of this son can't be stopped. Miss, the owner told you to go. Several guards came forward and set up the woman to go to the carriage. Let's let go. Who told you to take me away? Let go. Let me go. The woman sipped and lifted her foot to lick them, but at this moment, she saw her father coming out of the carriage and screaming with anger, Are you still not enough? Luo Yu and Wei Feng looked at the luxury carriage with a smile and saw that the woman was on the carriage, and the two men regained their gaze and looked ahead. In addition to the city guard, the city guards fell to the ground one by one, so they also drove the carriage to the city, led by Du Fan and Liu Yun, to the new house. As they left, the luxurious carriage behind them followed the city. However, the middle-aged man looked at the people on the ground after entering the city, frowned, and disappeared into several carriages in the city. Looked in the direction, this went to the city. After they all entered the city, the city's guardian Wei, who came to hear the news, came with a team. After seeing the injured person, he asked in a deep voice, what happened? The city guard was helped by the two city guards. He resisted the discomfort of the body and reported the matter to him. Finally, he said, the guards, these people must get out, or else they might what is going on in the city, and it's not a good thing to look at them. It was said that the guardian immediately yelled at the team behind him, check. Find these people. Yes. The city guards should, and quickly go to the city. 
On the other side, Du Fan took them to a house and opened the carriage and asked Fang Ju to come down. He smiled and said, The master, the lord, the environment of this house is still good, this area is not the central area. It's quieter, everything in the house has been arranged, and you can rest after you enter it. Xuan Yuan Mo's and Fang Ju held the children down. After looking at the house, the two men stepped inside. The people behind them got down the carriage and followed them inside. The monk walked behind and looked at the house and followed him. The next day, when they were still asleep, they were awakened by a burst of outside sounds. Open the door. Open the door. A team of city guards yelled at the gates of Feng Zhu's house, because they had surrounded a large group of people in the early morning, and the people around them probed the probes and looked at them. They didn't know what was going on. Listening to the movement outside, Du Fan, who got up early, said to Lenghua, who was preparing for breakfast in the government, and then left the wall to leave. Qi Kong was woken up and was about to go out to see it. He saw that the cold porridge was sent to her sister and by Ching Cheng. When they saw him, Qi Kong smiled and said, How come you got up so early? Even the porridge is good. I used to get up early, but I couldn't sleep. Lenghua smiled and said, I gave my sister a good porridge and they ate it. Right, I didn't care about him outside. Du Fan went out, for a while. Come back. Wen Yan, Qi Kong nodded, Well, I know, but if this is noisy, it is estimated that the master will be awakened, I went to the front of a sound insulation enchantment. He said, while going to the front go. Seeing this, Lenghua called, early meals are in the kitchen, if you are hungry, go eat first. Okay, I know. Qi Kong waved his hand and did not turn back. The monk in one room got up early and read the chanting. Listening to the sound outside, he just paused and continued to close his eyes and read. I don't know how long it took, the sound of the outside disappeared. About Mo Chen was in the middle of the day, and the monk got up and went out. He saw Du Fan and Qi Kong sitting at the table and talking about the sky. Master is coming. Sit. Du Fan smiled and asked him to sit down and pour him a cup of tea. He said, Master, the place you said is a hidden world. I went out this morning and asked about it. It was the people in this city. And there are very few people who know that place. Du Fan's voice was aloud and he looked at the monk, however, during this time, I also speculated that I could take the two treasures from the Wanfo Gate, and let the people in the Wanfo Gate not be able to directly retrieve them. If you want to come, the strength of this hidden world sect should be very strong. He took a sip of tea and put the cup down. He gently turned the cup and said, I heard from Lang Hua, the master said that my master will go out and there will be blood and light the last night of the opponent although it is the Shura Wang and others, but my master has only suffered some skin trauma, it is estimated that it should not be the disaster mentioned in the master's mouth? Is it not that this disaster should be on this hidden world? Amitabha. The monk whispered and did not say much, but his attitude also made Du Fan faintly guessed. At this time, the grey wolf yawned and came over, seeing that they were all here, and said, you all get up very early. Saying, sitting down at the side, pouring a cup of tea and drinking, suddenly I looked at the outside again and seemed to respond to the question, Hey? In the morning, I heard a call from outside the door. Why didn't you move now? Du Fan smiled and said, I went to the city government and took a token. During the speech, he moved his hand and a token appeared in the palm of his hand. How did you get it? Shouldn't it be stolen? Grey Wolf squinted and asked. Oh, how is it possible? This is what the city owner gave me. Du Fan said with a smile, and took the token. Hearing the words, the Grey Wolf grinned and said, Oh, what is the city owner for you? Estimated to use the force to get the hand like the last time. This time, there really isn't. Du Fan said, looking at the Grey Wolf. I just asked the city owner a word, then the city owner gave me this stuff. What? 
the grey wolf asked curiously. Du Fan smiled and said, just ask him, do you know that King Shura and the auctioneer behind the scenes of the King of the Kings were killed? The grey wolf stunned, and then he laughed, it turns out that it is, ha 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 ha. A few people chatted for a while, seeing that Fan Lin was not here, the grey wolf asked, how can I not see Fan Lin? He hasn't started yet. Chi Kong listened to the side, it started, but he went to the heart of the piano. The two men came together somehow, but they were very optimistic about them. After all, they were very good. And knowing the roots. Oh, I went to the heart of the piano. The grey wolf nodded and asked, Hey, cold cream in the city, how are they hurting? Is there better? The cold Wen Wen's hung next to him said, My sisters are much better, and they took the medicine again this morning. When there is no other thing here, they will let them raise the internal injuries first. Well, it should be, the body is best to be raised. The grey wolf said, and asked some other things, until near noon, they saw their master and small masters come out. Xian Yuan Mo's and Feng Ju took two children out to move around. The two little guys were full and sleepy. They looked very spirited. When they saw the new house outside, they giggled. When they passed through the garden, they saw it. When a butterfly is flying, it stretches out a small hand and wants to catch it. Because they first arrived here, and they also had injuries on their bodies, Feng Ju did not say that he was eager to leave. Instead, he stayed here with the children for a few days. In the early morning after a few days of living, she came to the monk to live. Courtyard Master Feng Ju looked at the monk who sat in the courtyard and sat on the knees, and walked in and came to his side to stop. The donor is coming. The monk opened her eyes and glanced at her. She got up and asked her to sit down at the table next to her. After the two sat down at the table, Feng Ju said, Master, I am going to leave tomorrow. I will come over to tell you today. I am thinking that you are waiting here at this house. I will come back when things are done. Wen Yan, the monk looked at her and said, The donor, the poor will go with you. Listening to this, Feng Ju raised his brow, Does the master want to go directly to the door? I believe the master also knows that even if it is directly to the door, it is estimated that the other party can't help but the other party will not hand over those things because of your door. The poor know that Baron is just trying to do a little bit of effort, and, as the Baron said, the donor has a disaster. The monk said slowly, calm and peaceful eyes fell on Feng Ju. Feng Ju's lips smiled and said, there is no disaster of blood and light. Anyway, I am imperative. But if the master follows me, it is estimated that it will only cause me trouble. If so, why not wait here? With me. She said, she did not wait for him to say anything more, he laughed, not to mention, I will not covet the two things of your million Buddhas, this master can rest assured. Baron is just worried about the safety of the donor. It is not that the donor will take care of the door and the heart. The monk said with his hands together and looked dignified. Obviously, the danger of her trip was not low. Feng Juyi smiled and said, The master does not have to worry, I will be careful. She said, She stood up and said, I will not bother the master to be quiet, wait for me to get things back, come see the master again. Seeing her, the monk sighed and stood up and snorted with his hands together, Amitabha, the donor is careful. The next morning, when Feng Ju left, he called out the fire phoenix in the space and let it stay to protect the two children. Xian Yuan Mo's did not agree with this. You go alone in the trip, there are fire phoenixes around you to protect, I am more assured, as far as you do not have to worry about it, I will protect the children. Xian Yuan Mo's said with a calm voice, watching the stop the phoenix that fell on the side, the eyebrows were slightly twisted. Feng Ji smiled and said, I still have them in the space. They are all around me. As for the fire and phoenix, I am not at the side of the child. I am really worried. If I leave it, I can rest assured. You don't believe that I can protect them. 
Xuan Yuan Moser asked. Feng Zhu saw his face sinking, and quickly said, Of course not, your current strength is that I am not your opponent, I naturally believe that you can protect the children, but after all, things always in case, there are a lot of things that are not accurate, so I want to think about it, or let the fire phoenix leave me more peace of mind. She looked at Xian Yuan Mo's in front of her. You also hope that I can rest assured that everything in my family? Besides, the power of swallowing clouds and old white is not weak. It is enough to have them with me. Seeing her say this, Xian Yuan Mo's did not say anything more, just said, If this is the case, then it depends on you. However, you must be careful when you are outside, pay attention to safety is the most important. Well, I know. Feng Ji smiled and a pair of beautiful eyes became a crescent. On the side of the fire phoenix listened to them to discuss, and looked at the pair of little baby dolls on the bed, could not help but flew over, smashed at the neck of the two little guys. Fire phoenix, I am gone, remember what I am telling you. After Feng Ju kissed Xian Yuan Mo's, he screamed at the bed and watched the child's fire. Well, the master can rest assured that I will protect the little master. Listening to this, Feng Ju's lips smiled and said, You can usually go to the jade of both of them, and most people can't find you. After she confessed to the fire phoenix, she told Xian Yuan Mo's about the children's affairs, and called Du Fan and others to the yard and told them about it. Master, let me go with you. Du Fan said, his eyes fell on her. For the disaster that the monk said, they were all worried, so they secretly discussed it. Finally, they decided to let one of them follow her. If there is anything, there is a kind of care. Wen Yan, Feng Juyi smiled and said, No, you can protect me and guard it here. Besides, I am not alone. I still have swallowing clouds and old whites. If you follow, I will follow. Acting is not so convenient. Seeing her saying this, they didn't say much, just let her be careful, and watched her leave. When she left, the grey wolf couldn't help but look at Lang Hua and Qi Kong. They asked, was it going to let the lady go alone? Is there any problem? Do we want to follow quietly? Since the master says no, don't use it. Du Fan said, looking at the master who had disappeared into the line of sight, turned and said to them, the master will go out alone, and her ability will not be easy to detect her, the relative will be safer, but the little master's here. There will definitely be a lot of people staring, we are here to guard and protect the little masters, lest the masters worry about going out. It was said that everyone looked at each other and then they nodded and walked inside. After they left, at the corner, the monk took the bead in his hand and walked out. After a slight pause, he turned and walked to the backyard. Out of the city, Feng Zhu, who has been going north, has not walked, but used the aircraft to travel. This is the time she left, she is already thinking about the children at home, just because she misses so she wants to go early. Do this well. The place where the monk said to her is this hidden sect. It is said that it is about two or three days away from the city. Even if she has been a royal device, it will take two or three days to arrive, plus an unidentified route. Therefore, the delay on the road is inevitable. Mainly, it is harder for her to get another identity into the hidden world. On the first day, the imperial device was on the road. The road was very calm and nothing happened. In the evening, she did not sleep in the mountains, but went directly into the space to rest. Compared to the cold wind outside at night, the warmth in the space is full of energy and comfort. She came to the Ling Chuan, watching the blooming golden lotus in the water radiating a dazzling light, and could not help but reveal a smile. I believe that it will not take long for the strangers to refine themselves and reappear in front of the world. The contracted beasts in the space were all surrounded, and they were happily squatting beside her. She patted their heads and said, I have to rest first. You should practice more in it, don't be lazy. Master, my strength is already strong. Laobai said, it sometimes turns into a horse, 
and sometimes becomes the appearance of a white dragon, and as it says, its current strength although not as good as swallowing clouds, it is also very strong. Feng Juyi smiled and looked at Lao Bai. He said, you can't compare two swallowing beasts in space. Are you too embarrassed to say that you are strong? When I heard this, Lao Bai suddenly fell down. It was not a fact to swallow the clouds. What it didn't think was that even the mother's swallowing beast couldn't compare it to it. The mother animal has been practicing since it entered this place. Now it is still in cultivation. It is so desperate that it is not normal. In the space of Fengju, Bai Hu has become a majestic adult tiger beast from the small pets of the past. It listens to Fengju and Lao Bai, and he squats at the foot of Fengju and occasionally looks up at her. Well, they are all scattered. Fengju said, let them not bother to her, they will go to rest first. A few contracted beasts saw that she was also a bit tired, and went to the other side, not to quarrel her to rest. The next morning, after Fengju came out of the space, he continued to walk on the road. Because he was walking on a remote mountain road, he rarely met people along the way. What he did not expect was that at noon, she was sitting on a tree and resting. And eating the fruit, I saw a few monks wearing blue robes and went to the north. Seeing this, her eyes flashed slightly. When she was about to eat the fruit, she quietly followed the few people. She didn't stay too close, and she didn't stay too far. While she followed, she watched. Those people's words and deeds, especially one of them is a thin figure. The blue robes of the swordsman saw the sun at noon, and one of them said, it's better for us to take a break. Stop and drink the water slowly, this noon's hot sun is too dry, with the sun's sword and sweat is coming out. Another older monk saw this and said, well, then take a rest under the tree. The other monks listened to each other and showed a touch of joy on their faces. They immediately speeded up to the front and went to the shaded place to rest. Sitting under the tree, several people each took out a water bladder to drink. One of them drank a few water drops and poured the water bladder. Seeing that there was no water at the end, they couldn't help but look around and then looked at it. An elderly monk asked, Mr. Lin, is there a source of water near here? There is no place here. I have to go a long way before I have a source of water. The older monk said, glanced at his empty water bladder and said, Would you like to use me? Although I asked, I didn't mean to hand it over. When the man saw it, he smiled and said, no need to use it. How can I use my brother's water? I remember that the younger brother's water bladder seems to have been filled with water last night. I still think there should be a lot of water. Is it a younger brother? He looked at the thin man sitting next to him without talking, and he smiled and stared at him. Seeing the other side staring at him, no, rightly, it should be staring at the water bladder in his hand. The man with the surname squatted his eyes and licked his lips and handed the water bladder in his hand. For this scene, several other people are eccentric, and obviously this is not the first time. The man took the other's water sack and took all the water into his own water sack. Then he threw the empty water sack to him and smiled. Hey, brother. You are inside. I don't have much water, so I'm all down. Shouldn't you mind? No, I am not thirsty, the man said, with a bit of weakness in his voice. That's good. The man smiled with satisfaction. The group sat for a while, and after a rest, they continued to play the sword. In the dark, Feng Ju watched them leave, and then walked out from behind a tree. When they swept, they quietly followed them. Behind. She did not re-elect but chose to follow them through the cover of the trees between the mountains, so that it is not easy to expose themselves. As for those people, she guessed that it should be the person of the hidden world. Right now, she is waiting, waiting for an opportunity. It was night, and the few people rested in the forest. She gathered in the air and looked at them in the dark. They watched the people calling the man's branch of the surname to blaze them and dispel the mosquitoes at night. These people looked at the same brothers, 
but there was not much sincerity between them. Although she had not yet touched the hidden sect, she looked at these people and could know why the hidden sects were people will use people to achieve their goals. I want to come, this should be an unscrupulous sect to achieve the goal, and the struggle within the Zongmen should be very intense. If you look at these people, you can know that it is natural to hold the high. These people did not go to the wild game to eat, but took the Pawan pill and fell asleep on the fire. However, as the night faded, when the monks were asleep, the man with the surname was standing. It's up. When he moved, the older monk opened his eyes with vigilance. When he saw him, he asked, Hey, what are you going to do so late? The man glanced at him, slightly suppressing the sound as if he was afraid of waking up other people. He apologized, I'm sorry, Lin brother, I want to solve the problem, I didn't expect to wake you up. Hearing the words, the older man said this, go. Then he closed his eyes and continued to rest. The man should have a voice, and after looking at him, it was not far away. In the dark, Feng Zhu listened to the other party to solve the problem. Originally, he did not intend to follow it. However, when the man turned and looked at the other monk, his eyes were covered with a haze, but she could not help but pick I raised my eyebrows and quietly followed. This way, this person has always given people a feeling of timidity and weakness. Among those monks, he is also the weakest. It is normal to be bullied. But what surprised her is this. People who seem timid and weak will actually have such a sullen look. When she quietly followed behind, I saw that the man took out a piccolo and blew it on his mouth. His fingers were moving, his mouth was moving, his breath was moving but the flute had no sound. Outgoing. Just when she felt a little surprised, she heard something in the grass. A black snake with a black and yellow alternately chopped out from the weeds, wrapped around a dead branch on the ground and watching it blow. Flute man. After a while, the man reached out and held the little snake, revealing a strange smile. He took the flute and walked back, and returned to the older man to close his eyes and rest. At night, a piece of silence, occasionally only the sound of the branches burning, and the rustling of the leaves when the night winds smashed, after the night, it appeared more quiet, and several people slept very deeply. Feng Zhu had been watching in the dark until he saw the big snake of the chopsticks creeping up and coming to the monk who had been calling the man who was surnamed, and suddenly the snake came up. The open mouth of the Shekhao licked the man who was afraid of the neck. Oh. Ah. The man was awakened from his sleep and gave a scream of screaming. He instinctively grabbed the neck and grabbed the slippery snake. However, the snake's mouth was huge and tight. He bit his neck and let him pull it off. Ah. I'm helping my brother, save me. He was crying in horror, still holding the snake in one hand, but after the snake bit the blood vessel in his neck, the blood suddenly spurted out and the snake was actually bitten along. The mouth slammed in and squeezed into the man's neck. The monks who woke up with the screams of screams slammed open and looked at the scene with horror and stunned. They watched the little snake crawling into his neck and drilling into his body along his neck, and his face gradually faded from the pale black and purple, and the blood that had originally oozing the color, the color of the lips also turned black and purple, and the eyes screamed in horror. One hand was still tightly twisted into a fist and reached the neck. The next moment, his body suddenly twitched, and the seven holes leaked out. Blood, the whole person fell down stiffly, and convulsions broke the breath in a few moments. This scene happened in front of their eyes, and it was so fast that they couldn't react to them, and they saw that he had broken his breath. Hiss. Several monks took a breath of air, and no one came forward just watching them, until they saw that the snake had been drilled out from the heart of the dead monk after a while. Their faces are not whitish. Call out. The older monk took the sword and fell, and a sword gas cut into two pieces when the snake was ready to escape. When the two snakes were struck on the ground, they only feeling a cold in my heart. The little snake, the size of a chopstick, broke into the body of the man, but it was only drilled again and the body was a big circle. 
why did this become so big at this moment? Anyone knows that Ken is the internal organs that ate the disciple who died were only getting bigger. In the dark, Feng Zhu looked at this scene, his brows were slightly twisted, and his face was also dipped. I didn't expect that a disciple who looked at the inconspicuous eyes could have such a good ability. It was really shocking. Her gaze could not help but fall on the man who looked back and feared. I didn't expect this person to be able to pretend. If I didn't see it, I couldn't believe it was from his handwriting. Lin Shikshang, then, what kind of snake is that? How is it so horrible? A monk trembled and asked, the one who was still alive at the last moment, actually died at the time of this meeting, and it is such a terrible and terrifying life and death that they are really shocked. The older monk was dignified and looked at the poisonous snake that had broken into two sections on the ground. He said, I have never seen this kind of snake. However, from this incident, this snake is highly toxic and bloodthirsty. His face was dull and his voice paused. He said, this snake is in the territory of our sect. It is not a good thing to think about it. After returning, I have to hurry up and report the matter. Let the disciples who are watching the gate also be careful. It's good. Listening to his words, Several people nodded their heads, and after cleaning up, they sprinkled powder around them to prevent poisonous snakes from appearing. For the dead monk, several people just took a look at it and then treated his body. Maybe it was because of such a big night, they didn't sleep anymore, just sitting on the fire and thinking about things. In the dark, Feng Zhu's eyes fell on the man who was surnamed, and she stared at him, wondering what she was thinking. Until the next morning, several people continued to move forward, Feng Zhu is still following behind, perhaps gradually into the area of the hidden world of Zongmen, every time she walked, she felt a lot of cloth around trap. And at noon, when the monks were sitting under the tree to rest, a beautiful woman with a beautiful face was coming from afar. A few people sitting and resting looked up, and when their eyes fell on the woman's beautiful face, the eyes lit up and the colors of surprise and admiration appeared on their faces. It's Zhu Shimei. The older monk stared at the woman who came from the sword, her eyes moving slowly from her delicate face, falling on the exquisite curve. In the dark, the woman of the Fengju dynasty looked at it and saw that the other person was wearing a white tube top dress, and the waist belt was tight, and the bee waist was pulled out, making the whole body more delicate and attractive. Because it is a tube top dress, even if it is covered with a tulle, it is still faintly visible that the jade arm under the tulle and the snow on the chest are her eyes moving up and falling on the other's face. Not to be superb, but don't have a feminine style. Look at the men who have bright eyes. The charm of this woman is not small. Linger has seen all the brothers. When the woman landed on the sword and came to the front of a few people, she made a slight sigh of waste and gave them a ritual. The soft and soft call of a brother, the hearts of the men were crisp, and the eyes were straightforward. The spring that reflected in front of their eyes when she leaned slightly. Linger's sister does not have to be polite. The older monk stepped forward and reached out to raise her, but he was not willing to take back his hand. The woman shyly retracted her hand and said to a few people, the master respects that several brothers are already on the way back, and the special life Linger comes to meet. Several people listened to this and some of them looked at each other unexpectedly. At this time, the woman asked in a curious question, Mr. Lin, you go out this trip, I don't know if there is anything to gain. Nature is there. The older man said, laughing, we just wanted to get back to the teacher because of some gains. I don't want to meet the sisters here. Listen to the brothers, isn't that Feng Zhu really in our region? The woman was half smiling with red lips. Not bad. He nodded, but did not say much. When the woman saw it, she gently pulled his sleeves, and the soft voice was a bit of a spoiled, Sister, Linger is very curious about the ghost Dr. Feng Zhu, not as good as the brother and Linger. Oh, Linger's sister not the brothers refused to tell you, but I have to report to the teacher first. The older man, although greedy for the beauty of the other, did not faint. 
Wen Yan, the woman's eyes flashed slightly, apologetic, it is Linger who forgot the distance for a while, the brothers should not be surprised. Several people chatted there for a while, then they ran with the sword. Seeing this, Feng Ju followed up, about to be late in the evening, and the few people who had the sword were taken out of the space after flying the sword. The medicinal herbs came under the service and then walked into a fog. After seeing Feng Ju, he followed and walked forward. In her body, even if this fog is poisonous, it will not hurt her. But what surprised her is that not only is this area poisonous, but also in this fog, it is necessary to pass through it. The forces have to go through this battle. The fog filled in front of her eyes blocked the line of sight. When she couldn't see the figures of the few people, she gathered her mind and planned to pass the fog first. Even if she walked for a while in the formation, she heard a laughter. She shunned to the side and listened carefully, knowing that the voice of the laughter was the former woman named Zhu. After she shunned a tree in the French law, she watched the woman named Zhu and a man pick up a group there and listened to the man's voice, which seemed to be one of those monks. Brother, wait. The woman pushed the man away, pulling his half-opened placket with both hands and said, Senior, what time do you go out and hear what? When Xiang Yun Yu is in the arms, the man breathes slightly, wants to pounce on her before, but is pushed away, had to ask, what do you want to know? The woman smiled and put it in his ear, ghost Dr. Feng Chu's news, and the news of the ancient Jinlian and Wan Fozong men. In fact, this news is no secret to the outsiders, and we don't know what we are here. The man said, glaring at the woman's waist, the ghost Dr. Feng Chu and the Qing Long monarch are all here, and their pair of dragon and baby children, according to our latest news, that the Shura Wang and the other a strong king of the gods met with them, but they all died in their hands. This matter has already spread around the world, but their whereabouts are not known at the moment. As for the ancient Jinlian, I heard that it has already fallen. In their hands, there is nothing to do with the Wanfozong men, and I don't know what they mean. The words of the woman glimmered, is there no whereabouts? Yes, no, I don't lie to you. The man said, when they killed King Shura and others, they didn't know where to go, and no one dared to follow them. And the time we went out this time was not too long. After hearing the news, we rushed back to the division. Honored. When the sound fell, the man said again, Sister, can you follow me now? Said, bowing his head and going forward. The woman smiled and let the man take advantage of it for a while and then pushed him away, Brother, what are you urgent? we will return to Zongmen soon, I will go to Zongmen and I will go to you again. Now it is not good, one brother Huilin saw that we would come to us if we didn't see it, lest they be discovered. The man was a bit unhappy, but when she heard that she would come back to Zongmen, she would come to him, and her eyes suddenly brightened, would you really come back to Zongmen to come to me? Of course. The woman smiled and tapped his chest and picked up her foot and kissed him. This brought the clothes together, I will go back first, and you will come back later. Okay. The man was content with satisfaction. After watching her leave, it took a while to go back. Feng Ju, who was in the dark, came out with a brow and felt that the people of this hidden world were not vegetarian. She walked slowly forward and walked around in the formation, until she was about to go out, but she saw those people resting in the distance. Seeing this, she returned to the formation. Because of the intermittent interest in the mountains, the sky was darkening, and the monks called the man named after him to pick up some branches. When Feng Chu in the formation saw the man walking around, she flashed lightly and immediately left the other side, quietly keeping up with the man. At this point, the man surnamed the man, after walking a long distance away, looked back at those who sat and rested and his eyes crossed a smudge of color. He took some branches in the mountains and walked back. This made Feng Ju, who was ready to start, miss the opportunity and had to wait. The fire piled up and several people sat around. One of them called again, Hey, brother, you can help us put some water back. The man took it for granted, 
throwing his empty water bladder to him, and said to a few people around him, You should have almost no water? It means that you will be able to return to the gate, but I still have some good ones, and I can drink it when I am thirsty at night. Yes, mice is gone. Another person said, handing the water bag to the man, laughing, I will trouble you. This is our place. You can see the water when you go there. The older monk said, and also handed the water bag out. After taking their water bladder, the man stood up and said, Then I will go back and go back. Then he took the water bladder and went to the water source. The water source was a little farther away from where they rested. When he came to the water source and bent down on the side, he was ready to fill the water. The figure reflected in the water surprised him. When he instinctively turned around, he greeted him. It was a heavy blow, and then it passed out. Feng Ju catches the fallen man, not afraid of what he will make when he falls to the ground. Instead, her hand grips the other's neck tightly and slams his neck and lets he has no life in this moment. A trace of blood overflowing from the corner of his mouth, blown away by the breeze, faintly filled between the air. Although the places where the monks rested were far from this, when the smell opened with the breeze, the older monk sitting next to the fire and the woman named Zhu still smelling the first time. The two became alert in an instant, and suddenly stood up, and the sharp eyes swept around. What's wrong? The other people were unclear and asked. There is smell. The older monk said, one hand has already grasped the sword at the waist, he stared at a certain place, said, I will go and see. As I was about to step forward to see the water source, I saw a figure coming over from there, and there seemed to be something in my hand, and as he approached, the blood smell became heavier. It's a younger brother. Another man said, seeing that he was carrying a rabbit stabbed to death by a knife, he couldn't help but smile, he also got a rabbit back. Feng Ju approached. At this time, she changed the man's clothes, and it was easy to accept. She didn't have a little of her previous breath and expression, but she was the one who was called to be called. Lin Shi brother, what happened? Feng Ju approached and looked at the older man. You haven't encountered anything there. The older man asked, his eyes must be fixed on Feng Ju. Feng Ju shook his head and paused again. He said, when I went to the water, I saw a rabbit next to me. I just got it back. Is there anything? No, I only smell the blood between the air. The older man said, his eyes fell on the dead rabbit and asked, How do you think about holding the rabbit back? Feng Juyi smiled and seemed to be embarrassed. In the morning, I heard that Liang's brother said that he wanted to eat roast rabbit meat, and he saw this grey rabbit in the grass, and he grabbed it back. Hearing the words, the monk named Liang smiled and bowed his head, I didn't expect you to remember, you have a heart. The older person heard this and looked at Feng Juyi's eyes. This said, then you will handle the rabbit. Then he sat back. Feng Ju should have a voice, then the rabbit was taken to a point not far to deal with it. After cleaning it, it was grilled on the fire. Looking at his skilled movements, one of them laughed, I don't know what the younger brother has. Craft. Listening to this, Feng Ju's heart was stunned, but the face was not half-pointed. When it's more or less, it's not fine, it's not good to eat, and a few brothers don't want to give up. The attention of several people was not on Feng Ju's body, but from time to time around the woman named Zhu, Feng Ju played the behavior of the man surnamed Zhu according to her observation, trying not to let himself showing a little flaws. This night, they rested and she followed the rest, but they also lived in peace. Until the next morning, everyone got up early and continued to walk forward. About Machin's time, they followed the mountain ladder. In front of the gate of the hidden world. Feng Ju only took a quick look and followed them into the Zongmen. After arriving inside, the woman named Zhu first left with a few people to leave, and the older man said to several people, you go with me to the master and return to life. Yes. Several people should be there, and this will leave with him behind him. 
In order to prevent people from being discovered that she is a fake, she walked all the way, did not look at the surrounding, just listened to less talk, which is also in line with the person's previous words and deeds, and several people also blame themselves no one cares about her. On the half mountain of a mountain peak, they followed the old monk into a courtyard and respectfully bowed to the closed door. The disciple went to see the master. After a ritual, the older man looked up at the closed door and said, The disciple is fortunate not to be insulted, and he has finished the matter of the teacher. You come in. There was an old voice coming from the closed door, and then the closed door was opened as if it had been pulled inside. The older man stepped forward with some joy and stepped into it. Then, when the door closed, no one knew what they were doing in it until the time when the door was around, the door opened again. This time, the older man came out with a happy color on his face. After seeing a few people, he sent the remedy in his hand. The master here gives you, let you all go back and practice well, and strive for strength to break through again. The older man said, his eyes still swept over the medicinal herbs in their hands. Go back and have a good rest. The old voice came from the door. After hearing his voice, the people in the courtyard responded and then turned and left. Feng Ju took the medicinal medicine in his hand and looked at it. His eyes flashed slightly. Suddenly, the corner of his eye glimpsed a figure and walked up. He reached out and patted her shoulder, Hey, my brother, we live in a yard, together. Go back. He said, his eyes fixed on the medicinal medicine in the hands of Feng Ju. Wen Yan, Feng Ju showed a smile, it seems that he looked at him with some surprises, why should the brothers go back with me? Let's go. The monk said, pulling him away first, and at the same time, a few people behind him, we will go back first. The man surnamed Lin looked at the two men leaving, his eyes could not help but he was staring at the direction of their departure, and clenched the drug in his hand. Finally, after thinking about it, he still took the step. The two in front. Watching the three of them leave, and the people standing still in the same place couldn't help but look at each other. Under the heart, they know that the scorpion of the surnamed scorpion can't keep it, but I don't know, in the hands of who will fall. Go with? Because they are the yards of their teachers, the three did not speak here, but followed the direction of their residence in the direction of their residence. After going out for a trip, I came back with a medicinal herb that would allow them to improve their strength. Right now, they just want to go back and practice the medicinal herbs and try to improve their strength again, so as to avoid any accidents. Feng Ju was still thinking about it. I don't know where the man surnamed is living, but he doesn't want this person to remember the medicine in her hand, but also saves her a lot of things. She followed the man and didn't have much words because she knew that there were people behind her, but I didn't know if the man named Lin was also eyeing the remedy in her hand. All the way to a hospital behind, the man walking next to Feng Ju smiled, Hey, younger brother, you see that you are still some distance from the advanced level, even if you take this medicine is a waste, why don't I take some other things with you? This. Feng Ju hesitated, his face with a tangled look, seems to be reluctant, and seems to dare not. Seeing the look of Feng Ju's hesitation, he seemed to be reluctant. He immediately sank his face and looked at her. How? Do you still want to refuse? You don't forget, if you change to someone else, you will directly grab it. Your medicine is not as good as I am. No, I am just. When her words were not finished, she saw that the man who had been following Lin's family came out and interrupted her. Hey, brother, it's better to change it with me. The man surnamed Lin came out and looked at Feng Ju. He said, the one in your hand is the top grade medicine. How do I give you three Chinese products? In addition, I can promise you, no one will dare to bully here in the future. You. Seeing the man surnamed Lin, the man couldn't help but panic, and quickly bowed his head and said, I have seen Lin brother. The narrow eyelids crossed a touch of resentment and unwillingness. When he saw the medicinal medicine, he inserted it in. 
it was hateful. However, the strength of the other party was stronger than him. In front of him, he could only forbearance. Hey, what's your intention? He asked Feng Zhu. Feng Zhu looked at him and thought about it. This said, the suggestion of Lin Chi Di is naturally excellent. During the speech, she took the medicinal medicine she had obtained before and handed it forward. In fact, my heart still wants to laugh. Just like this, the people here are actually fighting for this, but obviously, the competition based on strength is enormous. The man surnamed Lin was satisfied with a smile, took out a bottle and handed it forward, and collected the medicinal medicine at the same time. This said, the three medicinal herbs are suitable for the younger brother to practice at the moment. If there is anybody in the future if it is difficult for the younger brother, the younger brother will find me in the hospital on the 1st. Yes, thank you brother Linear. Feng Juyi said with gratitude, and bowed to him. After watching him leave, the man who looked at the gloomy face next to him was preparing to speak. Hearing the sound of his yin and yang. It's awful. It's all climbing up to Lin's brother. His gaze with a bit of gloom, said, Lin Shi brother is the most powerful disciple under our teacher's seat, and he covers you, and you can walk in the same way. Wen Yan, Feng Zhu heart smiled, but with a bit of uneasiness on the face, looking at the man, said, He brother, you misunderstood, in fact, I want to give these medicinal herbs to you. When her words came out, the man's eyes narrowed, as if he was unbelievable. He asked, What are you talking about? He Shiksheng, the three medicinal herbs given to me by Lin Shiksheng, I want to transfer it to you. Feng Zhu said with a smile, said, I live with this brother in the yard, and I have always taken care of my brothers. I don't have any good things. Although these three medicinal herbs are not as good as those given by the master, but also the Chinese medicine, if the brothers don't give up, please accept it. Perhaps it was not expected that Feng Zhu would give him the medicinal herbs. The color of his face was too late to recover. He stared at her like that, are you really? Yes. She handed the medicinal medicine to her hand and smiled. Please also take care of your brother. Listening to this, the color of the haze in the man's eyes dissipated. The look of Feng Zhu's eyes was not as indifferent as before. After he put the medicinal herbs back, this revealed a smile and said, OK, they are all brothers and sisters of a hospital. Since you are such a person, I am not ignorant of my brothers. My strength is not as good as that of my brother, but it is not bad. What will you have in the future? I will take care of you one or two. Thank you brother. Feng Zhu smiled and shook his hand, thinking that several medicinal herbs that could not be used on the countertop could settle the enemy in the same court. She would be happy. The man walked up to the room on the left. Seeing this, the Phoenix Nine Court glanced in the courtyard, and then went to the wing room on the right. There was two people living in one yard. Except that the room was a private place, the yard was shared by two people. After she entered the room, she looked at the room. There was nothing surprising about the simple arrangement, but it was enough in the room. This is what makes her happy. She cleaned up the room and replaced all the things on the bed. After she was busy, she closed the door and sat on the bed. She put down the bed and took out the things of the man in the space and looked at it. See if anything is useful. When her gaze fell on the piccolo, she couldn't help but think of the night when the man used the piccolo to control the serpent to kill the monk's scene. Once again, he only thought that there was really no one in the area. Even the weak who were bullied, there was a sinister revenge in this place. However, the man is already dead, and even the body has been turned into a blood by the corpse, and the flute is useless. She put the flute aside and turned over other things. At this moment, she heard the footsteps coming out of the courtyard, and immediately the sleeves were slammed, and everything on the bed was collected. Immediately after the lie down, cover the quilt to sleep. I heard that you are back, let's see you. At the same time as the sound came from outside, the closed door was pushed away with force. 
The Phoenix Nine on the bed heard a bang, as if the lock stuck on the door was broken, and the figure was so embarrassing. Come in. On the bed, Feng Zhu brows a twist, and a smack of coldness in his eyes, watching the few people enter the room, she quickly got out of bed, a frightened look quickly got out of bed and looked at the people. Hey, my brother is sleeping. The man headed by Feng Chu looked at her and looked at her. He smiled and said, Hey, brother, I heard that master gave you one person and one remedy for reward. Feng Chu looked at them and paused. Yes, but the remedy is no longer for me. He he he, my teacher, who are you cheating? We came over when we heard the news. Who will come faster than us? The man clearly did not believe, his eyes moved downward and the space ring that fell on her hand. Shang, said, well, you take out the things in the space, what are we? After listening to the words, Feng Zhu's eyes passed through a cold face, and he looked at them with anxiety. He said, several brothers, you still have to go. Lin Shixing and his brothers said, who is looking for me? The trouble is to find their troubles, if they let them know, I am afraid. Hey. Are you kidding? Lin Shixing and He Shixing will be out for you. A few people obviously did not believe it. Seeing that Feng Zhu did not want to take the medicinal herbs out, he lowered his face and said, Are you taking it out yourself? Or do you want us to do something? If we do it, I guess you it will not look good. You, don't mess around. He brothers should be practicing now. If you disturb him, then it's not good. She said with a look of panic, and retraced toward the corner. Oh, we don't look for him. We are only looking for you. They sneered at the corners of their mouths. One of them stepped forward and reached for Feng Zhu. Feng Zhu didn't plan to do it herself. She tried to play this timid and cowardly role. When she saw the other side stepping forward and grabbed her hand, she immediately stooped and swept forward, while avoiding the few people quickly. I fled to the door and looked back at the few people. I saw them standing in the same place, ran out now and ran to the man's room. He brother, congratulate the brothers. The few people slowed down and immediately angered, catch me. Get back. Several people quickly rushed out and wanted to catch Feng Zhu back. In the left yard, the man named he is taking a bath in the room, comfortably watching the little song. He has heard the movement over there, but he is too lazy to pay attention to it. After all, he missed a top-grade drug, even if there are three in the middle of his hand, his heart is still a bit uncomfortable. I thought about letting those people teach the kid, but who knows that the door of the room was knocked open, and the whole door slammed down, and the man who was originally in the back of the door took a bath. Exposed to everyone's eyes. The scene once became strange and the people inside and outside the room were in the same place, staring at each other with wide eyes. I saw that the door was knocked open by a monk who was chasing Feng Zhu. The other party originally wanted to hug the front and hug Feng Zhu, but who knows that this has swung forward and knocked the door open. And it is still good to die outside the door behind the door, the man named he is still taking a bath. Looking at the other side of the naked body sitting in the water, Rao is a few big men, but also a little dumbfounded. What exactly is going on? How did it become like this? Feng Zhu looked at this scene and endured the twitching of his mouth. He said, He brother, I told them not to disturb you, but I didn't expect. Upon hearing this, the men hurriedly slowed down. One of them said, He brother, it's not yours, don't misunderstand, we are. I haven't finished talking. I'm sitting in the tub. The man in the anger took a slap in the water and splashed countless splashes, and the water splashed into a sharp ice blade in the next moment, and a few people shot outside the door. You are looking for death. The gloomy voice was full of anger, and no one could explain it. It just quickly retreated to avoid the ice blade, but did not expect that after they avoided the ice blade, they sat in the tub. The man slammed out and a bath towel surrounded the lower body. The hands and spirits rushed, and the water in the bucket instantly turned into an angry tyrannosaur. 
Call out. Boom. Oh. The fierce airflow slid across the air, and the airflow slammed into the man who was headed. Under the heavy blow, the loud bang was very clear, and then the man who was hit was hit. With a scream, the whole man flew out and fell into the courtyard. Puff. He squirted a blood, his face paled, struggling to stand up, but he was somewhat powerless. In addition to being shot by the first person, the other people were scratched by the ice blade. For a time, the breath of blood quietly spread in the courtyard. The man in the room, wearing a coat, came out with a belt and walked out. He looked at the people on the ground with a gloomy face. His eyes fell on the man who spurted blood. Liang Ching, I warn. You, don't step into my yard half step in the future, otherwise, I will pick you up once. The man on the ground coughed twice, raised his hand and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. He was stood up by a few people next to him. He looked at the man surnamed He, biting his teeth, Today is the distance I am, my Beam Ching apologizes to the brothers and sisters here, and Xia He's brothers are merciful. As soon as the sound fell, his gaze gaze looked at Feng Zhu, staring at her like a viper. Feng Zhu stood on the side of the door. She also avoided the snow blade when she flew out. Therefore, the other party was not hurt, but she was still not contaminated with blood. The few people helped to leave, and when they left, they also looked at Feng Fengji, and it seemed as if they were saying, let's walk. Looking at the few people leaving, Feng Zhu felt that the breath in the air became very depressed, and when there was a faint anger, she lowered her head even if she apologized, he brother, I blame me, if not me. Will not be tired of the brothers. The man surnamed he, who was preparing to lose his temper, saw her own mistakes, and the gloomy face slowed down. After taking a deep breath, he said, this is not your business, if it is not good. They will come back sooner or later, but if they look at it now, they will not come again. Said, his voice, and looked at Feng Judeo, go back to rest. Yes, thank you brother. She hurriedly took a look and looked at the door where he was smashed. He asked, do you need to find someone to repair? I will call you to come over and you will be busy with you. The man surnamed he sent a hand and thought that the bath was so ugly, and his face was not good. Yes. Feng Zhu should have a voice, and did not say anything, then turned and left, went to his room. At the moment when the door was closed, her lips were slightly hooked and a smile appeared on her face. She came to the table and poured a glass of water to drink, and her heart secretly said, how can I know the news of the relic and the heart? These things, it is estimated that even ordinary disciples do not know, want to start, can only start from those who are of the Seda level. However, her identity is a bit embarrassing at the moment, this identity is not conspicuous, and all aspects are not outdated. Among the many disciples, it can be said that the neglected one, even the opportunity to connect with the so-called teachers. No. In the end, what can she do to achieve her goal? Thinking of a pair of children at home, she is like an arrow, so I don't want to waste too much time here. If I can quickly decide, she can finish things early. She is planning to find a chance to ask for it before making a decision. The next morning, when Feng Ju walked out of the door, he glanced at the opposite room and saw that the door had been repaired, and there was no movement in the man's room. After regaining her gaze, she walked out and saw some of the monks who were seen along the road. They only looked at each other and did not say hello. Turning around in this door, I saw a lot of things happening with strength, and for the cause of dual bullying, this door seems to be acquiescence. If it is not on the duel, it cannot be killed. If it is on the duel, it will be killed if no one is killed. After a day of turning, I have a certain understanding of the cruelty of this hidden world. Seeing that the sky was getting darker, when she was about to go back, she saw two women coming in front of them. The two walked and laughed, and the voice of Jiao Xiao could be heard all the time. She whispered and walked, thinking that it would be better to quietly pass, because one of the women was the woman named Zhu Ling. 
I know, just when she missed the two people, the Zuling, who was holding her female companion, stepped back and looked at it with amazement, then laughed. Hey brother! Feng Zhu had to stop and she quickly looked back at Zhu Ling and gave her a hand, Zhu Shimei. Seeing this, Zhu Ling lightly covered her red lips and smiled. Mei Yan looked at Feng Zhu with a bit of fascination. The original brother-in-law still remembers me. I just thought that my brother didn't see me. Feng Zhuyi's smile, Zhu Shimei's jokes, Zhu Shimei's beauty, I just dare not look straight, afraid of marrying my sister. There is no good person here, even a delicate woman is like a snake-like existence. As a woman, she is very clear. Even if she provokes a man, she can't provoke a woman. She must know that a woman is serious and her man is not her opponent. Listening to those praises, Zhu Ling smiled and shuddered, and she looked at Feng Zhu with a bit of enchantment and looked forward to the front, I always thought that my brother was not good at words, I did not expect an opening. It makes people feel excited. That is also because Zhu Shimei is really beautiful, I am only telling the truth. Feng Zhu quickly said, seeing her come forward, she took a step back and kept a distance from her. See Feng Zhu, then, Zhu Ling Mei stunned, said, Hey brother, what are you doing? There are differences between men and women, this. Feng Zhu said, and took a step back. Wen Yan, Zhu Ling Jiao smiled, looked interesting, and then walked forward step by step, came to Feng Zhu, said, Hey brother, you just praised the sister, I am beautiful, but now I am like a snake it's really sad for the teacher. A woman standing on the side was playing with the hair that fell on her chest, and looked at the scene in front of her. The beautiful woman looked at the man who had been retreating, but she was handsome when she saw her. However, the strength of the body is not out of pick, and there is no thought. Seeing the eyes of some people not far from here, looking at this side, while whispering, Feng Zhu smiled and said, Sister, should I not offend you? Zhu Ling glanced, Jiao smiled, and asked, What do you mean by your brother? Feng Zhu sighed, seemingly with a bit of ambiguity, said, Sisters are not only good-looking, but even talent is extremely outrageous, or else they will not be so short when they enter the door, they are accepted as true disciples, people like Shimei, in my heart, there is a fairy-like existence, I can only look up and can not be embarrassed, not to mention, my teacher is sitting down with the big disciple Lin Shikshang has always loved the younger sister. If I know this today, I am afraid that my future days will be difficult. So, please ask your sister to raise your hand and let me go. Zhu Ling, who listened to this, sneaked a bit, then smiled and stared at Feng Zhu's eyes, and she did not take another step. She just stood there staring at Feng Zhu's smile and finally looked at it. He said, my brother is really an interesting person. If I have something to do today, I will not talk to my brother. If my brother meets brother Lin, I will say that I have been going to find him for two days. Just as she smiled and turned and walked toward the woman, the woman walked forward with her hand and asked, Linger, how did you talk to him for so long? Look at that look. It's still easy to see, and nothing else can be seen. You brother is also an interesting person. When I met, how can I say hello? Zhu Ling smiled, and the two walked forward until they disappeared into Feng Zhu's sight. Feng Zhu, who took back his sight, did not go to see the people around him, but walked to the yard, but as soon as she entered the yard, she saw the man surnamed he sitting in the courtyard drinking tea and looking good. Looked at her. I heard that Zhu Shimei is looking for you. Feng Zhuyi's face was astonished and looked at him, no. Just met when I came back, and then Zhu Shimei asked about Lin's brother's business. She wanted to vomit, and it's only a moment's work. Looking for her? He played with a teacup and smiled lowly, oh, I heard that Zhu Shimei is very affectionate to you. Although Zhu Shimei is a beautiful figure, but it is the person who Lin's brothers are watching, you better not to give birth to something that you shouldn't have, otherwise you will suffer. I don't dare to give birth to that kind of mind, she said quickly. 
What's more, not to mention that she is a woman, even if it is a man, she will not be able to think of it. Don't dare be the best. A voice came from behind, Feng Zhu quickly turned around and respectfully called, Lin brother. The man surnamed He, who was sitting and drinking tea, quickly stood up and smiled, Mr. Lin is coming, please sit down. The man surnamed Lin walked in with a hand and glanced at Feng Zhu, then stepped forward and sat down at the table in the courtyard. Lin Shikshang drinks tea. The man surnamed He gave him a cup and then sat down next to him. Feng Zhu's heart sighed, and the face was a smile that came forward. Mr. Lin's brother, I met Zhu Shimei when I first came back. She told me to tell you that she would look for you in two days. Gather. Is it really just on the road? Lin surnamed the man staring at Feng Zhu, not waiting for Feng Zhu to speak, but also calmly said, I still deliberately go there waiting for her. Mr. Lin brothers don't misunderstand, it just happened to happen. Lin Shimei told me a few words, and then let me pass the message on behalf of me. It's just that. She said anxiously, and then said, Lin Shimei and other characters, only Lin brothers can be worthy, I know that the strength is not good, how dare to give birth to such a mind, but also hope that the brothers do not misunderstand. In the end, she said that she would dispel the suspicion and hostility of the other party. After she left him, she sighed with a sigh of relief. The man surnamed he was met and laughed. I usually see you quietly, but I didn't expect to speak up and speak eloquently. Listening to this, Feng Zhu's light flashed slightly. This is the second person who said this today. It seems that she has unwittingly brought her character into this role. If this continues, it is estimated that they should be suspicious. With today's vigilance, she will be more careful in her next days. In the next two days, she organized the relationship and contacts of the man surnamed here, and also heard a message from the side, that is, tonight, the leaders of Zhang Menli will discuss things in the temple. When she heard the news, she planned to go to the bottom. This night, shortly after she had turned off the lights, she changed into a night dress and quietly left the yard and went to the upper level of the Zhang Men. I have been familiar with the route in these two days, and I am not worried that I will be lost here. With her strength in the night, like a ghostly figure, no one can detect it, not to mention, she slid a breath of breath, quietly sneak, plus not many people in the night swaying in the sect. Instead, they all return to their homes to rest and practice. Perhaps this door is too confident, no one will mix in, the alert inside is not very strict, which makes Feng Zhu easily come to the hall of the discussion. She quietly lie on the roof of the temple, seeing the scene below through the slits in the roof. I saw that more than a dozen men and women sat on the left and right sides of the temple. Some of them were old and some looked young. Of course, their true age is absolutely inconsistent with the looks they display. She noticed that there were three glamorous women sitting underneath, the clothes were very exposed, and the beauty was faintly with the charm of the soul, and the manners were slightly lighter. In the main position, a grey-haired old man sat, holding a faucet in his hand, which looked like wood, and some resembled what was carved. She also swayed for three days in this door, and occasionally passed some people, including her so-called master but obviously the person sitting there is the pillar of this sect. The people sitting there are those who do not often appear in the Zong Men. It can also be said that this is the true power of this sect. The strength of each of them is stronger than those of the sages. Especially the old man of the Lord, the strength of that body has obviously reached the level of the King of God, the introverted breath of the body, revealing the momentum of no anger, and this momentum, and the king of Shura is even the auction house. The masters of the gods behind the scenes are different. The power of the old man is as strong as that accumulated over the years. It is not comparable to ordinary people. Even if it is the same as the king of the gods, this old man should be regarded as the top class. Looking at the breath of the old man, her brow could not help but slightly twisted. Since there is such a strong in this area, how can anyone become the master of heaven and earth in this region? 
not to mention the Shura Wang and others who are already dead, this is the old man in front of him, and the Lord of Heaven and Earth in this region is absolutely more than enough. However, if she did not come here, she did not know that this hidden kingdom was still hiding such a powerful monk. Seeing the people below have already started talking, she will listen carefully and listen carefully. The disciples who went out to inquire about the news have come back to report, and the ghost doctors and the Qing Long monarchs and others are so convenient to lose the news in the place not far from us. I have been thinking about these two days, will they come to us? A middle-aged man said, his face was a bit dignified. What are we doing for us? We haven't provoked them. A beautiful woman glanced at the man and smiled. But I heard that this Qing Long monarch is a rare and handsome man, and the face is said to be imitation. If the gods are down, it's very different. I really want to see it. A tall, thin man sitting opposite, snorted, and said, You don't want to think about it. It's not the character you thought about. You didn't hear it. The ghost doctor is not recognized in all regions. The beautiful beauty? There is such a beautiful woman around you, do you think that the Qing Long monarch can still see your half-old Su Niang? You don't talk, no one is when you are dumb. The beautiful woman's face was gloomy and she stared at the man with a bad look. What? I made a mistake. His man returned. Well, let you come to say something right, not to listen to your bickering. The old man sitting in the main position frowned, the crutches in his hand knocked on the ground, and the person sitting underneath was a quiet, no dare to let go. The sharp and chilly eyes swept the eyes of the people in the temple. The old man said this, I received the news from the Wanfaman. The ancient Jinlian was given to the Fengju by the old vulture, and let Fengju help them find the relics in the heart of the Buddha. When the words came out, the atmosphere in the hall was a meal, and no one spoke. They just looked at each other and their faces were a little more dignified than before. She will find us here. A man asked. The old man glanced at them, and he said with a calm voice, they will come to the door in ten out of ten, so let you come tonight to tell you, raise your vigilance, and outside the sect. It is forbidden to enter from tomorrow, and the disciples in the door are not allowed to go out again. At the same time, they must be ready to fight at any time. Seeing his seriousness, everyone could not help but pay attention to it. One of them asked, is her strength really so strong? Is it even that we still have to be jealous of her? The old man held a cane in his hands and said with a calm voice, her strength is not strong, I don't know, but since it can kill the king of Shura and other gods, do you think she will be good to deal with? Our strength is not weak. How can we know that we can't cope with her? I have only a woman in the district. I haven't handed over my hand to be a good person here. It's not appropriate, said a middle-aged man. Obviously, he didn't really feel that he was not as good as a woman. One of them listened to what they were saying, but they kept their eyes open, and they didn't know what they were thinking. After half a sigh, they looked at the old man of the Lord and asked, The Sovereign, where is the relic now placed? Listening to this, the people who had spoken were talking, and their eyes were slightly moved. They also looked at the old man of the Lord and waited for his answer. They only knew that their sect was obtained, and they saw it on the day they got the hand. Until now, no one has ever seen it, and I don't know where the relic and the heart have been hidden. The old man squinted and held his beard in one hand and said, in a safe place, you don't have to worry about this. Seeing that he did not want to say more, the man who spoke again said, The Lord, the relics are placed in our place, we are relieved, but the heart, the time when the Lord intends to come out and let us also practice. It is said that this heart of the Wanfaman can improve the strength, and after cultivation, learn everything quickly. This baby, how should the Lord let us practice cultivation, after all? Our strength is strong, Zhang Men's the strength will be stronger. This is not anxious. After waiting for Feng Zhu and others to say, this time is not the best time to cultivate the heart. The old man said slowly, looked at them and said, you do your part. In the matter, 
as long as I contribute to Zhang Men, I will not treat him badly. Seeing him say so, everyone can't say anything, so he has to act according to his orders. Feng Zhu, who was kneeling on the roof, listened to the words of everyone below. My heart was a bit strange. I didn't expect these people to know where the relics and heart are. It seems that only the old man knows where these two things are placed. It is. These important things, she does not think he will be placed on his body. If other people know that there is still a breakthrough in starting, it may be that the old man is a little troublesome. She gathered her mind and planned to go back and think about it. However, this movement, a piece of tile on the foot, loosened and made a subtle sound. Yes, it is this subtle voice that caught the attention of the people in the temple. After hearing the slight movement, the old man with a cane was reacted. His originally half-squinted eyes instantly became sharp like a sword, and the crutches in his hand slammed into the place where the Lord made a sound. Others reacted at that moment and screamed, Who? Feng Ju wanted to leave quickly at the moment when he made a movement at his feet. However, the attack of the old man came too fast and too fierce, so that she could only take it with one hand and the body would instantly spin up. The crutches struck from the bottom like a sword. The slamming sound broke through the roof of the main hall, and the violent suffocating air struck the Feng Ju. Feng Ju had already avoided while spinning, and with the sky rising, the body pulled a distance, she did not intend to face them, so when the crutches flew out towards her, she vacated at the same time, it has already swept away. When the people in the hall quickly came out to the top of the temple, they only saw a black figure disappearing into the night, and the speed was so fast that they were a little dazed. Catch! Must seize this person! The old man did not know when he had come to the roof, watching the scene of the black figure grazing, he told the people around him to quickly catch up. Those people reacted and immediately chased in that direction, and at the same time ordered people to stick to the sect, not letting people leave. However, after a while, the few people who caught up frowned and walked back. In front of the old man, let the man run, we have disappeared when we catch up to a corner. Hearing the words, the old man's face sank, and a touch of haze was flashing in his eyes. His old but full-bodied voice immediately drank, strictly keep the area over there. Let people go to search immediately. He can't escape. Must be in the Zong Men. But look at the figure, it should be a woman. A beautiful woman said, she meditated, and said, she is light and sensitive, and she looks like a man, but a woman. Listening to this, a few people next to me said, women? Impossible? Can you escape under our eyes? Will it be a woman? Are you wrong? It can't be wrong, it is indeed a woman. The woman said affirmatively, and said, when a man is flexible, he can never do the lightness between the jumps. Absolutely women can't be wrong. Listening to her so sure that it is a woman, for a time, everyone's face is slightly condensed, and they think of one person at the same time. Feng Ju. The Feng Ju seems to have disappeared now, will it have already been mixed into their sect? No, no, it should be impossible. Their sects are very concealed, and they have laid a lot of tactics and enchantments. It is impossible for outsiders to come in. Find. The old man said with a calm voice, this person is still in the sect, can't escape. Immediately bring someone to look for, the area is focused on searching. Yes. Everyone should be there, and immediately spread out and quickly summoned disciples to search. At the moment, I am in a period of tension. I don't know where the people are coming in, and it seems that the people who come in are not weak. Standing on the roof of the old man in the hall, holding a cane, his hand slowly tightened, his lips slightly squinting, his sharp eyes looking forward, not knowing what to think, until after a while, he jumped back and went back to the temple. On the other hand, Feng Zhu, after picking up the followers, thought of going to her courtyard, but did not want to see the Zong Menli had been vigilant, the disciples had been called up and searched. She shunned those people and quickly returned to the courtyard where she lived, 
taking off her night clothes and boots and taking up space, so she lay down on the bed to rest. However, after a while, I heard the sound of the mess outside and the sound of the door. What's wrong? What happened? On the other side of the court, the man surnamed he, after hearing the sound of the door, walked out in a cloak and saw a group of people squatting in. He still had a murderous look in his hand, and he could not help but look away. Stupid! Zhang Menli mixed into the spies, and now I am searching around, what about the people in your hospital? A middle-aged man headed in a calm voice asked, his eyes turned and fell in the room of Feng Chu, ready to go. When I stepped forward, I saw the closed door open, and a man with a confused face walked out in a cloak. He brother, what happened? Feng Chu's face drowsiness, as if sleeping and boring, made the hair a little messy. It is said that the sex are mixed into the spies, and Wang Shishu is carrying people to search. The man surnamed Han originally slept properly, and was awakened by people who were awake, but the person who led the team was the uncle level. The character, he did not dare to have a hint of arrogance and dissatisfaction. Feng Juyi listened to the mixed rape, and could not help but look surprised. They watched them screaming and shouting, What? Mixed into the spies? How can Zhang Menli mix into the spies? Have you caught it? Should we help? The middle-aged man headed staring at Feng Ju, glanced up and down, and then asked, You two in this hospital? Yes, Wang Shishu, we are too. He surnamed the man. Put the clothes well and follow them to search. He told the two men and turned and walked outside. Yes. The two responded with a sigh of relief. They quickly returned their clothes and dressed them neatly. They followed the sword and followed them to other places. As soon as he came out, the man surnamed he only saw people in the entire Zong men search, because it was dark at night, but there was a torch everywhere, and the whole Zong men was as bright as white. Wang Shishu, what is the spoiled and mixed in? How to make such a large formation? He surnamed the man asked, and his heart was curious. A woman. The middle-aged man who walked in front said. Women. The man surnamed he was even more surprised, which woman is so powerful? Actually dare to dive to our sect. The middle-aged man in front did not answer him. He just said with a calm voice, let's pay more attention to some female disciples and see if there are any suspicious ones. If you have already made a statement, you must take this person out. Listening to this, everyone immediately said, Yes. Feng Ju followed behind, and her heart secretly rejoiced that she was dressed as a man, so she succeeded in shifting her target. In addition, she deliberately went in the other direction when she fled, just to mislead them, but did not expect that. Under the cover of black clothes, there are still people who can see that she is a woman. This night, she followed them around to search until the dawn did not find a little. This is natural. After all, the people they are looking for are followed by them. Who can find out besides herself? However, this night is to let her know that the strength and heritage of this hidden world sect, so that she will be more vigilant in the future, of course, that relic and heart in the old man, this is really not good to start. She didn't know where the old man hid the things, and couldn't ask from the old man's mouth he could only find another way. The team they followed had not found anything in the night. At this time, they met a team in front. After the two people who took the lead met and said it for a while, it didn't take long for the team leader to tell them. Okay, go back to rest. In this regard, some people could not help but ask, Uncle Shi, have you caught the spies? Not yet, I want to come to this spy is very deep hiding. I want to find out that she is not so simple, you go back first. There will be any arrangements below, I will tell you. The middle-aged man said, indicating that they will go back first. Seeing this, everyone looked at each other and it was scattered. In the main hall, the old man sat in the main position, and the people on the left and right sides sat quietly. Compared to last night, their faces are not very good looking today. Also. 
whoever allowed the spies to escape under the eyes, who faces are not good looking, not to mention, they are not one or two people, but so many here, but still can not catch people. So, did you find it? The old man asked, lifting his eyelids and looking at them. Yes, the people underneath have searched all over, that is, they have not found it. The person seems to have disappeared from the air, and I don't know where to go. One of them said that some did not dare to look directly at the old man's gaze. Waste. The anger of the old man suddenly burst out, and his heavy crutches in his hand slammed into the ground. A pressure was accompanied by the airflow, and the faces of the people sitting in the temple suddenly became pale. The Lord is angry, the man must be still inside, we will definitely take her out. A middle-aged man quickly came out and said. I didn't find it last night. Do you think that you can find it today? The old man sighed with a sullen voice, and his sharp eyes passed over them. Finally, he angered, this person does not come out, it is like a stab in the flesh, it will make our sex unsafe. She lurks in our sex. Does she still have a party? Will she pass on the news of our sect? These are potential crises. It's not that you will guarantee that she will marry her when she promises. I want, kill this potential danger. Yes. The crowd could only make a heavy response. When the old man walked away, the pressure between the air dissipated as he left, and it was a relief. They looked at each other and silenced for a while. One of them asked, how can we get this person out? The Lord said it well. If it doesn't come out, this potential danger really doesn't know when it will happen. I just don't know how much she heard us last night. A glamorous woman said thoughtfully. Maybe I heard it all, or did I only hear half of it? Said a middle-aged man, and his heart was thinking about it. What method can he use to get the man out? Another glamorous woman paused and looked at them and asked, You said, who is she? Seeing her asking like this, one of them said, Do you not think that this person is the ghost Dr. Feng Ju? The beautiful woman played with her clothes and chuckled, Would it be? In addition to her, who else will sneak into our sect? You must know that our sects have never had such a thing before, and now we all know that because of the reason of the relic of the relic, the Feng Ju will definitely stare at our sect, and it happens to be at this moment, why wouldn't it be her? Listening to her words, everyone is silent, they are also suspected in their hearts, just feel that it is impossible to mix them into their sex so quickly, but now, I have not been able to find this person, so I have to let they suspect that maybe this person is really Feng Ju. If it is really her, then we will lead her out. Said a middle-aged man with a radiant eye. Do you mean to use her relic or heart to lead her out? One person asked, the voice fell, not waiting for the other party to open, he said, however, the two things are in the hands of the sovereign, we have no on hand, if take the fake, hey, hey, don't say it is Feng Ju, that is, we will not be hooked. The man who spoke said, fake must not be fooled. If you want to lead her out, naturally let the Lord take it out. If you don't take the relic, you have to take it out, otherwise you have been it's not a way to drag it, isn't it? Everyone looked at each other and finally negotiated and decided to talk to the Lord. On the other side, after Feng Zhu returned to the wing in the courtyard, he took out a piece of plaque from the space and transformed it into the room. Then, wearing black clothes to cover his face, this window from the back. Leap away and go to the main peak where the Lord is. Unlike other people, the sovereign is living in a cave house. There is a set of law around it, and it also lays out the enchantment. It can be said that without his permission, no one can get close. Although it is a big day, she is good at the method of collecting interest, and the body is different and exquisite, unless it is the person who encounters the mainstay of Zongmen, or no one will find her figure. Familiar with the internal root of the Zongmen, she came to the main peak with ease. The cave where the sovereign was located looked at the two monks who were outside, and she smashed two stones and hit the other side. Who? The two men sipped and looked in the direction, but found nothing. 
the two looked at each other, and then they went back and went back to the original place to guard. They didn't know, just for a while, Feng Zhu had already stepped into their backs and went to the front of the Dongfu. The two came back to see nothing around, and there was no doubt. After all, here is the cave house of the Lord. Who dares to come here casually? At this time, the old man in Dongfu is practicing in the middle of the knee. He does not let other people study the heart of the Buddha's door. He is already practicing. However, this heart is Sanskrit. He is not refined in Sanskrit, only a little bit. Translation, now also translated the first layer of the heart, but this first layer is enough for him to practice first. He didn't know how to focus on the cultivation of the heart. A touch of figure has quietly come outside his Dongfu. Feng Zhu looked inside the Dongfu, and he also had a certain understanding of the cautious mind of the patriarch of the hidden world. In this door, in addition to being guarded by others, there are arrays and enchantments. The alert made her know that the relic and the heart, must be hidden in the cave. The other party's strength is extremely strong, and she can't release her knowledge to investigate. However, when she plans to go inside and explore some more, she hears the voice coming from outside. When you go in and report it, you say that we have something to do with the sovereigns. The two monks who kept outside did not dare to delay. After one of them, one of them went inside, and the figure disappeared into the formation. The other person is still in the same place. They are the confidants of the Lord. Only the actors behind them can enter, but even if they are, they still have no qualifications to join the Dongfu. Even if they want to report, they can only be outside the Dongfu. Notification The middle-aged man who came to watch the monk entered the inside. When the figure disappeared into sight, his eyes flashed a little. This cave house, even if they were not able to go in and explore, I really don't know what it is. Look like? Although it is curiosity, no one dares to explore it, because the Lord has made a death order, and the singer is dead. For this reason, even if they are curious, they can only suppress that curiosity. After Feng Xiaoji heard the sound coming in from outside, the figure flashed and disappeared instantly in the same place, avoiding the space. The Sovereign, the elders are coming, saying that there is something to ask the Sovereign to do business. The monk said outside the Dongfu, his voice was accompanied by a hint of spiritual power, so that the sound penetrated the stone door of Dongfu and was introduced into the cave. The Lord who cultivated the heart of the law practiced for a while, because the person who was too late in the sect was not caught, and could not calm down. He tried to enter the state for a few times, so he had to breathe a sigh of relief. Standing up, then I heard the sound coming from outside. When I heard the words outside, his brows wrinkled. Know it, let him wait. His voice came out, and he did not go out immediately, but waited for the outside monk to leave and leave, and then went out. When the hand moved, the crutches that were placed on the side fell into his hands. He stepped forward with a cane and walked outside. He went outside and pressed the organ inside the stone door. The stone door slowly opened, and he only got inside. Got out. Seeing that the monk waiting outside had left, and then he reached out and pressed the wall outside, and the stone door closed again. He was left behind with one hand, and with a cane, he walked out of the enchantment, stepped into the battle, and went outside. What's wrong? Isn't it just negotiated? The old man looked impatiently at the people in front of him. Didn't he catch it and asked him to do something? The Sovereign the middle-aged man performed a ceremony and said, they want to ask the sovereign to go over again. We have an idea to lure the people lurking in the dark, so. It is said that the old man's face is still gloomy, but he hasn't said anything more. He just said, let's go. It's best to solve this problem. The middle-aged man did not dare to say more and left behind him. After they left, Fang Zhu in the space just came out. She went to the stone gate. In her mind, she thought about the dark space that the old man had pressed on the wall. She didn't find it for a while. 
I searched it again and again, and finally opened the stone door slowly. Seeing the stone door open, she sighed and walked inside. However, as soon as her footsteps stepped on the ground, the left and right walls were shot by cold arrows. She quickly swept forward, and the figure swept forward, avoiding the cold arrows shot from the left and right. In a few breaths, the cold arrow stopped and the wall returned to normal as if it had never appeared before. There is still an institution, and it is such a defense. That thing must be in it. There was no tension in her eyes when she was in danger, only excitement and anticipation. As long as she gets her hand, she can go back, and obviously, what she is looking for should be there. In the Qing dynasty, there is a radiant glow, and the small arrow hole that recovers instantly on the wall, the arrow that shoots out, in the case of not hitting the person, all shoot into the arrow hole of the other side, the small arrow opened on the wall. The hole also returned to its original state with the restoration of the organ, but she stood there without tampering, but stared at the ground and the surroundings. There is an institution in the Isle of the Dongfu. There must be an institution waiting for it. She has to look at it first, so as not to make any traces to make the old man vigilant. After all, she does not know whether she can find what she is looking for today. I looked around carefully and couldn't help but smile. She turned and walked forward. Some big steps, some small steps, some slightly left, some were lightly passed, when she walked. After a lap of familiarity, this came from the outside. When I found it inside, I found that there was a hole in the cave. There was a door on the left side of the cave, and the door was actually a cliff. When she saw the cliff outside the door, she was slightly surprised in her eyes. What does the old man do with a door here? This place is high, the door is a cliff, and you can't go out for a walk. The only thing you can say is that you can use it to run. Okay. Maybe this old man usually does not leave the main entrance, but leaves from the back door? She looked down at the cliff and looked at it. The faint can hear the sound of water coming from the cliff. Regaining her gaze, she turned her attention back into the cave, and after looking at it, she began to rummage. Because she couldn't be found, someone came in, so she rummaged through the small movements, trying not to mess with the furnishings and not leaving traces of rummaging. However, after looking for two laps, she did not find what she was looking for. This old man is hiding something. She whispered, her hands clasping her chest and staring at the walls on all sides. The wall inside was touched and knocked again, but she found nothing. It was such a big place, where is the thing hidden? Shouldn't he be taken by him? On the other side, the yard where Feng Ji lives. After the man came back, he lay down for a while, and when he turned over and over, he couldn't sleep. He jumped up and jumped up in the bed. He sat on the bed for a while and thought about who would have sneaked into their sect. Because no one talked, he got up and put on his clothes and went to the outside yard, Hey, brother? Are you sleeping? There is no one in the room of Fengju, as if no one is ordinary. The man named No. He called for a while and did not hear the words. He couldn't help but walk to the door of the room and reached for the door. I'm here. In the room, there was a weak voice. The man surnamed He who was listening at the door, slammed the door open and walked inside. After he came inside, he saw the individual lying behind the bed, and only showed his head in the quilt. Hey, what's wrong with you? He surnamed the man, staring at the man on the bed. After returning, I feel a little uncomfortable. Does brother have something to do? The person on the bed asked. When the man surnamed his name heard it, he reached out and opened the bed and looked at the bed. Then he took back his hand and put it down, and laughed. Your strength is weaker than others. I didn't expect this physique to be very good. Okay, you can sleep if you are not comfortable. He said a little disgustingly, and did not ask if people would help him to see it. Class, just turned and walked outside. The bed on the bed didn't move, just looked at him and watched him leave 
then closed his eyes and went to sleep. In the hall, after the old man heard their so-called idea, the original black face became more and more gloomy. His cold eyes swept through the crowd coldly and said, This idea is not good. Take the heart to lead the person. Come out. Even if this person is really Fengju, I can't take the real heart to be a bait. Listening to this, everyone sighed and looked at each other. One of them said, But the Lord, there is no movement at all. If we don't do anything, will we let her lurk? In the eyes of the old man, he wiped a bloody, cold and cold killing intention, and he said with a sullen voice, As long as she is still in this door, there will be movements. I don't believe she can always endure. What's more, if this person is really a Phoenix Nine, then she is even less likely to remain lurking forever. Hearing the words, everyone looked at him and asked, I don't know what the planner has. The old man paused. This is the way, is there a pair of children in Feng Feng? Can't find her, can't she start with the people around her? Everyone looked at each other and looked at each other. In fact, it's not that they didn't think of this. It's just that, in terms of their cultivation, if they go out, they will be the hegemons of one party. It's really a bit disdain to start with the kind of newborn children, so they have never mentioned this. The idea, but I don't want to, the first to say this, will be their lord. What? I don't have a good idea. The old man's gaze swept over everyone. Sovereign, let's go back and arrange. The crowd stood up and said. And many more. The old man opened his mouth and looked at them. He said, if Feng Fengji is still lurking here, he must be careful not to let her escape. The person who sent out to carry out this task must be carefully selected, and the disciples will not send it. Going out, the people who go out, the strength is above the Zun Menli Sedal level. Over the Sedal level. Everyone snorted and whispered. You know, their lords here, the sages can be accepted, and in the sect, there are forty-three people at the level of the Seda. These can be said to be people who often walk in the Lord, and sit like them. Here, it is above the Seda level. They usually do not appear in the Zongmen, because they are the main characters in the Zongmen. But nowadays, if the people sent out are above the level of the Seda, this is not the case. Say, maybe some of them have also come to perform this task? Yes, the disciples don't send them out. If you want to go to the level of the Seda, you can choose fifteen people. You will go to three or five people. The old man said with a calm voice, looking at them, saying, that Feng Ju side the strength of the people is extremely strong, and you may be able to fight with them when you come out. I heard that everyone did not speak, so let them go, they are hesitant, and everyone knows that the Feng Jun's husband is the Qing Long monarch, in addition to the strong genus around Feng Ju. If they go, if they can come back, I really can't. It's a matter of life and death, no one dares to take it. The old man glanced at them and saw that they did not speak. They said, then decide the lottery. This is the fairest. Three of you will take the team. In addition, you can pick it up under the honor. He held the cane stood up and glanced at them and said, if there is nothing to do, don't bother me. When the voice fell, he saw him walking away. When everyone saw this, they could only do what he said. Finally, three people were drawn by means of paper picking. Then they got a sigh of sighs from the three people who wrote the words, and some helplessly looked at each other. You can only leave and arrange. When Feng Ju was still looking around in the cave, he heard the movement outside, and she thought about it and immediately entered the space. If you can't find it, you can only hide it in the space to see where the old man is hiding things. Otherwise, this time, I don't know when there are clues. The old man opened the stone door and walked in. As soon as he entered the inside, he felt the wind in the cave. He stepped in his footsteps. The cold eyes glanced through a dark light and glanced around, but nothing was found. The gaze of the other places in the cave, along with some subtle places, were also examined. 
his brows were slightly wrinkled, and the sound of spirituality came out. Can someone come here? The two monks who were outside were stunned. They quickly turned back and bowed in the direction of the cave. They said, Return to the Lord, no one has ever arrived. It was said that the frown of the old man did not loosen, but continued to ask, Self-departure, what can be around this? No. The two said in unison. In the space, the sound of Fengju, who listened to the sound outside, flashed slightly. Since he left, there is no movement around the outside, because she has been lurking around Dongfu as long as he has not left. However, she is so careful, can the old man still notice that someone has come in? This keen sense is really daunting to take it lightly. In space, she can only release a subtle sense of God to discover everything outside. Now, this old man is in this cave, so close to her before she was outside the cave, so she can only quietly take back that glimpse of the gods. That glimpse of God's knowledge, she knew nothing about the outside in the space, she whispered her breath, and I felt that I was always carrying it. At this moment, I relaxed and felt the tricky thing. With the cultivation of the old man, she would have been discovered if she had been released from the gods, but she did not know anything if she did not release her knowledge of the outside. What's more, she hasn't been able to find the two things in the cave for so long. I really don't know where he is hiding things. In Dongfu, the old man opened the door and stood on the edge of the cliff and looked at the sky outside. He didn't know what he was thinking. After a while, he lifted his breath and went down the cliff. After the phoenix in the space slowed for a while, he carefully released a glimpse of the gods and explored the outside movement, just to see the old man going to the cliff, she was surprised, thinking about that what is the old man doing? However, after a while, I saw him cheering up, coming from the outside, closing the stone door and returning to the cave to sit down. In the space, Feng Zhu's eyes were slightly moving. She looked at the old man and sat down. She took a book from the sleeve and borrowed it. Then she took out another thick book and a piece of paper. Turn the book and translate the scriptures. She quietly retracted her consciousness and said, Is the old man hiding things under the cliff? She smacked her head, some annoyed, just why didn't she look for it? Maybe those two things are below that. Master, do we want to go out and grab it? Lao Bai scraped it and turned around her side. Feng Ju took a look at it and said, Grab? The relic has not seen where it is. Now it's just a slap in the face, and there is no benefit at all. Not to mention, the old man's strength is very strong. The strength of the master is also very strong, and there is no need to fear him, let alone us. Lao Bai said with disapproval. Feng Ju shook his head and said, My strength has not recovered yet and his strength is stronger than that of Shura Wang and others who have dealt with it before. He can know that he is inadvertently exposed. This person is not easy to deal with. Master, isn't it true that there is no landlord in this region? Isn't it true that there are not many strong people in this region? If there are strong men at the level of God, why are they not in such a region? Asked aside. Listening to this, Feng Zhu's face showed a touch of thought. Yes. It's really strange here. When we first arrived, what we met was really not strong, but we have never heard of it. The existence of the king of the gods, but to the area here, but unexpectedly met the master of the shura and the behind the scenes of the auction, the strength of these two are the king level, but not the peak. Her voice was slightly stunned and said, the people in Wanfaman do not fight for the same thing, but this lord of this hidden sect of Zongmen, so strong in strength, how can he be willing to avoid this world? Why do you use your mind to win the relics and heart of the Buddha's door? What do he want to do? After a while, she released a glimpse of the gods again, perhaps because the other party focused on the translation, or he was more confident, and felt that no one could be found under his eyes, so Feng Feng was released. The fascination of the gods, the other party did not notice. She stayed here until late at night, until midnight, 
when the old man who focused on the translation put things away, and opened the door and went out, which made her more certain that the heart was hidden underneath. Undoubtedly. However, the other party did not go out after returning from home, and closed the door for two days, but it made her heart anxious. Her cockroaches in the wing of the courtyard can only support seven days. If she does not return after seven days, it will be a little troublesome. In the space, she found out the whereabouts of the heart, but never saw the old man took out the relic. On the other side, the courtyard is there. The man surnamed he came out of the room and looked at the opposite room. The door had been closed for several days. Was the surname dying dead or still lying? Thinking about it, he went up to shoot the door, Hey, how are you? Are you sick? The door opened and the people inside came out, no different from usual, but if you look closely, your face is still pale. He brother. The man surnamed he was shocked by him and looked at it. It seemed that there was no big problem. Then he waved his hand and said, It's okay, I've received three medicinal herbs. What do you really have? I still have to take care of you one or two. Thank you, brother, I am much better. I am planning to retreat. Hearing the words, the man named he surnamed him and said, I have done it, I know, go. He said, turning away from his own care. After watching him leave, the door closed again. The original look was still a bit stunned. After he locked the door, his hands condensed an enchantment to protect it, and then he walked back to the bed step by step. In the space, Feng Ju sat cross-legged at this time, a mark disappeared between his hands, and a thin sweat permeated on his forehead. She whispered her mouth and slowed down, which opened her eyes. I only hope that I can hold on for a few more days. On this day, the old man finally walked out of Dongfu after hearing the briefing outside. Feng Ju did not know what he was going to do, but after he left, he quickly went out of the space and went to the cliff behind him, looking for it. Instead of going straight down to the bottom of the cliff, she searched on the cliff wall and finally found a small cave when she fell to a third of the cliff. The cave is not big, just such a small hole, even the children can't get in, the depth of the arm is long, there are some weeds outside the cave, and it is hard to notice if you don't look carefully. To her surprise, only a wooden box was placed in this small cave. When I opened it, there was only one book with a yellowed book, and this book was the heart of the Wanfaman. Sure enough, it is here. She couldn't help but reveal a smile. She intended to take away the income space directly. However, she held the hand of the heart and thought that the old man would take out this heart for three or two days. Translation For a moment, she quickly crossed a few thoughts in her mind, and the light in the clearing of the Qing dynasty passed through. In the next moment, the book was borrowed into the space, and then the hole was blocked. On the other hand, the old man came to the main hall and looked at the people in the temple who were dignified and asked, What happened? Everyone looked at him and paused for a while. He said, The Lord, the person who sent out found the whereabouts of the son of Feng Jui, and they sent the news back. However, today, they are gone. Message Listening to this, the Lord's face instantly cooled down, and the haze of his body was released. The atmosphere of the entire hall was also cold. No one dared to speak, just gazing at the screen. You want to say, are they all dead? The old man's cold voice reveals the bloodthirsty sternness, and the sharp, chilly eyes stare at them, calmly screaming and screaming, speak. When the sound came out, the powerful pressure contained in it spread with the diffuseness. The screaming of the sound shook their hearts, and the cold sweat between the foreheads came out. Should, it should be all dead. I, I received a message from one of them. He was trying to ask us for help, but half said. A middle-aged man said, he did not dare to go. Look at the Sovereign of the Lord. It's too shocking for them to die for a dozen or so people, and three people who led the team. It's too much of a loss. Not to mention the strength of the dozens of sages, that is, 
the strength of the three leaders, and among them is also a strong presence, but suddenly it is gone, how to not let them be scared and upset? It is said that the ghost Dr. Feng Ju is extremely strong, and the strong men will have no weak soldiers. The people under her hand are all strong ones who can stand alone. In the past few days, they even laughed and felt that they were just a woman. However, when things happened, their first feeling was heart-wrenching and uneasy. The old man was silent, holding the crutches in his hands and asking, is there still movement in the door of these days? No. One of them shook his head, and some puzzled words, this is also a strange place for us. It is reasonable to say that the person should have not left yet, but recently there has been no movement, as if it had never appeared. The other person hesitated and said, Will, this person is not Feng Ju, and has already left after we found out. Impossible. She must be here. Just don't know where it is hiding. The old man said affirmatively and said to them, Don't relax the defense of the sect. Please look carefully. Be sure to find her. His voice slammed through his sharp eyes and counted his calculations. As for how to lure her to appear, I already have a solution. Hearing the words, the people in the temple looked at each other, and the rear line of sight fell on the old man. The incomprehensible question, what? You just need to release the news, saying that we have caught a pair of children of Fengju. When is it, I am afraid that she will not appear. The old man said that the eyes were full of calculations. But, we didn't catch her child. In the Zong men, even the children are hard to find. Another person said, I feel that this method is not good. If you don't have children, go out and look for it. Bring two children back. Maybe you can get things done. The old man stood up and walked forward with a cane, and he confessed, go as soon as possible. The people in the hall watched him leave, and sighed with a sigh, saying, This is not a good job, one is not good, it is really no life. They are all dead. If we don't play the spirit of twelve points, we must have an accident. One person said, looking at the direction of the Lord's departure, said, I only hope that this matter will pass earlier, and the Lord can take the heart out. We also practice cultivation. There is a share of our lives, and we practice this kind of thing. Oh, I think it is very difficult for us to have a chance. Another man said, smirked, and walked away with a negative hand. After the old man returned to Dongfu, he walked around in Dongfu and then sat down to practice. He spent two days in this cultivation. Two days later, he opened the door and looked down the cliff. At one moment, I jumped down and plunged. Before coming to the small hole, he found the box there, and when he saw the heart of the place there was completely placed there, it revealed a rare smile. He picked up his heart and went up. He sat down at the table and took out the things and began to translate. When Fang Ju in the space saw this scene, he could not help but reveal a smile. Right now, she just has to wait. I believe that she will soon see the results only hope that the results will not let her down. At this time, the old man of the translation looked at the heart and snorted. Is this the case? The old man whispered, looked at the Sanskrit in the heart, and then read the words of the translated book. After repeated confirmation, the written words were written down. Fang Ju in the space smiled slightly. Maybe Sanskrit needs to study and translate specifically for them, but for her who is learned in the 21st century, it is not difficult to understand Sanskrit. Therefore, it is easy to change the words, she it can be done without leaving traces. She took back that little glimpse of the gods, sat down in the space, took out the book that was on the side, and looked at it. It's not that she wants to steal school, but just writes down the text inside when she fakes a fake heart. After all, even if I want to make a fake, I can't really replace everything. Mix the contents inside. As for the content behind the heart, she believes that the old man can't translate it in a short time. At the moment, the heart has already arrived, but where is the relic? Stayed here for so long, 
only to see that the old man took out the heart, but did not see him take out the relic. She couldn't leave because of the moment, so she closed her eyes and cultivated in the space. Perhaps it was because I had seen the heart, and I unknowingly jumped into the mind when I was practicing. The breath also changed with the content of the heart. Her brow wrinkled and slowly opened her eyes. She only looked at it again. As she practiced her mind, the breath and the exercises all followed. It seemed that nothing changed, but only she knew that the mind of the Wanfaman seemed to be in practice. Naturally, she replaced the mind that she cultivated, and even the speed that allowed her to practice was also rapidly improved. However, she felt a slight fault. Her gaze fell on the side of the heart, the eyebrows were slightly twisted, and the thoughts in the clearing. Normally, Buddhism should be the existence of peace and tranquility, and there will be no such reaction of overbearing and strong rotation over other methods. However, during her cultivation, even if she did not think about the heart in her mind, the heart will induce her to practice in silence. Master, what's wrong? The general swallowing cloud saw her, then came over and asked. Feng Ju glanced at it and said, nothing, just that this Buddhism's mind is not quite right. When Lao Bai saw her talking, she came over and looked at the heart. He asked, how is it not right? Is it fake? Saying, it seems to think of something in general, curious to ask, Master, you use the fire to burn the old book, will the old man outside be found to be fake? Will not. Feng Juyi smiled and said, the book is different except for the contents. The others are the same outside. He can't see it. She picked up the heart and turned it over, but she was thinking about it. Why is the heart so strange? Master, where is this heart different? Swallowed the cloud. Feng Ju will combine the heart and mind, if thoughtfully said, I don't know if it is my illusion. This Buddha's heart is full of magic. If you look at this heart, you will be affected by it. Law. She let them back, and they tried again, and still noticed the change without paying attention, which made her have to pay attention. This thing is evil. Is it really Buddhism? She whispered, put this heart to the side, I still can't think more, can't think about it, or else get the problem sooner or later. Yes, she feels that there is a problem with this heart. This problem is not to say that this is a false heart, but that the heart itself has problems. Two days later, Feng Ju, who was in the space, didn't know what was going on outside. In the past two days, she managed to abandon the interference of the Buddha's heart and calm down, and waited for the old man to leave Dongfu. On this day, in the early morning, in a house in the city, Xuan Yuan Mose was looking at the book in the courtyard, while watching the children on the small bed dancing little hands and feet. When his cold light fell on two children, he couldn't help but turn into softness and pet. When he looked at his daughter's small claw that his son twisted into a fist, he smirked. Shake his head and let the book in his hand be put down. He took the daughter out. Is the child so hungry? As if he was afraid of scaring his daughter, he asked with a light voice. Ah. The little man pouted and smiled toothlessly. Before she got together, she went to Xuan Yuan Mose's chest and wanted to find something to eat. Xuan Yuan Mose's lips and micro hooks, watching her daughter's eyes are all ridiculous, hey, look clearly, I am awkward, not a mother-in-law. Giggle. The little guy giggled and slobbered Xuan Yuan Mose. Looking at the saliva on the clothes, Xuan Yuan Mose's heart is very subtle. It's not so resistant to his daughter's saliva, no, it should be said that it is not disgusting. Because this is the saliva of his sons, not others. Going to the city, go get some food to eat. Xuan Yuan Mose looked to the side of the white city to command. Yes. Bai Ching Cheng should have a voice, and then he went out. Lang Hua and Du Fan walked in from the outside, and looked at the grey wolf and shadow one and the cold frost on the side. This time they went to Xuan Yuan Mo's to perform a ceremony, Hey Lord. How? Xuan Yuan Moser asked, holding his daughter's little hand. 
I have found out that those people are the people of the hidden sex. However, after this incident, they did not send any more people. I don't know what other ghosts are being used. Du Fan said, his eyes fell on Xian Yuan Moser. Xian Yuan Mos looked up at them and asked, Have your master sent a message to you? No. The two shook their heads and paused. Wen Hua said, Hey, do we want to support the master? According to our two days, I learned that the power of the patriarch in this hidden world is unfathomable. It is difficult to resist the strength of the master today. If there is anything, she will be alone without help. Xian Yuan Moses' eyes fell on her daughter in the arms, and the twilight flashed. It is not that he does not want to help her, but that he knows the safety of the two children. She is more concerned about her safety. If he goes, give the children to them, let alone her, he is not at ease. After a long silence, he began to say, this region is a mixture of dragons and snakes. There are still many strong people who are not known to the world. In this case, we will use a borrowing force to bring this hidden world to the end. Listening to this, several people in the hospital had a bright eye and couldn't help but look at each other. They looked at Xian Yuan Moser and asked, I don't know what the Lord's way is. Xian Yuan Mos looked up and looked forward. The low voice contained a constant pressure, in the name of the ghost doctor, the heroes are sent out, please ask the strong people in this area to help each other. A few people thought about it. They thought of the picture of the masters who asked the powerful people from all walks of life in the name of Feng Feng and Feng Zhu in the war of that year. However, today, this situation cannot be compared with that at that time. Not too much. Thinking of this, Lenghua and Du Fan looked at each other. Then, Du Fan said, Oh, Lord, compared to the battle of the year, today this hidden world can only be said to be a small witch. In fact, with our strength, we can also destroy and destroy this hidden world. If it is called the hidden world powers in the name of the ghost Dr. Feng Zhu, is it too much to see this hidden world? Do not. After putting his daughter back to the crib, he held his hand and looked at them, this is what the monarch does not only to destroy the hidden sect, but to follow the trend and pave the way for Aju. He walked and said, this area is not included in the dominance of the present. If this is the case, if she accepts it, there is no harm to her, and now there is such an opportunity. It's said that they've got it, it's such a plan. But if this is a hero post, the news spreads to those who have hidden powers here. It is estimated that it will take a lot of time to help the master. Lang Hua said, looking at Xian Yuan Mozawa. And again, the other point is, I am afraid that these people who come here will be confused and fish. Xian Yuan Mazi nodded and said, so these things have to be arranged and stared. We need to use them only when we will put the hidden sex in the pot. We must know that the two fists are hard to beat, we are accompanying there are not many people, and the other person who is a sect of the sect may have a good sect with whom he has made a good deal. This is the point. As for Ajiu, there are still some people who don't worry about swallowing the clouds. As early as the people of the hidden sex sent people to deal with us that day, I sent the fire phoenix to look at the situation. Listening to this, a few people stunned, it is no wonder that these two days have not seen the fire phoenix, it turned out that it has gone to the hidden world sect? Yeah, it can be turned into a bird that is not noticeable, and its strength is strong. If it is to go to Zongmen, if you find the master, you will be able to protect her one or two. The monk has not been out in the house recently. Xian Yuan Moser asked, looking at the two. Always, no trip. Lang Hua said. You have to arrange this thing. In addition, please come and invite him. Just say that Ben wants to play a few games with him. Xian Yuan Mos said, indicating that the two men will retreat. Yes. The two should be there, and this is going back. When Bai Baicheng took food, the grey wolf stepped forward and smiled, The master, you play chess with the monk, then I will help feed the little master. Looking at the cute appearance of the two little masters, he liked it very much 
but the two little guys didn't want to see him a little. When he was holding him, he didn't cry or make trouble, or he would pour him. In fact, he is also very helpless. Xian Yu and Moser gave him a look, this is the way, go. After eating, they will sleep. Yes, yes. The grey wolf rejoiced, and hugged the child up. It didn't take long for the monk to walk in slowly, and the hands of the Xian Yuan Mo's took a ceremony, the poor have seen the donor. Master please sit. Xian Yuan Mo said that the board has been placed. The cold cream will put two cups of hot tea on, and then step back and stand still. The monk walked forward and sat down, listening to the squeaky laughter of the two children on the other side. I saw that the two fleshy children were held in their arms and fed with food. Their delicate faces had a sorrowful smile. There was only joy and worry in a pair of pure eyes, and to the world. Curious. Seeing this, he sighed softly under his heart, secretly shook his head and regained his gaze, and whispered Amitabha under his heart. Xian Yuan Moses' gaze has always fallen on him. When he sat down, he looked at the two children. When his peaceful eyes flashed a trace of pity and pity, his eyes crossed. A glimpse of the deep light, the deep black sable looked at a pair of children, and fell on the body of the monk, with a trace of thoughtfulness on his face. The monk saw that the two children's eyes were not right, and that feeling made him somewhat unhappy and somewhat uneasy. He and Aja's children were born from the dragon and the phoenix. From the moment of their birth, they started far more than many people in the world. They were born with blessings from all walks of life, plus two the children are also cute and unique. But why is it that the monks look pity and pity in their eyes? He narrowed his eyes, covered his eyes, and took a sip of tea from the side, and then he looked like an unintentional question, Master, you have been living with us for a while, our pair children, I don't know how the master thinks about them. Listening to this, the rest of the hospital is somewhat unknown. How are their little masters? That is naturally the existence of a dragon and a phoenix in the pride of the sky. Why do you need to ask this monk? The monk listened to Xian Yu and Moser's words, only to glance at him, and then his hands clasped together with a sigh of relief, Amitabha, the emperor, and the phoenix's children, they are rich in fuse, very incomparable. Xian Yu and Mose played with the teacup and didn't look at him. He just said slowly, Oh? Is it? Can you see the masters seeing their eyes with a trace of pity and pity? His voice fell, and he looked up at the opposite monk, his lips were slightly hooked, and his eyes were still cold, I wonder if the master can explain this to the lord. The monk had a meal, his lips were slightly stunned, and he did not say a word. The cold frost and the grey wolf in the hospital listened to these words, and they couldn't help but look at each other. Some did not understand. This is how the same thing? How? Is it very open? Xian Yuan Mose asked, pressing hard. The monk felt that the breath between the air was cold, and he felt that the cold and suffocating air released from him was very impressive. The pressure was filled with openness, and he couldn't help but feel that the chest seemed to be pressed. A boulder is hard to breathe. Amitabha, the donor, is not barren, not willing to say, but the secret cannot be leaked, cannot say. He shook his head, sighed, but also a helpless face. Listening to his words, Xian Yuan Moser's eyes shot a cold cold light, so, what is really something that this monarch does not know? The monk sighed and said, the donor, the poor has already said, the secret cannot be leaked, let alone say it cannot be said, that is to say, it is useless, it should come, it is a blessing is not a curse, it is a disaster however, Amitabha. He stood up and said, I don't think that my heart is unstable. I will play chess again in the next day. I will return to the hospital after being poor. After he took a ritual, he left without waiting for him to speak. Watching him leave, several people in the courtyard looked at each other, and his mood became a little dignified. This monk said that half of it does not say half, it really makes people feel uneasy. The grey wolf saw the face of the master ugly, and said, the master, 
this monk does not have to be too serious, the two little masters have the master and the lady to protect, will certainly grow up peacefully, look at the world, can be from the master and the lady there is no such thing as hurting them under the eyes. Xian Yuan Moser did not speak, but was silent with the teacup in his hand. Although he didn't want to believe it, he had to be cautious about the two children. However, what is it going to make the monk always have a look that cannot be leaked? Depressing his thoughts, he decided to finish the matter here, and he took Feng Zhu and a pair of children back. As long as Feng Zhu became the master of the heavens and the earth, opening this piece of heaven to open a fairy road can go directly to the piece of heaven and earth that they originally lived. In this way, it will be much easier to go back and forth in the future. At this time, Feng Zhu in the Zongmen space did not know about this outside thing. She was in the process of cultivation. On this day, she gathered her spiritual strength and slowly sighed and opened her eyes. Since the injury that year, the strength has gone backwards and then step by step, because the use of medicinal herbs has not been used to enhance the strength, and each step of the cultivation is more difficult than before. Because her opponent is the lord of the hidden kingdom, the strength of the old man is somewhat unfathomable. She hopes that her strength can be improved again, so as to avoid the difference in strength when she is at the time. However, the recent cultivation is only to let her strength reach the level of Ziandi peak, but also cannot step into the god's level, if it is against other people, she may not be too worried, but the opponent is the old man, she is somewhat bottomless. Vaguely, she felt that the monk said that her trip had disasters. If it should be, it should be here. However, even if it is, even if it is a disaster, she must take the relic and hand it back to the Wanfo door, but this is the case. After pressing the thoughts, she released a glimpse of the gods and looked out. Seeing that the old man was still practicing in the hole in the cave, she sighed, the old man did not go out, she was not good to go out. I don't know how when is it. And that relic, in the end, where is he hiding? These days, she has been staring at it. It can be said that there is nothing hidden in the cave house, and the cliff behind the stone gate, the relic cannot be placed outside, then, it will be where is it? She calmed down and thought, if she changed to her, where would she hide her relic? It is impossible to hide in the body. After all, there is no such thing as a space against her. The possession of valuable things in the body is an opportunity to kill people at any time. However, if you can't put it on your body, and you don't hide it in the Dongfu, you can only accept it under your own eyes, a place that is enough to make you feel at ease. Thoughts crossed in my mind, her heart moved, under the eyes, a place that would make you feel at ease? There are not many places like this, and the scope of finding them is much smaller. Her gaze looked out with that glimpse of the gods, and the sight fell on the old man who was cultivating, and after sweeping a circle on his body, he looked at the place one meter away from him. When the eyes passed over him, I saw that there were very common things around me. There was no place to hide things. Just when she was wondering, I saw that the old man opened his eyes and seemed to notice what was going on around take a look. At that moment, she was about to be quiet, and she looked at it quietly. The old man frowned and looked around. He stood up with his lips open. He rubbed his robes on his body. When he walked out, he moved his hand and took the crutches on the wall to the palm of his hand. Among them, this is a step by step with a cane. Looking at that scene, Feng Zhu's gaze shrank, and what she had neglected had clearly jumped into her eyes at this moment. Yes. Why didn't she think of the crutches in the hands of the old man? That is the thing he never left, and the crutches themselves are a fairy, will the relics be hidden in the crutches? The more I think about it, the more likely I am, except for the crutches that he never left, there seems to be no place for him to retract his relics with peace of mind. I noticed that the old man had gone out. She waited for a while, and then released the gods. After discovering that he was not outside the cave, it came out of the space. His eyes swept in the cave, and he paused for a moment. Then he went out quietly. However, 
as she walked out of Dongfu, a sharp wind blade suddenly formed a jet of air that suddenly struck her from one side. The murderous murder was extremely embarrassing. At almost that moment, the cold hair on her body was fully erected, and the body instinctively reacted, and quickly retreated while the palm of the hand condensed a stream of air and hit it. Call. Boom. The fierce airflow sounded a whistling sound, and the powerful airflow between the air was released at that moment. The collision of the two forces was like two thundering strikes, with a loud bang, the visible spirit. The force flow is like a water pattern that sways in space and spreads out. The fog in front of the cave was opened by the airstream. It was faintly visible that the two guarded outside were shot by the powerful airflow, and a scream was made, and there was no movement on the ground. A good ghost Dr. Fengju. No wonder I always feel that someone is staring at me in the dark. It turns out that you have already lurked in my Dongfu. It is really daring. The voice of the haze reveals a murderous murderousness. The power of the strong man on his body has been released at the moment of the fight, and now it is filled between the air, forming a strong air flow, so that the people with low strength are fundamental. Can't get close to half a point. The two air currents rushed away and gradually dissipated, and Feng Juking, who had stepped back a few steps, stared at the grey-haired old man with a cane in his hand and raised his brow. Your vigilance is not bad. I have been lurking for so long. You can still find me. It is not easy to determine my identity. Feng Ju said that the gaze of the glory fell on the old man, and when he thought of the sudden blow of the talent, the eyes were cold. If it is not for her to avoid it quickly, it will be estimated that she is lying on the ground and slaughtered. This old man, looking at the only person in the whole hidden world, she did not expect that the two would meet in such a situation, the other party's Kigong is also well trained, even she can not detect him hidden in this, it's not easy. The old man was dark and faint, his eyes staring at the black cloth masked Feng Ju, the cave is so big, it is impossible to hide people, so where did you come from? Feng Ju's lips and micro hooks, the hand moved, a Qing Feng sword slammed in her hand and the sword with a cyan glow screamed with the surge of spiritual power, and the cold voice took a bit of coldness came from her mouth. This, you don't need to know. As soon as the sound fell, the body of the ghost was swept out in an instant. The extremely fast body plundering made people unable to see the tricks. Only a blue light glided out, and in the blink of an eye, several young people went to the old man. Go, the momentum is fierce unstoppable. Hey! Hey! The old man immediately resisted with the cane in his hand, and the spiritual power of the palm of his hand surging, and several air blade swords rushed toward the phoenix like a sword. Each of his attacks contained the pressure of the mighty king, almost powerful. The breath of the atmosphere shrouded the entire hill. The two of them handed over their hands here, and the other people in the Zong men almost rushed over after they noticed the movement here. However, they did not wait for them to get close, and they were overwhelmed by the main peak. I was shocked. This, this pressure we are not close. A middle-aged man said, his face is full of shock, such a powerful pressure, even if they look at each other, they can't get close to half a point. This is the pressure of the king of the king, and the ancient pressure. An old man said with a brow, he looked at the scene on the main peak in the distance and sighed, the Fengju is really coming. The other person looked slightly, saying, but the things that the sovereign has let us do have not yet been implemented, and the two children who have already sent them to Zongmen will not be used. A beautiful woman puts a hair on her hair, and her glamorous face reveals a cold smile. The voice is a bit cold and cold. That's not enough. The person next to her listened to her words and couldn't help but look at her. I couldn't help but ask, what? Do you have any good ideas? The beautiful woman sneered and looked at the battle at the main peak. Because of the distance, they can only see the two airflows fighting, but they can't see each other's figures. Therefore, she said, and wait. The strength of the sovereign should not be defeated by Fengju. What's more, isn't it that her strength has fallen so badly? 
just saying, just listening to a loud bang in the main peak spread, followed by countless swords and gas and the air directly collided with the attack, the main peak around the impact of the gravel flying, the trees fell. Looking at this scene, no one dares to go forward, just watching the two smudges appearing in the air. A grey, black, and two shadows volleyed in the air, they attacked very fast, so even if they could not see their moves. I saw that after the two men had played a dozen strokes, the two of them were scattered under a heavy blow. The underlying pressure and spiritual power were slowly spreading, and the eyes of the entire sect. They all fell on the black figure at this moment. They had curiosity and shock in their eyes. I didn't expect that this was lurking in their sect. It was the ghost Dr. Fengju. I didn't even think that her woman's body actually had this strength to fight with their lords. However, she still had a face on her face. Nobody saw her face, but the momentum and pressure released from her body was extremely impressive. It turned out that she is a ghost Dr. Fengju. It is said that she is the master of heaven and earth in other heavens and regions. The strength has already reached the level of the gods. It was only because of the injury after the First World War that the strength fell down. However, seeing that she can fight with our sovereigns, perhaps the strength has already been back to normal. Our sect is a hidden sect, how can she lurk into our sect? A disciple under the ignorance asked the people around him. An older monk pressed his voice down, don't you know? Zhang Menli is privately circulating. There is a kind of seed and a heart in the hands of our patriarchs. Both of these things are from whatever came from Wanfaman, it is said that the strength of the cultivation of the Buddha's heart will be extremely fast, and the speed of improvement will be several times faster than usual. But what about this ghost doctor? Another person asked inexplicably. So I said that your news is not well informed. The person who spoke squinted at the side and said, I heard that this ghost Dr. Fengju has been to Wanfaman, and he got the ancient Jinlian from there. Because of this, the people of Wanfaman asked Fengju to help. I will find the relic in the heart, so I will come to us. Having said that, the person who spoke down the voice and said, This is the news that I have heard from the people. The disciples in the Zong men only know that somebody sneaked into the sect in the past few days, but they don't know that this is coming in. In the end, who is the only person who knows that this sneak is probably the ghost doctor? Fengju. Also my crutches. Suddenly, a violent anger came from the air, listening to the violent screams, and everyone looked up and immediately looked up, only to find that the faucet in their hands was actually the people who were in the black dress and night were in their hands, and the faces of their lords were drastically changed, and they swooped forward to get back the cane. What does the Phoenix Nine take on the crutches of the Lord? A disciple asked inexplicably. A disciple of an intuitive war said, I don't know, but it seems to be intentional. Just now I saw that the Fengju recruited a deadly murderer and forced the Lord to use a cane to attack the weapon. But who knows that Fengju does not avoiding it, after the hard hit, the forcible's crutches are forcibly held in the hand, and I don't know what I want to do. Another person thought deeply and said, when she had just received the blow, the crutches would fly back to the master, but she would have to win the crutches as a result of being wounded. Think deeply. At this time, a young disciple next to them said that they had spoken aloud and did not understand it. So, ask, senior brother, who is this ghost Dr. Fengju? Where did she come from? Why haven't you heard of it? The man next to him listened to this and glanced at him. This is the way, this ghost Dr. Fengju I have never heard of it before, but recently, she has been passing her things outside, and the top of the Zong men everyone knows her origins and is said to be the master of heaven and earth in other heavenly regions. It is very powerful. The voice was aloud and said, remember the vision of the heavens at that time? It is said that the children of Fengju were born and the monarchs from all walks of life congratulated each other. Since then, some strong people have known that the ghost doctors have arrived. On our side, the news about her was quietly spread underneath. I still say what to do, you see it, you fight again. 
A disciple next to him heard the words of the two men, and hit the person around him with his elbow, indicating that they were looking at the main peak in the distance. Battle The two looked at it and saw that there was a fierce battle between the two bodies in the far air. The Fengju took the caduceus crutches of their lords and actually took them into the space. They were so anxious that their lord's face had changed. The attack has also become a bit crazy and violent. Because of his attack transformation, he almost tried his best to put the other side to death, and the black and white knight of the Phoenix Nine is quickly avoiding the flash, but the strength gap is still unable to withstand his madness. S Attack Puff One stroke of heavy blows, a fist shot down the body of Fengju, let her spurt out of a blood, the body turned back a few meters. Hand over the cane. The old man said with a sullen voice. His voice was filled with suffocating and bloodthirsty murderousness. The powerful pressure and spiritual power visible to the naked eye gradually blackened at this moment and became somewhat unnatural. Controlled in general. Seeing the change of the breath on the other side, it is difficult to cover the shock of Fengju, who raised his hand and wiped the blood of his mouth. If it wasn't always that she followed the old man, she couldn't believe it. The change in the gap between a person and a person would be so big. Previously, the opponent's attack was fierce and fierce, but it was not crazy or desperate. At the moment, the old man is desperate to put her to death. This kind of unruly play makes her somewhat overwhelmed, not to mention that her strength is simply not enough to support her long-term battle. If you can't win after a short battle, you can only retreat. However, now she is in danger of being seriously injured and taking the crutches into the space. The old man is also pressing hard to make her have a chance to escape. It is really difficult to ride the tiger. Give me the crutches. Give it back to me. The sound of the haze contains a powerful pressure, and the airflow and pressure in the space are surging with the spurt of his body, covering the sky, the breath of his body. It gradually turned black and a pair of eyes were like a red blood in the devil. In her opinion, this old man is in the magic. At the moment, there is only attachment in his mind, only clinging to the crutches that she has taken away. The breath on his body is surging in madness, as if forcibly driving the will to dominate him, seeing her heart sink. Moreover, what made her even more shocked was that the strength of the other side was soaring, the breath of his body, the inexplicable appearance of her heart that had been suppressed by her, even in the body the breath was also quickly rotated by the heart that suddenly came to mind. Damn! She cursed a low voice and looked cold like a frost. She didn't think much about it. She could only fight hard to fight. However, the attack of the old man was extremely fierce like a storm. The disparity in strength made her step back. Under the wind, the body was also scarred by the violent attack of the other side, and the blood penetrated the black clothes on the night. The attacking blade of that road crossed her body like a cold knife. When she saw that the situation became more and more unfavorable to her, she flashed a glimmer of light, her eyes crossed a cold, her palms turned, and a medicinal herb appeared in the palm of her hand. She was swallowed quickly. In the twinkling of an eye, her body turned the body of Qinglian to repair her own wounds, while using the spiritual force to promote the swallowing of the body, the next moment, I saw her spiritual strength soared. From the strong air current impact, the black clothes on her body, along with the masked black cloth, instantly shattered from the air, revealing her fascinating face and dazzling red dress. At that moment, it seems as if the whole sky has become bright and dazzling. The people of Zongmen looked far away, and their involuntary eyes were slightly stunned, and they were shocked and shocked. Is this the true face of the ghost Dr. Fengju who was passed down very magically? It's really dazzling that people can't move their eyes. In the middle of the air, the red figure standing in the air exudes a powerful pressure and momentum. It is a kind of domineering in the world, a kind of natural momentum released from her body. Compared with her imposing manner, her beautiful face is not so good, but I watched the figure volley and stood, watching the red dress flying in the air, watching the beautiful the scene of the face of the cold frost is still letting their hearts tremble, 
and the burning eyes only reflect the dazzling figure. The elders and other figures in the Zongmen looked at the dazzling figure, and the incomprehensible and unbelievable under the heart. The rumored ghost Dr. Feng Jufeng is absolutely unparalleled in the world. The strong people from all walks of life have bowed to her. They did not believe it. After all, in their view, it is just a beautiful woman, and it is comparable to those hidden. Real strong men and men? Of course, when I see it today, I know that it's better to see it. This ghost Dr. Feng Ju, really can be called the legend of heaven and earth. Call. Bang. I saw a powerful airflow forming a vortex, and a flame was released from the body of Feng Ju, and the swirling airflow rushed into a horrible attack toward their lord. And the scent of their lord's body is so inexplicable that they feel a little devilish. Two powerful air currents collide with each other, and the smashing impacts in midair, making a huge bang the sparks splashed down the splash of the air, as if the sky was full of dazzling fireworks and fell into the bottom of the sect. For a time, the flames are burning in the trees and weeds under the Zongmen and even in the courtyard of the courtyard. Those who have been watching the battle saw the Zongmen being burned by the flames, and they reacted fiercely and shouted, Fire the fire! Fire the fire! For a time, the people in Zongmen were in a mess. And the old man did not pay attention to the people below, just staring at the phoenix nine times over and over again, Give me back the things! Give it back to me! Feng Zhu's body shape turned back and sneered, Do you want your crutches? Or do you want to hide in the crutches? But this relic does not seem to be yours. When her words fell, the old man's eyes became more and more red, and it seemed to be filled with blush, such as a semi-magic state. I killed you. His figure flew out like lightning, and the overwhelming death scent went like a mountain to the phoenix. You can't kill me. Feng Zhu said, his lips were slightly hooked, avoiding his attack. While he was preparing to evacuate, he heard a voice containing a spiritual breath that penetrated the mess in the door. In the ear. Feng Zhu, do you want your child to die? The woman's voice was savage and chilly, and as her voice fell, the baby's crying was also introduced into her ear, causing her heart to slam, and for a time, her heart fell, let the mad old man can take advantage of it. Boom. It was only that moment of flashing. Her whole person was swept from midair and flew from the air to the ground. The blood in the body surged and a blood spurted out. Puff. Boom. At the same time as the blood spurted out, her body was also heavily smashed in a yard in Zongmen. The strength was great, and the entire yard was almost flattened. Boom. A loud bang from the bang, the smoke and dust filled the room, and the courtyard collapsed and the stone fell on her body causing her to be bruised and bruised. She snorted in the pile of rubble, only felt that the bones seemed to be broken. It was a pain when she was slightly pulled. The most serious injury was in the body, let her know that it hurts and hurts the five internal organs. Six miles, can't move. That is coming. The old man's palm in the air condenses a powerful airflow, slamming into the rock pile below, intending to set the phoenix to death. However, at this moment, there was a phoenix in the sky. The sharp and humming sound of the phoenix sounded with a powerful ancient pressure puncture into the ears of the people, so that the people in the Zongmen sighed with their ears. What? They looked into the air that day, only to see that a huge phoenix burning in flames came from the air. It sang its wings and screamed, swiftly swooping down from the air, blocking it with wings. The blow that their lord slammed into the rock pile. Boom. Master, go. The fire phoenix shouted anxiously, because the old man's attack was too fierce and close, it was too late to rescue the owner before the blow, only to block the wings, while the chicken feet were caught in the rock pile, Feng Zhu, lying under the rock pile, grabbed it and rescued it. Fire, how is the child? Feng Zhu who was wounded into the internal organs by the blow, still asked the child's safety at the moment he saw the fire phoenix. The owner can rest assured that both children are at home, and there is nothing wrong with the protection of the Lord. Huo Feng said, 
forcing the wound on his wings and flying quickly with Feng Zhu. Where to escape? The old man sipped and chased him from the back. Just, at the moment he quickly caught up, the fire phoenix suddenly turned back, and the phoenix mouth was squirted, and a raging flame spurted out toward the old man. The old man was forced to retreat, but when he chased it again, he only saw that the bird had disappeared into the distance of the sky, as far as it was, as if the next moment would disappear in his sight. You can't escape. The atmosphere of the old man skyrocketed, and the whole person instantly rushed out like an arrow and chased it away from the distance. Metropolitan Several elders saw this scene and shouted, but the figure disappeared into the distance in the blink of an eye. Seeing this, one of the middle-aged men said with a sigh, that Feng Zhu said that the relic will be in the crutches of the Lord. How did she know? Another person said strangely, we don't know where the sheriff's relics are. But it seems that the relics can't be wrong in the crutches, or else the lords will not be so eager, and. The old man who spoke was slightly stunned, and some of his words stopped. And what? Asked one person next to him. The old man looked at them and said, You didn't find out, the sovereign seems to be a little bit right? We are not practicing the evil demon, but the spiritual power of the Lord just seems to be partial and demonized and his eyes are also ubiquitous. Blood color, not normal. Listening to this, several people meditated and did not speak. They will not see it again? The Lord's mismatch is not just the meeting. In the recent period, his heart is violent, always gloomy, and they look in the eyes, but they dare not say it. Silence for a long time, one of them said, You said, can the Lord take back things from the Feng Zhu? Difficult to say. The middle-aged man said, This Feng Zhu's strength does not reach the level of the gods like rumors. It seems that the strength of the First World War was a fact. If it wasn't for her life, the beast saved her. This will already die under the Lord's hand. Hey! One sighed and squinted and shook his head. What's wrong? What sigh you sigh? Several people asked, looking at the sighing man. The man looked at them and said, You may not know, but I heard that this Feng Zhu is Tianding Feng Xing, fuse is thick, she will have a life if she is nine dead, and that she is against her. People, no one has a good end, today she did not die here, I cannot help but worry about the future of our sect. Listening to this, a few people could not help but silence. They looked at the burning flame in the sacred door. When they saw the flame, they were not put out by the sand and the face was dignified. This fire has been extinguished. If this continues, I am afraid that the entire sect will only burn into a pile of ruins. The middle-aged man glanced at him and said, This fire is a natural fire. Except for Feng Zhu, I can let it be extinguished. The average person can rarely extinguish it. What we can do now is to stop the fire from expanding and burn. The zone is completely isolated, and the fire is naturally extinguished when the thing is burned. What are you waiting for? Let's do it quickly. Otherwise the fire will only get bigger and bigger. The old man said, the first one squats down, plunges into a burning place, moves his hand, and the air creates gas. The blade cuts the ground. Others see this, and immediately started to help, join the fire fighting team. On the other hand, the fire phoenix fled with the phoenix, and it swooped out a great distance. However, one side of its wings was injured, and it can be sustained in a short flight. If the long-term flight speed is natural, slowed down. Let me down. Feng Zhu said with a slow breath, the body of the Qing Lian gas is practicing her internal injuries, but the Qing Lian gas is slightly weak and the repair speed is not so fast. Master he is still chasing behind, and now he will be chased by him. Huo Feng said anxiously, did not stop, but continued to fly. Feng Zhu gasped, she felt that the whole person could not afford a little strength, was caught by the fire and phoenix flying in the air, his hands and feet were falling down weakly, letting the wind in the grazing sweep across the cheeks, blowing scattered hair. Your wings are hurt, and if you fly again, 
you will be caught up. Go to the jungle below, and the trees will cover the target a little smaller. She said a little hard, trying to avoid the space, but God thought of a move, the spiritual force moved, and the cold sweat of his forehead also oozed out. Can the master enter the space? Asked the fire phoenix. It was already good to be able to save the life when it was attacked. Feng Ji smiled and said, Now let's not enter the space, the spiritual power can't drive the operation. When Feng Feng heard it, some anxiously asked, What should I do? If I can't avoid the space, I will find it sooner or later. Don't worry, I will just be slow. Just let me slow down for a while, the body of Qing Lian will automatically repair the wounds in my body. As long as I can ease some. I can take you into the space. Her breath was a little breathless, and her words twitched the wounds in her body, and her face became paler and paler. Listening to this, Huo Feng took her to the jungle below. After arriving below, Huo Feng said, Master, you are resting here, I will lead him. And many more. Feng Ju took its foot and said, Don't go, let them swallow them. It hurts in the wings, and if it goes by it, it may not be able to escape. Fire Feng paused and glanced at his wounded wings. He said, The master of nothing, I will go, let the swallows and the old whites come out to guard you. Only when I go to lead the person, the person will chase. Let me come, so that I can help the owner to get more time. You can't hurt. The man has to chase it, no time. The fire phoenix said that Feng Ju grabbed its hand and pushed it away. This was grazing in the jungle for a while, and after plucking away from Feng Ju, the volley flew up to attract the attention of the lord. Fire phoenix! Feng Ju shouted, anxious, a blood spit out from the mouth, she gasped against the tree, in the heart of the heart to swallow the clouds and old white. The host! The three beasts came out. In addition to swallowing the clouds, the mother beasts who had been practicing in the advanced stage also came out together. The old white was in front of Feng Ju, and he was anxious to turn around, How is your master? Do you want to be tight? The host. The two swallowing beasts called, seeing Feng Ji's face pale, and his heart was very anxious. Feng Ju slowed down for a while, and the voice was weak, You too. To help the fire phoenix, it is not necessarily able to escape the pursuit of the person injured, you go to help it, hurry. Upon hearing this, the swallowing beast looked at each other and looked at her with concern, but the master. Old Bai is here to guard me. You go. Don't fight with that person, help the fire and phoenix to leave immediately, don't fall in love. Feng Ju confessed, let them hurry to help the fire and the fire. Seeing this, the swallowing beast just clicked on the head, we know the master. Saying, swallowing the cloud and looking at the old white, confessed, protect the master. I know, go ahead. Lao Bai should be, guarding Feng Chiu. After they left, Feng Chiu sighed and said to the old white, you kneel down and leave me. If the old man finds that he is going to adjust the tiger to the mountain, he will definitely come back to look for her. After all, the thing is in her place. He can't let her chase after the fire and phoenix. At the moment, he can only leave and say it. Good. Old White should be, Fu Fu lowered his body and turned to look at her, Master, do you come up? Feng Juyi gritted his teeth, and his hands slammed down. The whole man was kneeling on the old white back. Because of this movement, he only felt a blood pouring into the mouth from his throat, and he was swallowed by her. Go. Go over there. She raised her hand and pointed it in the other direction. Yes. Seeing her pointing in the other direction, Lao Bai did not question, but walked as she said. Over there, Huo Feng led the old man to chase after him. When he saw the fire phoenix in front, the old man behind him screamed, Feng Ju. You can't escape. He slammed out and went to the front. The fire phoenix did not return, but because of the accelerated flight, the wound on the wings became more and more serious, and the speed gradually slowed down. 
When feeling the murderous air behind him, the fire phoenix immediately became a figure. I avoided the attack of the other side. Roar! At this moment, a beast sounded from the jungle below. When he heard the beast, the fire phoenix swooped down and went down to the jungle below. The old man behind him followed the chasing, and the attack in his hand was repeated. Turn over the palm of your hand. Hey! Hey! This side! The swallowing beast shouted and ran between the jungles. The phoenix phoenix flashed and turned into a small bird that stopped on the back of the swallowing cloud. It ran away from it. The old man came down from the air and saw that the tiny fire phoenix fell on the back of the swallowing beast. On the top, while Feng Zhu did not know where to go, a pair of eyes suddenly sullen and terrible. Dare to lie to me! He screamed, his sleeves slammed, and a powerful air stream flew out, rushing in the direction of swallowing clouds. The powerful air current surged like a wave of waves, destroying the trees in the jungle. The suffocation on his body was tumbling, his eyes gazed in the direction of swallowing clouds and fire phoenixes, but he did not chase them back but turned back and tried to fold back to find them. I know, he stopped at his footsteps. In the meantime, a fierce swallowing beast swooped out of the jungle, and the bloodthirsty sharp teeth rushed to the shoulders of the old man. Hey! Roll! The old man's suffocating attack, the palm of his hand slammed into the mother beast, the reaction of the mother beast was also very fast, and jumped out of the dozens of meters, and did not fall in love and quickly rushed to the jungle. Looking at this scene, the hands of the old man's sleeves were tightly twisted into fists, and the whole person volleyed. He volleyed in the air and stood in the middle of the jungle, and the powerful gods released and searched for the figure of Feng Zhu. However, he stood in midair and saw only two directions in the jungle. The two swallowing beasts running, but not the figure of Feng Zhu. You can't escape. It must be here. The old man said with a sullen voice. He wanted to follow the contracted beast to find the figure of Feng Zhu. However, between the two contracted beasts, they lost their traces under his eyes, even the super beast. The breath disappeared at that moment without a trace. On the other side, Feng Zhu left with Lao Bai, because she was kneeling on its back, Lao Bai did not dare to run too fast, lest she fell off the horse, but worried that someone was chasing behind, not afraid slow down, it can be said that he wants to be fast, not want to slow down but has to slow down. Even so, Feng Zhu, who was kneeling on the horse, was still in the old white running room, rolling down from its back. The host. The old white was shocked, but she also saw her whole person rolling down. She actually followed the weeds all the way to the slope, scared it to flash, and instantly turned into a white dragon to come out to catch her, lest she hit the stump under the slope. The host. Old white anxiously called, watching her face cut through the weeds, oozing a trace of blood, and her whole person was comatose, not what she said before, slow down for a while recovery situation. Master, master, you wake up. Lao Bai didn't dare to push her hard, and she didn't dare to make too loud. It looked at the unconscious master and looked around. Besides the weeds of half a person, it was trees. She lay on this weed heap. In the middle, the figure is almost drowned in it. Hey! How is it bleeding here? Lao Bai noticed that there was a wound in her abdomen that was bleeding in the blood. The red dress on the body was originally red. The blood was stained only slightly darker, if not I couldn't see it carefully, but at this time, at the waist and waist, the color on the red dress was deep. It smelled a little and smelled it. When the smell fell into the middle of the breath, let it suddenly panicked. It's really blood. It hurts like this, what should I do? What should I do? Lao Bai said anxiously, and was in a hurry to turn around. The owner hasn't woken up yet, and she hasn't tried to deal with such a wound, and she has been confused for a while. Yes, medicine, medicine. To give her medicine to stop bleeding. The old white murmured, after returning to God, opened the pockets of her waist, and took out the hemostatic medicine for treating trauma. 
what about the wound? Old White worried, seeing her coma and not awake, the wound is another DC blood, as soon as she enters, then she uses her teeth to untie her belt, while the gods are reading, Master, not Old White to solve your clothes, but you have been injured to stop bleeding, we can not account for this after the fall. Fengju, who was in a coma, was unable to go to it. Therefore, she did not know that Lao Bai was taking a breath when she saw the wound in her waist and abdomen. The whole figure stepped back a bit, some stunned. Look at that scene. Hiss. The old white took a sigh of cold air and looked at the wound in the waist of Fengju. He only felt his hands holding the medicine bottle and trembled. He swallowed his throat and took a deep breath before he came forward. I saw that her white coat had been dyed red and the most shocking thing was that a sharp stone blade stabbed in her waist and belly, and the blood oozed out from there. This, when was this hurt? How did it hurt to say this? Master? Master? The old white trembled and yelled, and did not dare to scream too loudly, for fear of attracting the man, only to tremble the hemostatic cap is bitten open and the medicine inside is sprinkled on her wound. No. This will kill the people. The stone has to be made out, but I can't get it. It was anxiously rotating around the phoenix, and could not think of a way. What should I do? What should I do? It is anxiously walking, there is no one in this place, and its owner is comatose, how can it be done? If I drag it down, I will bleed if I am not killed, but it is not good to take her with me now, for fear that this will make her wound more serious. It irritated two breaths from the breath, and finally thought about it, close to the side of Fengju shouted, Little tiger, come out! Come out! In the space, the white tiger turned into a ray of light, and it rarely came out. When it saw that Fengji was faint, and the body was still full of blood, the eyes suddenly shot a fierce light, how did the owner hurt this way? Don't say it, I told you that the owner was extremely hurt. There was a sharp stone blade stuck in her waist. You are here, I am looking for someone nearby. It's important to get the thing out of the owner's wound first. Lao Bai said, it looked down here, the next moment the flash flashed to a point not far away, brought back a bunch of weeds to cover the Phoenix Nine, while confessing to the white tiger, let it keep the master quickly deviate. The little white tiger of that year has now become awe-inspiring. It has narrowed its body to the side of Fengju, staring at everything around him, waiting for its partners to come back. This place is under the hillside of the jungle, and weeds are covered. It is also a good place to hide. It is safe to be here for a while. In a place some distance away from this, a little figure wearing a small squat dress is washing her hands at the stream. After washing her hands, she takes out the water bag from the space and puts some water in it. It seems to be a good song in the creek. Sit down on one side of the stone. She took out the herbs picked in the space and washed them. I whispered and said, this time should be enough for a long time. Putting things away, she stared at the stream with her hand on her chin, thinking, after walking for so many days, I wonder if it is another city rummage? Do you want to go back? Thinking of this, her brow wrinkled, her eyes were struggling, thinking about standing up, suddenly, a wind rushed behind her, and then there seemed to be something that slammed into her hind brain. She only felt a pain in her head. A black fainted in front of him. Lao Bai was somewhat disgusted and glanced at the faint human being. He knew that he was a woman at first glance, but he wore a small man's clothes and a man's dress. His face was grey and black and he could not see his face. I don't know if this person is who, but, at the moment, it has no other choice. When he took the person away, he quickly went back. When he returned to Fengju, he saw the white tiger lying in the weeds screaming out, staring at the unconscious human being. Lao Bai threw the man to the ground and said, There is a wound on the owner. There is something on the wound. I am arresting this human being and letting her handle the wound. It is said that the white tiger is still vigilantly staring at the comatose human being and asking, what if this human being is unfavorable to the owner? 
The old white stunned the unconscious person and said, There are two of us staring here, giving her ten courage and not being afraid of the owner. During the speech, it was transformed from white dragon into horse shape with hoof. Push the comatose person, wake up, wake up. Feeling that someone was pushing her, the woman on the ground gradually recovered her consciousness and opened her eyes. She just didn't expect to see a strange horse face close to her face at the moment of opening her eyes. She instinctively wants to scream out. If you dare to scream, I will kill you. The white tiger's threatening voice rang out, scaring the woman's instinctive hands to cover her mouth and swallowing the scream, turning her head and watching a mighty white tiger staring behind her with a brutal stare at her. I only felt the cold sweat on my forehead, and my face turned pale. Tiger. Beast. No, this is a beast. Oh, don't scare her to death, scared to death, I have to find another one. Lao Bai said beside him, pushing her with the hoof, Hey, now you have to do something, you can keep your life and keep it, don't be careful, it will tear you. A strange horse. A strange horse that can only talk. The woman, Yefifei stared at the two beasts in front of her eyes. Some did not figure out what was going on. She just sneaked out to collect medicine as usual, but who knows that she was suddenly stunned and brought here. Just as she was stunned, the white tiger looked at the old white and said, Why did I tear her away? The old white cockroach opened his mouth and revealed a white tooth, saying, Because I am vegetarian. White tiger turned his eyes helplessly and did not entangle with it on this issue. Instead, he looked at the human being and threatened with evil, Have you heard? It is vegetarian, I am not vegetarian. Lao Bai opened the weeds on the side, revealing the phoenix that was covered inside, but because the wound was not handled well, and she was in a coma, her face was pale as paper, and the two beasts were tight. Cough. The old white coughed and looked at the woman, slowing down the tone, girl, this is my master, she was injured, there was something in the wound that didn't come out and it was bleeding, we couldn't help her clean the wound, so trouble is you. When Yefifei saw the Phoenix Nine lying there, he could not help but take a cold breath, God. How did she hurt this? She also refused to look at the other, saw that the other party was a woman, and she was injured. She also did not see the truth of death. The moment quickly came forward, saying, The blood is so much, and then she will die. She looked at the wound of Fengju, and her face was full of dignity, The things on this wound are very deep. If you pull it out, you will not be able to stop the blood and stop it. The old white and the white tiger looked at each other, and then the old white asked, Is it impossible to sprinkle the hemostatic medicine on the wound after the extraction? I am afraid that it can't stop. This kind of injury is not a general minor injury. Now the things in this wound are still oozing blood. When the things are pulled out, the blood can't stop. Yefifei looked at the comatose person and thought that this person was really beautiful. Even if she was comatose now, her face was pale and the paper was still beautiful and thrilling. She wanted to save her, but she was afraid of her own powerlessness. I have medicine, as long as the wound is taken out, and then the blood will not flow. Lao Bai said, Mouth one, spit out a medicine bottle. Yefifei stunned and picked it up and opened it. He had hesitation in his eyes, Is this medicine really okay? If it can't stop the blood, what should I do? What about getting things out, letting the wounds bleed? Lao Bai asked. Listening to this, Yefifei bit his teeth and said, Okay, then I will help her clean up the wound. If you drag it down, you will be dragged to death, and you can only die as a living horse doctor. She took a pair of scissors from the space and cut the clothes at the wound of Fengju. Seeing that the thing stuck in the flesh could not be pulled out by hand, so she took out a pair of pliers. The old white and white tigers looked nervously beside them. Although they let the person handle the wounds, they could not conceal their nervousness and worry. Especially after seeing the clothes at the wound, the flesh of the wound was punctured like that. It was a heart that was tightly smashed, 
and I could not wait to replace the master. The will have to count with his account sooner or later. Said the old white gnashing. At this time, Yefifei I gripped the thing stabbed in the belly of Fengju with pliers, swallowed his throat, and said to the two beasts on the side, I, I pulled it. Pull it. Lao Bai said, his eyes were tight on the wound of Fengju, and his body was stretched tightly due to tension. Yefifei took a deep breath, biting his teeth, and using a force in his hand, he took it out and pulled it out. He only listened to the slamming thing and pulled it out along the gesture of her pull, and it came with a blood. The column also sprayed out and splashed her. Pharmaceutical. Medicine. Fast. Sprinkle medicine. White Tiger quickly shouted, can't wait to go to help. Yefifei did not dare to delay, and quickly sprinkled the medicine in the medicine bottle to the wound, and took the cloth on the side and took her wound and did not dare to move. Okay. After a while, a scorn came from the mouth of Fengju. When I heard her snoring, the two beasts quickly got together, Master, Master. You wake up, wake up and don't sleep. Fengju feels that the whole person's head is heavy, and the darkness in front of her eyes, she tries to open her eyes, but the eyelids are very heavy, and there is no strength in the whole body. I only listen to the voices of old white and white tigers in my ears. Shouting. The pain in the abdomen gradually eased her consciousness. Even if she didn't open her eyes, the consciousness of gradually recovering also knew that her situation at this time was not good. It was one thing to be hurt by the old man. What she didn't expect was that when she was shot down in midair, the moment the gravel fell on her, there was a sharp, messy stone piercing her. The body, just, in that case, she had no time to deal with it. Yefifei squatted in the wound of Fengju, and felt that the blood seemed to stop. He could not help but look at the palm of his hand, looking at the red corner of the cloth, and the other corner that had not been penetrated by blood. It seems that this blood is stopped, that medicine is so good. She couldn't help but feel a cry. Although she is not good at medicine, she has also been involved in some, but has never seen such a powerful hemostatic drug, so that a serious bleeding injury can stop the blood, it is really powerful. Then quickly cleaned up the wound around the wound, this place cannot stay for a long time, we have to leave. Lao Bai said, looking at the unconscious master, and looked at the woman, I think this person cannot let her go, get a safe place before she can leave. After Yefifei I gently released the hand that pressed the cloth to stop the blood, he took the cloth and looked at it. The blood of the wound did not ooze again, and there were some small gravel around the wound that was not cleaned up. So she once again took the small one. The gravel is cleaned and the wound is wrapped after the medicine is applied. When she looked up, she saw that the faint person had already opened her eyes and woke up. This eyes just looked into the other's eyes. She only felt that the other person's eyes were really beautiful. Master, Master, you wake up. Lao Bai was delighted to call. Master. The white tiger also screamed, and put out his tongue and licked her face. Thank you. Feng Ji whispered, the voice still revealed weakness. You're welcome, it's a life, I can't help you. What's more, I didn't do anything, just just get your wounds out. If it weren't for the strange horse's hemostatic medicine, you it is estimated that I can't wake up now. Yefifet I said, by the way, Feng Juji handled all other injuries on his body. Feng Ju's mouth twitched slightly, and a slight smile appeared on his face. The woman's voice was familiar and seemed to be the woman they met at the gate of the city when they entered the city that day. Help me get up and leave from the path. Feng Ju said, indicating that he is leaving now. But you are so hurt, this movement is afraid that the wound will be pulled again and bleeding. Yefifet I said, looking at her with some worry. Nothing, my recovery ability is better. Feng Ju said slowly, after taking a breath, he looked at Yefifei, the trouble girl. Seeing this, Yefifei stepped up and lifted her up and asked, How do you get it now? You can't ride horses like this. He said, 
without waiting for her answer, he said, forget it, or I use an aircraft. Take you away. No, flying in the air, will be discovered, will not live when it is time. Feng Zhu refused, indicating the old white. After the old white squatting, he turned back and said to Yefi Fei, girl, you take my master and sit on my back. You hold her and don't let her fall, I will take you out of here. You can't do two of us. Yefi Fei said, some hesitant. Yes, no problem. Lao Bai said, signaling them to hurry up. Upon seeing it, Yefi Fei had to sit on the horseback with Feng Zhu, and half supported her so that she could lean on her, lest the wound be pulled. Sit well, we are gone. Lao Bai said, taking them away quickly, and the white tiger looked around and quickly followed. Returning to the phoenixes and swallowing clouds in the city, they looked around when they were living in the courtyard, and anxiously asked, is the owner back? The cold inside heard this, and after seeing the injury of the fire phoenix, his face became dignified, is the master not with you? How come you are only back? Her? Where is she? How is it now? Not dangerous. As soon as I heard the cold, the fire phoenix straightened up, and the two swallowing beasts immediately said, I will go back to find the owner. Seeing this, Lengua glanced at them with a glance and said, Since I am back, don't go out first. How do you go to talk to the Lord, and see how the Lord arranges? It was said that the three contracted beasts looked at each other and they went to the main courtyard. Langhua saw this, could not help but sigh, he looked at the sky in the courtyard, his heart worried about it, Master, where are you now? How's it going? When are you coming back? When the three contracted beasts came to the Xianyuan Mo's of the main hospital to explain the situation, they saw that he had not opened his mouth, and he had been standing still and did not dare to move. For a long time, I heard his voice coming. So, after you led the person, you didn't go back and look for her again? So you don't even know where she is? I don't know if she is alive or dead, don't know when she came back. Xian Yuan Mo's voice is low and steady, and the sound naturally comes with a momentum of no anger and power. It is just this kind of calm, but it makes their subconscious mind stretch tightly. They knew that the Lord was angry and he was angry after hearing the owner's injury. However, they did not expect to return to the place after the person was introduced. It took a few days, but they all arrived, but the master and the old white had not arrived yet. A few days, I don't know how she is now. Xian Yuan Mo's eaten for a while, said, are people all arrived? This question is obviously not the swallowing three beasts. It is a grey wolf waiting to be seen. When the grey wolf heard it, he stepped forward and said, return to the master, who has been entertained by Du Fan, listen to the order at any time. Tell it down, let Qi Kong and others take people to the hidden world and the king wants that door to disappear between the heavens and the earth. Killing on the spot. A living mouth is also not allowed to stay. The cold voice reveals when the stalks were cold, and when the sound came out, the grey wolf immediately responded and then quickly left. Shadow One, what is the arrangement of the things you arranged? Xian Yuan Mose asked, he played the teacup in one hand, but did not drink half a mouthful of water. It has been arranged properly. Shadow One came out from the dark. Take the phoenixes with them. He waved his hand and stood up, slowly twisting his fists behind his back, only to hear the squeaking sound when the joints tightened. At the same time, on the remote road far from here, Feng Zhu and Lao Bai and Bai Hu and the woman named Ye Fei Fei rested under the tree. Since that day, they have been on this small road for several days. In order to avoid the killing of the man, Feng Zhu chose to walk around the path. In addition to the uneven road, the path is still far away. Half of the journey can return to the city, which is why they are resting here now. I will help you change the medicine. Ye Fei Fei said, taking out the cloth from the space and watching Feng Zhu. After Feng Zhu's response, she was treated by her. Compared with the previous two or three days, 
her face has been relieved a lot. The spiritual power of her body has gradually recovered, and her internal injuries have been improved. However, it is still impossible to do the same as usual. However, although this time the injury was so heavy, but she had already got what she wanted for this trip, it made her feel that it was worthwhile to suffer these injuries. After all, it was not a busy life. She looked at Yafifei to help her deal with the wound, looking at her serious look, her lips slightly hooked, revealing a smile. After Yafifei helped her to change the wound, she looked up and saw her laughing. She couldn't help but ask, what are you laughing at? Although they walked together for a few days, they never asked anyone. Thing. She didn't ask her how she would hurt like this. Who is chasing her? She did not ask who she is. How could it appear here, but in the past two days, she looked at her and hurt her. She also endured it, and she didn't have a word for the frost. I couldn't help but admire it. You have the opportunity to leave these two days, why not go? Feng Ju asked, looking at her by the big tree. Where can I go in this wilderness? What's more, you won't be like me. Yefifet I said walked over and sat down, holding a pair of autumn eyes and looking at her, saying, however, you the body's ability to recover is really good, and it hurts so much that it is not so good. It is so good. Feng Ju smiled slightly. It is natural. The Qinglian spirit in her body is small, but it is constantly repairing her body. It is not only the wound in the waist and abdomen, but the wound in the body is gradually recovering. Nature is because my remedy is different. She chuckled, taking a few linguo from the space and handing it to her, Pat Matt. Seeing that she took out this kind of spirit, Yefifei couldn't help but look at it. This kind of fruit is very precious. Why do you always give it to me? But it's just some spiritual fruit. There is nothing precious about it. She chuckled and shook her head. This fruit, in addition to its good taste, can also add spiritual strength and restore strength. We are now it's a flight, you can't make a fire, so you don't have to lead the killer. It's just that you take this fruit pad. When Yan, Yafifei did not say much more, but after receiving the linguo, he thanked him and ate it. Her origin is not bad, but it is impossible to take such a psychic like she has nothing to eat and play, one is worth a lot of money and the other is not necessarily sold in the city. By rest, because the spirit is not bad, Feng Zhu laughed and asked, Why are you going to a girl's house, so far away? It is only a few days away from the nearest town. You are still alone. Not afraid of family worry. You didn't go so far as you did. You got a wound. Yefifei I gave her a look and said, I am a person, but at least I will not lead to killing. We are different. Feng Ju chuckled. Where is it different? Yefifei looked at the two beasts on the other side and snorted, You have two more beasts than me. However, you have two contracted beasts that are of no use. In a pinch, you have to find me to help you with the wounds. You are being dismissed. Feng Ju Kao glanced at the old white and white tiger, and chuckled. Lao Bai squirted two breaths. After seeing Yefifei, he opened his mouth and revealed a row of white teeth. He said, Master, this little girl is also useless. It is better to let Ziaho eat her. Yefifei heard, the body could not help but tighten, she stared at the old white and hurriedly with a big eyes, you horse is not only strange, but also poisonous. I saved your master, you still want that white tiger ate me. The old white snorted and did not pay attention to her. The white tiger squatting opened his mouth, stretched out and stood up, looking at Feng Zhu, Master, let's continue on our way. It is safe to return home. In its view, even if the owner has recovered some of his health, he has not really got out of danger. If the person is chased to find them, then he will be in trouble. But if you go home, it will be different. If you have a lord, even if there is something, the Lord will protect the Master. What's more, the Lord's strength is stronger than the Master. 
If the old man goes to the house, he must not it will be the opponent of the Lord. Well, let's go. We won't wait for us to go back. It is estimated that the family is in a hurry. When Feng Zhu's words fell, Ye Fei, who was sitting on the side, saw her standing up, and she quickly stepped forward to help her. Seeing this, Feng Zhuyi smiled, thanked her, and supported her to stand up by the force, sitting on the old white back, and Ye Fei was flying on the aircraft and followed them. Feng Zhu sat on the old white back and touched the jade card in the sleeve. After returning to these two days, she only passed the news and told her that Xian Yuan Mo's was very good. Others didn't want to worry about him and didn't say much. As for the place where she was, let's not say it. Can't find it, just telling them that she will be safe to get home. Little tiger, you go back to the space first, we speed up some speed back. Feng Zhu said, the sleeves glimpsed, and the white tiger on the side was in the space. Although Xian Yuan Moser did not say anything at the time, she only asked her to pay attention to safety. However, with her understanding of him, she felt that he would definitely do something, so I thought I would go home soon. Peace of mind. Okay, the owner grabbed me and sat down. Old White said, the light flashed, turning from a horse into a white dragon and vacating from the ground. Ye Fei, Fei who was watching the aircraft next to him, couldn't help but saw that the horse turned into a dragon. She lifted the speed and followed the front, how does it change? Is it not Malay? As soon as he heard it, a pair of proud and proud looks raised his head and his tail swayed slightly. Feng Zhu smiled slightly and said, Old White is a mutant beast dragon horse, which can be changed between dragon and horse. I don't see it is so powerful. Ye Fei Fei's eyes lit up and the novelty looked at the dragon-shaped old white, and he had envy in his eyes. She does not have a contract beast, because the average person can only have one contracted beast, so they all want to find only a strong point, but the powerful contract beast is so easy to find. Feng Zhu, who is eager to return to the city, does not know what is happening in the Xian Yuan Moses arrangement, that is, what is happening in the hidden world but it is not known that the hidden secular gate that has been escaping for many years has fallen into a few days after she left. The crisis of destroying the door. Two days later, when Feng Zhu and Ye Fei Fei and Lao Bai were resting under a slope, the old white who was squatting quickly stood up and said to Feng Zhudeo, Master, someone is coming. I am going to see who it is. Said, not waiting for the opening of the phoenix, it went down the direction of the sound. Looking down from the to the path above, this look, could not help but glimpse the color of surprise. Do fan do fan. We are here. The old white voice shouted, and the whole body burst out. When Du Fan and Lang Shuang heard the sound looking in the direction, they saw the old white smashed out. When I saw it, the two looked at each other and smiled. Seeing Lao Bai means that the master is here, but fortunately, they still found it. Old White, the Master? How is she? Is it all right? Du Fan asked, and quickly walked to the side with the cold cream. The owner was injured, there is it. You will be here, I can rest assured. Lao Bai said with joy, seeing the two faces change, and quickly said, Don't worry, the owner's injury is much better, you come with me, the Master is there. Said, Lao Bai took them to the place where Feng Zhu was. Feng Zhu, who was sitting and resting, faintly heard their conversation. She didn't move, just sitting and resting, waiting for them to come, and Ye Fei Fei next to him saw this, then said, Your people are coming, then I will go first. Is it? Just want to leave, the hand was pulled by Feng Zhu. What are you worried about? You are not saying that you have to go back to the city? We are also going back to the city. Feng Zhu smiled slightly and looked up. He saw Du Fan and Lang Shuang followed by the old white man. I introduce you to two people. Seeing Du Fan, the smile on Feng Zhu's face has deepened a lot. Although she didn't open the curtain to see it on the day of the city, she knew more or less about what happened at that time. 
At this time, she was due fan and cold frost. She couldn't help but wonder what would happen next. Yefi Fei had been half flashed from seeing Du Fan and the cold frost approaching her face. She didn't expect to meet these two people. I didn't expect that the women who took care of them for a few days were actually their masters. When she thought of the day when she entered the city, she rushed to the man and said something about those words. The face was not hot. These days, because the mountain road has never met people, the red birthmark on her face also let her wash away with the medicine, but she does not think that the other party will not recognize her. When it's over, what should I do? She shunned her head and was anxious. What is it? Feng Zhu asked with a smile. Master. Du Fan and Cold Cream came forward and saw a famous woman shrinking around her head in the face of Feng Zhu, and her master and the other hand clasped the other's hand. When she saw it, Du Fan browed and immediately pushed the woman up. It's up. Where is it? He tried to lift the person in his hand, and he said that he had been interrupted by Feng Zhu. Du Fan, don't hurt her. Hey. It hurts. Yefi Fei took a deep breath and refused to cover his face. When Du Fan saw it, his eyebrows were still twisted, his eyes fixed on Yefi Fei's face and said, how do I feel that this person is familiar? Feng Juyi smiled and said, I was hurt, she was the wound she helped me, and she was taking care of me. Cold Frost came to Feng Ju's side and saw her spirit is not bad, but her face is still pale, and she could not help but ask, Master, are you hurt very badly? Where is the wound? Is it better? There are some serious wounds in the waist, but now it is much better and the injuries in the body are gradually recovering. There is nothing to worry about. Feng Zhu said, and asked, Is everything at home? The Lord is assured that everything is good at home, but the Lord is worried about the Master, so let us come here to pick up the Master and go home. They were ordered to follow the arrangement of the Lord, and they did not expect to encounter the Master here. Du Fan let go of Yefi Fei, and when she saw her hand, she wanted to escape. When she reached out and pulled it, she grabbed her back, What are you escaping? Who escaped? I am leaving. There is nothing wrong with me here. Your master is there. I have not done anything bad for her. Yefi I said, carrying his face and turning his face away. Do not let them see. The more she is like this, the more Du Fan feels wrong, he thinks she should have seen her but she can't remember where she has seen it, so she asks, where have we seen it? No, no, how is it possible? Yefi Fei was as if he was stepped on the tail, and the whole body suddenly tightened and denied it. Cold Frost glanced at him and said, she is the woman we met when we entered the city. The voice was a meal. She looked at Du Fan and saw a smile in her eyes, she was still on you. Say the girl who wants to be with me. Upon hearing this, Du Fan stared suspiciously at her face. This look, after being exposed by cold frost, reminded me of the conspicuous red birthmark on the half, and the delicate face of the half, suddenly, hand one song, quickly let her go, the footsteps are not a free step back. It's you. Not me. Du Fan's voice fell, and Yefi Fei's denial voice also sounded very fast. However, after her voice fell, the air was quiet. Then Du Fan's fan brush opened and his face smiled. Looking at her. It turned out to be you. It's no wonder I can't recognize it. Today, the red birthmark on your face is gone. The whole person has become like a person. If it is not cold cream, I really didn't think about it. His voice rang, his smile gradually fainted, his eyes staring at her coldly, However, how could you just save my master? Do you have any intentions? A woman in a city, a woman who is so irritated, how can he meet his family? If it is not a mental calculation, what is it? When Yefi Fei, who had wanted to leave, heard this, he suddenly raised his eyes, What do you mean? What is the intention? You ask your own master, and this old white, to see who it is. I grabbed it hard. 
it's as if I deliberately stick to it, what kind of handsome man is handsome and handsome? Speaking so much, it seems that she still doesn't know what to do. She looked at Du Fan with a look of disgust. She didn't have a good voice, I have a broken fan all the way to fan the wind. It will not be June, you are not cold. It feels cold for you. Hey! Listening to this, Feng Ju couldn't help but smile. The beautiful face overflowed with a smile that couldn't help. She looked at Du Fan, her lips with a smile. How can you smile? This is the first time that Du Fan has met someone who dares to say him. It is interesting and interesting. Looking at the cold frost, listening to the words could not help but reveal a smile, eyes on the two people back and forth, just watching, did not speak. Du Fan squinted with a blank face, and the fan that was originally fanned in the wind was still stiff at this time. I wonder if he is collecting it well? Still continue to fan well? You you. Du Fan took a deep breath and pointed her at the fan, demeanor, I don't know how to read it. Good men don't fight with women, I don't care about you. Yefi Fetai snorted and ignored him, but he crossed his chest and crossed his chest. The master, the lord made a decision these days, he. Du Fan came to Feng Chu's side and told her about the recent arrangements and movements of Xian Yuan Mo's. Wen Yan, Feng Chu's eyes flashed slightly, so, he called me in my name to destroy the hidden world. Yes, calculate the time, this should have been cleaned up, except for Bai Ching Cheng and Qin Xian and Lang Hua and Ying Yi at home, everyone else went along with Qi Kong to the hidden Chizong door, as long as it is not touched to that lord, it should be more than enough to deal with the person in the door. The lord of that sect is definitely not in the sect. This will give me an estimate of whether I will go to the house. Feng Ju said slowly, and there was a dark light on the Qing dynasty, he is looking for something from me. I will not stay in the Zongmen to let other people pursue it. It is very likely that I will go to the house from the other side without finding me. Therefore, I am worried about the safety inside, especially the two children are still there. Du Fan knew that she was worried about the two children in her family and said, the Lord is assured that there are lords there, and the two children will not have anything to do. I hope it. Feng Ji sighed and stood up. Since you are here, go back together. Anyway, I still feel that I have to look at it with my own eyes. Okay, then I will take the master with the sword. Du Fan said, looking at the cold frost on the side. I took her. Cold frost said, looking at Yefi Fei. When you go back, go back, what else do you take with me? Yefi Fei said, not wanting to go with them. Feng Juyi smiled and looked at her and said, You saved me, I still owe you a life. You are now outside, if you are not as good as this, go back with us. If there is anything we need to help, we can all help. Listening to this, Yefi Fei stunned Feng Juyi and snorted, You yourself are hard to protect yourself. What can you do for me? Feng Ju smiled slightly and sighed, That depends on what you need me to do for you. She glanced at the old white side, and when she read it, she folded her sleeves and took the old white space. In. Du Fan did not have a sword, but instead threw the fan in his hand into the air. The fan instantly became bigger and landed in front of them like a spaceship. Master, sit and rest. Du Fan said took her to the top of the fan and held her down. Yefi Fei looked at the fan with some surprises. He didn't expect that the fan was actually a implement, and it seems that it is not a normal implement. Yeah girl, let's go. Said Cold Frost, who brought her up after flying the sword and followed them back with Feng Ju and Du Fan. Their figures graze in the air, and the extremely fast speed is like passing through the wind. After a while, they disappear into the cloud and disappear. As Feng Ju expected, the patriarch of the hidden Zongmen, while pursuing the Feng Ju, changed his target and sent his mind to Xian Yuan Mo's and their children who lived in the city. He is convinced that as long as the two children get their hands, they are not afraid that Feng Ju will not hand over things. Perhaps because of his confidence in his own strength, 
he does not feel that he will not be the opponent of the Lord Xian Yuan Mo's. Into the city, he looks like a normal old man, grey hair, plain grey clothes, inconspicuous appearance, introverted pressure and breath, make him look so ordinary and inconspicuous. After his eyes glanced around for a lap, he walked forward. The people in the basic sex got the news that the men and children of Feng Zhuji were in this city. As long as they found the place where her children were, he did not believe that she would not hand over things. Thinking of the thing that was taken away, his heart swelled and he was crushed by his life. In a house in the city, Xian Yuan Moser played chess with the monk in the courtyard. After the chess piece was placed next to the monk, he put a black box on the and played for a while, then slowly the black child. Let go. The monk glanced at him and picked up a white sun to let go. Just as his white child fell, the sunspot followed, trapping the white group and let him fall into a dead end. The chess style of the donor today is pressing hard, very sharp. The monk said slowly. Master is admit defeat. Xian Yuan Moser looked at him and asked, still holding a messin in his hand. The Baron Chess is not the opponent of the donor. It didn't win the donor's plate in the morning. It was really embarrassing. He said with a whisper in his hands. Xian Yuan Moser's lips are slightly hooked, revealing a touch of smile, the master can't win this monarch is normal. His eyes looked out of the hospital and seemed to be waiting for something. What do you seem to be waiting for in the poor? The monk looked at him calmly. Xian Yuan Moses' deep black scorpion stroked a dark light, and the low voice slowly spread from the mouth, when the voice is sent to the door to find the dead. The sound fell, he looked at the monk, revealing a touch of unclear smile, the master can stay and see, maybe, the master knows. The monk looked at him, did not speak, but only slightly narrowed his eyes. I didn't know where to go out, and I changed a cup of hot tea for the two, and then quietly retreated to the dark, quietly guarding. Suddenly, the Xian Yuan Mo's playing with the chess pieces flashed, and the bottom of the eyes passed a cold light. The whole person stood up in an instant, and the black robe glimpsed, and the blink of an eye disappeared into the yard like a gust of wind. The monk saw this, looked up and hesitated, and then stood up and went out. At the same time, at the back door, the Lord of the Hidden Kingdom gate was quietly entering the back door, but only when the foot stepped on the ground of the back door, he felt the fluctuation of the energy flow, and let him be the foot that was about to be stepped on. It's coming back, just, it's too late. Call out. A fierce air stream slid across the space to the old man, the speed is fast, the breath is fierce, and people can't help but mention the heart. When the old man noticed that there was a gust of air, he instinctively lifted his sleeves, and a powerful force burst out of his sleeves and smashed the air blade in front of him. Call out! There seemed to be a slamming sound that slammed into the wall. The old man looked and saw that it was a black chess piece. At this time, the black chess piece left a small hole after hitting the wall. The chess piece it is stuck inside the wall. The old man blinked and looked back. He saw that a handsome man in a black robe stood not far away. The other hand was behind him and placed one hand in front of his abdomen. His body was straight and loose. The restrained atmosphere reveals a powerful momentum, and standing there alone gives a sense of shock that cannot be said. You are the Lord Xian Yuan Mo's. The old voice is a bit suffocating, not asking, but affirming. At first glance, the man in this rumor was seen and the old man's eyes were a little more taboo. This person's strength is very strong, and for a moment, his mind has crossed the news about the singer Xian Yuan Mo's. This is here for you for a long time. Xian Yuan Moser said, with a hand movement, Swan Yuan Jian appeared in his hands. His palms turned to the tip of the sword and pointed to the ground. The spiritual force between the palms surged, and the Xian Yuan sword also surged into a spiritual atmosphere. Shoot a powerful sword. His voice fell, the black figure flew out like lightning, and the Xian Yuan sword in his hand waved at the speed of the ear to the old man. The old man was shocked, and the body immediately vacated, leaping a dozen meters from the ground, 
volleying away from his attack. Call out! Boom! The fierce sword slashed down on the ground, and cut off a trace on the ground. The dusty smoke flew up and the spiritual breath surged. At that moment, the parties in the city were alarmed. Power! What happened? Where did it fight again? In a family office, the middle-aged man who heard the movement rushed into the sky and jumped onto the roof of his house to look at the place where the sound was heard. It's time to look at the roof. It's not just him. The people who heard the sound all jumped to the roof to check the news. Only two shadows were seen in the air, and the two played against each other in the midair. The pressure creates a visible airflow that envelopes them, just like trapping them inside. It is there. Is that the man who called the Lord? It seems that my people have heard that he lives in that area. The things of the past few days have been raging. I didn't expect him to leave there. At the roof, several neighboring family owners came together to talk and stared at the direction of the battle. The news I just got, said that the hidden sect was closed. Isn't that the Phoenix Nine coming to us? It is said that the woman is a legendary figure. The woman of the world is the master of heaven and earth, and she is proficient in medical drugs, and she has a good ability to return to life, but the strength is still very good, but the rumor is so, I have never really seen it, and I don't know if I exaggerate it. A few people chatted here, looking at them from a distance, I saw that the two men seemed to be in the same position, but the strength was far above them, which made them unable to squeeze a cold sweat. The people in their place, the real masters are all hidden, and suddenly one is enough to shock them. According to the observations of this day, there are obviously more than one hidden masters in this area. Just as they spoke, there was a violent scream from there, and they all attracted their attention. I saw that at the moment they saw it, a cry came from the mouth of the old man, and the blood also followed. The wound spilled and spilled from the air. Xian Yuan Moses' cold eyes stared at the old man indifferently. The Xian Yuan sword in his hand fell on the other's shoulder and was pinched by his hands. However, the blade was stuck on his shoulder. Can't fall again, so the hand holding the sword and pumping back the Xian Yuan sword, the old man screamed, holding the hand of Swan Yuan Jian, together with the shoulder cut by the blade, the blood immediately splashed out. He didn't give him a chance to breathe. At the moment he took Swan Yuan Jian back, the blade in his hand hit again, and he quickly attacked him. The old man saw his teeth biting his teeth, and his body fell from the air in the courtyard below. He pushed his hands together, and a powerful force slammed out, and the things in the courtyard were scattered and smashed. The sound of the sound echoed in the whole house. He listened to his ears and wanted to hear the cry of the child. However, even if he made a lot of noise, he did not hear the cry of the child in the house, so he could not know whether the two children were it is hidden in the courtyard of the courtyard. Want to find the child of this gentleman? Xian Yuan Mo sneered with a sneer, the Xian Yuan sword in his hand raised, the tip of the sword pointed at him, you may not know it. Your sect has become a ruin, as for this Jun's children, you still don't have the qualification to see them. As soon as the sound fell, Xian Yuan Moser's figure flashed, and the blade instantly turned into an old man under the three dynasties. In one part of the house, the monk looked at the two men who had played against each other, and the eyes fell on the body of Xian Yuan Moser and landed on the old man. He said, Is this man the lord of the hidden world? Shadow One stood in the back and looked at it. He heard the monk's words, he did not answer but the look of the old man seemed to gradually become different. The breath of his body gradually changed, and his eyes gradually became blood red. Because of the change of his body, the momentum of the whole person suddenly became different. The old man who originally avoided the confrontation with his master was directly at this moment. He turned back and greeted him, and the voice filled with suffocation also drunk from his mouth. I want to kill you. Kill you. The violent breath of his body surged out, and the powerful airflow attacked fiercely and slammed into Xian Yuan Mo's. It seemed to be a life-threatening job. When Feng Zhu and Du Fan entered the city, 
they felt that there was something wrong with the city. The two kings and the mighty masters played against each other. If the strength and pressure were diffused, no matter which corner of the city the monks could feel. Therefore, as soon as they entered the city, they felt that the powerful pressure was enveloped in the city. Sure enough, it is coming. Feng Zhu said, in the Qing dynasty, a touch of coldness, to Du Fan Dao, go. Du Fan took her to the direction of the house, but did not take her directly back to the house. He sent her to a place near the house, saying, The master, now you have injuries, the strength has not recovered, or do not rely too close, and look at it here first. There will be nothing wrong with it. The cold frost with Yafifei also fell to the side, but they could not see the battle in the courtyard here. Feng Zhu also knows that he can't help himself when he goes there, so he didn't say much. He just looked at it here, and he was worried that two children would be affected. However, when Feng Zhu was worried about two children, the attack of Xian Yuan Mo's changed, and the airflow of the whole body came out. Compared with the previous attack, the attack at the moment was even more fatal. I saw that he would throw a Xian Yuan sword in his hand, and lay a sword array in the air to prevent the old man from fleeing. The figure was swept forward in a flash, and the thunder was swept to the old man. The speed is fast, it is called the speed of light. Feng Jue was surprised to see that his power of this palm is strong, and she can feel it here. The speed and the fusion of powers are so fast that people can't dodge. Sure enough, I only heard a slamming slamming sound, and the old man flew out and slammed into the wall of the courtyard. The whole wall slammed and collapsed. The old man stood up from the rock and did not see the things in front of him. Then, Xian Yuan Mo swept forward, and the extremely fast speed accompanied by the strange skill, and his hands were turned back. What? At the moment when the squeaking of the bone broke, a scream of screams came from the mouth of the old man. His back knee was kicked by Xian Yuan Moser. The foot contained the power of darkness and slammed his knee kicking, so that the whole person could not help but squat, but the body had to be straightened because his hands were screwed behind him. He struggled, but the next moment he only felt a palm on his head. In an instant, his eyes were full of horror, and the sharp voice exclaimed, Don't! Boom! At the moment when his voice came out, the spiritual power of his body rushed to the top of his head at this moment, and it came out from the top of his head. He was repaired as a waste, his hands were broken, and a generation of sex, at this moment. A skyrocketing change has taken place. The spiritual breath leaked out, and as the repair was dissipated, his body was quickly wrinkled. In the blink of an eye, the whole person was kneeling like a skinny, leaving only a weak breath. I am breathing. Looking at this scene, Feng Zhu's heart was put down, and a glimpse of his face was revealed in his eyes. His face also showed a smile of pride. Her man is really not that great. Xian Yuan Mo's looked at the old man who was kneeling on the ground. He held his hand and stood, and the surrounding swords were still unfurled. He stared at the old man who gasped on the ground, and the low voice passed through the cold. Women who have hurt this prince still dare to come here, your courage is really big. The sound fell, and the sword of a sword array on the top of the head slammed into the skin, piercing the old man's skinny thigh. Oh! The old man screamed, his mouth overflowed with blood, and he was twisted off his hands. The whole person could only lie on the ground with such powerlessness. His face was close to the ground, and blood dripped down the corner of his mouth. Since I sent it to the door to find death, this gentleman will fulfill you. The words of Xian Yuan Mo's fell, and the second sword slammed from the top and hit the shoulders of the old man. I saw that the old man snorted, and the already weakened breath was stabbed in the second sword, and it seemed to be broken, and he did not move on the ground. Xian Yuan Mo's looked coldly, his sleeves slammed, and a cold scream, more than a dozen swords and sighs fell in the same place shot down at the heart of the old man, at that moment, the old man who was still alive, a stiff body, the eyes were unwilling to scream, and eventually they couldn't swallow the last breath and they died quite straight. 
Amitabha. The monk came out and watched the scene whisper with a sigh. The ancestral gate of the hidden kingdom of Zongmen has been practicing for many years without going out of the mountain gate. I did not expect this to come out, but it was dead here. Looking at the dead person on the ground, he sighed. The power of the generation of the king of the gods, the level of the strong, was actually killed, life and death, no matter what a moment. Xian Yuan Mo's looked at him, and the low voice was a bit cold and said, Do the masters bring this body back to the cross? When Feng Zhu Chuan came back, he knew that she would be extremely hurt. It is not extremely heavy and will not be delayed. With her cultivation, she will either not be injured or she will be seriously injured. Even if she does not say it, he can guess. Therefore, when she was known to have been seriously injured, his heart was filled with killings, not only to kill the patriarch of the hidden sect, but also to destroy the hidden sects. Anyone who dares to move him, no matter who he is, he will smash it. Z, I am back. Feng Zhu's gentle voice came with a bit of ease and smile. When she heard her voice, Xian Yuan Mo's immediately looked in the direction of the sound. When the figure was reflected in his eyes, he was all helium and coldness also disappeared at this moment. The black figure lifted his breath and the effort in the blink of an eye came to Feng Zhu's side. How are you? Is the injury on the body better? Xian Yuan Moser asked, holding her shoulders in both hands and carefully measuring her whole person up and down. Feng Zhu's lips smiled and reached out to hold his waist. The whole person was buried in his arms and whispered, I'm fine, but the injuries on my body are still hurting. Her voice was light and a little bit tired, and she heard Xian Yuan Moses' heart slammed tightly and said, Where is it hurt? Is it medicine? Well, I took the medicine. She should. I will take you back, he said, and when he started to turn, she hugged her whole person, tiptoe, and went to the house. Looking at Feng Zhu was taken away by Xian Yuan Mozawa, and Ye Fei Fei hit the elbow and hit Du Fan next to him. He said, Hey, this man is her husband. Du Fan glanced at her, her hand moved, and took her collar and took her to the house. Hey! What are you doing with my clothes? Let me go, let me go. Ye Fei Fei pulled the collars of some of his neck tightly, and the whole person was very bad when he was walking. She kicked her feet. I want to kick him, but he is avoided by him. Cold Frost looked at the back, seeing the two people, and then followed up with a slight smile. When he arrived at the hospital, Du Fan released the hand carrying Ye Fei Fei's collar and said to her, You are here first, um. His words haven't been spoken yet, and he has a heavy top between his legs. He has a pain in his leg. He wants to go down but can't stretch it. He just bends his knees and bends his face. Moving, as if not coming in one breath, his face rose red. I want you to lick my collar. Are you trying to strangle me? Is this girl really bullying? Ye Fei Fei's hands akimbo glared at him and saw Du Fan pinching his legs and twisting and twisting. He snorted and browed with a few points of pride and provocation, saying, Awkward, top it hurts a bit, the function that can be used is still usable, and it can't be used. The shadow that was coming over saw this scene, and I couldn't help but look at Du Fan's sympathy. It's really a waste to be topped, but it hurts. The man is the most vulnerable here. If the top does not hurt, Du Fan will not be able to say a word at half tone, and his face will be flushed. He absolutely believes that he is now blushing because he is not shy, but it is really painful to rush to the top. Hey, he actually has a day in the middle of the game, and it is absolutely. The shadow was a little gloating, and he took a look at the woman. My heart was puzzled. Who is this woman? How come here? Feng Zhu has been returned to the hospital by Xian Yuan Moser, and the monk also turned and left. There are Du Fan and Shadow One and Cold Frost and Ye Fei Fei. At this time, after looking at the surrounding cold cream, he walked up and looked at Du Fan and asked, Are you all right? I, I, oh. Du Fan gasped and looked at Ye Fei Fei, 
who was looking at him in a provocative way. He couldn't do the two hands in front of the two women's hands, so he only clenched his legs and hands. I breathed in my legs. Then I will take her to rest first, and come over to find you later. Cold Frost said, looking at the shadows a little, this is the flight to Yefei, come with me. Yefei I watched Du Fan snoring, and he walked with the Cold Frost. As soon as they left, Du Fan immediately slammed his hand, hey! This woman is awkward. Enough. She wants to abolish my children and grandchildren. What kind of hate is this here? So. Who is this woman? How come back? Shadow looked at him and asked. Following the master, he saved the master halfway and helped the master handle the wound. Du Fan gasped and said, and it took a while to slowly straighten up. Looking like a bit familiar. The shadow said thoughtfully, and the faint feeling seemed to have been seen somewhere. The crazy woman who will go to the city. Du Fan said with no anger. When I heard this, the shadow was a little surprised, no. Yes, it is her. I don't know what the ghost is, the red birthmark on the face is also fake. This woman saved the master in the middle of the road. I don't know if it is a coincidence or a intention. Now that I am back, I have to take time to check her bottom. Du Fan said, and asked, right, why didn't you hear the cry of the little master? Are they not here? The shadow was a bit lower, saying, the family has been transferred. The main fear that someone will attack this will affect the two little masters. So let me secretly arrange and transfer the two little masters to other places. There are fire and phoenixes. They take care of it and it is safe. That's good. Du Fan heard that it was such a arrangement, and then he let go of his heart and asked, when did Chi Kong come back? It's already in the end, and it will come back when you deal with the things that follow, don't worry about them. Shadow said. The two of them were chatting. There, Xuan Yuan Mo's returned to the main courtyard with Feng Zhu, and carefully placed her on the bed and asked, is it an internal injury? The internal injuries have gradually improved, but a wound in the waist and abdomen is more serious, but these days there are dressing changes, and although the gas of Qinglian is weak, it is better or worse to treat some, and the wound has already been crusted. Nine said, when the sound fell, he saw that he reached out and untied her belt to open her clothes. She quickly grabbed his hand and said, this is the day. What do you want to do? Xuan Yuan Mo's looked up at her and said, I don't do anything, just look at your wounds. Feng Zhu stunned a bit, and could not help but show a chuckle, it has already been crusted, as long as you take a good rest for a few days, don't always pull the wound will be better. I have to look back to be assured. He said, untie her clothes. Seeing this, Feng Zhu had some helplessness, but when he saw his eyebrows in his eyebrows, he went with him. When the clothes were opened and the wound at the waist and the abdomen was exposed, the breath of Xian Yuan Mo's suddenly cooled down, just like the moment of the frost, the atmosphere of the whole room was as cold as the winter. The wound is deep, the thing that hurts you is not a sword, what is it? His voice was low, but he could still hear the faint tremor in the voice. The wound on her white skin was shocking. Although it was already scarred, there was some redness and swelling around it. The wound was very big and it didn't look like it was hurt by the sword. What hurts her? Feng Zhu pulled the clothes to cover the wound and said, I was playing against the old man. I once realized that his strength is really strong. Even if he is the same as the king of Shura, he has no strength. Strong, and he has been at a disadvantage with him. When he was hit by a heavy blow, the whole person flew out and collapsed a wall, and was injured by the stone blade that fell down and scattered. She whispered, her look calm, as if talking about other people's things, she told him about what happened on the road, and finally said, that's it, but fortunately I met Yefifei on the road, if not her. Helping me pull out the stone blade of the wound, the consequences are unimaginable. When Yan, Xian Yuan Mo's nodded, well, I will thank her. Feng Juyi smiled and said, 
this Yafifa I is also an interesting person. It seems that there are also stories. So when I came back, I will bring her back. If it can help, we will be busy with her. It is good. Xian Yuan Mo said, holding her on the bed and sitting, said, You should rest first. At the moment, it is most important to maintain your body. Right, where did you get your child? Feng Zhu asked, his eyes falling on him. When they let go of their fight, she knew that the child was not in the house, otherwise he would not let go of such a worries. I asked Shadow to find a safe place, let Lenghua take the children to avoid the limelight. He said, he patted her hand and said, you don't have to worry, they are also there. There will be nothing wrong with it, and now the hidden sect of the sect of the world has been uprooted and no more waves can be turned over, so don't worry. Wen Yan, Feng Zhu only revealed a smile, whispered, Well, there are you arranged, I am naturally assured, but I have been away for so long, I want children. Then let's take a nap. You don't have a good rest when you come back. The whole person looks very embarrassed. Take a good sleep first. When you wake up, your child will be with you. Xian Yuan Moser said, still hope that she can sleep for a while, take a rest. Well, you are here with me. Feng Zhu took his hand and said. Good. Xian Yuan Mose should be sitting at the bedside with her, sleep. I am here. After he accompanied her to sleep, she watched her sleep and then she took out the jade card and let Lenghua hold the child back. In the outside courtyard, Du Fan and Ying Yi and the cold cream three people have begun to clean up the house, some people in the city are far from looking, but they are not close. Because they all know, who is living in the house. No, maybe it's said that they knew that there were so many people in the city. After all, those who had been called in the name of the ghost doctor and the phoenix in the past few days have stayed in the city. They just don't know where the ghost doctor Feng Zhu lived, but it's hard to know if you are moving around. For them, the things about the ghost doctor Feng Zhu are more to hear. They have not experienced it personally. I don't know if the other party is really so powerful. However, all kinds of recent news have been sent out, but they are letting them know. Even if there is no I have experienced it personally, even if I haven't seen it before, this ghost Dr. Feng Zhu is indeed really powerful. I don't know, those who are hidden in the world will not show up because of the spread of the news, and will not help them to destroy the hidden family. Looking at the calmness of the house, several middle-aged men also went back together and whispered, I heard that those who came out to help each other can get a remedy made by the ghost Dr. Feng Zhu. What kind of remedy is so powerful? Can people who have already shied away from the world come forward to help? Another asked. You don't understand this. It's not just for that remedy. It's more because of the name of the ghost doctor. You don't know? There are many people who are passing, our region. The Lord of Heaven and Earth will be the ghost doctor Feng Zhu. Want to be the master of Heaven and Earth in this region? is that much more powerful? And I haven't heard that the ghost doctor was the owner of heaven and earth in other places? Is she still wanting to collect it? That is to say, but I heard that this ghost doctor Feng Zhu has another identity, Feng Xing, and her husband is the commander of the emperor. The husband and wife are strong and strong, as long as they have this meaning, other places people will not compete with them for this region. After all, if they are true, they cannot match other regions. Several people walked and whispered until they went away. On the other hand, after hearing the instructions of the cold and the piano, they said, they let them clean up, with two children and a few contracted beasts back to the original house. The place where the film is picked is a long distance away, but it is not very far away. Therefore, it takes a long time for the pedestrian to return to the house. You are coming back. How are the little masters? Du Fan asked, looking at the two children in their arms. The little masters are very good, are falling asleep. What's the situation here? Lenghua asked, let the piano heart hold them back first. The ancestral gate of the hidden sect of the sect was coming to the door, 
but it was killed by the Lord, we are cleaning up the venue. Du Fan said, looking back and said, this place was beaten by them. The walls have collapsed several times, and it is estimated that people will come and pack them up. What about the master? How is she? Asked Lenghua. Listening to him asking the master, Du Fan said, the master is currently not a big problem, but he has to rest and nurse his body, and he is not hurt, but fortunately it is much better. Hearing the words, the heart of Lenghua's heart was put down. He nodded and said, that's good. Here you are going to get it first. I will go and see it later. I will come over. He said, patted Du Fan's shoulder, then turned and left. Qin Xian and Bai Ching Cheng took the two children to the main courtyard and gave them to Xian Yuan Mo's. Then they quietly retired. When they encountered the coldness that was coming in, the piano whispered, cold Chinese, the master already slept, the two little masters were handed over to the Lord, and we did not see the master. Listening to this, Lenghua had to step on the foot and said, then I will not go in and bother, I will go to the kitchen to see. Then he turned and left. Qin Xian and Bai Ching Cheng also followed, because the house has just experienced a battle here, and there are some messy everywhere, they have to help to clean up. In the room, Xian Yuan Mo's took the two to the side of Feng Zhu, let the two sleeping little guys lie on her side and fall asleep with her. He sat at the bed and watched, guarding, only feeling when the heart is full of softness. If the years are calm, they are like ordinary couples. They raise two children to adulthood, teach them the truth of doing things, teach them to practice, let them learn their skills, and watch them marry and have children. However, neither she nor he is an ordinary person. Their life will never be calm, the most lacking, the least likely to be like ordinary people, is the quiet years. Watching her come back, staying with him, and the child's side, his heart was put down, but his eyebrows were still slightly twisted when he thought that the monk said half of it. In the end, what does the monk mean? Maybe it wasn't a good rest on this road. Feng Juyi came back to sleep very hard, and even Xian Yuan Mo's put her two children on her side to sleep with her. She didn't know. Instead, the sky was dark, and when the two children woke up, they cried and she woke up. Oh wow! Oh wow! One of the children cried and the other cried together. Two loud cries rang and they could be heard almost inside and outside the yard. She rolled over and sat up, and saw Xian Yuan Mo's picking up a child. It is estimated to be hungry. Xian Yuan Moser said, seeing her sit up and hold the child, he is busy reaching out to stop, you still have injuries on your body, like the wounds on your waist and abdomen, don't hold your child well lest you pull moved the wound. Nothing, the wound is already scarred. Feng Zhu said, holding the child up, the soft little guy came to her arms, sucking his nose like a puppy, sniffing, perhaps smelling familiar the breath, the little guy arched into her arms and did not cry. Seeing this, Feng Zhu's lips opened with a smile, look at my daughter, she still recognizes me when I come back. You are her mother she will not recognize you naturally. Xian Yuan Mo said, sitting down at the bed. They are still so small, I will leave them for you to bring. In fact, I have worried about it. I am worried that I will not recognize me when I leave too long. She whispered, gently touching her hand. Child's hair. No. Xian Yuan Mo looked at his son and said, if they don't recognize you, I will tell them. Feng Juyi smiled and said, let them eat some food, first feed two children to eat something. Okay. Xian Yuan Mo's responded with a sigh of relief. The son in his arms had a short hand to go to Feng Ju. When he saw this, he put his son in the bed and put it down. The little guy rolled over and rolled up. Climb in the arms of nine. Feng Ju saw a soft smile on his face. She reached out and took her son. When both children were in their arms, they felt that they seemed to be fatter. Ah! The two little guys didn't cry either. They took Feng Zhu's hand and stuffed it into his mouth. He yelled and yelled, 
and he didn't know what to say. On the other side, Yefifei, who had slept in the guest room, woke up. She was awake when she heard the cry of the child. After she put on her coat, she walked outside and wandered around in the house for a while, not going to the Lord. The hospital, on the contrary, first met them with cold and cold cream. Are you a leaf girl? Lengua smiled softly, his eyes fell on Yefifei's face, and he smiled warmly, almost you can have dinner, and my sister will call the girl. Yefifei looked at Langhua and looked at the cold frost. He said, they all talk to you about me? You all know who I am. No. Langhua should. You are the younger brother. Yefifei looked at the two men and looked at it. This fine shot, I found a little bit like the eyebrows. Ye yeah girl, I will take you to eat first. Cold Frost said, and went forward. Yefifei took a step back and said, Wait, I am not hungry now. She said, and looked around again, saying, I just heard the cry of a child, you have children inside. Yes, our little master. When she heard the words, she was slightly surprised, is that your father and son? She already has children? Can't see it. Seeing that the two did not speak, Yefifei said again, What is your master doing now? I have something to look for. Does the girl know who my master is? Lenghua asked with a warm voice. She doesn't mean she is called Fengju. Yefifei said, and looked at the two men, Isn't it called Fengju? How much does the girl know by a single name? Langhua asked again. I have never seen her before, and I know how much. Yefifei said with no anger. I listened to my sister and they said that the girl saved my master, and my master also promised the girl, can help the girl to do things. If so, let my sister tell the girl what we can do, if the girl thought of it. What do we need to do? You can tell us directly. Lengua Wenshung said, looking at the cold frost around him, slightly bowed his head. You go to work first. Give it to me here. Cold frost said, indicating that he would leave first. Okay. Lengua responded, and he turned and left. Looking at Lengua's departure, Yefifei's heart became more and more strange. She looked at the cold frost and asked, Who is your master? What do you think are all mysterious? What do you need to do? You still have nothing to do. Cold Frost looked at her and said, In general, there should be nothing that we can't do. Seeing this, Yefifei squinted and meditated, So, tell me about it. Please, please. The sound of the cold frost fell and turned to the other side. Yefifei was taken away by the cold cream, and in the main courtyard, Fengju and Xian Yuan Mo's fed the two children to eat. Xian Yuan Mo's took the two children to the small bed, let them play. You should drink a bowl of soup first. This is a cold cream. Adding herbs in it can help you recover your body. Xian Yuan Mo's gave her a bowl of hot soup and said, Be careful. Yet. Yeah. Fengju should, after taking it, warmed it, and drank it. After drinking the soup, she took him to the side of the bed and said, I still have something to tell you, this thing. Thinking about something strange. You said. Xian Yuan Moser gestured. It is one of the two things that the ten thousand Buddhas have asked to retrieve. She looked at him and said, the heart was hidden by the old man, so when I didn't find the relic at the time, I copied some of my heart and mixed it into fake, but because of that heart I also saw some, so later, when I was practicing, I didn't know what was going on in my mind. Naturally, the contents of those minds will emerge, and I will be forced to cultivate. Her voice was a meal, saying, the heart is not quite right. It is better to say that it is a magical classic than a Buddhist scripture. I am very surprised. How can the people of this 10,000 year old Buddha have such a thing? Wen Yan, Xian Yuan Mo's slightly contemplative, said, Compulsory cultivation? If this is the case, then this heart should be devilish, perhaps, this thing was originally not the Buddha's door. 
He meditated, his voice rang and said, or because the people of the Wanfaman know that there is a problem with this heart, so they can't wait to get it back. I also thought about this, but I think that if the heart is not destroyed after they take it back, sooner or later, something will happen. She thought of the things that the ten thousand Buddhas had promised to shelter them for a hundred years, faintly, maybe will there be a link between the two? Xuan Yu and Moser looked at her and said, but no matter what, things are theirs, and now they have to be destroyed and they should be handed over to them. Well, I know. She nodded, and then took the crutches out of the space, this thing is the old man's stuff. I have no chance to study outside these days, but I can see that this relic is hidden. Inside this crutches. Xuan Yu and Moser took a look and said, this is a fairy. Now that the person with this fairy is dead, the imprint on it can be viewed by simply erasing it. During the speech, his hand condensed a spiritual force on the crutches, and after the original imprint was erased, the gods took a look and took out the relics hidden inside. As soon as the box was opened, the things placed inside were also reflected in the eyes of the two. The relics in Buddhism say that it is the bones of the spirit, and the relic of the bones in front of the eyes, like the beads, reveals the dark red color, and there is a mysterious atmosphere. It's a good thing. Xuan Yu and Moser said, putting the relics together, this kind of thing is mostly Buddha's treasure. It is said that if you keep staring at the relics, different people will see different things. Wen Yan, Feng Jiwei was surprised, if you do this, how can you close it? If you look at it, it won't be like it. Listening to this, Xuan Yu and Moser's lips and micro hooks, reaching out and licking her hair, it is not suitable for us. Seeing this, Feng Zhu did not say anything more, just said, that's the way. Take this thing well and return it to the monk. The two had a meal in the room. After chatting for a while, Xuan Yu and Moser would talk to her in the name of the strong person who came to help her. After they made things clear, they let Lang Hua called Du Fan and others to the court to explain something. Because Kikeng has not returned yet, I plan to stay here first, and wait for them to finish the matter before coming back to meet. In the room, the husband and wife chatted, Xuan Yu and Mo's thought of the monk's weirdness, so he said the doubts in his heart with Feng Zhu, I think he meant something, but he asked him but he did not Ken said, it's just that the sky is not leaking. Upon hearing this, Feng Zhuwei was surprised, is this happening? She meditated and said, our children have our protection. It is reasonable to say that there should be no danger. This monk said this. What does it mean? Her voice was slightly stunned and said, In this case, I will explore his tone tomorrow and see what it is. Yet. Yeah. Xuan Yu and Mose should have a voice, and still remember to hang this thing. The next morning, after they had used the meal in the hospital, Feng Zhu confessed to Lang Hua and asked him to ask the monk to come over. The monk got up and read the chanting in the early morning. He expected that Feng Zhu will let him go today, so he was in the middle of the hospital early. When he heard the words of Lang Hua, he followed him to the main courtyard. The donor. The monks who entered the hospital clasped their hands together and bowed to them. Master please sit. Feng Ji smiled softly and stood up and asked him to sit down. The monk whispered a little and walked up to sit down at the table. Master, this is the relic in your Buddha's door, and the heart. Feng Ju took two things out on the table and said, However, I have something to understand, but also hope that the master will solve. Her hand according to those two things, they did not directly push him in front of him. Seeing this, the monk looked up at her and asked, what is the donor asking? Master knows that this heart has a problem. Feng Ji asked straight into the knife. Hearing the monk, the monk sighed, what does the donor say? I wanted to transfer this heart from the hands of the patriarch of the hidden kingdom, so I copied the heart and mixed it with the content, but the accident was that after watching the heart, but not the free cultivation of the Lord, the heart of the mind the heart of the law, and the hegemony of this heart, is not like the Buddha's heart. Feng Zhu said, his eyes fell on his face and asked, Masters know why. The monk looked slightly and whispered, Amitabha, 
the poor, I don't know, this heart is a sacred object of Buddhism. No one can refrain from practicing the Holy Buddha. I have never practiced it in poverty. I have never seen it before, so I don't know this. Cause. Seeing his look is not like saying fake, Feng Zhu said this, in this case, after the master of the heart is taken back, it is best to report things to your holy Buddha, so as not to cause anything in the future. The two boxes under the palm of the hand pushed forward and said, Masters check it out. The monk took it over and opened it and looked at it. He then got together and said, It is good for these two things. He said, he stood up and bowed to Feng Feng Zhu Zheng, thank you for the donor. Feng Zhu smiled slightly, she looked at him and said, Master, I still want to ask you something. After hearing the news, the monk looked at her and after a slight pause, this said, I don't know what the donor wants to ask. Cold Frost Feng Zhu screamed, and saw the cold cream and the cold man lifted the cribs out of the crib. The two children in pink little clothes and white little clothes played in the crib, and occasionally giggled. Meaning. Seeing the two children, the monk's look was slightly moving. He looked at Feng Zhu and asked, What is the donor? The master is the sorghum in the Buddhism. He has his own Buddha light. It is obvious that it is not shallow. So, I want the master to help me with this pair of children. Are there any major disasters in their growing years? If so, how to crack? Listening to this, the monk sighed, why should the donor be poor? How is it difficult? Is there anything that can't be said? Feng Ji picked up his eyebrows. The monk looked at her and saw her pair of clear eyes staring at him. It seems that if he did not say something, he would not stop. Generally, he was contemplating for a while and had to say, the donor knows that the emperor the star of this life. Well. Feng Zhu's voice was light, and he seemed to look at him unidentified. On the side of Xian Yuan Mo sees this, the light is deep, the tea in his hand slowly put down, and the deep eyes glanced at the two children and then fell on the monk. Since the master said it, it might be a bit white. His low voice slowly spread with his unique magnetism. The monk looked at him and said, the life of the emperor is a lone star. It is only because of the appearance of Feng Xing that there is a change in life. Feng Xing, this does not belong to all between this world, therefore, the two of you are born. Children, even though they are blessed by the strong parties at birth, are still unknown. His calm eyes fell on the faces of the two men, watching their faces become dignified by his words. He sighed and said, This is a secret not leaking, and even if it is poor, it says. This robbery is also unavoidable. You know that it is just a matter of increasing your worries. It is better to follow the destiny and let it go. When Feng Zhu spoke in the words of the monk, a heart slammed down. If he is talking about other things, maybe she will smile and not pay attention to it, but he said that she does not belong to this world. People who are not here, but have rooted here, now have a pair children, their lives are still difficult to determine. Listening to this, she had a moment of flusteredness and fear in her heart, fearing that what he said would become true. And, this may come true. Do not. Even if it is true, she will not allow such things to happen. Xian Yuan Moses' face became dark due to dignity. His hand holding the cup tightened tightly. Because of the out of control of the force, the cup slammed open, the tea splashed, and the broken cup smashed his palm. Blood also dripped out on the table. When Feng Juyi saw it, she immediately returned, and she grabbed his hand, quickly release. Xian Yuan Mo's looked at his hand, and then slowly loosened it. When she saw her eyebrows twisted and nervous, and worried and helped him clean up the debris of the palm, at that moment, his heart could not help but reveal the guilt and apology. It was his bad ability. After hearing the words of the monk, he did not control it and let him hurt his hand and worried her. Feng Zhu took the medicine and the cloth strip from the space, and helped him get the medicine to stop the blood. While blaming, you are also, don't you know that it will hurt your hand? I hurt myself if I hurt myself. 
I'm sorry. Xuan Yuan Moser apologized and said that he had already eased his heart. He looked at Feng Zhu and wrapped his hand. After the table was cleaned up by cold frost, he only looked at the monk, if you said it is true, what can be done? The law will not be broken. The monk looked at him, silenced for a while, or shook his head, I am helpless in poverty. I don't know how to crack this. After all, the poor knows limited. Feng Zhu put Xuan Yu and Moses' hand down and looked at him. Then he looked at the monk and said, Even if you are telling the truth, you should know that I am not a person of this world. I can come here and become the heaven and earth monarch here. I can ask, what else can we do? Her gaze moved to the side and landed on the two children, saying, Since they have been born, that is the life that has existed in this world, even if they want to go through 1981. I am I also believe that they will one day grow up from the disaster and become stronger like us. Listening to her words, Xuan Yu and Moses' heart gradually calmed down, yes, he and she did not come this way step by step. Although they are the life of the Emperor and the Phoenix Star, but for so many years, the suffering they have experienced is beyond the imagination of others. They are also breaking the catastrophe again and again, growing up from the disaster and achieving the power of today. Their children have inherited their strong blood, and it should be. After the monk put things together, they said to both of them, too, there will be a period. Feng Zhu stood up and said, I will send the master. Please. She said, making a gesture of please. The monk turned around and he went out with Feng Zhuyi. When he came to the gate, the monk stopped and said, the donor, send it here. Be careful on the master. Feng Zhu said. Amitabha. The monk clasped his hands together and looked at Feng Zhu. He said, the benefactor is a blessed person. There are often noble people who help each other. The two children of the donor are also the same. Blessing, as long as they can meet the nobles, they will surely be ruined. Thank you for the master Ji Yan. Feng Judeo thanked. After the monk slightly turned his head, he just turned and left. Looking at the figure of the monk disappeared into the line of sight, Feng Ju took back his gaze and whispered, Is it a good person? Who is it? She sighed and turned and walked inside. When I arrived at the main courtyard, I saw Xian Yu and Moser holding her daughter in her arms. While holding the son of the levy in the crib, she stepped forward and said, don't worry too much, sometimes people are not as good. A lot of things haven't happened yet, no one knows what will happen. She picked up the son in the crib and said, You, our children, are so cute, even if they are really catastrophic, they will surely be ruined. Well, I know. Xian Yu and Mo's should be, and my heart is thinking that from now on, we must strengthen the protection of them and try to avoid danger. On the other side, in the guest room, Yefi Fei was sitting on the bed with his chin in one hand. After yesterday, Cold Cream told her about Feng Zhu, she was thinking, could she borrow her power to help her deal with those things? If it is by her own, it is impossible to do it, but if they are helped by Feng Zhu, the things in her family are just for them. Of course, the premise is that Feng Zhu is really like Cold Frost. That's great. However, if she said the things in her family, would Feng Zhu believe them? Will they help her? Just as she was entangled here, on the other side of the main courtyard, Du Fan walked in and saw the two men sitting in the courtyard. The accident was caused by Xian Zhang Mo's hand, and he had a touch in his eyes. Surprising, but still quietly put away his eyes, and his eyes fell on Feng Zhu's body. The master. He gave a ritual and called. What? Feng Zhu asked, looking at him. I investigated the flight of the leaf, he said. Because he was close to the master and saved the master, and still lives here, he naturally has to investigate the origins and details of the other party, but he did not expect that this investigation made him find some tricks. Listening to this, Feng Zhu picked up his eyebrows, oh, is there any problem with her bottom? The correct thing is that her family has problems. Du Fan said, under her gesture, 
this is the way, because of his disappointment, she has secretly checked her affairs together with her family. This Yefifei's mother-in-law disappeared three years ago and her whereabouts are unknown. She also pretended to pretend herself three years ago. However, the print on her face was a small one. Her family seemed to be attached to a powerful force, but she could not investigate, and her father was also from three years. The behavior before the start is not the same as before, but the reason for this is not clear in a short time, but it can be known that the interior of this Ye family is very complicated. His voice was Emil, and said, Since Ye Fifa I left home, Ye Jia's people are looking for secrets, and this is not the first time Ye Fifa I left home. It will not be long before he will be found and will be caught back. This time the family is also looking for. Wen Yan, Feng Judeo, this Ye Fifa's family is even more complicated, she is no problem and I have allowed her one thing. If she really wants to ask for help, I will come over and find me. She said, she smiled, and said, in the meantime, she took care of her in the government. After all, she is my savior. Yes. Du Fan responded, and after a ritual, he retired. For him, to understand the details of the other party, to eliminate the danger, know that she is not close to their master with ulterior motives, then you can rest assured that he stayed here. Out of the hospital, seeing the cold outside waiting, Du Fan walked over and lowered his voice and asked, I see how the hand of the Lord is injured? What is going on? Lang Huacheo glanced inside and lowered his voice, the master went away and said something about the two little masters. The Lord heard that the cup was smashed the hand was broken by the pieces, and the master was bandaging. Okay. Wen Yan, Du Fan nodded, looked back thoughtfully, said, What about the two little masters? What can make the Lord do? Lang Huajin said a bit, It is still unknown to say whether the two little masters can survive. Listening to this, Du Fan's face could not help but show the dignified color, How can you say such words? Do the masters believe? Lenghua thought of the words of the previous monk, and the look of the master and the lord, and the mood was also very heavy. He whispered, it is a letter to see the master and the lord, but they believe it. But don't believe in life. He told him the original words in the previous court and said, but according to the arrangement of the lord, the things here are almost all handled, only the master can put this piece of heaven and earth into the spirit and collect it. Going back so we have to start to arrange the return journey, and handle all the things here, waiting for Qi Kong to come back. Du Fan nodded, I know, you look at it in this courtyard, I have something to deal with. He said, he left. Du Fan came to the courtyard where Ye Fifei lived. When she entered the hospital, she saw her sitting on the ladder in the courtyard, holding her chin and wrinkling her face and thinking about things. He coughed and said, is it still used to living here? Ye Fifei looked at him and asked, What are you doing? I am here to tell you that the people outside Yejia are looking for you everywhere. Du Fan said, When the fan in his hand was about to open, he remembered the words of Ye Fifei at that time, and he could not help but accept the fan. Hold behind you. Listening to this, Ye Fifei looked slightly, and then. Du Fan took a look at her and said, and then? Those people are turning around our house. It is estimated that you know that you are here. I heard the master said that you are allowed to do something. Cold frost should also tell you. Have done our ability, if there is a need to open, we can help you solve the problem. Wen Yan, Ye Fifei bit his lip, it's really light. Do you believe in our strength? Or don't you believe us? Du Fan asked. Seeing her half-sounding and not talking, Du Fan went to the table in the courtyard and sat down. He said, let's tell you the truth. What is your origin and family? I have already investigated it. What troubles do you have? No. You check me. Ye Fifei jumped like a kitten stepped on his tail and glared at Du Fan. Du Fan glanced at her and smiled. What happened to you? You don't think that you are close to the body of my family. 
Now we don't have to investigate people who live here. Who are you as my master? Do you think anyone can be near her body within ten meters of her side? Yefifet I moved his lips and wanted to say something. In the end, he said nothing, but he still stared at him with a pair of eyes. Just didn't expect this check, but I couldn't find a lot of things to come. He said, his eyes glanced at her, and an optimistic look stared at her. Listening to him, Yefifa I couldn't help but ask, what have you found? Saying, what seems to have been thought of, and said, even if you really find something, such a short time, you know only some knowing things. Talk about it, she seems to have calmed down again, and returned to the stone steps to sit there. Listening to something in her words, Du Fan's heart moved and looked at her. He smiled and said, Oh, that's not necessarily what you can't find. I'm not sure I can't find it. I'm investigating you overnight. It is more than enough to investigate your family. I don't believe it. Yefifa I said. Du Fan looked at her, the fan in her hand was opened by habitual and slamming, gently blowing on the chest, with a smile on his face a smile on his face, saying, you the mother's whereabouts disappeared three years ago is still unknown, and you have been making yourself horrible since three years ago. The birthmarks on your face are not born, but you are pretending to be your mother when you were born. As for the reason. His voice rang and he smiled and said, you have a secret on your body, or your mother has a secret, and your mother's disappearance is related to this secret. The force behind your family is also trying. Take out your secrets, so you have tried to escape many times in the past three years, but you have been arrested again and again, and in your family, you should protect your father but not the one you should have. So, your father, there are problems. As he spoke, he watched the look on her face and watched her a panic from the initial calm to his eyes. He could almost conclude that his guess was not wrong. From his investigation, he came back to the encounter at the gate of the city that day. The middle-aged man who said that her father was watching her eyes did not have a love or favor for her children. Even if she is a daughter who has done too much, how chaotic it is, how bad the reputation is, and should not be the kind of thing that does not depend on the spectator's gaze. However, he did not know what was wrong with this, just wanted to swindle her words. What he said above, although it is said to be like that, if it is said, it is not the same as saying it. However, she had something in her heart and was said by her, and she clearly showed signs. So, even my father is fake, I know. She murmured and said, there was a sigh in her eyes. After all, it was only a sixteen-year-old girl. The experience of the world was not deep. She was swindled by Du Fan, but she said it first. Du Fan is also like the fox. When he heard this, he was slightly surprised. The face was not half pointed. He just nodded and said, Yes, I know. Yefifa I was silent. She condensed her eyes and meditated. Her face was also pale. Her hands were twisted from time to time, and her clothes were wrinkled and I didn't know. Actually, you don't have to worry about other things. My family is expensive as the Lord of heaven and earth. What kind of things have not been seen? What kind of things she can solve? Since you saved her, she also wants to pay you back. You fall. It's better to think about this opportunity, what do we need to do for you? You know, we won't stay in this world for a long time, wait for our companions to come back, we are ready to leave, and then miss the opportunity. I think you will regret it. Why do you want to tell me this? Even if you can't report it, you have nothing to lose. Yefifet I said, looking up at him. Du Fan's fan was collected and gently shaken in his hand. It's not the same. I've said it before. My family's master is a heavenly monarch, and I can do what I can, and it's kindness. It's a knot. It is the best for her you will not know that this cause and effect is the most troublesome for those who cultivate the immortal. Listening to his words, Yefifei is silent, yes, 
for the people who cultivate the immortals, the cause and effect of this kind of thing is the most troublesome, especially for the powerful people like Feng Ji, who are already so powerful, oh a favor, it will become more and more difficult when the cultivation progresses through the thunder. She sat in the courtyard with her hands on her knees and did not speak for a long time. Du Fan did not speak, just sat quietly and looked until she stood up. What is your master? I want to see her. Ye Fi I said. Wen Yan, Du Fan smiled and stood up and said, I will take you there. The sound fell, and the micro side made a gesture of asking. Ye Fi I glanced at him and walked with him. In the main courtyard, Feng Zhu and Xian Yu and Moser were talking and discussing the next arrangement. At this time, I heard the voice of Du Fan coming from outside. The master, Ye Girl came, saying something to say to you. Feng Zhu looked at Xian Yu and Mose, Xian Yu and Mose stood up and said, Let's talk. I am going back to the room quietly. I have to say that the monk's previous words still have an impact on him. After all, it is about the fate of his children, so that he can completely let go of his heart and not worry about it. The two children were playing in the crib, and from time to time they made a squeaky voice. Feng Zhu looked at the two children and saw Xian Yu and Mo's returning to the room. After a pause, he said, Come in. Ye yeah, girl, please. Du Fan asked her to go in and waited for her to go in and walked behind him. When Ye Fi I entered the hospital, he saw a pair of lovely children in the cot and saw the two children's exquisite and lovely look. She couldn't help but glance at Feng Zhu, who was next to him. Is this your child? Feng Zhuyi smiled and motioned for her to sit down and said, Yes, twins, this is my brother, this is my sister. It's so cute. Ye Fi Fei smiled and said, sitting down at the table, it seemed a little nervous, and it seemed a little embarrassing. Her hands were on her lap and she grabbed her dress slightly. This said, that, me. I have something to tell you. Feng Zhu Duan took a sip of tea and whispered, you said. Ye Fi Fei glanced at a few people in the courtyard, and at some point he had some words to stop. They are all my confidants. If you have anything, just say it. They are here, they can give advice, don't have to avoid them. Feng Juxiao said, did not let the cold frost and Du Fan in the hospital lengua they retired. Despite this, Du Fan was also acquainted with each other. After looking at each other, they walked side by side and did not get too close to them, but they did not leave the yard. Maybe you should already know about my business. If this is the case, then I will say it straight. Ye Fi Fei took a deep breath and looked at Feng Judeo, you are not saying that I saved your life, you can do you do something for me? Then I want you to help me out the forces that we are behind the scenes of Ye family, and clean up the forces that control Ye family. Her voice was a bit, and she looked at Feng Zhu a little bit, this is what I hope you can help me. Listening to her words, Feng Zhu picked up his eyebrows and glanced at Du Fan, who turned his eyes back on her. Yes, but what is the specific thing, I think you should tell me about it, I can start to arrange the treatment. Ye Fi Fei was silent and took a deep breath. This began to say, three years ago, my father, who was kind to my mother, seemed to have changed personally. It changed a lot for me and my mother. When I didn't have time to figure out why, my mother disappeared, and my whereabouts are still unknown. I, on the third day after my mother's disappearance, unexpectedly discovered that my current father is not my father. When the three people in the corner of the court heard this, they could not help but look at each other. Du Fan has a hint of surprise in his eyes. He first swindled her and said that her father had problems, but did not know that it was such a problem. Fake? As far as he knows, her father is now the owner of the Ye family, a fake, how can he sit in the position of the owner? Didn't anyone in her family find it? Still, everyone in her family knows that because this fake Ye family is the one who is attached to the back of the Ye family? For a time, my mind crossed the thoughts of countless guesses. When Ye Fi Fei said this, her hand was tightly twisted into a fist, 
and her face was cold, but the voice was still calm, as if talking about other people's things, he tried to know a secret from my mouth, just I suspect that my father and my mother have been killed by him, so I have been mad and stupid to make absurd things to let them relax their vigilance, while secretly investigating what happened in this. Feng Ju listened, gently playing the teacup in her hand, listening to her words, she thought of the scene where she was taken away, and she couldn't help but feel a smile, and her lips showed a smile. Looking at her and asking, how did you know that he was a fake? Ye Fi I reached out and stroked his face and looked at Feng Judeo, the red birthmark on my face is made of a special kind of medicine. This is only known to my mother and father, but that person, he does not know. Wen Yan, Feng Ju was surprised and looked at her and asked, I heard Du Fan said, the red birthmark on your face is small, and how can your parents be so small to give you such an unsightly red birthmark on the face? My mother told me that I was very cute when I was born. It looks like my mother. My father said that my daughter is very good. I will definitely find a man who really loves me. My mother will laugh and say that men are more greedy. Beauty, a beautiful woman has fewer chances to meet true love, because more often, a man only looks at her face. When it comes to this, Yefifei yeah, laughs and seems to think that her mother had told her before. The look when I said this. So they both gave you a birthmark? I hope that you will meet a man who doesn't value your looks in the future. Feng Ji said in a speech, his voice fell, and she looked at her exquisite and beautiful face and nodded. Laughed, it is good intentions. Ye Fi I smiled and said, my mother is very beautiful, and my father loves her, not because of her appearance. My mother hopes that I can meet a man like my father. Just, I didn't expect it three years ago. Something went out. The smile on her face converges, and her look is a bit stunned. Feng Ju's fingers tapped on the table, and Ching Ching fell on her face. He asked slowly, I still have a little curiosity and incomprehensibility. In this place, your Ye family is not a first-class family. No matter what aristocrats can attract some forces to worry so much. Ye Fi Fei I looked at her and said, I can't say. Wen Yan, Feng nodded nine times and said, Also, I will let Du Fan help you deal with this matter. Do you want to stay with me first? Or do you want to go with you to Ye family? I will stay here first. Ye Fi Fei I said, If you smash things, things will be out of control, they will take me away, I think, you are here than me at Ye family. Be safe. Feng Juyi smiled and said, This is a fact. I am here. Most people don't dare to come to the door. The voice rang, she smiled. Since you have said this, let's stay. She looked to Du Fan on the side and said, You will handle this matter. If there is a problem that cannot be solved, tell me. Du Fan said in front of him, Yes. He said, Looking at Ye Fi Fei, said, yeah girl, there are some things I want to ask, why not, let's go ahead. Seeing this, after Ye Fi Fei I looked at Feng Juyi's eyes, he stood up and said, then I will go first. Then, I went outside first, Du Fan saw it, and after a tribute to Feng Juhang. Also follow. After they left, Feng Ju teased a pair of children, while facing the cold frost and cold road, she is here to take care of some see if there is nothing missing, send her. Yes. The two responded. On the other hand, after Qi Kong and others dealt with the things behind the hidden sex, they thanked the helpers who had helped each other, you, we have not passed, this time, thank you all. Qi Gong Zi is polite. The crowd was busy with a hand back. Although this came out because of the name of the ghost Dr. Feng Ju, he said that it was help. In fact, if they really said it, they really didn't help. After all, the hidden ancestral gate was not in the gate, and those peaks were not there. The strong men of the ranks of the elders and the elders were all solved by Qi Kong themselves. They also helped to prevent the people who escaped the gate from escaping and killed those disciples. However, even if this is the case, 
the treasures obtained in that door are also a lot of them, and each person has a medicinal herb refining by the ghost Dr. Fengju, even if they have some unfortunately, I have not seen the ghost Dr. Fengju himself, but they are very satisfied with this. Qi Gongzi, if there is nothing else, then we will leave. Then everyone said to them again. There will be a period later. Qi Kong said, holding a fist and watching them leave the sword, this turned to a few people around, let's go back. Go. Several people said, and Yu Jian went back. In order to help Ye Fifa deal with Ye Jia's affairs, Du Fan asked Bai Ching Cheng to help her, so that she could easily become Ye Fifa I's appearance and follow him to Ye Jia. Just before the Ye Jia gate, she did not knock at the door, and the door opened from the inside. A line of guards walked out from inside, followed by the so-called father of Ye Fifa I. You still know that you are back. Ye Jiazu calmly sipped, his gloomy eyes staring at the white city of Yirong Cheng Ye Fi Fei. Bai Ching Cheng glanced at him and said, This is my home, of course I have to come back. He said, screaming at the guard who was going to catch her, retreat. Listening to this sound, Yi's master's face sank, You are a long-term skill. Bai Ching Cheng glanced at him and walked inside. When the guards came forward, they were gently flew out by Du Fan's fan. They went inside and did not go to the front yard, but to the back. Dedicated to the place where the ancestors of the Ye family were. As for why I am so familiar with the road here, it is natural that Ye Fifa I told them in advance. Seeing that the two men went in like this, Ye's face was as black as the bottom of the pot, and he angered, You want to go back? Come on. Give me them. Just as his voice fell, the guards in the government came out and flew toward the two. The other people in Ye Jia's Hong heard the movement, and they couldn't help but come out. Seeing that Ye Fi Fei was back, and when he was carrying a man, he couldn't help but lick his mouth, hey, this is not seen for a few days. The wild went, and came back with a little white face. If my daughter drowned directly in the water. You say a few words. A middle-aged man next to him frowned and sipped, saying, Go back to the hospital. Don't mess up here. What the woman still wants to say, it can be seen that the man stared at her in a dark face, and then he turned around and left unwillingly. The middle-aged man was talking about the children around him. When he even drank, is it very busy? I go back to the hospital. However, his words fell for a while and those people have not dispersed yet. I heard a bang from the bang, and when I heard the sound, it was a glimpse. Hey! Ye Fi Fei, the woman is too noisy, she actually ran to ring the old clock. That is the ancient clock that Ye family asked the ancestors to ring. What did she want to do? Actually alarmed to her ancestors? Is she not destined? Listening to the whispering arguments in the ear, the middle-aged man hurried forward and walked forward to the courtyard where the ancestral tablets were enshrined, only to see the guards inside and outside. And his big brother, at this time is looking at Ye Fi Fei, his gloomy breath makes him look terrible. Big brother, big brother, don't be angry, flying is a child, not sensible. He quickly said, and yelled at Ye Fei, flying, how can you do this? You know that this will alarm the ancestors. Don't come over and give your father a mistake. He sipped as he glanced and motioned her to admit her mistake. Looking at this person, Du Fan and Bai Ching Cheng looked at each other. This middle-aged man should be the second uncle in Ye Fi Fei's mouth. It is said that she is in this family as her two uncles have been protecting her, and her second uncle's strength in Ye Jia's Hong also encountered Top, very speaking. Those people did not directly take her away and ask her, her second uncle can be considered a major contribution. Uncle, I have something to say, so I have to ring this ancient clock and ask my ancestors to come out. Bai Ching Cheng said, don't say that her appearance at this time is the same as Ye Fi Fei, that is, her voice is exactly the same as her. Coupled with the mastery of their masters, this Ye Jia's Hong people simply cannot recognize her as not Ye Fi Fei. Don't hear me? Take her together with the little white face. 
Ye Jiazhu calmly sipped and his gloomy eyes fell on the two. Listening to this, Du Fan smiled, the fan in his hand gently fanned the wind, said, Little white face? Oh, I have not introduced myself, under Du Fan. Du Fan. When Ye Ye Ir Ye heard the name, I didn't know why, and my heart was shocked. He looked at the man in front of him carefully, and saw him wearing a white robe embroidered with a dark robes, holding a fan in his hand, and his face was so beautiful and inexplicable that his eyes could not be widened freely. You, you are Du Fan? Ghost Dr. Feng Ju under Du Fan. Ye Ye Ir Ye's voice was raised fiercely, showing shock and error. It's just under. Du Fan's fan gently fanned the wind and looked at the owner of the leaf, saying, it's not a small white face that comes out. The face of the owner of the leaf is still gloomy, and the hand under the sleeve has been tightly clenched into a fist, I broke into my leaf house and whispered here, thinking that my family is so deceived. The owner of the leaf sullenly sipped, his eyes still staring at them, and said, catch it. Ye yeah, family? Are you? Du Fan asked without hesitation, the voice was not big, but it was clearly introduced into the ears of everyone, listening to everyone's ears, it was like a thunder, it was shocking. After the Ye family's second master heard Du Fan's words, his eyes flashed slightly. What happened? At this moment, an old and imposing voice suddenly came, and the voice echoed in the Ye family and was introduced into the ears of everyone. It's the ancestor. Ye Jia Ir Ye exclaimed and looked back. The ancestors are out. The ancestors actually went out. When Ye Jia Hong was whispering, the old voice came out again. All come to the front yard lobby. Du Fan smiled and said to the white city on the side, Go. Said, walking forward with her. Ye Jia Zhu wanted to do it, but he finally endured it, waving his hand to signal the people around him to spread out and watching them go forward, they followed the front yard. When a group of people came to the front yard, the guards inside and outside were guarded with vigilance. In the lobby of the front yard, they were already filled with the patriarchs of the Ye family and the elders and the principals. In the middle of the main position, sitting at this time is an old man in grey coat, which is the ancestor of Ye family. When everyone looked at the few people who came in from the outside, their eyes passed over the familiar people, and their eyes fell on Du Fan. What is this son called? Asked the Ye family ancestors of the main seat. Du Fan, he said, holding his hand to the fan. For those who can't close, Du Fan's name is unfamiliar and has never been heard. Therefore, he looks at the Leaf family at the bottom left. After seeing Du Fan, the family of the Ye family said, the sun is a ghost doctor and a phoenix. Exactly. Du Fan responded, and walked to the front to sit down in the position reserved for the Ye family. He was carrying a leisurely look, and his manners were casual and natural, as in his own home, there was no partial restraint. At this time, one person whispered in the ear of the ancestors and then quietly retreated. After hearing the words, the old ancestor looked at Du Fan's eyes with a little more surprise. He looked at him and asked, I don't know why Du Gongza came to our house. I came with her. Du Fan said, looking at the white city that stood in the middle of the sky. Seeing this, the Ye family ancestors looked at her and looked up and down and asked, Are you Ye Fifei? Yes. Bai Ching Cheng responded with a sigh of respect and respectfulness, I have seen my ancestors. Ye family ancestors nodded and asked, is you ringing the ancient clock? What is it? White Allure is preparing to speak, and is interrupted by the sound behind. Old Ancestors Ye Jiazu came forward and said after a ceremony, this girl made me spoiled, so that she was so misbehaving. Some time ago, she avoided the meeting and guarded her home. I didn't know what to do when I went out. Now I am back. It's really a big deal to alarm the Ancestors. When the sound fell, he looked at the person next to him, his eyes were cold and shouted, Prostitute! Don't give me a kneel! Bai Ching Cheng looked at him and then moved away from his gaze. He turned to look at the Ye family ancestor of the Lord. 
he said, My ancestor, this person is not my father. He is not my ye family. When the words came out, there was a loud bang, and suddenly it was a little messy. Some people are shocked and shocked. Some people are sinking their hearts, and they feel that they are not good. Some people are silent, but they are cold-eyed, and some people are gloating, just like watching a movie. Yejia's face was gloomy. When her words fell, he immediately raised his hand and slammed it toward the white city, the prostitute. However, standing here is Bai Ching Cheng, not the real Yefi Fei. Therefore, when he slaps, she steps back and opens the distance. She only feels a slap in the air. Didn't touch her. Du Fan looked at him with a sly look and thought, this Ye family's broken things are also chaotic, and it is no wonder that Ye Fifei refused to come back to stay with the master, saying that it is the safest, and if it is standing here today. It is Ye Fifei, this slap is estimated to be able to swollen her face. Perhaps I didn't expect this slap to be empty, and the owner's face became more and more gloomy. He wanted to go forward. At this time, the next Yejia Ir Yi stepped forward in the middle of the two. Big brother, if you have something to say, don't beat the children. Yejia Ir Yi said, obviously keeping Bai Ching Cheng behind him. Yejiaza took a deep breath and held his fist tightly. At this time, he heard someone open his mouth. Flying, you are too inconspicuous. How can you say this kind of big reversal because your father wants to fight? said a middle-aged man, shaking his head and screaming at her. Very disappointing. That is, how do you know when your father treats you? You say that you are a girl's house. When you see a man outside, you catch up and pounce on it, making your reputation so bad. If you change to another family, has been detained or sent to the country, where will you stay in the family? In order to vent out that your father is not your father, this is really over, such a big living person is here, if it is fake, we will not know. Another person also said, looking at her gaze not happy. The old man of the main seat listened, his eyebrows were slightly twisted, and he looked at Bai Ching Cheng and asked, What the is going on? Are you really saying this in order to exhale? Bai Ching Cheng looked at the old man in the lord's position and said, He is not my father. My father may have been killed by him. My missing mother may have been killed. My ancestors, now Yi's family can't be said to be Yejia. These people are attached to a mysterious force and have been controlling our Leaf family. Upon hearing this, the patriarch stood up and shouted, Nonsense! Come on! Take her down! Take it! Looking at the angry patriarch, others have different minds and thoughtful thoughts. The guards who kept outside heard the sound of the inside, and even if they walked in quickly, they surrounded the white city, and the Ye family ancestors who saw this scene were dark and slap on the table. Retire. He sipped out, and the guards couldn't help but look at each other. You continue to say. Ye family ancestors said with a calm voice, his eyes fell on Bai Ching Cheng. Bai Ching Cheng glanced at the patriarch and continued. The majority of the Ye family in the present are already the people of that power. There are really few people who really have the right to speak. If the ancestors reclosed for a few years, they will only be afraid of the time. The home is no longer the Ye family. The ancestors of Yejia listened to this, and the breath of the whole became low and terrible. He licked his lips, sharply glanced over the other people in the hall, and finally fell on the owner of the leaf, saying, you said, what she said is true. Old ancestors, she is a nonsense. Yejiaza said, step forward and said, our Ye family is a hundred year old family, but if it is not comparable to the real family of other people in other places, and our Ye family is always out of the limelight, what can be seen? What's more, what she said is really ridiculous. What mysterious forces control our Ye family? What am I fake? It's ridiculous. He said, look at the other people in the hall, do you believe what she said? Letter? Is it so absurd to believe? Everyone in the hall was silent, 
and one brow was slightly twisted in a look of contemplation. At this time, Du Fan smiled, the fan in his hand gently fanned the wind on the chest, he looked at the owner of the leaf, said, I have a bottle of potion here, as long as a drop on the face, regardless of the face what kind of skill is easy to make, it can make it appear. The sound was a meal. With the turn of his hand, a pill bottle appeared in his hand and placed on the table, Yejia, can you dare to try? Yejiaza's face was gloomy. He hadn't spoken yet. At this time, a middle-aged man stood up and screamed, a ridiculous. I am a master of Ye family, can you let me try this medicine? This is our leaf house, please leave now. Yes. Leave. Looking at a few people who were open, the face of Ye's ancestors was unpredictable. He licked his lips and didn't talk, half sounding, and his hand screamed and shouted, and then he said, if that's the case, then give it a try. It's also blocking the long lines. Listening to this, Yejiaza's eyes flashed slightly. He looked at Yi's ancestors and was silent. He seemed to be thinking about something. How? Yejiaza did not dare. Du Fan picked up his eyebrows and looked at him. Yejiaza's eyes passed over the crowd, and everyone sitting in it was musing. Some of them looked at other places, and some stared at him. Seeing this, his heart frowned and looked at Yi's ancestors. Tao, the ancestors spoke, I have no reason to deny. During the speech, he took the opportunity to step forward, but, just stepping out of the sight of Bai Ching Cheng, suddenly a hand buckled her whole person back to the throat and swept away, this sudden scene, stunned everyone in the hall. Hiss. Flying. Everyone was shocked and took a sigh of air, and the nearest Yejia ear he was instinctively whispering, reaching out and trying to pull Ye Fi Fei, but was hit by a palm of the hand, the whole man slammed backwards go, fall to the ground. The Leaf family was pale and pale, and his hands shook slightly. He seemed to forget the reaction and looked at it like that. After seeing this scene, Yi's ancestors changed their faces. When they saw him buckled and grabbed, they immediately swept away. The old and thick voices were accompanied by powerful pressure, where to escape. All of a sudden, the hall became a mess, and everyone quickly got up and chased them out. Therefore, no one noticed that Du Fan was still sitting and not moving, but the leisurely and leisurely, one hand gently fanned the wind and looked at it. Scene From the time when Yefi Fei said that he was in danger and would not return, he made arrangements to make Bai's city easy to accommodate her. Instead of her, she appeared in Yejia, doing what she could not do, even if it was really dangerous, to white the strength of the city, she will have the opportunity to get away from it at any time. The other person did not notice, but he noticed that at the moment the person took the white throat and took it away, she was restrained by the instinctive counterattack. He stood up and looked at Yejia Iryi, who was helped to stand up. He saw him rushing to chase him out. He immediately called him, Ye Iryi. When Yejia Iryi heard Du Fan's voice, he instinctively stopped and looked back at him. Ye Iryi, compared to chasing the person, I think you are still better at handling the things inside Ye family. Du Fan said with a smile, his eyes fell on him. Upon hearing this, Yejia's father froze and asked, Du Gongza took the flight back, and now she was taken away. How can Du Gongza not worry? Don't worry that she was killed by that person. Yet Iryi is relieved. She won't have anything to do. Du Fan said, You are in a mess in your house. Your ancestor is estimated to be unable to catch up with that person. If this is the case, you should first use this house. Those who are plugged in are cleaned up first. Wen Yan, Yejia Iryi paused and said, I know. He gave Du Fan a fist, thank you for reminding. Saying, this quickly went out, let a low drink, let all the people in the palace gather. On the other hand, Bai Ching Cheng leaned her head slightly. She was buckled and fled the Yejia area with the transmission shaft. Therefore, when she came out of the front yard of Yejia, the guards did not come up, she only saw the flash of light in the eyes, 
the next moment, people already appearing in a grove. Due to various trainings and sudden changes in the incident, her body's instinctive reaction has been countered at the moment she was detained, but she was restrained by her life. She would like to know where this person will take her. However, what she didn't expect was that he seemed to be unable to bear it. After confirming that there was no pursuit, he stopped the steps of plundering, holding her throat tightly, and said in a voice. Yefi Fei. You are very capable. I really didn't think you have been wearing these three years. Bai Ching Cheng did not speak, just looked at him. Say. Where is the thing? He tightened his strength and asked. What? I don't know. She said word by word, her face flushed by being shackled. You still wear it with me? It's useless. I know that it is right there. If you don't want to suffer, it's better to hand over the thing. Otherwise, you will feel good. He sighed with a sullen voice. Bai Ching Cheng looked at him and said, Are you always wearing this face useful? Have you dared to show people in real face? Oh. He smiled and said, You don't know? This face, but peeled off from your father's face, or else, you think why no one can recognize this face is fake of. Listening to this, Bai King Chen's heart shook and his hands tightened into fists. This face was actually peeled off from the face of Yefi Fei's father? Such cruel things, even if she listened to her heart is not good, if Yefi Fei heard it, how much harder? How? Can't believe it. He sneered and said, also, people like you who are ignorant, naturally do not know, if the human skin mask is to be the finest, it is best to peel off the face but I still to tell you a good news, your father is still alive, because we are squeezing his face, but let him still sigh with a sigh of relief. You said, is our technique very powerful? Metamorphosis. Bai Ching Cheng roared. She herself was a person who had undergone a major family change. Now she heard such news and heard that Yefi Fei's father was treated like this. Her heart is still full of anger and killing. That is tormenting people, the tormented people. She couldn't imagine the pain of a person's cheeks being peeled off, and even more unbelievable, someone could survive under such pain. Thinking of Yefi Fei's missing mother, she asked, My mother is also in your hands. Oh, yes, your mother is in our hands, you can rest assured that her face is still good, we did not peel her face down, which is thanks to her beauty and we are taken care of by our law. Has become the stove for us to protect the law. Listening to this, Bai King Chinch's body was shocked. Furnace ding. Damn it. These people actually turned out to be. The breath in her body tumbling, burning in anger, murderous and rising from the sky, she was suppressed by her life, she took a deep breath and looked at him, you don't want to know where the thing is? Take me to see them. Hearing the words, the man's eyes flashed slightly, and his eyes crossed with a touch of joy, you can rest assured that even if you don't say it, I will bring you back. After all, there is no place where it is safer than us. Say, take a bundle of rope from the end, tie her and take it away. After the ancestors of Ye family could not catch up with the people, they returned with a dark face. When the patriarch was abolished, the family of Yejia was reorganized. Du Fan saw this and quietly left to go outside. There is a glimpse of his knowledge in Bai Ching Cheng, which is specially designed to be easily traced to her. Even if they have left without knowing where they are, he can follow her to find her. As long as they are not far away from him, they can be found. In the house, Feng Ju, after learning the news, let the cold frost and Yefi Fei say, let her not go back, wait until things are handled and then go back. Yefi Fei, who heard the news, sat in the courtyard and looked awkward. What she had been unable to do, did they really help her? Just, is her parents still alive? The next day, in the evening, Du Fan chased the White City and went on a mountain road. He met several people who were going back to Qigong. Du Fan? Why are you here? Where are you going? Qigong asked. Are you back? 
Du Fan showed a smile when he saw them, patted their shoulders and said, Things are like this. He simply said something, and finally said, So now I am I am going to chase the people who have captured the city. It turned out to be like this. Chi Kong nodded stunnedly and said, Let's help us too. Yes, we can take the opportunity to help. Grey Wolf grinned and said. Du Fan shook his head and said, There are many people who have great goals. Plus, when you just come back, you have to go back to the master. If you want to go with me, then Chi Kong will go with me. You should go back first. Also, let's talk to the master and tell them. Seeing this, several people looked at each other and finally nodded, All right, then that's it. You should be careful. Chi Kong, let's go. I don't feel too far from being too far away. Du Fan said, raising the gas and continuing to plunder. Chi Kong led the Grey Wolf to a few people, and then went with Du Fan. After seeing them leave, several Grey Wolves followed and went back. At noon the next day, the man took Bai Ching Cheng to a valley. After entering the valley, Bai Ching Cheng looked around and saw that there were many monks who were repaired in the middle, and this the place is hidden, and if she was not brought over, it is estimated that she could not find it. After being brought into the valley, she was detained in a dungeon, sitting on the corner of the wall, her hand gently turning behind, and untied the rope, but still wrapped around her hands. Throw away. Her gaze passed over and fell to the opposite cell where she felt a very weak breath, as if the oil lamp would extinguish the flame at any time in the wind. There was a smell with a stench in the air. She sat without moving, just watching, guessing, waiting. At the same time, in a parlor in the valley, the man in the face of the owner of the leaf took the mask of the human skin, revealing his original appearance, and also a middle-aged man, but his face was transparent. Cold gas. When the stinky head came out and came back, she brought back a guy named Du Fan under the ghost Dr. Fengju. There was that guy, she was courageous, and she was alarmed by Yi's ancestors and smashed things. It is. Said, his eyes crossed the harsh and cold atmosphere, said, I also knew that the stinky girl had already known that I was a fake. If I knew that she had seen it early, she should be arrested and tortured early. In the main position, a white-haired boy listened to the sneer of the sinister test, if the torture is useful, you don't have to mix in the Ye family for three years. The master, the stinky girl is now in the dungeon, is it necessary to bring her out for interrogation? Hearing the words, the white-haired boy was playing with the two-beat-sized night pearl in his hand. He said, these leaves are all hard bones. If they are not pinned, it is estimated that the two will not live. It is now. His voice was a meal, saying, the former methods are useless. This Yefifa has to use other methods to let her speak. Listening to this, the man's heart fretting, said, use her parents to force her to open. In order to avoid night-long dreams, then at night. The main person looked at the night pearl in his hand and made a sound, and asked, on this trip, you only saw the subordinates of the ghost Dr. Fengju? Have you ever seen the ghost doctor? 9. She has never seen it, but she has seen the Qing Long monarch and the patriarch of the hidden world. When he mentioned this, his face was dignified, the hidden kingdom has been destroyed. It seems that things are determined to take the step, so as not to regenerate things. The white-haired boy said thoughtfully. At the same time, Du Fan and Qi Kong have quietly arrived at Tanaguchi. Looking at the array of the place, Du Fan picked up his eyebrows and smiled, looking at the method of this array, the average person is estimated to be really difficult to come in. Chi Kong glanced at him and said, You are familiar with the formation, you are breaking. Do not break, follow me on the line, we sneak in, first find the city and then say. Du Fan said, walking in front, let Chi Kong follow him. The two quietly entered the law and went inside. I don't know if the people in the valley are too confident. Because there is a law, there are no people who are guarding the battle. After they enter the inside, they observe the darkness and observe a circle. 
Du Fan points to a small path. We have passed from here, and the city should be there. At this time, the sky was getting darker, and the two of them were sighing with each other. No one found them. However, accidentally, when they passed the path, they saw a stream of water. Du Fan's heart moved and lowered the voice, this may be the source of water for them. I will give them some materials. Then, take a pill from the space and sprinkle some powder into the water. Seeing this, Chi Kong asked, is this medicine not working? Will it be detected? No, this is the medicine that the master refining. I have prepared one or two bottles on it. Even those who are good at it can't notice anything, don't worry. He said with a smile, he took the bottle. It was up, indicating that he would continue to go forward. At this time, Bai Ching Cheng was in the dungeon. She looked at the dying person in the prison opposite. He called out, the opposite, who are you? The dungeon was dark, only the faint light came out from the little window, and it was impossible to illuminate the light inside. The man was shrunk in the corner, and the sight of Bai's city was better. Can't tell who the other person is. Perhaps because the other party did not speak, Bai Ching Cheng paused and asked, How long have you been caught? The other party still has no opening, the air is quiet, only her voice is echoing. At this time, the iron gates outside opened, and the two monks came in to check it out. They sipped at Bai Ching Cheng, homely. Don't think about running, people who have entered here can't escape. Bai Ching Cheng glanced at the two men, sitting against the wall, hands behind his back as if they were tied. Until the two went out, she stood up and took the unremarkable scorpion from the hair to open the lock. She gently opened the door, and when she came to the iron prison there, she paused a little, and then opened the door with a scorpion and went inside. When the hand moved, the pearl appeared in her hand overnight, and the iron was illumined in an instant. When she looked at the dying man lying in the prison, she could not help but take a breath of air. The whole person could not help but go backwards. Step. I saw that the man's legs were locked by chains, his body was broken, his wounds had deteriorated and he had a stench, his hair was messy and he could still see the half. The faces and fuzzy. Perhaps it was because I heard that the person said that Yafifei's father's face was peeled off. At the moment he saw this person, the first thought in Bai's mind was Yafifei's father. Pressing the shock and anger in her heart, she said with a light voice, Are you the father of Yafifei? Perhaps he heard the name, and the person who had not responded finally reacted. His hand moved slightly, and opened his eyes to look at Bai Ching Cheng. He just glanced at it and he said in a hoarse voice, You don't have to bother, I don't know anything, I won't say anything. His breath is very weak, his voice is extremely weak, but he still speaks word by word. Except for the slight fluctuation in the eyes of seeing the face of Bai Ching Cheng, nothing else can be seen. I am not their person, my name is Bai Ching Cheng, my master is a ghost Dr. Feng Zhu. Bai Ching Cheng said, seeing that he did not respond, could not help but step forward, take a medicinal medicine from the space. I don't think you are hurt. There is a medicinal herb here. You should take it first. I will take you out later. She said, not to abandon the rotten smell of the other person and the stench of blood, but will Dan medicine was stuffed into his mouth. When the Dan medicine entrance, the original leaf father who wanted to spit out felt a cool breath accompanied by a strong spiritual power in the mouth, and he moved his hand, which swallowed the drug. After the medicine was placed in the throat, the feeling of coolness spread in the body, and a warm current picked up from Danchen, making his originally weak body warm, and it seems that the power gradually gathered. She opened the mysterious iron chain that locked his foot. When I wanted to lift the man up, I noticed that there was a breath on the outside, so I quickly took the night pearl back to the previous prison and sat against the wall. Allure. Du Fan's familiar voice came and stood up in the white city where he sat in the corner, I am here. When Du Fan came in and saw the white city that came out, he showed a smile, is it okay? Nothing. Bai Ching Cheng should, 
and said, This should be Yefifedi's father. She stepped forward and opened the iron door, and took out the night pearl to illuminate the iron prison. Du Fan saw this, his brow twisted and asked, Are you sure? It should be. Bai Ching Cheng said. Wen Yan, Du Fan said, That line, take him out first. Said, Take a cloak from the space, wrapped his body to avoid touching his wounds before he helped him stand up. Ye father was helped out of the dungeon, looked at the two monks who were killed in the ground, and looked at Qi Kong outside, and then looked at Bai Ching Cheng and asked, Who are you in the end? Why save me? My master owes Ye Fifei a person, so we will be here. Du Fan said, seeing him and he could not go, he carried him back. Go over there, we have just explored the road, there can be Tibetans. Qi Kong said, indicating that they are going there. After a few people left, they came to a dilapidated huts and rested for a while. At this time, Bai Ching Cheng looked at Du Fan and Qi Kong and said, When I was arrested, I heard the person said, Ye Fifei's mother. The pro is still alive and has to find a way to save her. When I heard this, the two were surprised. But even said, then go. You are waiting here. Du Fan said, intending to let Qi Kong stay guard. Wait a minute. Ye father called Du Fan and asked, how is Fifei? Is she okay? She is very good, very safe, you can rest assured. Du Fan said. He heard that the heart he had been hanging was finally put down. He looked at Du Fan and said, Three years, I have lived for three years, and we have been worried about her being alive and stealing. Nowadays, I know that she is very good, I am relieved. We will take you out and let you reunite. Bai Ching Cheng said, knowing that when her words fell, she saw him shake his head. We have been tortured here for three years. The death is already a relief for us. I only hope that I can see my lady before the death, flying the mother. Bai Ching Cheng slightly licked his lips, and voiced to Du Fan and Qi Kangdao, I heard that person said that Fi Fei's mother-in-law was seen by a guardian, and he was an adult-shaped stove. Listening to this, the faces of the two became hard to look. The humanoid stove, for the woman, it is really life is not as good as death. You are waiting here. I will go out and see. Du Fan said, and he said to the White City, you can help him with his wounds first. I am going outside to make a law. As long as you don't go out, most people don't notice. You are here. Okay. Bai Ching Cheng responded with a slap in the face, helping the Leaf Father to lie down and untied the cloak on his body to prepare for his wounds. Be careful. Qi Kong said, after sending him out, he saw him leave the room and left, and then walked back to the house. At this time, those people have not found that the people in the dungeon have been rescued. They think that after the darkness is dark, they will be reviewed, and they have thought that people have been taken away. Out of Du Fan, because it is too much trouble to find someone in this whole valley, he can't find a place and a place, so he took a monk and brought it to the dark, say. Ye Fifei's mother-in-law where is it? The monk did not expect someone to sneak into the valley. For a time, his face was full of horror. He struggled for a while and saw that he could not escape. He said, I, I will take you there, you will let go of my throat first. When Du Fan saw this, his hand was loose. He opened the throat and reported it. He immediately tightened his hand and only listened to it. The monk's mouth was wide open, and Du Fan's mouth was broken in his throat. He couldn't make a sound, and he was completely unscented because his throat was twisted. Du Fan glanced at the dead man in his hand and frowned. He threw him to the corner. A bottle of corpse water was spilled and his body was cleared. He continued to move forward to find the next target. After a fragrant incense, he came to the front of a battle, and the monk who led the road trembled and said, Just, it is here, where we left and left to protect the law, the woman is there. Hearing words, Du Fan took a slap in the face and killed the other party and then destroyed the corpse. This was the way to go into battle. 
The smoke of this law is toxic. However, the medicinal herbs that their masters had allowed them to take have not had any poisons for ten years. So poisonous, naturally, they can't resist him. Quietly entered the inside, the monks in the dark place were quietly killed and abandoned aside, he came inside, did not see people, only heard the voice of the woman laughing from the inside. Passing in and sighing in, faintly seeing a pool of meters long inside, several naked women are playing in the water, while lying in the middle of the pool, it looks like a thirty-year-old man. The other side was cold and breathless, and his face was very rosy. He was drinking red wine in the pool, and his sinister eyes glanced over the bodies of the women's red fruits, and laughed low. After drinking the glass of wine, he stretched his hand and pulled a woman into his arms. He leaned over and kissed him. He walked unscrupulously in the upper reaches of the woman. Other women saw it. When I stepped forward, I was wrapped around the man with a low voice. Du Fan, who had a panoramic view of the pool, raised his eyebrows, his lips were slightly hooked, and his eyes were cold and cold. It seems that this person is really a hungry ghost. This place is in addition to a few monks in the dark. They are very good women, but these women seem to look like twenty or thirty years old, but their actual age should be only within twenty years old, it is estimated that he was aging and became aging. As he leaned over one of the women, he plucked from the darkness, and the fan in his hand was carrying a sharp air blade to cover his throat with a coverless effect. The man attacked the plane and the man violently pushed a woman around him to resist the attack. He quickly swept the palm of the hand from the water and smashed the water in the pool to make a splash of water into a sharp blade. Hey! Du Fan shot the attack of the fan in his hand and shot it down on the pool surface. At the same time, the fan in his hand also blocked the water blade from the other side. He swept away, and the extremely fast figure swept out and fanned. A stream of air slammed across the man's shoulder, leaving a deep hole in the shoulder. Hiss. He took a sigh of cold air, and the blood dripped out of the wound and dripped into the pool. He had nothing to look at, and he ran up in the air, asking, Who are you? Take your dog's life. Du Fan said coldly, and the powerful pressure was released. Under his pressure, the women who screamed and wanted to escape had a headache, one by one. Can't move. When the man noticed the strong pressure, his face changed greatly. He wanted to escape the first time. But who knows that the figure is shining, and a fan with a sharp blade is already at his neck. The cold and bloodthirsty killing, suddenly he did not dare to move. Respect for your life. He reached out and surrendered with both hands, not daring to move, for fear of being taken away by the fan in the other hand. Du Fan did not kill him immediately. Instead, he licked his throat with one hand and smashed his inner Dan in one hand and repaired his body. I saw that the man who was repaired as a slain didn't even have a chance to scream. He just struggled with a sigh of relief, until he finally struggled with his suffocation. Because of the ruin, his appearance was also rapid. Old, and finally turned into a white-haired old man with only one breath left. Throwing the man into the pool, Du Fan raised his hand and stunned the women, then walked behind and planned to go to Yafifei's mother. When I came to the back of a cave house, he saw that there was no one in the film, only a woman with a smattered ink that barely blocked one or two. At the moment of seeing her, his mood was very heavy. The other person sat on his knees with his hands, and his whole body was shrunk. His feet were wearing black chains, and the whiplash was shocking. He sighed, his hand raised, and the black cloak fell on her body. He sighed, Mrs. Yet, let me take you away. The shrinking woman grasped the cloak and wrapped her body tightly. She slowly looked up at Du Fan in front of her eyes. She did not speak, but shrank away from the corner. Seeing this, Du Fan said, Mrs. Ye may not know that the fake leaf owner of Ye family has been exposed by us. I followed it to find it. The law has been scrapped and I am lying outside and only one breath is left. The true Ye family has been rescued by us, and Mrs. Ye is chasing me away. He did not directly kill the law, 
but wanted to leave him to kill him personally. A monk who used a woman as a stove, it was too cheap for him to kill him directly. Listening to this, Mrs. Yi's body trembled. She grabbed the cloak and looked at Du Fan. The voice was hoarse and asked, Who are you? Why do I help me? Why do I believe in you? Ms. Ye may not have heard of it, but since I asked, I said the last one. Du Fan said, looking at this very guarded woman, after a soft sigh, Wen said, My master Ming Fengju, known as the Ghost Doctor, is also known as her Feng Xing, and she, the nobles of the world of the world, the head of the strong, the reputation. This time, I was assisting Ye Fi Fei in the life of the master. Therefore, I intervene in the matter of Ye family. If Mrs. Ye does not believe, she can go out and see it with me. When Yan, Mrs. Ye did not speak, seems to be thinking about something, half a ring, this said, you help me remove the bunch of keys. She looked at the key hanging on the wall. Du Fan followed her gaze, then stepped forward and took the key off. This key is placed here, not close, not far away, but the lady who can lock the mysterious chain on her foot can't get it. The law of protection was deliberate, deliberately she looked at the key here, but could not get it, just as she saw the way of life, but could not escape, the day and night were suffering. He took a set of clothes out of the space and placed it in front of her with the key. He said, if Mrs. Ye doesn't give up, please put on this dress for a while. Then he turned and went out, waiting outside. With. After a while, Mrs. Ye, who simply put on her clothes and tied her cloak, came out. Dufin looked at her and gestured to her to follow and go to the front to see the people who were fainting on the ground, and the pool was already stained with red blood. Her eyes fell on the old man lying on the edge of the pool. Rao was already aging, and she recognized it at a glance. He 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 he. Ha 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 ha. She smiled low, and finally laughed loudly, smiled and smiled, tears flowed out, and she stepped forward, picking up the sword on the ground and coming to the man, lifting high, licking into his majesty. What? The screams of screaming screamed from the mouth of the old man. The pain of speechless words made his dying body tremble and twitched. He was bloody, and his eyes were violent, staring at Mrs. Yat thinking speaking, but one word can't be said. Du Fan looked coldly and looked at the lady who was holding a sword, a sword, and a sword, and stabbed it to the man. After no less than a hundred, it seemed as if she finally vented her hatred, and then stood up. She stabbed the man with a chaotic sword, and her body robe was covered with blood. Her whole person looked a little embarrassed, standing there and wondering what, tears continued to flow down. Seeing this, Du Fan said, Mrs. Yat, let me go. She slowed down, and after a while, she followed Du Fan and went out. When she saw her take her away from the sights of those people, she walked over to the deserted house. The footsteps of the game could not help but get up. He is inside. Mrs. Yat asked, the original footsteps became heavy at this moment and could no longer take a step forward. What is she going to see him today? She is already an unclean person. After three years of cooking, she has already lived in this world for a long time. The blood of her body has already been short, if they have not kept her to prevent her from dying, she how can you sneak into the present? Du Fandang gave a moment and said, his body damage is seriously dying, you should go in quickly. Said, Du Fan went inside and glanced at it. Seeing that Bai Ching Cheng had helped him to handle the wound easily, he signaled the two to come out and left the space for both husband and wife. The two men came out from the inside and stayed with Du Fan. Du Fan saw Mrs. Ye still standing still, and said, Mrs. Ye, let's go in. I will let them leave you first. Local people, we have to deal with it. Wen Yan, Mrs. Ye's light flashed, and she looked at Du Fan's three eyes. Then she went inside and came inside. When she saw the person sitting, the tears flowed down. Poetry Seeing her, relying on the sitting Ye family screamed to call her nickname, reached out and explored her, 
trying to hold her hand. Hey brother! Mrs. Ye trembled, she stood there silently with tears, watching the misery of her beloved, and finally she couldn't help but rush to hold her tightly. Hey brother, brother! You have suffered. He held her hand, even if he was weak, he held it tightly, and he was not willing to let go, I am useless, I can't protect you, I am useless. No, it's me, I'm tired of my brother. She said in tears, holding his face gently in one hand, it's me, I hurt you. Outside the house, the three stood at the law firm to discuss, Bai Ching Cheng and Qi Kong looked at Du Fan and said, we will settle them first, and determine their safety before handling the people in this valley. Qi Kong meditated and said, I think this place is very good, relatively remote, and after the shackles are arranged here, as long as people who are not very strong pass through here, they will not be aware of problems with the formation here. Listening to the words of the two, Du Fan said, I added medicine to the water they drink, which can greatly reduce the combat effectiveness. However, we do not know the strength of the people who really care about it. Everything has to be careful. Bai Ching Cheng paused for a moment, feeling a little heavy, and asked slowly, can they still survive if they are like them? Qi Kong and Du Fan are silent, and no one speaks. Ye Fi Fei's father was tortured into a waste, and Yi's mother became the guardian of the law for three years. Even if she is still alive, how does she face the world? How can you put everything you have experienced in the past three years? Have the courage to start living again? What the two said in the room, the three people outside Du Fan did not know, they discussed outside, and finally decided to send them to leave now, it would be better to wait for them to clean the people in the valley and then take them away that way, at least not against the chase behind. At the same time, the middle-aged man who went to the dungeon came to the dungeon with a few monks. When he saw the monk who had fallen out of the air, he couldn't help but change his face and immediately drank, go in and see. When the sound fell, he quickly walked inside. When he saw the empty dungeon inside, the middle-aged man who took the lead could not help but scream at the black iron gate. Well, what the is she? Escape? Give me a search. He took people out and walked away, while people searched quickly and went forward to report to his master. What? People escaped. After hearing the news, the white-haired boy suddenly changed his face, how to escape? Isn't it locked up? How could a woman escape from there? She took it away. What about Yetian? The subordinates have already ordered people to search, they should not leave in the valley, the master is assured, the subordinates must take them back. The middle-aged man assured the sound. What are you waiting for? Go find it. If you don't find someone, you don't have to come back. The man in the main position was sullen and screaming, and his sleeves were slammed, and a force was attacked. Step. The middle-aged man saw him angered, and his forehead could not help but see out the cold sweat. He was screaming. When he was about to turn and leave, there was a man outside and panicked, not good, not the master. What is the flustered look like? What do you say? The man of the main man came to see the monk when he arrived, and he was first stunned. The suffocation of his body suddenly came out. This one is really awkward. The people who are connected to the dungeons can't see it. If something goes wrong, it will be like this. It is really unbearable. The master, the left guard is killed. The locked woman is gone. The man said palely, and when he thought of the death of the left guard, the body could not help but tremble. That dead, it is terrible. What? Upon hearing this, the person in the main position suddenly stood up. He looked at the monk who came to the newspaper in disbelief and asked, What do you say? Give me another story. Left and left guards are dead, they die very badly and they die very scary. The monk said in a whispering voice, the guards in the dark are all dead, all dead, only a few women who are stunned. Still alive. The man in the main position listened to this, his face was like a frost, his fists were tightly screwed together, 
and his gaze was as sharp as a knife, and the arrow was suddenly shot at the middle-aged man who was bending down and preparing to retire. The voices in killing, are you sure that you brought back Miss Yejiafei? Hearing the words, the middle-aged man's heart was awkward, and there was a bad hunch in his heart. He quickly said, it's true that Yefifei is right. She is following the Du fans back home under the ghost doctor's hand. There is no trace of the sound of the sound. He is confident that if there is any tolerance, it will not be able to escape his eyes. Therefore, he is very sure that the one he got back from will be Yefifei. The man with the white hair boy in the main position listened with a cold, cold eyes, if you didn't catch the mistake, it must be someone who followed you and quietly sneaked into the valley. Check. Check it out for me. Don't let them escape. He sighed with a sullen voice and walked away. Upon seeing it, the two quickly followed and mobilized the people in the valley to quickly join in the search. They were looking for a lot of movement, even if Du Fan and others in the remote place were aware of it. After the three of them looked at each other, the two men said to the White City, You are here to take care of them, and we both go to open. Their attention, pick up those people by the way. You are careful. Bai Ching Cheng said, let them be careful, then they saw that they had turned their heads and then plucked and went in the other direction. After a while, the monks who were far away from here were exclaimed. The sound of fighting. The two people in the room seemed to have heard the movement outside. They looked at each other. Ye mother held the hand of Ye's father. It seemed that the decision was made. She tore off the inner shirt of the robes and bite her fingers. Blood book. Ye father sat on his back and looked at it. She watched her write the blood and then collected it. She went outside and called out, Girl, please come in. Bai Ching Cheng was guarding her. When she saw her coming out to call her, she went forward and asked, Is there something for my wife? Girl, da and does not say thank you. If it weren't for you, our husband and wife are only afraid that this life will be difficult to meet. We can live to the present, apart from being restrained, because we are keeping a secret, of course, this the secret does not bring us any benefits. On the contrary, because of it, we are ruined and tortured. Yem said, the voice was light and painful. She handed the blood book in front of her hand and said, this is the blood book I wrote, I wrote it to my daughter, flying. Girl, I ask you, don't tell her about the torture we have here, we don't want her to know, don't want her to know what kind of suffering her parents have suffered. When Yan, Bai Ching Cheng looked at a blood book, his face was slightly condensed, said, you can see her, there is nothing to say to her face to face, just use this blood book, and, what happened here, we can't mention anything. Yem shook her head and revealed a desperate and painful smile. We can't live. Even if you save us, we can't live. We should have died three years ago. Now, it's just because you don't feel at ease. Bai Ching Cheng is silent, I do not know how to persuade. As a woman, she knows that after three years of nightmares, it is hard to say forget, not only her, but Yi's body, even if there is a medicinal medicine to ease the wound in his body but he the body has experienced torture again and again in these three years, even if her master has personally nursed him, I am afraid that it will not be a few years to live. Girl, you are all excellent people in the Dragon and Phoenix, if you can, please take care of my daughter Fifei one or two, she did not have a father and mother to protect her, no one can protect her. Yes said the tears fell and felt owed to her daughter. However, she had no time to see the world again, and no face appeared in front of her daughter. At least, at least, they can still preserve the last dignity. Bai Ching Cheng is not a taste in her heart. She looks at her and says, since you know that if you die, she will be taken care of, and how can she bear to leave her alone? Looking at them, she couldn't help thinking of herself. She was also a great lady in the nobles of all the nobles. However, overnight, the tribe was destroyed and her parents died. If the big family was left, she would only be dependent on her brother. If the master did not take her in the same year, she would be with her. 
how can she be as arrogant as she is now? Live well? Yem shook her head and her eyes were full of sorrow, my husband can't live for a long time. I don't want to live alone. I want to go with him. But those people, I want to watch them die. We are ahead. There is hatred and solitude in her eyes, and the law is dead, but their master is still alive. The white-haired boy's haze man, if he was not born with a treasure, would it make their family experience this difficult? The suffering they suffered was thanks to him, even if she was going to die, she would have to watch him die before them. She turned to the bed and helped the leaf father on the bed, Hey brother, I am holding you, let's go. Bai Ching Cheng saw her intentions and decided to help him up. He asked, Now people are looking for you outside. When you come out, there will be danger. Where are you going? We are going to die, we have to pull a few backs. Said Ye Mother, helping her husband to go out and said, We don't want to stay here, we have to go out. But... Bai Ching Cheng wanted to stop, and he was interrupted when he knew it. Girl, I am very grateful that you saved us and let our husband and wife see you again, but please don't stop us. Bai Ching Cheng had no choice but to ask, I will help you out. If she does not care, it is estimated that they will be caught back when they come out. There is a white city to help, Ye Mother holding the leaf father obviously is a lot easier, when the three out of the house, will step into the outside of the array to go out, Ye Mother footsteps, look at the white city, the road, that thing is the ancient lotus. What? Bai Yuchen stunned, his face could not help but appear the wrong color. Mt Ye looked at the fa, saying, the thing, what they want to win from me, is the ancient red lotus, a sealed red lotus seed. Bai Ching Cheng only felt a shock, some incredible. Ancient red lotus? Is it really the ancient red lotus? She knows that the master has been looking for it. Now, the black lotus is in the hands of the demon, and Ching Lian is in the master. Jin Lian is already here in the trip, but according to the master, it is for Nalan. Dust all, and Hong Lian has no news of how they inquire, but does not want to. It is said that it has the ancient red lotus. As long as it is recognized by it, it can have its strong ancient ability and the fire that inherits it. Although I took it from my mother, but how can I study it, how do I want to crack it? I can't unblock it, I think, I am not the one who can have it. Yem looked at Bai Ching Cheng and continued, so I handed it over to my daughter. I thought that if she couldn't break it, it would be passed down. It will be passed down from generation to generation. This secret is only the mother. The female will know, but I don't want it because it has caused such a big disaster. Bai Ching Cheng thought, no wonder they came to this site and also inquired about the news of the ancient Red Lotus, but there is no news at all, not only them, even if the forces here have no news of the ancient Red Lotus, but I do not know, this where did the people in the valley come from? However, it seems that it is only known in recent years, otherwise it will not wait until now. I think, because we can't afford this ancient treasure, it will cause disaster. If this is the case, you are envious of us, and the strength is so powerful. Then I will transfer this to you, just ask the Lord to in the future, my daughter will be photographed one or two, so she will be deceived by others. Ye yeah, mother said, look awkward, Huey Bao misunderstood, but unable to protect themselves, the result of this can only be said to be their life. In your blood book, is this written? Bai Ching Cheng asked. Yes, I confess my daughter and let her give this thing to your master. This thing will be kept for me. Ye yeah, mother said, even this time, everyone kills, but there will be people who know in the future. When can I save her? Hearing the words, Bai Ching Cheng pondered for a while and said, I know, I will report this to my master. Thank you, she said and this helped her husband to go outside. Over there, Du Fan and Qi Kong both raised their temper and attracted the attention of the strong people in the valley. Dozens of strong men were besieging them with swords, but the strength of the two men was above the crowd. 
those people before they were close, they were hit by their powerful pressure and the power of the sword. They all fell outside. For a time, the exhalation and the screams in the air rang out in unison. After the repairers fell to the ground, the blood of the body swelled and the blood spurted out. Give me. Give it to me. Grab them. The middle-aged man was sulking, and the long sword waved in the sky, letting the monks of the various names go round up. However, due to the disparity in strength, and the scenes in which those people were shot, they were reflected in the eyes of the people. The rest of the people knew the strength. In the case of the other party, naturally, they dare not go forward. The strength of the two is much stronger than ours. We are going to find a way out. That is, it is impossible to get close to them. There was a low-pitched voice, and the middle-aged man was gloomy. He swept around and snorted. The next moment volleyed, the sword in his hand reflected a sword and rushed toward Du Fan and Qi Kong. You dare to come here. It's really a dead end. He screamed and screamed, and the figure swept forward. However, the sword and the figure before the attack were taken by Du Fan's fan. A wind blade repels, and the whole person loses balance and goes backwards in the air for a dozen steps. The powerful breath rushed to the surface. The middle-aged man's body blew his blood. When a blood surged from the chest to the throat, he was swallowed by his life, but he did not dare to attack again, but his heart was horrified. Strong and weak, once you know it. The other side is far younger than him, but the strength is far above him. If you face the battle again, I am afraid that it will be the result of sending it to death. The Master these two people are the confidant under the ghost doctor's nine hands. He slammed back, shouting at one of the places below. Du Fan and Chi Kong followed the middle-aged man's drink. I saw that under the tree below, a white man in a black robe had a white hair and a white hair with his head. The matching childlike face is extremely strong and full of gloom. Chi Kong did not give the man a chance to escape. He hit a sharp sword in his hand and the long sword flew out, and the arrow hit the middle-aged man at an unsettled speed. The fierce sword air smothered with murderousness from behind, the middle-aged man only felt a cold behind, and his heart was shocked. The instinctive looked back, but only saw the scene of the long sword, and the sword was entrained. The shock of the powerful pressure, let him avoid the bullets at that moment, can only watch the sword hit his eyebrows. Call out! The fierce air current smashed through the air, and the sound of screaming was frightening. Just when the sword was about a meter away from the middle-aged man, the white-haired man standing underneath swept out like a light and shadow, and instantly came to midair. The powerful airflow emerged from the white-haired man's body, and the visible airflow blocked the sharp sword that Chi Kang Fei attacked. The air blade on the sword collided with the white-haired man's airflow. The fight between the two air streams makes the long sword half sounding and can't get close to half a point, but it doesn't fall back half a cent. The white man with a gloomy face blocked the hand in front of him and trembled a little. The airflow from his hands was unable to knock the sword back, and his face changed. Between the surrounding airflow, the black robe on his body was screaming and screaming, and a white hair fluttered in the air in a mess and a trace of cold sweat gradually oozing out from the other's forehead. No one knows, at this time, his heart is terrified. He didn't expect that the strength of the people under the ghost doctor's hands would be as strong as the master, so powerful. With his power to deal with it, there are some cases that are difficult to parry. At this moment, he finally realized that the name of the ghost doctor Feng Ju will be famous in all walks of life, but when you mention this name, it will make people feel awe. The middle-aged man was guarded behind him and did not see his master's cold sweat oozing his face. He was still laughing behind him, let me see how crazy you are. My master is going to let you have it. No return. Ha 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 ha. Hey. The laughter had not yet fallen, and it was swept away by a stream of air. A stream of blood suddenly rushed out and spewed out of the throat and the whole person fell down from the air. Boom! What? He screamed, his body fell on the ground below, 
and he was able to fly the ground with gravel and dust. He coughed a few times and wanted to sit up, but who knows this movement, the bones on his body seem to be loose, and he can't stand up when he is half sounding. He can only lie on the ground and gasp. Puff. At this time, the white-haired man in the air was also attacked by the sword. The sword passed through his body and brought a blood color to splash from the sky. The whole person also lost his balance and went backwards. The blood oozes out from the wound, and the black robe is wet but can't be seen. Since it is not an opponent of the king level, it can't be our opponent. Chi Kong said with a calm voice, with a strong pressure on the white-haired man. With their current strength, they can always be alone, but what is the strength of this person? The white-haired man wiped the blood from his mouth and glanced at the hole in his shoulder, his face getting colder and colder. No one saw that his hand was shaking under the sleeves. The sword passed over the shoulder, but it also hurt his arm veins, so that his hands could not make any effort, even shivering gently. This is just the person under the ghost doctor's nine hands. It is not that the ghost doctor Feng Ju has been so powerful. If the ghost doctor Feng Ju personally came, then... When I think of this, he regrets in his heart. If he knows it, they should start early. No matter what kind of means, they should know what they want to know from the Ye family. Nowadays, I missed the opportunity. I am afraid that I can't get my hand. If I fight again, I will be more likely to keep my life. Thinking of this, he moved his heart and looked around. If this valley could not be saved, it would only be abandoned. I want to escape. I have been observing his Du Fan picking his eyebrows and sneering. The fan in his hand gently winds in front of him and said, We are here, if you let you escape, then we it really doesn't have to be mixed up. At this time, Bai Ching Cheng guarded the Yejia couple to come not far away. When I saw the middle-aged man lying on the ground unable to move, Mrs. Yi's eyes were full of hate and killing, it is him. It is him. It was this person who was in front of her face, and she peeled off her husband's face. That cruel and seen, every time I think about it, she is like a knife. Bai Ching Cheng was awkward, his eyes fell on the man, and he didn't respond. He saw that Mrs. Yi's father supported Yi's father and walked quickly. After holding him down, she hated the words, it's him. It's that he peeled your face by hand, and I want him to taste the pain that this heart is not as good as death. She didn't know where to take a dagger. Instead, she went to his face without a knife. Instead, she used a dagger to pierce the dungeon where the person lying on the ground was lying. What? The screams of screaming sounded, and the body of the man was bowed because of this severe pain. When his hand wanted to sway, it was hit by a stream of air ejected by Bai Ching Cheng and fell down. Come on! Come on! Come on! He screamed on the floor, calling for the monks around to come forward. But who knows, there are a few monks who dare to go forward, but when they step forward, they are killed by the swords of the White City so that there are many people around, but no one dares to go forward. These people are not people who are serious about righteousness, life and death, they only care about themselves, how can they use their own lives to exchange for the opportunity of others to live? Therefore, when they saw that they were not opponents of each other, they gave up the person on the ground. Ha 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 ha! You have today, you have today! Yem Crazy laughed the dagger in his hand once again smashed a thorn, piercing into his wrist, a knife down, almost the wrist cut off. What? The sharp and desperate screams came out again, the voice echoed in the air, his body was twitching, his face was pale as paper, and his body was already bloody. Hey brother, you look, you sit there and watch me how to avenge you. Yem said with hatefulness, after the daggers were used to pick up the veins of his limbs, the dagger would stroke his face. Go, take a stroke from the cheek, and the blood suddenly flows out. Bai Ching Cheng looked at the side, she stood by, no one around the monks dared to come forward, one by one watching the scene shuddering. They have killed a lot of people, but like this, the knife is not fatal, 
but there is almost no death in his life, let alone the scene of the peeling, and cruel. In front of them, some of them could not help but think of what the people on the ground had done to others. It really is the sentence, the wind and water turn. He used to treat others as cruelly and treat others as fish on the cutting board. Today, he also treats others like this, experiencing the cruelty that others have experienced. For a time, the monks who watched this scene felt chilling and felt complicated. Oh! The screams have become weak and fearful. The middle-aged man trembled on the ground, and the body was twitching with the slash of her every knife. The pain caused him to die and live, and he was awakened after fainting. The torment of life, the cycle of repeated times, let him taste the torture of life is not as good as death. Yet father sits and looks at this scene, tears in his eyes. The white-haired man squinted at the bottom and his eyes narrowed. He looked at Du Fan and Qi Kong, who were against him, and they could only fight again. At the moment, there is only one fight that can be done in full force, in exchange for a chance to live. Looking at the man's spiritual breath and bursting into them, Du Fan and Qi Kong looked at each other, Du Fan said, It is useless to keep this person, just send him on the road here. Good. Qi Kong should, the next moment, with Du Fan together, the powerful airflow released from the body, while the arrogance of the sky and the murderous murderous man attacked the white-haired man, in the naked eye among the visible airflows, the two smears were also swept out like lightning. The thunder's blow came from two directions. The white-haired man saw the two arrogances coming toward him. When he wanted to avoid it, he was shocked by the two powerful pressures, letting him be in the shadow. Suddenly stagnant and unable to move. At that moment, the two crashes of the bang hit the white-haired man at a speed that could not be covered by ear, and broke the protection on his body in an instant, bursting open on his body. Hey! What? Two powerful loud bangs sounded, and only the splashes came out. The man screamed, but the screams were covered in the loud sound of the explosion. The people watching below only looked at it. To the figure in the air, two huge blood holes were revealed and the whole person was shot down from midair and fell heavily on the ground below. Boom! The loud noise rang when he fell to the ground, the powerful airflow spread out around at that moment, and the monks who watched around were stunned and stunned, and the eyes were full of fear. At this time, some people saw that the situation was not good. When they wanted to escape from here, they found that their legs were soft and their bodies were not free. He thought it was scared by the scene, and he took a deep breath to ease it for a while, but when he mobilized the breath in his body, he found that the spiritual power in his body could not be lifted. This, how is this going? How can the spiritual power not be used? Someone exclaimed, and the look of the face was stunned. Because of this sound, some people have tried it, and it has also changed their face, I am the same. My spiritual power can't be lifted. What is going on? What happened? Hey! My legs are so soft. The strength of my body seems to have been pulled away. Is this a medicine? For a time, the panic and stunned voice rang with fear and ignorance. The monks who had stood still continued to fall down, and the whole person could not afford a little bit of strength. Some people were horrified and looked at the monks who fell on the ground and said, What happened? What happened to you? Those who are still standing try to bring up the spiritual power and find that they are not abnormal. They can be seen like them. They don't dare to care about it. They are sure again and again, and they are sure that they can still stand. This is a soft gluten? No. No, the soft ribs can't lift the spiritual breath we can't know that we have the medicine. What the is this? How is this? Someone fell on the ground said, his face pale as paper. Nature is that you can't escape one. Bai Ching Cheng said, the long sword in his hand pointed to the ground, the spiritual breath rushed, and the sword slammed out and plunged around. The speed is fast, the sword is so fierce, so that those who have no time to escape will die under her sword. What? Hiss. For a time, 
screams and screams continued to spread, and the rich smell spread with the surrounding. On the ground, a corpse was sloping, and some face was still scared. And unwilling. Not good. Run away. Some monks who can still run are plundering, and they want to escape from the place where they are scared and filled with the breath of death. However, behind the white city, the pursuit of killing is fast and embarrassing, the sword in her hand reflects the sword the sigh of anger slammed from all sides, and saw that the sword's shadow was passing through the air like a light, and the screams continued constantly. There are more and more corpses on the ground, and the atmosphere of death is becoming more and more intense. The valley is covered with blood and corpses. Whether it can escape or escape, it is impossible to escape. On the other side, Du Fan and Chi Kong came down from Midair. Du Fan looked at the dying white-haired man on the ground and shook his head. The fan in his hand gently fanned the wind and said, You say you, who is not good. It is the one who has a relationship with us. The white-haired man on the ground was overflowing with blood. His manual movement, trying to struggle to get up but not to make up his strength, could only lie on the ground and watched the two men standing in front of him and looking at his eyes. Tragic. However, it is your privilege to die in our hands. Du Fan said, when the fan in his hand was about to be killed, at this moment, the white-haired man lying on the ground shot the break and sternness of the break, the spiritual breath of his body suddenly swelled, and almost broke out in the blink of an eye, making a loud bang. Flash. Du Fan's face changed, and when he exclaimed, Chi Kong quickly retreated and fell to the ground. Boom. A loud bang of the bang slammed with a powerful air current, and the flesh and blood splashed together, so that the surrounding air was affected by the powerful airflow within ten meters, and was destroyed into ash. Hey! The rocks fell, the trees broke, and the dust filled the air. Don't move! Du Fan and Chi Kong both squatted on the ground, and the dust and smoke around them did not spread, and they heard the sound of two hays. The two of them were stunned. After they got up, Du Fan used a fan in his hand, and a wind swelled open the dust in front of him. The scene that caught the eye made the two people's faces become dignified. I saw that in the place that was about a few tens of meters away, Yefi Fei's parents were held by two monks in the valley. Two swords were placed on their necks, and they saw their wrinkles. Come here. Come over. Ha 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 ha. There are two people in their hands, they don't dare to take us. The monk holding the leaf mother shouted and laughed loudly, he shouted those those who did not have Chinese medicine quickly gathered with them, so that they were more secure around them. With these two qualities in hand, they would not believe that they could not leave here alive. When Bai Ching Cheng, who killed the monks, heard the voice, his heart screamed and screamed badly. When he quickly went back, he saw Yefi Fei's parents being held, and only a dozen the fish that slipped through the net quickly moved closer to them, forming a defensive circle around them. Looking at Yi's father's calm look, they held it, and her heart could not help sinking. The two of them had no idea of living. At this time, I am afraid that this is even more so. Even if they are not held by these people, it is estimated that they will be here at the end, and now, she can't help but think of what she had said before. The white-haired men smashed and died. Their enemies died in front of them one by one. Their enemies were reported. If you only pull the remaining dozens of monks, it is really dead. Several backs are up. She moved her lips and wanted to talk, but she didn't know what to say. Ye mother looked at the white city and looked at her with a beautiful smile. The eyes seemed to say something silently. After a deep look at Bai Ching Cheng, she turned her gaze to her husband, and the two smiled. Not good. They want to. When Du Fan's words were not finished, he saw two loud bangs from the bang, powerful air currents rising from the sky, scattered around, and the sound of falling stones accompanied by screams, after a while, everything is calm. In the valley, after the banging resounding sounds, it became very calm, as if the entire valley had no smoke. Du Fan and Chi Kong looked at the scene, licking their lips and being silent. 
Bai Ching Cheng looked at the scene, and there was a feeling of incomprehensibility in her heart. She sighed with a deep breath and sighed a little, and then she stepped forward. Exploding and dying, there is nothing left, a bunch of flesh and blood scattered and opened, cannot tell who and who. I wanted to bring them back, but I didn't want to bring them back in the end. Du Fan sighed, and there was a regret that could not be said. Bai Ching Cheng looked at them and said, they are desperate to die. Even if they don't pull those people together, they will be other ways. Her voice paused and said, in fact, maybe, this is for them. The best. Qi Kong looked around at the valley and said, let's search it again. See if there is still alive. Well, one person in one direction. Du Fan said, the three went in three directions. The three of them looked up in the valley to make sure that they had no living, cleaned up the property in the valley, and finally ordered a fire to burn it, and then left the night to go back and go back to their master. At this time, in Feng Ju's house, Yefi Fei had been somewhat restless. She was sitting up and down in the courtyard, and couldn't stay, she went out and thought of the fuss, or went to the front. Cold frost they talk. I don't want to, I didn't encounter cold frost in front of me, but I met cold-blooded and grey wolves who just returned to the house. Yeah girl. When Lang Hua saw her, she smiled and said hello. Cold son, that, your sister, is she in the yard of your master? Yeah Fi Fei I asked, because of the uneasiness of his heart, both hands from time to time squatting on the clothes. When Leng Hua saw this, he asked Wen Wen, do you have something for my sister? Seeing her want to speak and stop, Leng Hua will warmly say, my sister is going to help the young master to help the little master. If you want to know what happened to Ye family, I can tell you something about it. The grey wolf looked at Ye Fi Fei. After thinking for a while, she remembered that she was the woman she met when she entered the city. Wen Yan, Ye Fi Fei looked up at him and asked, what happened to my family? Things have already been opened, and the city has been taken away. Du Fan has already chased it. Lang Hua said, the voice was not finished and was taken over by the grey wolf. We met Du Fan when we came back. Qi Kong also followed them. It is estimated that they will come back soon. Ye Fi Fei looked at him and thanked him. She went to a few of them and walked back. After seeing her leave, a few people from Lenghua went to the main courtyard and went to Fengju and Xian Yuan Mo's to report the matter. In the main courtyard, Fengju looked at them and said, I know, if you come back all the way, you have to go and have a rest. Yes. They responded, and they retreated. Near noon the next day, Du Fan and Qi Kong and Bai Ching Cheng three people quietly returned to the house. The master, the lord. The three men performed a ceremony and gave a reverent call. Xian Yuan Moser sat on the stone table in the courtyard and sat on the tea table. Feng Ju was trimming the flowers and plants. When they came back, they said, What happened? Are they handled? Master, I and Qi Kong followed a valley to rescue the city, and Ye Fi Fei's parents were imprisoned there. Du Fan told them about the beginning and the end of the matter, and then retreated aside. Wen Yan, Feng Ji could not help but sigh, the results are unexpected. Those who thought that they were dead were still alive, and lived a life that was not as good as death. Now, when they rescued them, they chose to die. Bai Ching Cheng stepped forward and said, The master, Ye Fi Fei's parents told me something, let me report to the master. Well. Feng Ju picked his brow. The thing they are guarding is the ancient red lotus and this thing is now in the hands of Ye Fi Fei. Ye mother said that she does not want such ancient treasures to cause trouble for her daughter, so she said that she would give the ancient red lotus to the master. Just ask the master to take care of Ye Fi Fei. Listening to this, Feng Ju was surprised and said, The ancient red lotus? Is this true? This ancient Honglian has no news, how can it be in Ye Fi Fei's hands? It is true. Ye mother also wrote a blood book to be handed over to Ye Fi Fei. She arranged everything to be fatal. Bai Ching Cheng said, 
took the blood book and handed it forward. Fang Ju waved his hand and said, Since it is for Ye Fei Fei, you will personally take it to her. Yes. Bai Ching Cheng should have a voice, and after a ritual, it will retreat. After they all left, Fang Ju looked at Xian Yu and Moser and said, I didn't expect to have the news of the ancient red lotus. Xian Yu and Mo slightly meditated and said, The ancient red lotus was in their hands for so long, but failed to inherit the ability of the ancient red lotus. I was thinking, if it is in our hands, is it the same? Feng Juyi said, Is it not going to be? Xian Yu and Moser did not speak, but was silent, not knowing what was going on. After Bai Ching Cheng left the main courtyard, he went to Ye Fei Fei. When he entered the hospital, he saw Ye Fei Fei stepping forward. You are back. Ye Fei Fei looked at Bai Ching Cheng. There were a lot of words to ask, but I didn't know how to ask for an exit. Her heart was lifted up, afraid to hear bad news, and feared that the hope in her heart would be shattered. Bai Ching Cheng looked at her and said, Just come back, sit down. I have something to tell you. Bai Ching Cheng said, signaling her to sit down and talk. Ye Fei Fei came to the table in the courtyard and sat down. She looked at Bai Ching Cheng. After a long, deep breath, she said, I am ready, you said. The hands on the legs are tightly held together, slightly trembling. After things were exposed, the fake person took me back to the valley where they were hiding. There, I saw your father and mother. Bai Ching Cheng said, his voice. Listening to this, Ye Fei Fei suddenly shocked, she looked at Bai Ching Cheng eagerly asked, They are still alive? Are they still alive? Where are they? Are they coming back together? Don't worry, listen to me first. Bai Ching Cheng said, indicating that she should not worry, this said, they were arrested by those people and suffered a lot of torture. We gave them the remedy. That remedy can only let them ease some of that at that time. Her voice was a meal, watching Ye Fei Fei, said, We wanted to bring them back, but because your father is too wounded, there is no chance of survival. They are seeing Du Fan and Qi Kong killing the enemy one by one. After that, your mother and your father finally detonated the body of Nei Dan with those people. Ye Fei Fei listened, tears fell down, she bit her lip tightly, her body shivering slightly. Bai Ching Cheng looked at it and sighed in his heart. He continued, Your mother told me what you have hidden, and told me about the ins and outs of things. Let me tell my family one by one, let me tell you, will the ancient red lotus was given to your master, just to ask her to take care of you in the future, and she said that the evils of your family were caused by the ancient red lotus. She did not want you to hide that thing and bring it in the future. A disaster. Said, she took the blood book out, this is what she handwritten to you. Ye Fei fluttered and took it. The red blood was so conspicuous. Looking at the blood, her heart was twitching, is this my mother's blood? They are all very hurt? It is too heavy to save. Are you alive? Bai Ching Cheng sighed softly and gently said, yet. Yeah. In addition to agreeing that her parents did not tell her, they suffered from the pain and torture, and other things, she was one by one. She said, there is no reservation. Ye Fei Fei opened the blood book, and the familiar font was so cold that she couldn't help but cry. She looked at the words carefully and looked at the words. It was as if her mother was whispering to her by her side. Tears blurred her eyes, and she held her hand tightly on her lips, biting her hand and not wanting to cry. Bai Ching Cheng sat there, not knowing how to comfort, just said, they have suffered for three years there. Death is a kind of relief for them. Moreover, those enemies who have killed them are all dead. They the hatred is also reported. Ye Fei Fei looked at the blood book in his hand, and his voice choked and asked, how is my family? Now you Ye Ji Hong, your two uncles are in power, the Ye family is abandoned and the ancestors sit in the middle of it, only waiting for the next day to let your second uncle inherit the Yejia family. Du Fan's voice came from outside, and the two of the people looked at him and saw him walk in slowly. 
I have just got the news of Ye family. You have already personally sent a visit to inquire about your whereabouts. However, we have not revealed that you are here. They do not know that we have returned. Today, Ye family has been reorganized. It's a big injury. If you want to recover, it's estimated to be a while. Listening to Du Fan's words, Ye Fifa I was silent, no opening, she looked at the blood book in her hand, for a long time, said, You let me quiet. I want to be alone. Seeing this, Bai Ching Cheng and Du Fan looked at each other and walked outside, leaving Ye Fifa I sitting there quietly. After Ye Fifa I got the blood book, there was no movement, and even the hospital door did not come out. Feng Ju did not say anything just waiting for Ye Fifei to find the door after he thought it clearly. I learned that the ancient Red Lotus is in Ye Fifei. She can say that she has put more than half of her heart. At least, I don't have to go around to look around. Now, after a few days, I will take care of everything here and leave. Early in the morning, she was eating breakfast in the hospital. The Grey Wolf couldn't help but ask, Mrs. What if Yefi Fei does not give us the ancient red lotus? That is the ancient Honglian, she is really willing to give it to their master? Feng Ju sipped porridge, accompanied by light side dishes, and looked relaxed and leisurely. He said, although the ancient things are treasures, but ordinary people get it, but it is a curse. She drank the porridge in the bowl and put down the bowl. After wiping the corners of the mouth, he continued. To know the sin of the wall, if there is no strong strength to protect itself, holding the treasure is tantamount to death. She is not a fool, she should know this truth. Right now, I just want to know what she asked after she brought the ancient red lotus. Her hand gently tapped on the table, thoughtful. Listening to this, the grey wolf just let go of it. He doesn't care so much, as long as Yefifei I will give the old red lotus to his wife. The master, the leaf girl is coming. The voice of Lenghua came outside. Let her come in. Feng Ju said. The cold frost on the side goes up and cleans up the dishes on the table. Ye yeah, girl, please. Lenghua said, making a gesture to her. Ye yeah, Fifa I looked at the main courtyard and bit his lip. Then he walked in. After entering the inside, I saw only Feng Ju and a man named Grey Wolf waiting for the cold frost on the side, and then went on a trip. I want to go home, can you, can you let me go with me? Ye Fi Fet I said, his eyes fell on Feng Ju. Wen Yan, Feng Ju nodded his head, yes, I will let Du Fan and the city go with you. Thank you. Ye Fi Fet I said, he left after a ritual. Cold frost. You go to let Du Fan and the city go with her. Feng Ju said. Yes. The cold frost should have gone out and went out. After seeing them leave, the grey wolf came forward and asked, The master, do you say that the ancient red lotus was hidden by her in the leaf house? Feng Ju Yi smiled, I don't know about it, but it won't be in her anyway. Du Fan and the cold frost Feng Feng Ju's life, accompanied Ye Fi Fei back. When he came to the front door of Yejia, Yefi Fei looked up at the word Yefu, and he could not help but feel a bit stunned. Here is her home, but there is no her parents in this family. What's wrong? Bai Ching Cheng asked. No. Yefi Fei shook his head and rang the door. When the old man who opened the door saw the three people outside, he hurriedly opened the door and shouted inside, Missy is back. When Yejia's people heard this, they all came out. When their eyes fell on Yefifei's face, they could not help but squat. Yefifei, who had a birthmark on his face, didn't have the birthmark at this time, and he no longer wore the butterfly-like clothes. At first glance, it was difficult to think of the person in front of him with the original person. In front of her, she was dressed in a pale green dress, elegant and beautiful. Although her face is not that beautiful, but it is just right, and with that temperament, the whole person can be said to be the difference between heaven and earth. Flying. A man was amazed. Three brothers. Yefi Fei slightly nodded and asked, 
is the second uncle. Yes. The man should, looked at the three of them and said, you come with me. Saying, take them to the front hall and go. As early as the moment when Yefifei entered the Yefu, someone quickly ran to inform, and Yejiair Yi stepped out of the backyard, and the Ye family ancestors came together. Because they know that in addition to Yefifei, Du Fan also came. In the hall, three people sat quietly drinking tea. Yejiair Yi and Yejia's ancestors came in together. When they saw three people in the hall, Yejia's ancestors' attention was on Du Fan and Bai Ching Cheng while Yejia the second master is watching Yefi Fei. Flying, how are you? Are you injured? Yejia Ir Yi asked worriedly. Old ancestors, two uncles. She stood up and took a ritual, and then said, I was not hurt. You are coming back right. I still have a lot of things that I don't want to understand. I want to ask you. Yejia's ancestors said, after Du Fan and Bai Ching Cheng handed a hand, they came to the main seat and sat down. On Ye Fi Fei's body. Old ancestor, Fi Fei just came back, and the matter of inquiry is not in a hurry. This time, the child was taken away. It is estimated that it is not too scary, or let her slow down first. Ye Jia Ir Yi said, looking at the lord the old man. This is not something she is alone. It is about the affairs of our family of leaves. It is natural to ask clearly. Yi's ancestors said, raising his hand to indicate that he need not say more. Ye Fi Fei looked at the Ye family ancestors and said, I know what the ancestors want to ask. Her voice rang, saying, The thing that brought me trouble for my mother-in-law is the ancient red lotus. What? Hearing this, the face of Yi's ancestors changed. The whole person who had just sat down stood up fiercely, and his face was shocked and excited. The ancient red lotus? You are talking about the ancient red lotus? You, you said that we have this thing in the Ye family. His voice with a trace of trembling, some unbelievable. The face of Yejia Iryi on the side was slightly changed. I didn't know what I thought, and my face was full of dignity. Ye Fi Fei looked at the Ye family ancestors and said, The ancient red lotus is not the leaf family, it is my mother. Nonsense. The face of Ye's ancestors changed, as if she was afraid that she would say something that should not be said. He looked at Du Fan and Bai Ching Cheng and said with eagerness, What is not the thing of Ye family? Your mother is our Ye family. How can people say that it is not something in our family? If it weren't for our family, this time our family would not have caused such a disaster. As if I would hear such a message, Ye Fi Fei's face was as usual, saying, I was caught in the place and saw my father and mother. They asked me to give the ancient red lotus to their master Feng Ju. Come back, one is to see how the family is. The second is to make things clear, so that the ancestors and the uncle are worried. Your parents are still alive. Ye family ancestors frowned and asked. Are you still alive? Where are they? Why didn't you come back with you? Ye Jia Ir Yi asked quickly. Ye Fi Fei bowed his head and said, They are dead. It was said that the hall was quiet for a while, and no one spoke. It seemed that it was not unexpected. After all, for three years, even if you are still alive, it is estimated that you are half dead. Thinking of what she said earlier, Ye Jia Ir Yi felt a little strange, just as she did not intend to go back to Ye family, she said, flying, now the home is gone, you are back, just have a good rest at home. Now, the second uncle will take care of you instead of your mother. Ye family ancestors did not speak, and did not know what was thinking. Thank you for your uncle, but my sister-in-law asked me to give the ancient red lotus to their master and asked her to take care of me, so. The words were interrupted before they were finished. Give the ancient red lotus to them. The face of Yi's ancestors became ugly, and some disappointing exclamations. Yes. Ye Fi Fei said, and they bowed to them, if we have something, we will go first. Ye Jia's ancestors still want to say something, but let Ye Jia Ir Yi hold his hand. 
Ye Jia Er Yi stood up and arched Du Fan and Bai Ching Cheng, saying, Two, Fi Fei has trouble you to take care of this time. Du Fan smiled and returned with a courtesy, Farewell. He said, looking at Ye Fi Fei, and then went out with them. Watching them walk out of the hall, Ye family ancestors looked at Ye Jia Er Yi calmly and asked, What do you mean by this? Just let them go? That baby like the ancient Honglian, so hand in hand give away. Ye Jia Er Yi sighed and said, The ancestors, they are not ordinary people. The ancient red lotus is not an ordinary treasure. It is taken away by them. If it is left in our family, it may be when our family has brought trouble. His voice rang and looked outside. He said, Let's say, they are ghosts and doctors. The things are big, and since they are arranged in this way, we are obedient. Can't you still grab it? Not to mention. Even if it is robbing, we can't take them any more. If so, why bother to go to the enemy? Ye Jia's ancestors listened to this and looked at him deeply. This took a deep breath and flattened the ups and downs. Finally, he said, Oh, the things in the house are still going to be handled. You go ahead. Let's go. Yes. Ye Jia Er Yi took a ritual, and this was retired. Watching him leave, Ye Jia's ancestors were silent for a while and finally sighed deeply, shaking his head and walking outside. I didn't expect him to be old enough to be as transparent as the junior. It is also that his mind is not strong, and he will be greedy after hearing such treasures. Ancient Red Lotus That is really a rare treasure in the world. Maybe, he is right, such things fall in their Ye family, and their Ye family may not be able to keep things. It's all right, it's all right. On the other side, accompanied by Du Fan and by Ching Cheng, Ye Fi Fei went to Ye Jia Haoshan to take out the hidden things, and then went with them to Fengju. On the way back, Bai Ching Cheng looked at Ye Fi Fei and asked, Are you thinking about it? Really decided. From Ye family, Ye Fi Fei told her about her plans and said that she wanted to follow her family. This is to make them somewhat surprised. After all, the time she spent with the master is not long. The two days around the master will give birth to this kind of mind. I have to say that they are all surprised, but she also knows that she stays at Yejia. The master is taking care of her, and following her master's son, she will get different from the Ye family. Well, think about it. Ye Fi I said, some embarrassing questions, I just don't know if she will refuse me to stay. She thought for a long time before she made this decision, because she stayed in Ye Jia's Hong. She only had one person. If she didn't stay in Ye Jia's Hong, she would go out alone. She was a woman, and she would not know anything when she was alone. However, if she is next to the ghost Dr. Fengju, even if she is a waiter around her, she thinks that the days should be different. Moreover, the most important point is that she also knows that she is a strong person in the past two days. Whether they are Du Fan or they are cold-blooded or white, they all have their own skills. She just wanted to learn from her. Du Fan smiled and said, You think about it, but if you don't accept it, you have to look at my master. Du Fan glanced at her, and the fan in his hand gently fanned the wind, saying, She you can take care of you one or two but it is not the same when you are with you. Ye Fi Fei did not speak, just biting his lip and being silent. When the three returned to the house, they went to the main courtyard where Feng Zhu was located. When they entered the yard, they saw Xian Yu and Mose and Feng Zhu in the courtyard, and they were teasing with them. When they came in, Feng Zhu laughed. Laugh, is it back? Master! Du Fan and Bai Ching Cheng went after a ritual and retreated to stand still. Ye Fi Fei stepped forward at this moment. She looked at Feng Zhu and handed the box in her hand. Feng Zhu picked up his eyebrows and looked at Ye Fi Fei, who was kneeling in front of him. He asked, What are you doing? If you have something to say, let's talk about it. She did not reach out to pick up the box, and the daughter in her arms would shouting holding the box in his arms and leaning over his body, 
he put his mouth to bite. Hey, can't eat. Feng Zhu touched the head of his daughter in the arms and took the box down to the table. Yefifei I didn't get up on the ground, but looked at Feng Judeo, that thing is a treasure, since my mother said it to you, then it will be given to you. I want it to be useless. I just hope that you can let me follow. By your side. Wen Yan, Feng Ji could not help but smile, said, follow me. Do you recognize me? Yet. Yeah. Ye Fifei I looked at her nervously, for fear of hearing the words of rejection. Feng Ju, holding her daughter in her arms, always wanted to reach out to play with the daughter of the box. She smiled and said, You don't do Miss Yejiata, why do you want to be with me? You have to know, as long as I say a word, a command going down, Ye yeah family no one dares to sneer at you. No one here dares to bully you. After two years, it is better to choose a good-natured person from the world. Isn't it better to be safe? No, I don't want to live that day. She shook her head and couldn't get up on the ground. She didn't want to marry, she stayed in the house. If her parents were still there, if she didn't experience the three years, she didn't see the cold warmth of the human condition. Maybe she would make that choice, but now she doesn't want to, she doesn't want to. Feng Ji smiled and laughed. He played with the palm of his daughter's flesh and said, would you like to enter the Zong Menchen school to practice cultivation? I can also help you, let you worship the people who want to worship. Ye yeah, Fifei I whispered, I just want to follow you. Follow me, you are not the big lady of Ye family, just one of my ambassadors here, here, no matter what I want you to do, you have no power to refuse, even if I want you to die, you only can obey, that's it, you want to follow me. Do you think I am the Lord? Well, I am willing. Just let me follow you, let me do what I want. Ye Fifei I quickly nodded and said. Feng Juyi smiled and said, Why? Why don't you have a good day, do you want to be with me? Ye Fifei I lowered his head and said, My parents are no longer there. Although there are relatives in the family, there are not many people who really treat me. I don't want to go back to that family. But if I go alone, I will go out. The strength is not strong, if you are in danger, you can't protect yourself, so I want to follow you, because you are very powerful, the people around you are very powerful, and I want to be so powerful. Wen Yan said that Feng Zhu gave her a deep look and said, I will not stay here all the time. If the things here are finished, I will leave. If I leave, I will not be able to come back later. Well, I know, it doesn't matter if you don't come back. After I'm strong, I can come back and see for myself, and worship my mother. Ye yeah, Fifei I said. Seeing this, Feng Zhu said, if you do, then you will stay. But from this moment you have to remember that the most important thing to stay with me is to be faithful and never betray. In the future, you don't want to follow me, you can choose to leave, but don't make things that betray me, otherwise I will make you die. Ye yeah, Fifei's heart trembled and looked up at her. Her eyes looked into her clear eyes and saw the seriousness and coldness in her eyes. So she solemnly slammed her head on the ground, the master is assured, I am here. Swear, follow the master from today, if there is betrayal, let me die without a place of burial. Heaven and earth. Okay, get up. Feng Zhu gestured, let her stand up. Du Fan in the courtyard looked at Ye Fifei and then looked at each other with a smile. It seems that they have another partner, but they did not expect this to be Ye Fifei. Xuan Yu and Mose looked at Ye Fifei and then moved the box to the front. Seeing the seal on the box, he gathered a spiritual breath and untied the seal. He opened it and found that it was inside. A bead wrapped in a rich spiritual power. This bead is only the size of egg yolk, it is milky white, but in the middle of the bead, there is a flame burning inside, and the bead can be felt in the hand and the bead emits a warm breath. He took the bead in his hand and watched it over and over again. Seeing that there was a red thing under the flame, it was not very real. However, 
there was such a flame burning in the bead. It makes people feel very strange. He thought it would be a red lotus, and he didn't want to be like a red lotus fire. This is the ancient red lotus. Feng Ju was surprised, took the beads that Xian Yu and Moser handed over and looked at it. When the hand touched the beads, he felt a flame coming between the palms, and, holding this with the beads, I can feel the green lotus in her body has a strange feeling. This bead is sealed. My mother used a lot of methods and failed to open the seal. Ye Fi Fet I said, looking at the bead. Feng Ju looked at it and handed it to Xian Yu and Moser, you can try to unlock this seal. I can't open it. Xian Yu and Moser said, and did not take over. When he took the beads out of the box, he tried to break the seal on the bead. However, there was still no way to repair him. Feng Ju was surprised and looked at the beads, who is this person sealed? It is also very powerful to keep the seal of the ancient red lotus in it. Moreover, the strong ancient atmosphere is sealed, and there is no point at all. Leakage. Yet. Yeah. The child who was hugged by Feng Ju in his arms danced with a small hand and wanted to get the beads in the hands of Feng Ju. Feng Ju looked down and saw her daughter snorting and opened her mouth and smiled. The small hand of the meat was trying to take the beads in her hand, so she put the beads in her hand, hold, give you can play. Listening to this, Ye Fi Fet I stood aside and looked at Feng Ju. He looked at the little master in her arms. Some were surprised that she was actually put in the hands of the child. Children are toys. When Du Fan and others looked at it, they smiled a little, and they looked like they were strange. Allure, let's fly with you. Tell her about the distance, arrange what she does every day, and then take her to know the people in the house. Feng Ju gestured, let Bai Ching Cheng take her down. Yes. Bai Ching Cheng should be watching and looking at Ye Fei Fei. After Ye Fei flew a ritual, this was followed by Bai Ching Cheng. Does the master have a solution to the seal of the ancient red lotus? Du Fan asked. Feng Juyi glanced at her daughter in her arms and saw her playing with a bead. He was playing with a slobber, and even the slobber was covered with the beads. He couldn't help but smile, I'm in the hand anyway. It's just a matter of time. It's not anxious. Come slowly. Said, her voice was a meal, watching Du Fan glanced. Seeing her gaze falling on him, I don't know what I was thinking. The corner of my mouth was a little ridiculously smiling. Du Fan sighed and asked, Master, what are you doing with me? Nothing, just have a task to give to you. Feng Ji smiled and smiled in his eyes. What mission? Please tell the master. Du Fan said. Ye Fi Fei is there, and you are going to point her to practice. Her strength can be assisted by some medicinal herbs at the advanced threshold. You can see which aspect of her is good at it and give pointers. Listening to this, Du Fan frowned and said, The master, Ye Fi Fei is not quite right with me. Or, let Qi Kong teach? Or change to other people, anyway? I am casual, anyway. Which one is qualified to point her out? Feng Ju shook his head and smiled. No, you have to go. The grey wolf listened, couldn't help but grin, and looked at Du Fan as a movie. Du Fan had no choice but to respond, yes. When he saw the master, he knew what the master had to do. Xian Yu and Mo's let them all retreat. When there are only two of them left in the hospital, he said, now the ancient red lotus has already arrived, your name is also spread here, and things are handled almost. Pick a time, you will use the spirit to recover this piece of heaven. Actually, I have a plan. Feng Ju looked at him and said. Xian Yu and Moser looked at her and asked, what is the plan? My strength has not recovered to the peak, and now there is a pair of children to take care of. There is not much energy. Plus, I am already the owner of heaven and earth. I don't think it is important to collect this continent. Wen Yan, Xian Yu and Mo's frowned, said, You don't want this place? If you receive it here, it is still good for you. I know, 
but they have been with me for so long, and I want to give them some opportunities. Feng Zhu looked at him and showed a smile, I want Qi Kong or Du Fan to be this world. Lord! Listening to this, Xian Yuan Moser was silent, half sounding, and said, With their strength and ability and ability to deal with things, they have long been qualified to be independent. Feng nodded nine points and whispered, Well, not only are they two, but the ability of the eight Phoenix captains is not weak. They have been with me for many years and have experienced many things. They can already become a party. Overlord! I originally wanted you to be the Lord of Heaven and Earth here, but since you have this plan, you can. Xian Yuan Moser has no objection to her intention, because he knows that everyone around her people are very loyal, even if they become the hegemon of one party, they are still the people under her hand. In this case, it is natural that there is nothing wrong with the people under her hand to govern this world. Xian Yuan Moses voice was a meal, saying, After going back, you have to improve your strength, put all the things on hand, and concentrate on cultivation. In addition, I will let people find out where the Lord's hiding place is. This person does not remove, it is a hidden danger. I know. Feng Zhu said, looked at the daughter in the arms holding the beads, and smiled, You look at this girl, always holding this bead and let go, it seems that I like this new toy. Xian Yuan Moses' eyes fell on his daughter's body, looking at her cute and delicate little face, his lip is also a slight hook, raising a smile of satisfaction, our daughter has a good eye, toys it's also unusual. Since she likes the beads, don't close it up, just let her play. Wen Yan, Feng Zhu gave him a look, you can't do it with such a pet, can you give her something to play? It doesn't matter, anyway, this bead is not sealed yet. Xian Yuan Mo said, watching the little guy grinning, this said, Come, you hold your son, my daughter, I will hug. He handed the son of Huali to Feng Zhu and then took the daughter from her arms. The next day, in the early morning, in the main courtyard. Master, Lord. Qi Kong came in and gave them a ritual. Seeing that everyone except him was here, they couldn't help but be surprised. They looked at Feng Zhu and Xian Yuan Mo's. I don't know what they told me. Qi Kong, we intend to take over this piece of heaven and earth, let you come to be the lord of heaven and earth here, what do you think? Feng Zhu said directly. Upon hearing this, Qi Kong took a look at Feng Zhu and Xian Yuan Moser and said, The master, isn't it because you came to be? Feng Zhu Yi smiled and said, Your strength is not weak, you can already be alone. After I have discussed with Moser, I feel that it is not bad for you to come, so I would like to ask your opinion. Seeing this, Qi Kong has a moment, slightly contemplative, and did not quit the words, if the decision of the masters, the subordinates should follow. That's good, let Du Fan help you to lay down the mental power. After you have received this, we can leave and leave. Feng Juxiao said, looking at Du Fan, said, you several people help him to break down the enchantment and get things done as soon as possible. Yes. Several people should have a voice, looking at Qi Kong revealing a smile. In the following days, Feng Zhuyi focused on cultivation and hoped to upgrade his strength as soon as possible, while Du Fan and several people helped Qi Kangbu to step down the law and enchantment. After half a month, the thunder of the thunder rang in the sky and the sky of the whole continent was shrouded in a strong spiritual power. On the occasion of the first thunder, the whole continent felt the breath in the air. It has become different. In a city, looking at the vision of the sky, an old man muttered, it seems that our continent is finally the owner of heaven and earth. Is that ghost Dr. Feng Zhu? Or someone else? In another place, a middle-aged man looked up at the sky and guessed. The strong man is on the world, he dominates the mainland, good, good. This way, we are no longer a land of nowhere here. A Zongmen old man caressed his beard and smiled. His eyes were full of expectations. The powerful spirit is spread all over the air. This mental power gradually spreads out. It becomes weak and strong, 
and it becomes like nothing. However, even if the breath is weaker, you can feel the spiritual power of that trip. Boom! The thunder of the sky sounded in the clouds, and this scene lasted for a day and a night until the next morning, when a seven-color rainbow spanned more than half of the continent, the talents watched the sky gradually. The recovery is common. Look, that rainbow is really big. Someone pointed at the rainbow in the sky and said with surprise. The ordinary people looked at the huge seven-color rainbow and smiled and delighted. Some monks are somewhat complicated and have a feeling of incomprehension. They have finally got the Lord of Heaven and Earth in this world. In the house where Feng Zhu was located, Xian Yuan Mo's looked at the sky and regained his gaze and continued to play chess. On the side, the two children were playing there, and one bead was between the two children. When one of them stretched out the fat little hand to get it, the other one followed. Yet. Yeah. The little nephew climbed up and saw the bead was taken by her brother and then bite it and bite it. The little curtain slammed the beads tightly in the hand, but in the next moment, the small mouth with a saliva plunged into the front and bite at his hand. The little guy ate a pain, wowed and cried, his hands loose. The beads also rolled off from the hands. Wow! Yet! Yeah. Xiao Yanner screamed with a mouth open, and climbed to pick up the beads and play. Xian Yuan Moser looked at the two children. When he saw his baby daughter and bullied her brother, he shook his head and smiled. He gently stroked her hair and said softly, You can't bully your brother, you know. Giggle. The little guy opened his mouth and giggled. Anyway, he didn't know what Xian Yuan Mose was saying. He just played with the beads and sometimes put it on his mouth to bite. Little dirty cat. Xian Yuan Mose had no choice but to smile, took out the helper to wipe her face from the saliva, and then called out, Go to the two children to eat. Yes. Waiting for the cold frost and Yefifei outside the hospital, they should have heard it. Come on, take you to wash your hands. Xian Yuan Mo stepped forward, and Xiao Mu Yu first hugged and walked to the side, cleaning his little hands and face in the basin.